I took over my family's gas cylinder factory, which was on the verge of bankruptcy, while others were laughing at me. My private small business became the leading player in the entire Blue Star region. In the Middle East, there was turmoil and unrest due to the competition for energy resources. However, I only educated them on the correct use of gas cylinders and stabilized the situation by clearing the inventory in the factory. A small country in East Africa was left with only one city after being invaded by neighboring countries. But after purchasing a batch of toy planes from my factory, we reclaimed the lost territory in just three days, and the whole country celebrated. All of this happened because I obtained the far ahead system in another parallel world. Completing missions allows me to randomly acquire a skill. A few years ago, my father, along with some relatives from the village, invested in building a gas cylinder factory. In the first few years, everyone was harmonious and making money. But in the past two years, the market has been sluggish, and now we can't even pay the workers' wages. The shareholders, seeing that they won't receive any money this year, started demanding withdrawal of their investments. They all claimed that when the factory was built, they guaranteed it would make money. But now, it's losing money every day. They demanded my father to return the initial investment of 300, 000 yuan from each shareholder and even suggested selling the house I planned to buy for my future marriage. While they argued, I was lost in thought. In the parallel world, the target is locked, and the soul is successfully possessed. Memory loading. Far ahead system activation. Memory loading complete. System activated. The initial mission begins, the host must earn 1 million yuan within 30 days. Failure to complete the mission will result in the destruction of the host and the search for a new host. After regaining consciousness, I realized that I had traveled through time. As I muttered to myself, several middle-aged women looked at me with disdain and said, Didn't your father tell you to sell the house quickly and give us the money? You're still a college student, owing money to others and not thinking about how to repay it. Instead, you're pretending to be crazy and foolish. Give us the money quickly. Having obtained the memories of the previous owner, I looked coldly at this group of wolves in sheep's clothing and said, You just want money, right? I'll give it to you. They all understood that my family didn't have any money at the moment and still owed millions in debt. Although the warehouse was filled with gas cylinders, they couldn't be sold because many places were now using natural gas. They thought my family would never recover, so they spoke to us without any courtesy. I coldly said, we don't need to sell the house for a hundred or a thousand yuan. I'll give you the money within a month. If I can't pay it back, you can use our house as collateral. When they heard this, their eyes lit up. They all knew that in these past few years, the dividends alone had already earned back their investments. Now, they could even get back the initial 300, 000 yuan. They were ecstatic and started to leave. One of them said without giving us a chance to change our minds. All right, it's settled then. We'll leave first. I have audio and video recordings here. After those people left, my father worriedly wondered how to handle the situation. I comforted him and said, I have a plan. They will regret it for sure. My father sighed deeply, not knowing what to say. In recent years, the business in the factory has been poor. I once tried to sell gas cylinders online, but because they are large items, the selling price was low and the shipping costs were high. I ended up losing money on the few that I sold, so I stopped selling them online. My father was still worried about the sales of gas cylinders, but I secretly smiled, thinking that this world and the world I came from had similar development processes. If we only sell gas cylinders to those who use them for cooking, we won't sell many. Seeing my confident appearance, my father couldn't bear to discourage me and instead encouraged me, saying, if you have any good ideas, go ahead and do them. I'll handle everything. And then he left the office. I returned to my room and immediately turned on the computer. In my original world, gas cylinders could be sold not only to people who cook and prepare meals but also to the Middle East, where they could be modified into bombs. In that part of the world in this current reality, there is also constant warfare due to the competition for energy resources. Therefore, gas cylinders could definitely be used in the same way. However, it is possible that the people in the Middle East have not yet discovered this particular use for gas cylinders. I opened the computer and searched on foreign websites. The results left me somewhat disappointed yet also somewhat pleased. I was disappointed because there was still no discussion online about modifying gas cylinders into bombs. However, I was pleased because this belonged to a completely new field where no one would compete with me. My primary goal now was to make them aware of the correct use of gas cylinders. Of course, I couldn't directly say online that gas cylinders could be directly modified into bombs. Such a post would undoubtedly be blocked. So, I decided to promote this through popular science. 
I registered an account on the platform with the most users worldwide and uploaded many pictures of gas cylinders being produced in homes, warehouses, and workshops. Then, I wrote an article titled Improper Use of Gas Cylinders Can Lead to Severe Explosions. Having worked in a gas cylinder factory for several years, I had already memorized various data. The article introduced a 15-kilogram gas cylinder and explained that if it were to explode, its power would be equivalent to 150 kilograms of TNT explosives, enough to destroy a two-story building. In comparison to a hand grenade, the power of a full gas cylinder explosion would be equivalent to 3,000 hand grenades. Its shockwave could not only destroy houses and shatter glass in the distance but also cause severe internal injuries to people without any obvious external wounds. At the end of the article, I specifically wrote that using gas cylinders requires great caution, as a slight mistake could cause immense destruction. I then turned the article into a video, including footage of gas cylinder explosions. After publishing it on multiple foreign platforms, I quietly waited for interested individuals to come and inquire. Every day that followed, I repeated the same process, over a dozen days passed, and I hardly left my room. As the promised month approached its halfway point, my father became anxious seeing that I wasn't going out to find clients. Just as I was comforting my father, the computer suddenly emitted a pleasant notification sound. My eyes lit up, and I immediately opened it. The message was written in Arabic and asked, Hello, how can I buy gas cylinders from your home? Upon seeing the message, I couldn't help but burst into laughter and said, Dad. Our gas cylinders finally have a market. My father found it hard to believe that I was actually selling gas cylinders abroad. Disheartened, he shook his head and said, What are you thinking? The shipping costs will be higher than the gas cylinders themselves. We'll end up losing money. I turned to him excitedly and reassured him, Dad, trust me, it will work out. Then, I began chatting with the person. They were from the Middle East and mentioned that their demand would be significant, hoping to negotiate a suitable price. Instead of giving them a direct quote, I employed a strategy of feigning indifference and told them that transportation costs were too high. I suggested they purchase locally in their own country since I knew they wouldn't be able to find a gas cylinder factory there. Soon, they replied, saying, you can include the shipping costs and give me a price. Upon seeing their message, I didn't immediately respond. Instead, I turned to my father and said, Dad, go buy some groceries. We'll have a drink this afternoon. Just the two of us. My father couldn't understand the content of my conversation with the other person, but he simply thought that selling gas cylinders abroad was unrealistic. Seeing that my father didn't believe a word I said, I directly replied to the other party. Hello, after our calculations, the price for shipping to the Middle East is 200. Then I used translation software to translate the chat content for my father to see. My father became excited and said, a gas cylinder, including the cost in shipping, is about 151. Selling it to them for 200 means a profit of 49. Selling a gas cylinder domestically only yields a profit of 5. If this is true, the profit would be too high. I happily said, Dad, we're not making 49. We're making much more. My father looked confused and said, It's 49, isn't it? When I told my father that they were settling in the currency of the Great Eagle Dynasty, my father was stunned. You see? The exchange rate between the Xia Dynasty currency and the Great Eagle Dynasty currency is 6 to 1. Selling a gas cylinder abroad would earn at least 300. My father still didn't believe what was happening and thought the other party was surely an online scammer. At that moment, another message appeared on the computer, saying, We want to try 5,400 first. If it works well, we will have long-term cooperation. Give us an account and we will transfer the money to you. Seeing the message, I turned to my father with a smile. My father still couldn't believe it and asked me, has it really worked? Before I could answer, my phone rang with a notification sound. It said, your bank account has been credited with 1.08 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. At the same time, I heard a voice in my head saying, congratulations, host, on completing the initial task. The system is officially activated. As you have exceeded the task, you will receive a special reward, a random lottery draw. After the system finished speaking, a large wheel appeared in my mind. The prizes included physical fitness, firearms mastery, martial arts mastery, special mechanical driving, and methods for developing super materials, among dozens of others. In the end, I obtained the skill of special mechanical driving. I was slightly disappointed, thinking it would have been better to get the method for developing super materials. Although this skill was also good, I didn't have a use for it at the moment. 
I held my phone in front of my father and excitedly said, Dad, look, 1.08 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins have been credited. My father looked at me blankly and said, Rich people aren't fools. Aren't they afraid you're a scammer? I smirked and said, They probably don't care about that amount of money. My words puzzled my father even more. He asked, If they have so much money, why do they need gas cylinders? I naturally knew what those people were using the gas cylinders for, but I couldn't tell my father that they were being used to make bombs. I could only give a vague answer, saying, Maybe it's their preference. Although 200 yuan for one gas cylinder was expensive, compared to missiles that cost thousands, tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands, this gas cylinder was incredibly cheap. Although my father didn't understand why those people were willing to be taken advantage of, he had already received the money. He stopped thinking about it and happily said, I'm going to buy groceries. Let's have a good meal tonight. Just the two of us. And left. The next morning, a dozen or so container trucks that I had contacted gathered outside the village. While I called the shareholders in the office one by one, asking them to come and collect their money, and then prepare to buy back all the shares of the factory. The next morning, I had the 10 container trucks that I had arranged waiting outside the village, and then I called the shareholders of the factory, asking them to come and collect their money. As soon as they heard that they could really get the money, those people came happily in no time. When they arrived, they couldn't help but mock me, saying, you sold the house so quickly, ha, huh? you must have sold it for much less in such a short time, right? They all thought that since I had money now, I must have sold my house in the city at a low price. I calmly looked at these ungrateful people in front of me. In fact, the dividends I had earned over the past few years were already several times their investment. They just bully my dad because he is an honest and easygoing person. Now that the factory is losing money, they all come together to demand the money they originally invested, claiming that it was my dad who promised to make money and that's why they invested. Now that the factory is losing money every day, they can't expect us to lose money too. They think that by calling us, we are trying to cheat them and not give them the money. I don't want to argue with them, so I tell them that I can give them the money, but they must sign a share transfer agreement with me. In the future, this factory will have nothing to do with them. Don't envy me and cause trouble when I start making money again. When they see that I agree to give them the money, they all happily agree. They think that our whole family is foolish. They think that the shares of this broken factory are worthless, and the money they can get now is all free money. So the whole process of transferring the equity goes smoothly. To prevent any unexpected situations in the future, I recorded the entire process. Each family holds hundreds of thousands of yuan in their hands and they are all very happy. They discuss going to a luxury hotel to enjoy themselves. Some people with sharp tongues mock our family while making sarcastic remarks. After all the agreements are signed, I take out my phone and let the trucks waiting outside the village come in. The people who were about to go to the hotel for consumption were all stunned. And then they mocked, saying, are those trucks at the village entrance all called by you? It's really funny. You should at least use container trucks if you want to show off. Are you planning to sell the broken gas cylinders in the warehouse abroad? Now that they have received the money, they don't show me any mercy in their words. I jokingly say, yes, they are being sold abroad. My words cause laughter from the crowd. These gas cylinders are probably not expensive to ship. And who would buy them? At this time, the container trucks have slowly entered and I don't have time to pay attention to them anymore. I start to busy myself with finding workers to load the trucks. They all look dumbfounded as they see the gas cylinders being loaded into the containers. But after thinking about it, they still think that I am just showing off in front of them. Zhang Suihua, who has a wicked mind, smiles and says, they have sold the gas cylinders abroad, so they must have money now. The factory still owes several million outside, so let's quickly call them to settle the payment. When everyone hears this, they understand his idea and agree, saying, yes, others are also in difficulties. Let's call them to ask for money quickly, so that they won't sue us if the factory really goes bankrupt. So, they start calling the suppliers in the factory one after another. After sending out more than five, zero 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 gas cylinders, just as I was about to take a break and have a meal, I saw Wang Kaixian, the steel supplier, driving into the courtyard. The others all had a look of anticipation. I knew that Wang Kaixian must have been called by them. I saw Wang Kaixian walking quickly towards me with a smile on his face and saying, Brother, I heard that you sold the gas cylinder inventory. You also know that business is tough now. Our factory hasn't paid salaries for almost half a year. Without saying a word, I directly took Wang Kaixian to the second floor and said as we walked, No problem. Let's settle upstairs. 
As I watched Wang Kaishuan's expression of disbelief when he saw the notification of the payment on his phone, I knew that he couldn't believe it. He knew how many gas cylinders could be made from the steel he supplied to this factory. Even if all those gas cylinders were sold, it wouldn't be possible to make this much money. But now that I have paid him, it's none of his business how I make money. After exchanging a few pleasantries, Wang Kaishian was about to leave when I quickly stopped him and asked, Mr. Wang, I want to acquire a steel factory. You have been in the steel industry for a long time and have a wide network. Can you help me inquire about it? Upon hearing my words, Wang Kaishian was surprised and pondered for a moment before saying, It's not like a few years ago anymore. To be honest, back then, no matter what kind of steel factory you bought, it would make money. But in the current market, if you buy one, you might end up losing. He wanted me to know that I was thinking too simplistically. I gratefully said, I understand. Wang, you're looking out for me, but I still want to give it a try. Help me find a small scale one. Seeing that I was still insisting, Wang Kaixian said, Brother, how about my steel factory? I won't hide anything from you. My factory has lost over 10 million in the past few years, and it's becoming difficult to sustain. I'm also tired of it. If you take over, I'll give it to you for 10 million. Although 10 million is not a small amount, I have visited Wang Kaixuan's factory, and all the procedures are complete. Moreover, it can produce steel of various specifications and styles meeting all my expectations. However, I can't come up with the 10 million right now. And Wang Kaixian noticed my hesitation. He then said, Brother, I know the current market is not good. How about 9 million? Wang, what do you think? Still 10 million? I'll give you 1 million as a deposit first, and then we can sign an agreement. I'll give you the remaining money within a month. But during this period, the right to use the factory belongs to me, and I'll cover all the expenses. After a month, if I can't give you the remaining money, the factory will be yours, and I won't ask for the 1 million deposit. Upon hearing my words, Wang Kaixian was stunned and thought to himself that this was a good deal. If I can't sell my own factory after a month, not only will I lose a month's expenses, but I can also earn 1 million in penalty. Then, feeling a bit embarrassed, he said, Brother, think it through. I, Wang, am not trying to deceive you. I smiled and said, Wang, if you agree, Let's immediately draft the contract and I'll transfer the money to you as soon as we finish signing. However, I have a small request. You know that I know nothing about steel production, so I want you to oversee the factory during this time. Wang Kaixian readily agreed to this reasonable request. He happily said, Brother, don't worry. I'll take care of the factory during this time and ensure the quality of the steel produced. After finalizing the agreement without any issues, we both signed it. Just as we finished signing, Someone rushed in through the door. It was Sun Hong, who supplied paint to our gas cylinder factory. Wang Kaixian, in a relaxed and cheerful manner, said, Mr. Sun, you came quickly. Come, have a seat. Seeing Wang Kaixian so happy, Sun Hong became unhappy. The person who called him said, I can sell my house for a maximum of 3 million, and I can take out 2 million for the acquisition of shares. It seems that the remaining money must have all gone to Wang Kaixian. Ignoring Wang Kaixian, Sun Hong came directly to me and said, Brother, you didn't give all your money to Mr. Wang, did you? Our factory is also struggling. There are more than 10 workers waiting for their salaries and meals. Can you give me some money today so that I can pay them? Otherwise, those workers might really come and tear down my house. Sun Hong started speaking without hesitation, afraid that I had given all the money to Wang Kaixian and left him with nothing. Wang Kaixian, seeing Sun Hang's anxious expression, laughed and said, Mr. Son, don't worry, my brother here is not short of money now, he just acquired my steel factory, can he be short of your one, eight million? This statement stunned Sun Hung. What? He acquired your steel factory? Wang Kaixian proudly said, yes, look at this contract that was just signed, there's even a transfer record. Sun Hong looked at the contract on the table in disbelief, not caring whether it was appropriate or not, and picked it up to read it. One minute later, Sun Hong put down the contract in his hand, turned to look at me and said, Brother, did you win the lottery? Sun Hang's meaning was clear. If he didn't win the lottery, where did all this money come from? Who would dare to spend it so recklessly? Everyone knows that business has been tough in recent years, with countless bankruptcies and closures. And here I am, in the sunset industry of selling gas cylinders, daring to acquire a steel factory. This puzzled him. Sun Hong looked at the contract in his hand then looked up at Wang Kaixian and me. 
making sure that we didn't seem like we were trying to deceive him. Then he turned to me and said, Brother, why don't you buy my paint factory too? Sun Hang's words left both Wang Kaixian and me confused. None of us expected Sun Hong to voluntarily offer to sell his own factory. Before I could speak, Wang Kaixian couldn't help but laugh and said, The steel we produce is the main material used by brother. Acquiring it can significantly reduce production costs. Are you joking by selling the paint factory to brother? Sun Hong also felt that he had taken me for a fool and went too far. So he quickly said, I'm sorry, I was too hasty and said things without thinking. I was just trying to find a solution in my desperation. Please don't be angry. After hearing his words, I quickly searched the system data in my mind and soon found the technical solution for paint. However, to obtain the skill, one must either complete system tasks and receive rewards or spend money to acquire it. Seeing me remain silent for a while, Sun Hong started to panic, thinking, could it be that what I said earlier made him think I took him for a fool and he won't settle the debt with me? So he quickly apologized again, saying he was confused and spoke without thinking. Wan Kaishan knew that Sun Hong had no ill intentions and helped defuse the situation by saying so. By that time, I had already obtained the upgraded paint technology in the system and closed it. I calmly looked at the two of them and said, How much? My words stunned both of them. Wang Kaixian, seeing that I really intended to acquire Sun Hang's paint factory, tried to persuade me, saying, Paint on the market isn't expensive now. It's really unnecessary to buy a paint factory just to paint gas cylinders. I smiled and said, Wang Gu, you don't need to persuade me. I've already made up my mind. Sun Gu, how much are you selling your paint factory for? Upon hearing me say this, Sun Hang's eyes lit up, and he quickly said, I originally invested around 2 million in that factory. With your help, I'll sell it to you for 1, 5 million. When Wang Kaixian heard this price, he was completely shocked. Sun Hang's paint factory alone covered an area of over 30 acres. Not to mention the factory itself. Just the land and the buildings on it were worth nearly 1 million. If it weren't for the industry's downturn in recent years, the factory could easily be sold for at least 3 million. Selling it to me for 1, 5 million, to be honest, was not expensive at all. Seeing Sun Hang's sincerity, I directly said, Sun Gu, since I don't have that much money on hand right now, I'll give you 500, 000 as a deposit first. Then we can sign a contract similar to the one with Wang Gu. How about that? Sun Hong had already seen the contract earlier, so he agreed without hesitation. So I went to draft another contract, and when I came back, Sun Hong quickly signed it. Then he looked at the incoming payment information on his phone screen, still wearing an expression of disbelief. Originally, his factory was losing tens of thousands of yuan every month, but now he not only recovered the debt but also sold the factory. This was like a sudden stroke of fortune for him. As for me, acquiring a paint factory that would be very helpful in the future was also worth celebrating. At this moment, the three of us had all achieved our own desires and sat together happily, drinking tea and chatting. Suddenly, someone burst in from outside, shouting, Give me money, but don't hit me. They thought the atmosphere in the office would be tense. So they waited downstairs for a while but didn't hear any commotion. So, they came in to see what was happening. However, the situation was different from what they imagined. One of them poured me tea, while the other handed me a cigarette. They were both confused, thinking to themselves, these debtors sure act like big shots. I knew they had come to see me embarrassed. So I bluntly asked, who told you to come here? Embarrassed, they awkwardly made up an excuse, saying, of course, we came to see if they were bullying you. Sun Hong looked at the unfriendly crowd and said, Our boss not only paid off the previous debt to the factory, but also acquired our two factories. Now, both of us work for him. How could he possibly be bullying us? The crowd wore expressions of disbelief. Impossible. The factory doesn't have that much money. Even if he sold his own house, he couldn't have paid off the debt and bought your factories. You two must be lying. Wang Kaixian couldn't stand these people. They had made a lot of money from my family and now they were demanding that my family repay their investment. He picked up his contract and showed it to them. I quickly stopped him and said, whether or not we acquire their factories is my business. You two have no relationship with the factory anymore. There's nothing else to discuss. You can leave. Hearing my order to leave, they sneered and said, there's no need for you to pretend to be rich. We know the situation in the factory. You're just trying to make us regret it, aren't you? I wanted to see how you would make us regret it. And you, Mr. Wang and Mr. Sun, you heard it too. This factory has nothing to do with us anymore. If you want money, don't come looking for us. 
Wang Kaixian and Sun Hong found their behavior too much ensnared. Just wait and see how you'll regret it. After those flies left, the three of us continued to discuss the future work of the factory. In the following days, I had the factory continue producing gas cylinders. Although there were already tens of thousands in the warehouse, they would be consumed by thousands every day on the battlefield. The stock in the warehouse was useless. Moreover, I felt that the Middle East customers alone were not enough. South America and Africa were constantly in turmoil and much poorer compared to the Middle East. Gas cylinders were more suitable for them. So, I started posting online, subtly suggesting and guiding their attention to the powerful explosive power of gas cylinders. After my continuous efforts, someone from an African faction finally contacted me, asking, Hello, how can we make the gas cylinders explode as violently as in your video? Upon seeing this person's message, I suddenly realized a problem. The cultural and educational level of people in Africa was relatively low. Even if they had gas cylinders, they wouldn't know how to modify them. For this potential big customer, I began to slowly guide and enlighten them. Our gas cylinders have excellent quality and under normal circumstances, they won't explode unless subjected to extreme external force or special circumstances. After sending the message for over an hour, they finally replied, We just tried it. Even smashing the gas cylinder with a stone didn't make it explode. Are you lying? Seeing their message, I was grinding my teeth in frustration. These people really didn't understand any chemistry. The video they sent was of them using a used cylinder without any gas for the experiment. I could only patiently reply, Our gas cylinders have excellent quality. Normally, they won't explode even if you hit them with a stone. They quickly replied, Then how can we make it explode? Sitting in front of the computer, I looked at their soul-searching question and didn't know how to explain. Mainly online. I can't directly tell the other party how to convert a gas cylinder into a bomb. After thinking for a moment, I replied to the other party, Hello, we are a legitimate manufacturer of gas cylinders. And the gas cylinders we produce comply with international safety regulations. We do not support the modification of gas cylinders by adding impact engines to one end, filling them with explosives and iron nail fragments, and adding tail fins to the other end to turn them into bombs. All the gas cylinders produced by our factory are intended for civilian use according to relevant laws and regulations. If you need gas cylinders for civilian use, you can contact me. If you need them for making bombs, I'm sorry, but we do not provide such services. It has been two hours since I sent this message, and there has been no response from the other party. I feel a bit disappointed, thinking that the other party may not have understood my intention. However, the next day, the other party replied to me, Hello? After our practical verification, what you said is correct. So we need 3,000 gas cylinders for civilian use. May I know the price for one? Upon seeing the other party's message, I finally understood that the other party did not reply to themselves yesterday because they were eager to experiment according to their own words. Now they specifically mentioned the need for gas cylinders for civilian use, which made me laugh. Gas cylinders are not divided into civilian and military use. Since the other party has already fallen for it, I won't waste any more words with them. After quoting the price, half an hour later, my phone prompted a payment notification. Afterwards, I contacted three container trucks to come to the factory for loading. While I was busy supervising the workers loading the trucks, I saw Zhang Suihua standing at the factory gate, looking inside. He now feels that I may have really found a big customer and sold the gas cylinders. So he secretly took out his phone and called an accountant he knew in the factory. Xiao Zhao. It seems like the factory is quite busy lately. You're still young. You have to be careful. I feel like your boss is deceiving you. You've been working in the factory for several years now. Our factory is already a sunset industry. How could there be so many orders? Don't let him sell everything and make you count the money. Xiao Zhao on the other end of the phone immediately became unhappy upon hearing this. When Zhang Tsuihua was still in the factory, he always took advantage of being a shareholder and caused trouble all the time. Now that he finally left, he is still bad-mouthing the factory. Zhang Jie, you didn't deceive me back then. There was clearly still money in the company's account, but you didn't pay us our salaries and deducted money in various ways. Now the boss not only pays our salaries in advance to the public account, but also raises our wages and benefits. Even if the boss is deceiving us now, we are willing. Zhang Jie, I'm busy here. If you don't have anything else, I'll hang up. After hanging up the phone, Zhang Suihua felt a burning sensation on his face but he didn't care about Xiao Zhao's sarcastic remarks. Instead, through this phone call, he knew that I had indeed found a big buyer and was now really making a lot of money. So, 
Zhang Tsuihua hurriedly called the other shareholders to his home. After discussing, they all agreed that I had deceived them and believed that it was a trap set by me and my father. Some said that since they already received the money and signed the contract, it was useless to say anything now. Seeing that some people were starting to hesitate, Zhang Suihua said, No, this factory was established by all of us together, and we only left because we had no choice. Now that the factory is making so much money, we can just invest that money back into it, just like before, right? Some people also felt that since they were getting their money back, it would be too much to do that. Hey, can we really do this? He won't agree either. Zhang Suihua, acting like a ruffian, said, Humph, even if he doesn't agree, we won't let his factory operate. Everyone actually had this idea, and now that Zhang Suihua took the lead, they naturally remained silent. Seeing everyone's attitude like this, Zhang Suihua wouldn't be foolish enough to be the scapegoat. Being alone, the chances of success are too small. So, he brought everyone with him, full of confidence, to my factory. At that time, I was inspecting the machines with the workers when I heard someone shouting outside, Chen Fan, you shameless person, come out, you're still a college student, is this how they teach you to deceive your friends and family? I looked up and saw Zhang Tsuhua leading a group of people rushing into the factory. When she saw me inside the factory, she became even more excited. Chen Fan, we have always been good to you, how could you deceive me? Have you lost all sense of conscience? Zhang Tsuhua, with the appearance of a shrew, thought that as a recent college graduate, it would be easy to manipulate me. Of course, I wouldn't stoop to her level and mock her. I calmly asked, you've been good to me? Then explain it clearly. Zhang Suewa's face turned red, but she couldn't say a word after thinking for a long time. I sneered and said, can't come up with an answer? Or too embarrassed to say it? Are you trying to say that you treat the factory as your own and often take things home? Or that your family members, even distant relatives, are all working in the factory? And let's not forget, you ran out of pocket money, so you sold some leftover materials from the factory and received a dividend of 600, 000 yuan over 3 years, which clearly wasn't enough for your household expenses. The employees in the factory couldn't help but burst into laughter upon hearing my words, they all winked at each other. I continued, you not only treat me well, but also show great care for others. For example, when the factory distributes benefits, your family always receives the most. You wander around during work hours and find excuses to find the employees. But in the end, the money goes into your own pocket. My words infuriated Zhang Suihua, and her shrewish nature came out. I don't understand what you're saying, but regardless, you kicked us out of the factory for no reason. It's impossible for you to get rich alone. The previous contract doesn't count. I don't care. You have to share the money you earn with us now. Seeing her attitude, there was no need to continue the discussion. She wanted to withdraw her shares when she claimed we couldn't make money, but now that she saw me making money, she came to cause trouble. Seeing Zhang Suihua sitting on the ground, throwing a tantrum, I immediately picked up the phone and called the police. The police arrived quickly, understood the situation, watched the video of the signed contract from that day, and looked at Zhang Suihua with a hint of coldness in their eyes. Zhang Suihua knew she was in the wrong. Seeing the police officer's attitude, she got up and said, Just you wait. Then she ran away. After dealing with this matter, I went back to work. That night, while I was contacting clients online, I heard a loud noise coming from the courtyard. The workers living in the factory came to me and said that someone had thrown fireworks into the factory. Everyone could guess who did it, and they were all clamoring to report it to the police and catch the culprit. I reassured the workers in the factory and went to check the surveillance video. Sure enough, it was Zhang Suihua and her man, to deal with such scoundrels. I had to completely defeat her. After thinking for a while, I came up with a plan. I opened the system and selected computational ability, spending 500, 000 yuan to purchase the master level. My good luck triggered a hidden reward, instantly raising the skill level I purchased to the god level. I immediately opened my computer and wrote a program, then implanted it into the cameras. The next day, I bought dozens of toy tanks and a pile of steel balls. I returned to the factory and connected all these toy tanks to the computer, integrating them together to create a defense system for the courtyard wall. Whenever someone approached within 5 meters of the wall, there would be a voice warning. If they got within 3 meters, the toy tanks would automatically aim and shoot steel balls at them. At this moment, Zhang Suihua was proudly telling her man, See, that cowardly family of hers didn't dare to call the police. Even if they did, what could they do? It's illegal for me to set off fireworks. Tonight, 
I'll create a big commotion to make them happy. In the middle of the night, Zhang Suhua and her man quietly gathered with the other shareholders and sneaked into the factory courtyard. When everyone in the factory was asleep and they were about 5 meters away from the courtyard wall, they suddenly heard a warning. Zhang Suhua nonchalantly said, It's just a surveillance alarm, nothing to be afraid of. Then, leading the way, she continued to approach the courtyard wall. When they were less than 3 meters away, the toy tank that had already targeted them started shooting. After a moment of wailing, the angry group ignited the thunderous fireworks and threw them into the yard. With a few loud explosions, smiles of joy appeared on their faces. But their happiness didn't last long as they realized something was wrong. A large fire had ignited in the yard. Panic spread among the group. Some of the more timid ones were so anxious that tears streamed down their faces, exclaiming, It's on fire. This is a big problem if they call the police. We'll all end up in jail. They didn't know that I had already cleared out the yard and filled it with hay and firewood. Then the sound of police cars came, infuriating Zhang Suihua. She angrily said, when something goes wrong, you all come to blame me. But when you were taking advantage of me, why didn't any of you say a word? A bunch of cowards. They argued for a while and then started fighting. When the firefighters arrived in the yard, they saw that the fire from the burning firewood was almost extinguished, and pouring water seemed a bit unnecessary. Seeing this scene, Song Zhou understood a few things. I showed him the surveillance video on my phone and asked, is their behavior enough to warrant punishment? After watching the video, Song Zhou looked at me and said, there is sufficient evidence. I think they deserve punishment. This surveillance system and toy tank are really impressive. How did you get them? I smiled and briefly explained the system to him. After chatting for a while, the fire trucks and police cars left with their personnel. As I listened to the continued cursing from the police car, I went back to my room and peacefully went to sleep. A few days later, Song Zhe called me and said that Zhang Suihua and the others had been sentenced to prison for intentional arson and fighting, and they wouldn't be released for a short period of time. In the following days, I continued to contact foreign clients online, but their orders were not substantial. I thought they were probably experimenting with the correct use and power of the gas cylinders. In a certain place in the Middle East, a mushroom cloud of moderate size rose, and a group of people looked shocked. One person excitedly said, Boss, the power of this gas cylinder is almost the same as those missiles that cost tens of thousands each, and it's easy to modify. If we have a large quantity of gas cylinders, it will immediately solve our lack of firepower problem. The leader nodded with a flushed face and said, Contact that person from Dasha and see if they can supply us if we order in large quantities. It would be best if you could go there in person and see what other useful things we can get. Also, the matter of the gas cylinders must be kept top secret as a weapon of our country. While I was daydreaming about how to spend all that money, my computer made a notification sound. Hello, boss. I would like to visit your factory in person and sign a long-term supply contract for a large quantity of goods. I immediately replied excitedly. No problem. You're welcome to visit anytime. After giving him the address, I called Wang Kaixian on my phone and told him that I was about to receive a big order, so he should get the steel factory ready and start production at full capacity. Wang Kaixian had been worried that there wouldn't be a market for the factory after I took over, but now he could relax and focus on production. After hanging up the phone, I suddenly remembered that I had also bought a paint factory. In the current environment, in order to revitalize this paint factory, it is necessary to improve the formulation and quality of the products. I have this system. Who am I afraid of? This time, I spent 3, 5 million yuan to purchase two paint technology formulations. One for scratch resistance and durability, and the other for radar speed detection. Immediately after, I registered the patents online, holding the two paint technology formulations. I drove to the paint factory. As soon as I entered, Sun Hong couldn't wait to ask when we could start working. He said that the employees have been asking him many times during these days of vacation. I handed the technology formulations to Sun Hong and said, These are the technology formulations for the new type of paint. Let the workers produce according to this formulation. After listening, Sun Hong was stunned. New type of paint formulation? I continued. Yes, this paint is scratch resistant and durable. Suitable for car paint. The market prospects are very promising. Sun Hong, who has been in the paint factory for many years, is very familiar with this area. He looked incredulous. I said, you don't have to believe it. You can let the workers make the paint first and we can test it on the cars in the factory to see the results, right? After speaking, Sun Hong took the formulation and went to find the workers to start production. In the evening, he brought the newly produced paint and drove me to a nearby auto repair shop. 
After explaining the purpose, the boss of the auto repair shop asked in confusion, Son, your paint factory is also doing car painting now. What's special about this paint of yours? Sun Hung smiled and said, This paint was newly developed by Mr. Chun. It is scratch resistant and durable. Come and try it out. Upon hearing this answer, the boss of the auto repair shop didn't say anything else. He has been in the auto repair industry for many years and has never seen any paint that can truly be scratch resistant and durable. They are all exaggerated in advertisements. And the actual effects are not good. It wasn't until midnight that the car was painted. The shiny car paint was very eye-catching. I picked up a piece of sandpaper and rubbed it on the car. Sure enough, there was no change. The boss of the auto repair shop looked at it and his eyes lit up. He couldn't believe it and said, Can I try it? I handed him the sandpaper and said, Sure, you are a professional. Come and see the quality of this paint. The boss of the auto repair shop bent over and rubbed it in the original position. He saw that only a layer of white substance appeared on the surface of the car paint and exclaimed, Damn, it's really amazing. That place was surprisingly just like before again. Bull X. Such a discovery made both the car repair store owner and Sun Hong very surprised. Immediately afterward, the owner of the car repair store acted as if he didn't believe in evil. He began to rub back and forth on the paint repair area. The surrounding area had already been rubbed off a layer. But this place has only slightly changed. But if you don't look carefully, you can't see it at all. This time the repair store owner was really convinced. Dropping the sandpaper and standing up, he looked at Chen Fan and gave a thumbs up. Mr. Chen, this paint of yours is absolute. This is even better than the original paint effect. Chen Fan was also very satisfied with the effect of this paint. He had only seen the introduction of this paint among the system before. However, he didn't know what the actual effect was. Now it looked like the effect of this paint definitely beat all the paints on the market. If he could cooperate with automobile manufacturers in the future, then the market for this paint would be incomparably huge. Mr. Chen, how do you plan to sell this paint? The paint Chen Fan and the others brought had such a good effect. The car repair store owner naturally saw the prospect of this paint at a glance. He also wanted to take advantage of the fact that this paint hadn't been promoted in the market yet. Follow and eat a wave of dividends. Because this has only just been developed, there's no pricing yet. You are interested in this paint? Chen Fan knew what was in his heart when he looked at the car repair store owner's excited face. He he he. Seeing that his thoughts were seen through by Chen Fan, the car repair store owner rubbed his hands and laughed dryly twice and said, Mr. Chen, I won't hide it from you, this paint of yours definitely has a great market in the future. I thought, you see if you can give me an agent or something to do. Chen Fan nodded and said, no problem, you can just talk to Mr. Son about this when the time comes. As for the pricing go back and we'll discuss it again. Then thank you so much. The repair store owner was very excited. He understood that if he was able to get on Chen Fan's line, he would be able to become rich in the future. From the repair store, he returned to the factory. Sun Han was also very excited. He began to admire Chen Fan a little. At first, he felt that Chen Fan was a little too young to buy his factory. After all, he hadn't been able to run the factory well for so many years. Chen Fan bought it to produce some paint for his gas tank factory. But I didn't expect him to come up with such a new type of car paint. This will be on the verge of closure of the small factory. At once has the strength to compete with the big factory. At the same time, he also began to regret why he directly sold the factory to Chen Fan. If he had changed to a cooperative relationship, that would be so good. In his heart, he chastised himself for not having the vision. Sun Hong poured Chen Fan a cup of tea. Thinking about how to talk to Chen Fan so that he could also get on this big ship that was about to set sail. Mr. Chun, drink tea. The words were already on his lips, but Sun Hong didn't have the heart to say them yet either. He understood in his heart that although this factory was promised to be sold to Chen Fan for one and a half million dollars at that time, but now with this car paint, one and a half million all out to Chen Fan. It was estimated that even 5% of the shares were not worth it. Brother son, with this car paint, in the future, the paint produced by our factory will have a sale. But I may not be able to take care of it by myself. That's why I want to ask you to help look after it for me. Sun Hung hadn't thought about how he should speak to Chen Fan yet. Instead, Chen Fan spoke first. Ah. Chen Fan's words shocked Sun Hang. Mr. Chen, what you mean is that you want me to continue to stay here? Yes, you continue to work here as the factory manager. The salary will be 20,000 for you for the time being, in addition to giving you 3% of the shares. This share is not much, but when the factory is done in the future, the money you can share every year will not be less. This, Sun Hong did not expect Chen Fan to be so generous. Not to mention giving $20,000 in salary, but also giving himself a 3% share. Although now it seemed that this 3% share was similar to nothing. 
but Sun Hong felt that in the future this would definitely be the biggest fortune in his life. Mr. Chen, why don't I directly transfer the factory to your name, just as I enter this 3% of shares? Sun Hong could see the future development potential of this factory, so he felt that even if he used the entire factory to take 3% of the profit as a share, he, he would not be at a disadvantage at all. Unexpectedly, Chen Fan shook his head and said, I'm a person who makes a clear distinction between grudges. Brother son, you're a good person, reliable, truthful, and have feelings for this factory. That's why I gave this factory to you to manage. Zhang Suihua and the girls also want to get into the gas tank factory again, if they follow me well. I might give them 1% of the shares once I'm happy, but now they've been arrested by the police department. Chen Fan's words were both expressing his thoughts and knocking Sun Hang. The meaning was clear, I'm giving you this share because I see you as a decent person. If it was placed a month ago, Chen Fan saying this Sun Hung would have felt that he was a bit arrogant, but now, he felt that there was nothing wrong with Chen Fan saying this at all. Mr. Chen, don't worry, I'm a person who doesn't dare to guarantee anything else, but I guarantee that I will never betray you and screw you over. Sun Hung understood what Chen Fan meant, so as soon as Chen Fan finished speaking, he, he immediately set up a guarantee for Chen Fan. Chen Fan nodded and said, I believe you. All right, it's getting late, brother son, you also take an early rest, I'll go back first. Tomorrow you account for the cost of this car paint and we'll discuss the price. Okay, I'll come to you first thing in the morning. After Chen Fan left, Sun Hong excitedly danced around in his office for half a day. Then he took out his cell phone and called his wife over. Where have you been? Why don't you come back? Sun Hang's wife asked unhappily as soon as the call was connected. Wife, we're going to be rich. Get rich? Get rich in what? I've followed you for so many years, how many times have you said this, and I haven't seen me get rich? This time it's different, I've gotten rich. Didn't I put the factory? Before? Sun Hong told his wife what had just happened. His wife was not happy after hearing it. Look at that unproductive look of yours, only 3% of the shares makes you happy like this. What do you know? You have to know how big a market this is. Our dynasty has over 400 million cars now. If all of them use our paint, do you know how much money it would cost? 3% of the shares will make us millionaires. Besides, when the factory gets bigger in the future, my salary will be higher than now. By then, maybe we can become billionaires. Sun Heng's wife was also dumbfounded after hearing his explanation. 3% of shares can make us billionaires? Of course, didn't you see on TV that the bosses of those large conglomerates start with $10 million a year? If our factory develops to that level as well, counting that 3% of shares, we could potentially become billionaires as well. Then if that's the case, you'll have to make good relations with that Mr. Chen in the future. Don't let him fire you halfway. Sun Hung smiled and said, No, Mr. Chen is not that kind of person. I've been in contact with him before, and I feel that he's quite reliable. But in the past, it was old Mr. Chen who was in charge, he didn't control much. Recently, he started to manage things, I feel that this person will definitely be able to achieve great things in the future. You know the original shareholders in their gas tank factory, right? Because they made money, they wanted to re-enter the stock, but now they're all in the police station. If he can find me, it means he trusts me, as long as I do my job well, he will never fire me. That's good, but you have to work hard. Whether or not our family can become billionaires in the future depends on you. Ha, huh, just don't worry, Mrs. Future Billionaire. This night, Sun Hong did not go home. He stayed in the office for the night. He knew that in the future, this kind of car paint would become the main product of their factory. So when he was accounting for the cost, he counted all the expenses in this. After the accounting, Sun Hung immediately brought his materials and the calculated results to the gas tank factory. Mr. Chen, the cost has been accounted for. Seeing Sun Hong who had been yawning with bloodshot eyes, Chen Fan knew that he hadn't slept a night last night. Brother son, why don't you sleep for a while, I'll read it first, and I'll ask you later if there's anything I don't understand. No, I'm not sleepy, said Sun Hang as he yawned again. You go and lie down for a while. I'll yell at you if there's a problem. Okay, then I'll squint for a while. Seeing that Chen Fan had already said so, Sun Hong was really sleepy as well, so he went to lie down on the sofa aside. Sun Hong was afraid that Chen Fan would not believe the price he said, so he directly found the incoming documents as well. After Chen Fan looked at these documents, he also looked at the cost that Sun Hong had accounted for. According to Sun Hang's calculations, the cost price of a standard 3, 2 liter bucket of paint was around $40. The market price was mostly $60 to $90. Sun Hong gave a suggestion to sell each barrel for $80. The price for a first level agent is 45 yuan. The price for the second tier agent is 55 yuan. The remaining $25 was the profit of the retailers as well as the 4S stores. This price wasn't low, but it wasn't the most expensive either. 
This price would make their car paint very competitive. This model was the same one that Sun Hung had used before. It was correct to give the maximum profit to the car repair store or 4S store. But Chen Fan felt that this pricing was too low. Directly picking up a pen on a piece of paper, he changed the suggested selling price of 80 yuan per barrel given by Sun Hong to 120 yuan per barrel. The price for first level agents was changed to 80 yuan. The price for second tier agents was changed to 90 yuan. The price for retailers and 4S stores was changed to 150 yuan. After doing this, Chen Fan went to the workshop. While wandering around in the car, Sun Hong woke up from his nap and came to Chen Fan with the pricing sheet. Mr. Chen, isn't this pricing a bit too high? He had counted all the money and the cost was only $40. Chen Fan pricing directly doubled it. In all the years he had been doing paint, he had never had such a large profit margin. Let's go to the office and talk. Chen Fan said and came to the office with Sun Hong. Mr. Chen, aren't you setting this profit too high? My previous profit margins were basically around 20. I'm afraid it won't sell well if you set the pricing this high. After Sun Hong finished speaking, Chen Fan shook his head and said, Brother Sun, do you know why you don't dare to price your products high? That's how it's done throughout the industry ah, besides if I price it high won't there be even less people to buy it? Chen Fan shook his head and said, Brother Sun, you don't dare to price it high, the main reason is still that the original production of the paint has a very large substitutability. Everyone has the same paint, if you price it high, the buyers will go buy someone else's. But our new paint is different, it's the only one on the market, there are no substitutes. Sun Hung understood what Chen Fan meant by this. But he still said, but if the pricing is so high, fewer people will buy it. Then wouldn't our profits be just as low? Chen Fan shook his head again and said, for a short period of time, that's what it means. But have you ever thought about who the sales of our products ultimately depend on? Sun Hung said without thinking, at the moment it depends on the car repair stores and 4S stores, which is the target of our initial promotion. Chen Fan nodded and said, yes and no. In the short term, our sales depend on repair stores and 4S stores, but in the long term it depends on car owners. Our car paint has anti-scratch and wear-resistant features, and when repair stores and 4S stores use it, it will greatly reduce their business. That's why I'm now giving them more than double the profit I was making before. That is to say that spraying one car now is more profitable than spraying two cars originally. But you have to know, whether it's a repair store or a 4S store, the most expensive among their charges is not the materials but the labor. After using our paint, their business will decrease a lot, so they can definitely react to it later. Reduce the use of our paint, this time if any car owners see others using our paint with good results, will then offer to use our kind of car paint. The profit is good, the car owner takes the initiative to ask for it, so that way they won't refuse. As for whether the paint is 60 buckets or 120 buckets, do you think anyone would care about that? Once these words were finished, Sun Hang's entire body was dumbfounded. What Chin Fan said was something he had never thought about. The words he said felt strange at first glance though, but when one thought about it carefully, one would realize that it made perfect sense. Mr. Chen, you're too thoughtful. I've never thought about these. After understanding Chen Fan's thoughts, Sun Hung admired him. I'm just blindly figuring it out myself. Blindly pondering? Hearing Chen Fan say this, Sun Hong felt like his boss for so many years had been in his dog's stomach. Mr. Chen, your blind pondering is better than me who has been a small boss for more than 10 years. If I had your thinking, this factory wouldn't have fallen to this state now. Sun Hong said this not to compliment Chen Fan. Rather, he admired Chen Fan from the bottom of his heart. When his own factory was doing good business from the beginning and had many orders, it was because the pricing was too low. Although at that time, it was possible to sell at a thin profit. But this also led to the fact that the money he earned was actually not much. Not much money naturally does not want to invest in research and development. Without new products, there is no competitiveness. Without competitiveness, you can only sell at a small profit. This produces a vicious circle, then slowly eliminated by the market. But Chen Fan is different. He told himself at the beginning that he wanted to set up a research and development room. And he set up a very large profit. It would allow the factory to have enough money to invest in research and development. The more Sun Hung thought about it, the more he felt that Chen Fan was a business genius. Things that he had never understood even after a lifetime of doing it himself. He had only been in charge for a few days and already understood it. Mr. Chen, even though I'm a bit older than you, I feel that there are so many things I need to learn from you in the future. Chen Fan waved his hand and said, let's learn from each other. It's also almost noon, I'll ask brother Wang if he has time, let's have a meal together at noon. Good. So Chen Fan made a call to Wang Kaixian. The three of them had a meal together at noon. During that time, Sun Hong told Wang Kaixian about the new paint pricing. After hearing this, Wang Kaixian also exclaimed that Chen Fan was too good. Definitely a business genius. Early this morning, 
Chen Fan received a call from abroad. Mud good, Wu is the Middle Easterner who is worth the money brother you practice pot. On the other end of the phone was a person who spoke a broken Dasha dynasty language. His Dasha dynasty language was too bad, but it was good that Chen Fan understood the word Middle East. Immediately, he understood that this was the big Middle Eastern customer who was coming to inspect his place. So he said, have you come? Where have you arrived now? I'll go pick you guys up? There was a long silence on the other end of the phone as Chen Fan finished speaking. The interpreter they brought should be a two-timer. Didn't understand what he was saying. This gave Chen Fan a bit of a headache. If it was English, he could still barely manage a few sentences. But these Middle Eastern customers were speaking Arabic. He didn't know any of it. The key was that he didn't know anyone who knew Arabic either. He couldn't bring them to type and translate on the computer. After thinking for a while, Chen Fan could only call up the system. He spent $1 million to purchase an advanced language skill among the life skills. Advanced languages allowed Chen Fan to fluently communicate with people from a dozen mainstream language systems in the world. This included Arabic. At this moment, a burst of Arabic came from the other end of the phone. What do you mean you didn't understand? Didn't you specialize in the Dasha dynasty language? He's speaking too fast. And I've heard that in addition to the official language of the Grand Xia dynasty, there are countless local languages. Listening to my great Xia dynasty classmates, let alone those of us who learn the great Xia dynasty language, even people from their Grand Xia dynasty who aren't from the same city might not be able to understand it. Hearing their conversation over the phone, Chen Fan couldn't help but laugh. He was right in saying this. There were many dialects in the Grand Xia dynasty. Not to mention a city, even those from different districts and counties might not understand it. Hello, I'm Chen Fan from Centennial Industries. May I ask if you guys have gotten off the plane by now? I'll go pick you up. Chen Fan said in fluent Arabic. This time Chen Fan spoke in Arabic though, but the other party still did not move. This made Chen Fan a bit surprised. Just as he was about to speak again, he heard the other party say, Is the technology of the Dasha dynasty so advanced now? How does this voice sound like a real person? Hearing their words, Chen Fan smiled bitterly and continued, I am a real person. Ah, this time it was their turn to be surprised. They didn't expect that someone in the Dasha dynasty would speak Arabic so fluently. Boss Chen, hello, we've gotten off the plane now, but we don't know how we should go about finding you. Is it convenient for you to come and pick us up? Convenient, you guys wait for a while, I'll be right over. After hanging up the phone and coming out of the office, Chen Fan was ready to drive his car to pick up those Middle Eastern clients. But when he came to the car, he looked at his family's broken Santana that had been bought for 7 or 8 years. Think about it or forget about it. So he made a call to Wang Kaixian. He has a 7-seat Mercedes-Benz business over there. Using his car is more or less a bit of face. Soon Wang Kaixian drove his Mercedes business to come. Sitting in the car, Chen Fan said with an envious face, it's still an expensive car that is comfortable to sit in. I'll have to get one and put it in the factory. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Wang Kaixian said, brother, with your current wealth, you should have bought a car a long time ago. After these Middle Eastern customers leave, I'll accompany you and we'll go buy you one. Chen Fan nodded and said, I think so. An hour later, Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian arrived outside the airport. From a distance, they saw five or six people dressed in white with a black circle on their heads. They were very eye-catching. After seeing those people, Wang Kaixian asked Chen Fan, Mr. Chen, those white clothes over there are our customers, right? Chen Fan nodded and said, they should be. Wang Kaixian parked his car next to them. Chen Fan got out of the car. Looking at them, he said in Arabic, Hello, may I ask if you are going to Centennial Industries? Among the group, there was a bearded man who said, Yes, are you boss Chen? It's me. My name is Chen Fan, I'm the boss of 100 years industry. After saying that Chen Fan extended his hand to him. Hello, my name is Abdulaziz Isam Farasha. Chen Fan. Hello Farash. Chen Fan didn't know if he was right to call it that. But it was good that Falash didn't look displeased in any way. Get in the car first, we'll talk as we walk. Good. After these people got on the car, Chen Fan looked at the time and saw that it was getting late. So he asked Wang Kaixian to drag them to find a good restaurant to eat before returning to the factory. Wow, the building of Dasha Dynasty is actually so high. Yeah, I thought they were about the same here as we are on the video. Those are all deliberately reported by Great Eagle Dynasty, trying to hoodwink us. Look guys, my god, they even have such a big TV, and it's even placed on the wall outside. Yeah, this is too different from the Great Eagle Dynasty I imagined. On the way to the hotel, those people sitting in the back were besides Falash. The others there had been constantly pointing and discussing the things outside the car window. Although Falash had always acted more composed and had never said anything, but his two eyes only kept looking at the scenery outside the car window. That is, Wang Kaixian, who was driving the car, couldn't understand Arabic. 
otherwise he would have been shocked by these people's words, because these people who look like the tycoons of the Black Gold Dynasty, at this moment, they were being shocked by the scenery outside the window. It was also the first time that Wang Kaishan had seen this kind of foreign customers dressed like Black Gold Dynasty tycoons, in order not to let them look down on Chen Fan, directly drove the car to the best Pullman Hotel in Linchang. This meal was another way for these fake Black Gold Dynasty tycoons to open their eyes, although these people were already very conscious of their image, but it was indeed the first time they had seen such good-looking and delicious dishes. One by one, they were surprised and took pictures. The whole Wang Kaishian was a bit depressed. Quietly, he said to Chen Fan, Mr. Chen, why do these tycoons look different from the TV? Chen Fan smiled and said, on TV? Of course it's different from the usual. Everyone is like that. When Wang Kaishian heard this, he thought it was right. But he always felt that he couldn't tell where there was something strange. When he returned to the gas tank factory, it was already more than 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The reason for this was that these few fake tycoons had drunk too much. Chen Fan was still able to understand this matter of them drinking. Although on Kanan's side one could usually drink, but these people of theirs should rarely drink. After all, they could face danger at any time. Even if they drank, they did not dare to drink more. But here in the Grand Xia Dynasty, they did not have that kind of concern. So these five people all drank a lot. Wan Kaishan looked at these few Black Gold Dynasty tycoons who were already drunk and lying on the bed and, to Chin Fan, he asked suspiciously, I heard that aren't people from the Black Gold Dynasty not allowed to drink? This. Truly the Black Gold Dynasty did not allow drinking because of their beliefs. Chen Fan thought for half a day before saying, Ordinary people can't, but some rich people can. Usually in places that are not open to the public. Wang Kaishian nodded with seeming understanding and asked again, Mr. Chen, I always feel that there is something not quite right about these people, they are not crooks. Chen Fan waved his hand and said, Don't worry about that, all the goods we send abroad are money first and goods later. Hearing Chen Fan say that, Wang Kaishian didn't think much about it. By the way, Mr. Chen, I never had the heart to ask today, how did you know Arabic? I learned it when I was in college. Why did you think of learning this? It wouldn't be at that time that you were thinking of selling gas canisters to the Middle East, right? That's not true, mainly because of my girlfriend. Seeing that this lie was a little too round, Chen Fan could only create a friend out of nothing. Made up a girlfriend out of it, saying that she wanted to learn, so he followed. This explanation of Chen Fan was quite satisfactory. Wang Kaixian also felt that there was nothing wrong. Who didn't fall in love when they went to college ah? People have been picked up and are drunk. Wang Kaixian didn't have much to do here, so he left. At 11 o'clock at night, Chen Fan was just about to go to sleep. Suddenly, he saw that there seemed to be movement on the camera side. But when he pulled up the screen, he didn't see anything unusual. So he took a flashlight and looked outside the courtyard wall. He didn't expect to pick up a hair that had been knocked out by a steel ball outside the courtyard wall. This made Chen Fan very surprised. He didn't think that this Chada one courtyard wall defense system he developed actually had such a function. So happily took the hair and returned to the factory. Putting the hair in a cardboard box, he went to sleep. The next morning, as soon as Chen Fan woke up, he saw two people wearing black gold dynasty clothes chatting there. Up so early. Chen Fan walked out and greeted them. I'm so sorry, we drank too much yesterday. It's fine, being able to drink too much in our place means being happy. Those two men heard Chin Fan and glanced towards the warehouse. Very happy indeed. Today you are blessed with good things to show you. With those words Chin Fan went back inside and took out the hair that had woken up. I picked up a hair last night. We stewed it at noon today. We don't have much of this stuff here now. I haven't eaten it for years. Hearing Chin Fan's words, one of them asked. How did you catch it? I don't see you have any hunting dogs here either. Chen Fan heatedly smiled and said, I didn't catch this with a hunting dog, I hit it with a Chada 1 courtyard wall defense system that I created myself. What Chada 1 courtyard wall defense system? These two people were a little confused by Chen Fan's words, not understanding what Chen Fan meant by this. Chen Fan pointed at the camera on the courtyard wall and said, that's the one. Did you see that tank on the courtyard wall? That's the one that hit it. Hit with a toy tank? These two men asked with some disbelief. Yes, I locked it with the camera first, and then that toy tank would automatically attack. Automatic attack? Now those two people understood. The two of them looked at each other and both saw shocked looks in each other's eyes. In their opinion, anything that could automatically lock on and attack automatically was a very advanced weapon. Unexpectedly, this person in front of them was able to use a toy tank and a camera to make a Chata's all-in-one weapon system. Right, otherwise the rabbit is running so fast, how could I operate it to hit it? Those two people didn't listen to what Chen Fan said. Looking at Chen Fan with a nervous face, they asked. Can I go over and take a look? No problem, feel free to take a look. The two of them weren't very old, 
and what they were thinking in their hearts had already shown on their faces. However, Chen Fan did not point it out. There were some things that were fine to know and not fine to say. So those two people ran to the courtyard wall and studied it for half a day. Looking at it was a camera and a toy gun connected together. It didn't look like much, but they couldn't figure out how the autolock and autofire could be done. So they ran over again and asked Chen Fan, how does this thing do autolock, autofire? Because these cameras and toy tanks are connected to my computer. It's controlled through a program. Can we see that program of yours? No problem. After saying that Chen Fan brought the two of them to where he was sleeping, demonstrated it to both of them through the computer. After watching it, both of them were shocked. They didn't expect such a high-tech thing to be made by Chen Fan alone. So one of them chatted with Chen Fan here, while the other sneaked out and shouted for Falash. Not a moment later, Farash came to Chen Fan in a hurry. He let Chen Fan demonstrate this set of Chada 1 courtyard wall defense system once again. After watching it, Falash's eyes lit up. Because they had always been besieged in Canaan, this kind of high-tech stuff that they had only seen on the internet before. They didn't expect that a random person in the Dasha dynasty would be able to make it on his own. Chen, this thing, can you sell me a set? Chen Fan looked at him and asked suspiciously, this is a toy, what do you need this for? Eh? People often come to steal things on our side of the house, I want to get a set to put on our courtyard wall to prevent thieves. Looking at his poor reasoning, Chen Fan dot almost didn't hold back his laughter. Although this thing hurts a little bit when you hit someone, it doesn't really do much. That's because you're using a toy tank, wouldn't it be awesome if it was replaced with a gun? A gun? That's even worse. I'm just a toy that I made to play with, if I replaced it with a gun, it would kill someone. As he spoke Chin Fan quietly glanced at his cell phone. He had already started recording from the moment these people entered the room. We don't need a real gun, just replace it with something a little more powerful than this tank of yours when the time comes. It's just a simple matter of trying to chase away the thieves. It won't be a big deal. He had already said so. Chen Fan could only grudgingly say, All right, how many sets do you want? Ferris had originally thought that Chen Fan wouldn't sell this to himself. He didn't expect him to believe it after he made up a random reason. He directly asked how many sets he wanted to buy. Take one set first. I'll go back and install it to try it out. This thing, how much are you going to sell a set for? Ferris looked at Chen Fan and asked, This set of my check and fight integrated yard wall defense system, even though I made it myself. But the technology content in it is not low. And the main thing isn't the camera or that toy tank. The most important thing is the system I wrote. Only by using my system can we accomplish the integration of checking and fighting. If this system was put to military use, the value would be hard to estimate. When Ferris heard Chen Fan's words, his face became a little ugly for a moment. Originally, he had thought that Chen Fan did not know the true value of this check and beat system. Maybe he could even pick up a leak. But he didn't expect Chen Fan to be more shrewd than he thought. Although he didn't say it explicitly, his meaning was clear. Ferris thought for a moment and said, we're only using it to prevent thieves, we're not going to use it for military purposes. How much do you think is appropriate? You make a price. How shrewd Chen Fan was. Shaking his head, he said, I haven't sold this either, how much do you think it can be worth? Seeing that Chen Fan refused to bid, Ferris thought for a moment. Tentatively, he quoted Chen Fan a price that he felt was relatively low, 1 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins? Deal. Chen Fan smiled and agreed directly without saying anything. Seeing Chen Fan with a smile on his face, Ferris knew that he had overbid. However, he did not regret it. Because if this system was brought back and could be used, its value could definitely exceed 5 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins or even 10 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. Moreover, as long as he could get his hands on the system written by Chen Fan, he would be able to find someone to infinitely copy it and create countless sets of such systems. That would be of great benefit to them. Ferris had his own little plan. Chen Fan also had one. The reason why he was so quick to promise Farah's 1 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins to sell it to him. On the one hand, it was because this price had exceeded Chen Fan's mental expectations. This Chada One Piece Courtyard Wall Defense System was originally not within Chen Fan's sales target. This was considered extra income. On the other hand was that Chen Fan could set an activation code on the set of programs he had written. Only through the activation code could the system be used. In the future, there could be a steady stream of selling this system to them. Each of the two had their own little schemes in mind. Both got what they wanted. They looked at each other and smiled. Let's go to the factory next. Good. Chen Fan led them to the factory building. Although their factory was not very large, the degree of automation was still very high. Only a small number of workers were needed for 24-hour non-stop production. Ferris looked at this production line in Chen Fan's house. His eyes were sparkling with green light. How wonderful it would be if they could have such a set of production lines. However, he also understood. It wasn't difficult to get a set of production lines to their place. 
What was difficult was, they lacked raw materials. The entire Canaan region had been blocked by the Elijah dynasty for many years. It's very difficult to transport any steel in, so they could only import this kind of living material. Our factory can produce thousands of gas canisters a day if the machines are running at full capacity. After these gas canisters are produced, in addition to selling them throughout our country, they will also be exported to your Middle East, South America, Africa, and other regions. It can be said that demand exceeds supply. The workers on the site almost didn't burst out laughing when they heard Chen Fan say this. Ferris they didn't know, but these workers were aware of it. They had all stopped production for a long time before. There was still a backlog of warehouses full of gas canisters that couldn't be sold. Chen Fan actually had an oversupply. Ferris didn't realize that Chen Fan was telling a lie. While nodding his head, he asked, Mr. Chen, if we order in large quantities, can the price be cheaper? Chen Fan shook his head and said, the price is definitely not cheaper. Look, I have so many workers and equipment plants. Now the raw materials have been increasing in price. Actually, I don't make much money at all. Chen Fan was a little embarrassed when he said this. A gas can earns people hundreds of dollars. I can actually say that I didn't make much money. However, it was fortunate that Ferris didn't know about this side of the market. We want a lot, and we can have a long-term cooperation with you, so you can give me a cheaper price. Chen Fan said after thinking for a while. That's basically the price, but I can send you some triangles for good fixing during transportation. With those words Chen Fan took out a piece of triangle iron from the scraps piled up on the ground aside and showed it to Ferris. Seeing the triangle in Chen Fan's hand, Ferris' eyes lit up at once. This was not something to fix the gas tank. This was the tail that they needed to weld onto the gas tank to keep it balanced and stable. Although his heart was happy, he had the experience from earlier. Ferris did not show much excitement. Mr. Chen, this is fine, but how many for a gas tank? Two. One on one side is just enough to hold the gas canister in place, not letting him wobble when he's transporting it. Give three, the triangular style is more stable. Three would be a bit costly on my side. The raw materials are already expensive, if I give you too much, I really won't be able to make any money. Chen Fan said with a difficult face. Seeing Chen Fan say this, Ferris directly said. Doesn't your great Xia dynasty have a saying called thin profits and high sales? If you agree, I will directly sign an order of 50,000 with you this time. 50,000? Hearing this quantity Chen Fan was overjoyed. 50,000 gas canisters was more than 10 million great eagle dynasty coins. When converted into great summer dynasty coins, it would be more than 60 million. This order would earn at least 30 to 40 million dollars. Good, in order to make you a friend, it's settled then. Seeing Chen Fan agree, Ferris immediately said as if he was afraid that Chen Fan would regret it. Then it's a deal, we'll go sign the contract in a moment. A gas tank with three tails. This was definitely very worthwhile for Ferris. After all, steel was already scarce in their place. The ones they were purchasing now were all modified with oil and gas pipelines. The quantity was not much. If Chen Fan didn't send them, 50,000 gas canisters might use up those oil and gas pipelines they only had left. Just as the two were walking out of the workshop very happily, a container truck came in the yard at an unknown time. It was also an order to be sent abroad. Ferris and Chen Fan walked over to watch the workers loading the truck. Watching the workers loading the car, the two people at the same time found a very embarrassing problem. Chen Fan said that each gas canister sends three pieces of triangles to be used to fix the gas canisters. Cannot let these gas canisters collide with each other. But when the two of them saw the workers loading the car they realized. The gas canisters were not loaded lying down at all, but vertically. What made the two people even more depressed was. The two gas canisters were stacked together, and the connection was still just enough to be able to snap into place. That meant that the three pieces of triangles that Chen Fan had sent, couldn't be used at all. This problem was discovered by Chen Fan, and Ferris also discovered it. However, both of them seemed like they had a heart to heart. Both pretended not to have discovered this problem. Chen Fan said with some embarrassment, Mr. Ferris, the gas tank factory has been seen, why don't we go to my steel factory again? Mr. Chen still has a steel factory? Then let's stop by and take a look. Ferris also said with some embarrassment. So Chen Fan drove with Ferris and the five of them to Wang Kaishuan's place. After coming back yesterday, Wang Kaishuan immediately had the workers start work early this morning. However, since there were no orders, Wang Kaishuan didn't know what he should produce. So he asked the workers to produce the most trouble-free natural gas pipes. This kind of pipeline was not troublesome in terms of craftsmanship. And there were many places in the country that used this kind of pipe now. Wang Kaishian thought that if these pipes were produced, he could find a way to sell them later to help Chen Fan get his blood back. When Chen Fan came, Wang Kaishian was already waiting at the gate. Yesterday, Wang Kaishian had already had dinner with Ferris and the others. Everyone was also not a stranger. 
Ferris and the others also all knew that Wang Kaixian was Chen Fan's factory manager. Let's go, I'll show you guys around the factory. In terms of steel, Chen Fan didn't know as much as Wang Kaixian. So all along the way, Wang Kaixian was the one introducing. Chen Fan was on the side as a translator. The group came to the workshop. Looking at the huge production workshop, the few people brought by Ferris were like Lu 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 entering the Grand View Garden. They looked around curiously. Some of them were even seeing the production process of steel for the first time. Look, this is the steel we produce. Although the steel factory of ours is not large, it produces a complete range of specifications. From large pipes with a diameter of half a meter to small pipes with a diameter of one or two centimeters, all of them can be produced. If you have any needs in this area, you can mention it to me, and we will definitely ensure that we can make anything in any specification according to your requirements. Wang Kaixian knew that these people were all tycoons from the Middle East's Black Gold Dynasty. As long as they were able to pull in this customer, then this factory would basically be revitalized. After listening to Chen Fan's translation, Ferris did not speak. Both eyes kept staring at the oil and gas pipeline that had been made not far away. From the surface, the pipeline here was similar to the one on his side. He didn't speak, not because he didn't know what to say. Rather, he was thinking of a reason that looked reliable. He couldn't let Chen Fan and the others see that he had bought it back for military purposes. Just as Ferris was thinking of a reason. Chen Fan, who was on the side, asked, Mr. Ferris, I wonder if your family has any industries that are related to oil. The pipes we produce here definitely meet the various standards you need to lay oil and gas pipelines. Yes, of course. Almost all of the big families in our Black Gold Dynasty have industries that are very much related to stone. After some reminders from Chen Fan, Ferris then remembered. His own group was pretending to be the tycoons of the Black Gold Dynasty. Then how much does this oil and gas pipeline of yours cost per meter? Eh, we sell this one by the ton. The price of a ton also fluctuates with the price of raw materials. After saying that, Chen Fan turned his head and asked Wang Kaixian, how much does our oil and gas pipeline cost per ton? Wang Kaixian thought for a moment and said, currently, the market price is 4,000 a ton. If they want more, the price can be cheaper. Chen Fan nodded his head and turned to Ferris, 4,000 Great Eagle Dynasty coins a ton, transportation included. The specifications can be customized according to your requirements. Oh. After hearing this, Ferris' face was a bit difficult, because he wasn't sure approximately how long a ton was. So pointing to a 4 meter long oil and gas pipe in the place, he asked, How much does this one weigh? Over a ton. Chen Fan finished speaking Ferris began to calculate in his mind. A 4 meter long oil and gas pipe could almost make two gas tank launchers. Four missiles could be made. The cost of that one missile would be around $1,000. If you added the gunpowder and other costs, the total would be less than $1,500. This price was still acceptable to him. After thinking for a while, he asked again. Mr. Chen, if I order a batch of this steel from you, can you also send me some? Fixing triangles? Yes. Then can you send me 18 pieces? Ah. Uh, hearing Farah's words, Chen Fan had a depressed look on his face. Thinking to himself, could you have said it a little more obviously? Why don't you just say that you want me to give you the missile pattern directly after it's done? Mr. Ferris, 18 pieces is a bit too much. I can send you three or four triangles without one, just like before. After Ferris said that just now, one look at Chen Fan's expression, he knew that he had said the wrong thing. Now that Chen Fan said to send three pieces, he immediately agreed. Good then, I'll order a thousand tons first. How about going back and trying the quality? If the quality is good, then all of our family's steel will all be ordered here in the future. Don't worry, the quality of our steel is absolutely excellent. In our country, the requirements for the production of such livelihood materials are very high. After Chen Fan finished speaking Ferris asked again. Mr. Chen, can you produce thinner steel pipes in this factory, preferably the kind that can carve threads in the steel pipes? Chen Fan knew what Ferris wanted as soon as he heard it. However, he didn't know if the steel factory could produce this kind of steel pipe. So he translated it to Wang Kaixian. Wang Kaixian looked at Chen Fan with a puzzled face after listening and asked, What does this foreigner want with a steel pipe with a spiral inside? Having been comfortable in the country for too long, Wang Kaixian simply couldn't imagine that this kind of steel pipe was used to make weapons. I'm not sure, but he needs it. Just say if you can produce it. Of course I can, although this factory of ours is not big, the specifications are still very complete, but want to carve a spiral pattern inside the steel pipe. It's a bit troublesome, but it can be done. Hearing Wang Kaishuan's words, Chen Fan turned his head to Faris and said, Our factory can do it, but since you need a spiral pattern inside the steel pipe, this needs to be made separately, and we need to modify the machine and add more equipment to be able to do it. How much are you going to need? If it's less, then the price might be high. Chen Fan even made it up and then said it as if it was difficult. 
It wasn't true that Ferris was a chief in Canaan, but he was mainly responsible for training soldiers and organizing attacks. He knew a little bit about the price piece, but not much. After listening to Chen Fan, Ferris said, if we can do half a meter apiece, I need at least tens of thousands of them. Chen Fan nodded and said, good, then let's discuss it first and then give you an offer. No problem. After Ferris finished speaking, Chen Fan stepped aside to discuss with Wang Kaixian. If we make a half meter with a spiral pattern inside how much does it cost approximately? What is the diameter? 7. 62 millimeters. Ha! Huh? Wang Kaixian said with some surprise after hearing this size. Hey, how does this size sound and feel so familiar? It seems like I've heard it somewhere before, but I can't recall it for a while. Chen Fan nodded and echoed, it does feel familiar. Although he said this on his lips, Chen Fan's heart almost jumped in fear. He had forgotten one thing, if it was just going to be a steel pipe, there was no problem. But if it was only half a meter in diameter and 7. 62, it would be hard not to associate it with the muzzle. After all, there were too many domestic shooting games now. What's 7? 62, 5. 56 and 12. 7. These are all very common in the game. Wang Kaixian often played games, naturally he had heard of 7. 62 millimeters bullets. But it was good that Wang Kaixian did not think in this direction. Such a small diameter length is also short, in addition to the spiral pattern inside is a bit troublesome. The overall cost of construction isn't isn't high. It's only 20 or 30 dollars. After Chen Fan finished, he walked over to Ferris. He didn't quote first, but looked at him and asked. Mr. Ferris, may I ask what you want this size of steel pipe for? Chen Fan's question had stumped Ferris. He couldn't tell Chen Fan that it was for making guns. After thinking for a while, he then said, It's used to fix things. Isn't hollow cheaper than solid? Then why is there a spiral pattern inside? So that it's stronger when it's stuck in the soil. Oh, so that's how it is. Hearing his lame reasoning, Chen Fan almost laughed out loud. But since he had already given Chen Fan the reason, Chen Fan also stopped pursuing the rest. It's like this, the difficulty of customizing a steel pipe like this is something I told you about just now. In order to customize this batch of steel pipes for you, we also need to get in a new batch of equipment. The price will be slightly more expensive, when you guys need a larger quantity in the future. This price will slowly come down. At Chen Fan's set of words, Faraz nodded in understanding. After our discussion, these steel pipes are $100 a piece. $100? That's too expensive. Faraz hadn't said anything yet. A man following him on the side spoke up. It can't be helped because the cost is here. Of course this piece includes shipping costs. Although Chen Fan had already said so. But that person still felt that the price was a bit expensive. He pulled Farrarak aside and whispered. Deputy Chief, this guy is obviously treating us as ingrates. The price of a gun is only a few hundred dollars. Faraz naturally knew that the offer was a bit high. However, he said, of course I know this offer is high. But now we're being blockaded tighter and tighter. The guns can't even get in. Besides, do you really think he doesn't know what we want them for? The man was startled to hear Farah's words. He knows? Definitely knows. Otherwise why would he send us three triangles for no reason when we bought a gas canister? Other people's prices may be cheap, but can you be sure that others will dare to do this kind of business with us? Can you guarantee that others won't call the police? The Dashia dynasty forbids this kind of thing. So it's normal for him to sell us at a higher price. Get it? Hearing Farah's words, the man came to a realization. I see, if you hadn't said that. I really thought that he was trying to pit us as ingrates. There's nothing we can do even if he really treats us as ingrates. Don't you forget what we are now, said Farah's pointing to the white clothes on him and the black circle on his head. Returning to Chin Fan, he said, Mr. Chen, then according to that price you said, I'll set 30,000 roots first. We'll set it again according to the situation afterward. Chen Fan nodded and said, no problem. You can find me to customize whatever you need in the future. A big order was taken for the steel factory as well. Chen Fan was very satisfied. But that wasn't all. Chen Fan also had a paint factory. So he added, by the way, you guys have a lot of cars over at Black Gold Dynasty. Yeah, why? I also have a paint factory that has recently developed an anti-scratch and wear-resistant car paint. Hearing Chen Fan say anti-scratch and wear-resistant car paint, Ferris was not interested in it at all. It was because he wasn't from the Black Gold Dynasty at all. So even if this kind of car paint was good, it had nothing to do with him. Chen Fan saw that he looked disinterested. He continued again, I heard that spraying this new type of car paint that we produce will not only prevent scratching and abrasion, it's also able to dodge the speeding radar on the road. Although all of you in the Black Gold Dynasty are not poor, you don't want to receive speeding tickets all day long. If you're willing, you can be our paint factory's general agent in the Middle East. Originally, Ferris was not interested in this paint factory of Chen Fan at all. 
But when he heard that this kind of car paint actually had the effect of avoiding speeding radar, he was immediately interested. To know that can dodge the speeding radar, that is to say that this kind of paint has a certain degree of adsorption to the radar. Although I don't know if it can avoid the military radar. But if it was really effective, then it would be too much help for them. It was important to know that the technology of the Elysium dynasty was not a bit stronger than their Canaan dynasty. And there was also the Great Eagle dynasty behind them. There were a large number of anti-aircraft missiles in Elijah dynasty. The missiles that they had launched towards the Erect dynasty before were basically all shot down by the Erect dynasty's air defense system. What you said is true. It can evade radar? Ferris asked as he grabbed Chen Fan's arm in excitement. I'm talking about dodging traffic radar. And it wasn't me who said that either. It's from the feedback of those users who sprayed our new car paint. As for whether it's true or not, I don't know. After Chin Fan finished speaking, Ferris was a little hesitant in his heart. Because this material was something very high tech. There were many dynasties that spent a lot of money and couldn't come up with this kind of material. It was extremely unlikely that Chin Fan, a small private enterprise, could make this material. But in case it was true, it would bring them great help. Mr. Chen, why don't we go just to your paint factory first? Chen Fan and his group drove to the paint factory again. As soon as they entered the factory Ferris couldn't help but get a little disappointed. If anything, the scale of the steel factory made him feel quite good. The gas tank factory was slightly more shabby. But now let him see the paint after, it is even more disappointed. The entire paint factory covers a total of only 3 or 4 acres of land. There is also a large part of it is empty land. Factory buildings are also some low kind. It doesn't look like a regular paint factory at all. This kind of small broken factory in his opinion, it is simply impossible to research so high-tech car paint too. Even Ferris thought that Chen Fan's factory might not even be able to produce car paint. Seeing Ferris face full of disappointment, Chen Fan naturally knew what he was thinking in his heart. He didn't explain too much either. After the group got out of the car, Chen Fan had thought of going to the office to rest for a while before going to the factory to look around. He didn't realize that Ferris didn't want to waste time here at all. Mr. Chen, is this the place you said could produce anti-radar car paint? Chen Fan nodded and said, yes, this is the paint factory under my name. Mr. Chen, you're lying to me, it's impossible for a small factory like this to produce a car paint like that. How do you know it can't? The scale of this factory of yours is so small, it should just be producing ordinary paints. With such a small scale, the automobile manufacturers can't even look at it. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, yes, it's true that automobile manufacturers can't look at it. But this is not directly related to the car paint we are researching. I know you don't believe me, we can try two random cars. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Ferris asked. It's very simple, let's find two cars, one sprayed with the paint produced by our factory, and the other not. Then let these two cars run on the highway together once and see if there are any illegal records and we'll know. Let's try it then. Although Ferris felt that it was impossible for the small broken factory to produce that kind of high-tech paint. But there was still a hint of fantasy in his heart. Just in case this was true. So Chen Fan drove his own car, and asked Sun Hong to bring the paint to drive his car, and together they came to the previous repair shop. Brother Sun, how's that paint thing going? When can I be an agent? As soon as Chen Fan got out of their car, the owner of the repair store immediately trotted over. After saying that, he saw Chen Fan again and knew that Chen Fan was the big boss of the paint factory. He hurriedly greeted Chen Fan. Mr. Chen, what needs to be done? You just open your mouth directly. Chen Fan nodded and said, you do a full paint job on this car of mine. The faster the better, I have foreign friends here waiting to see the results. The owner of the car repair store had long seen the foreigners who came with Chen Fan and the others. Now he heard Chen Fan say that these foreigners wanted to see the effect of the car paint. He immediately understood. It turned out that Mr. Chen had already taken his business abroad. Then it was absolutely right to follow him in the future. In order to be able to leave a good impression on Chen Fan, the car repair store owner immediately called everyone in the store over, letting everyone work together so as to maximize the progress. Ferris, who was on the side, asked after seeing the car repair store owner's attitude towards Chen Fan. Mr. Chen, does this person owe you a lot of money? Why does it look like he's afraid of you? Chen Fan smiled and explained, he doesn't owe me any money, but he wants to point at me to make money. Pointing at you to make money? Is it because of the paint? Chen Fan nodded and said, our kind of paint has just been developed. He wants to be an agent and follow to make some money. Ferris looked at Chen Fan and felt that he didn't feel like he was telling a lie. And what Chen Fan said to the car repair store owner just now. Although he couldn't understand it, he could see the relationship between the two. Moreover, the car repair store owner's complimentary demeanor didn't seem to be feigned. Ferris heart slowly began to Chen Fan said the kind of car paint and some more expectations. The whole car painting time is a bit long. 
It was already afternoon when it was all done. This color is beautiful. Seeing the repainted Santana, Ferris said heartily, Let's go, you guys are in two separate cars. These two cars are both in mine and son's name, so if there is a violation or we get caught speeding, both of us will be alerted on our cell phones. Ferris was a little skeptical about this, because there was no such technology in their country. Mr. Chen, can you give us a demonstration first? Demonstrate what? Demonstrate that if you break the law, it will send you a message soon. This, this request from Ferris made Chen Fan a little surprised. In his opinion, wasn't it a very normal thing to break the law and be photographed? Why didn't they even believe in this? Why is there any difficulty? The difficulty is not there, it's just a little bit of fee points. But for the sake of this big customer that little bit of points Chen Fan didn't care. So he drove his car to the city and found a place where he usually took more accurate pictures. Deliberately pressed the line a little while driving. Not a few minutes later, Chen Fan's cell phone received a message alert. Chen Fan was deducted 3 points and fined $200. Seeing the illegal tip on Chen Fan's cell phone. Only then did Ferris believe it. So Chen Fan drove the car to the highway again. There was no way, there were too many cars on the road below. There was no possibility of speeding at all. After both cars were on the highway, Chen Fan said to Ferris, Speeding on the highway is very dangerous, so let's try to shorten this distance as much as possible, and as soon as we receive a message on Sun Hang's cell phone, we'll go back. Ferris nodded and said, Okay. So Chen Fan started driving his Santana all the way down the highway. The speed of the car reached 106 at its fastest. When it reached the speed, Chen Fan's Santana drifted a bit when he drove it. Ferris, who was sitting in the car, was even gripping the armrest tightly with both hands. Chen Fan saw Sun Hang's car behind him flashing twice at himself in the rearview mirror. This was the code word that Chen Fan had agreed with him earlier. The car behind us has received the illegal message. Chen Fan said as he lowered his speed. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Ferris let out a long breath. It's finally here, if it doesn't come, I feel like I'm going to throw up. You still get carsick? The fact that Ferris was carsick made Chen Fan a little surprised. An hour later, Chen Fan and the others re-entered the paint factory. This time there was no longer any meaning in Ferris' eyes to look down on this small broken factory. Mr. Chen, name a price for this paint. Ferris naturally knew how powerful Chen Fan and the others were in developing this paint. That's why he wanted to buy it in large quantities. This would increase the success rate of those missiles they launched preventing them from being intercepted. Mr. Ferris, you also know that this paint has a very high technological content. We also use some rarer materials in order to make this paint. That's why the price is a bit more expensive than other paints. Not caring at all about this, Ferris said with a wave of his hand. Mr. Chen, I know, just say how much. 300 Great Eagle Dynasty coins a barrel, and there is no stock. Need to queue up for customization first. No problem. Although Chen Fan's paint was expensive, it was just too helpful to him. Not to mention 300, even if it was 600 he would still buy it. I'll order 10,000 barrels first. The follow-up will be a long-term cooperation with you. Chen Fan was instantly happy to hear that it was 10,000 barrels at once. Although the quantity was small, it was dozens of times more than the ordinary paint earned before. Continuously in Chen Fan's three factories, they all obtained what they wanted. As if he had tasted the sweetness, Ferris looked at Chen Fan and asked. Mister. Chen, do you have any other factories? I still want to take a look. When Chen Fan heard this, he felt that Ferris was treating himself as an arms supplier, wanting to buy all the military supplies at one stop here on his own. No more, for the time being, I only have these three factories, if you have other needs, I can help you contact them. Ferris was slightly disappointed when he heard Chen Fan's words, but he was already satisfied. This trip to the Dasha dynasty had allowed him to buy many things that he wouldn't have dared to think of before. With these things, then their next plan, the success rate would be much higher. However, there was still one most important thing that he hadn't bought. That was the ammunition that was loaded inside the bomb. He had ordered a large amount of oil and gas pipes and gas canisters from Chun Fan. It was already enough for him to make tens of thousands of missiles. But then the ammunition he had there was a bit stretched. If he could buy ammunition from Chen Fan's place, it would be perfect. But with something like ammunition, there was no way for him to talk to Chen Fan directly. So he looked at Chen Fan and asked, Mr. Chen, I wonder if you can buy ammonium nitrate here? Hearing Farah's words, Chen Fan understood at once. However, ammonium nitrate was an explosive substance, so there was no way for the average person to buy it in large quantities. Chen Fan would not do such illegal things just to make money. No, ammonium nitrate belongs to explosive substances, and we also have very strict controls here. What are you buying fertilizer for? Do you have land to plant over there? Yes, 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 it's for planting. Hearing Chen Fan say fertilizer, Ferris immediately followed his words. 
If there is a fertilizer factory, there is, but I don't know where the manufacturer is. Then please contact them for us. We're not familiar with the area and there's no way we can find them. Chen Fan nodded and said, no problem. Hearing Chen Fan's promise, Faraz then put his heart down. Through the contact with Chen Fan in the past few days, although he had made a lot of money while trading with himself, but the person was still very reliable. Since Chen Fan had agreed, there was basically nothing wrong with this matter. Then it will be hard for you, if you can really help us contact the fertilizer, I won't let you help for nothing. Chen Fan hemmed and hawed and said, huh, the way you put it, we are all old friends. This favor is nothing. After the paint factory, Chen Fan returned to the gas tank factory. After signing all the contracts for several orders, Faraz also directly transferred all the money to Chen Fan. With this, Chen Fan's account had an extra 600 to 700 million Dasha dynasty dollars. Both Chen Fan and Faraz were very satisfied with this cooperation. Just as Chen Fan and the others finished signing the contract, Faraz and the others were ready to leave. A police car suddenly drove in from the gas tank factory. Seeing the police car come in, both Chen Fan and Faraz's expressions were tightened. Looking at the police car outside, Chen Fan thought to himself could it be that he had been exposed so quickly? Faris was even more nervous than Chen Fan. He had managed to find a reliable and stable arms supplier. If he was investigated by the police department, then all this time's efforts would be in vain. Just as Chen Fan and Faris were frowning and staring at the police car in the courtyard, Song Zhe got down from the car. He came straight towards the office. As soon as he opened the door, Song Zhe saw several people standing in the room wearing all white clothes with black head rings on their heads. Mr. Chen, is this a foreign client? Chen Fan nodded and said, yes, didn't I tell you last time? These are the customers who ordered the gas tanks from our factory. They came to our factory to check it out and are ready to sign a long-term cooperation agreement with us. Mr. Chen, awesome, selling gas tanks abroad is the first time I've seen it. Song Zhe said this from the bottom of his heart. The domestic market was bad, all the other gas tank factories had closed down. Only Chen Fan could think of opening up foreign markets. Officer Song, is there something you're here for? Oh, it's like this, Zhang Suihua and the others have been sentenced, from six months to a year, Zhang Suihua was sentenced to a year. I had wanted to come over to talk to you, and by the way, take another look, that shot a one-piece courtyard wall defense system of yours. Since you have guests here, I won't bother. I'll come back some other day. That's really embarrassing. If there's anything you need to do, you can just call me directly. Originally, Chen Fan was just saying this casually. But Song Zhe shook his head and said, you can't say anything about this on the phone. All right, you get busy first I'll come back in a couple days. After saying that, he turned around and left. Walking Song Zhe to the door Chen Fan asked again, Officer Song, what exactly is it that you're looking for me for? Song Zhe glanced at those foreigners behind Chen Fan and said, let's talk about it in a couple days. Good. Song Zhe was unwilling to say, so Chen Fan didn't continue to ask anymore. After sending Song Zhe away, he sent Faris and the others away as well. As soon as they left, Chen Fan returned to his office and began to look online to see if there were any fertilizer plants for sale. Fertilizer plants were just like gas tank plants. Both belonged to the sunset industry. Now more and more land was being built into factories. There are fewer and fewer land growers. Yields are getting lower and lower. Naturally, fewer and fewer people use fertilizer. So many fertilizer factories are in danger of closing down just like gas tank factories. A casual search on the internet found no less than 20 fertilizer factories for sale. These fertilizer factories are all in full formalities. It is only because of the poor efficiency that they are thinking of selling at the bottom price. Seeing so many fertilizer factories for sale online. A very hefty smile. The lucrative business is here again. The next day Chen Fan was among the many manufacturers selling fertilizer plants. He picked a fertilizer factory that mainly made ammonium nitrate fertilizer. This fertilizer factory was called Yangon Fertilizer Factory. It was a new fertilizer factory that had just gone into production five years ago. The owner was a very famous local wealthy businessman, Li Yangon, who invested in its construction. When Chen Fan came, Yangon Fertilizer Factory had already stopped production for almost a year. There wasn't even a security guard in the factory anymore. Called to contact. After about half an hour a black Mercedes Benz stopped next to Chen Fan's broken Santana. From the car came down a young man who was about Chen Fan's age. Are you the one who wants to buy this factory? After the young man came down, he looked at Chen Fan and asked. This person looked like a second generation rich man, wearing a famous brand on his body. There was also a very pretty girl sitting on the passenger seat. Yes, it's me. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Li Kai said with some disdain. 10,000 tons per year, 1 million dollars. If you want it, sign the contract, if you don't want it, hurry up and say it, don't delay my time. Chen Fan drove a broken Santana and wore a miscellaneous brand. 
At a glance, he didn't look like a rich man. Li Kais didn't want to bullshit with Chen Fan, so he directly threw out the base price. One million dollars? This price was lower than Chen Fan's expectations, making him surprised. Yes, want it or not? Li Kais said with some impatience. Yes, why not? How could Chen Fan not want a fertilizer plant when he could buy it so cheaply? Then sign the contract. After saying this, Li Kais directly took out the contract from the car and handed it to Chen Fan. Good. Chen Fan signed the contract on the spot then transferred the money to Li Kais. After getting the money, Li Kais didn't say anything, got in the car and left directly. He still had to sign an agency agreement today, and this money was just his agency fee. Chen Fan did not expect to buy the fertilizer factory so simply. But although the plant was bought. But this factory has been shut down for almost a year, and the factory is full of weeds. And the workers have to be recruited now. If you want to start production, you need to repair the machines, clean up the plant, and recruit new workers. All these things need someone to keep an eye on. After thinking for a while, Chen Fan decided to let Sun Hong come. Mainly because Sun Hang's home is closer to here. On the other hand, the paint factory is now slowly getting on track. Sun Hong also had time. So Chen Fan drove to the paint factory. When he entered the factory, he saw a black Mercedes Benz parked inside, which looked a bit familiar. He came to the office to have a look. Surprisingly, it was really Lee K. Ice who had just signed an agreement with himself. Brother Sun, don't worry if you leave the agent of Chuanla County to me. In less than half a year, I guarantee that all the repair stores and forest stores in Chuanla County will use our paint. The paint produced by 100 years paint factory had now begun to spread in some rich second generation circles. Although these rich second generation dilettantes were playboys, they were well informed. Their families also had money, so during this period of time, there were often some rich second generation people who came to find Sun Hung as an agent. Li Kaixian also heard from another rich second generation at a party. He took the initiative to contact Sun Hung. He was very polite to Sun Hung, after all, this was his god of wealth. Well, this was introduced by Xiao Lu, he also told me about your family's strength, I am very relieved to cooperate with you. As the two were talking, Chen Fan walked in from outside. Seeing Chen Fan come in, Li Kaixian froze. Thinking to himself how could he see a country bumpkin everywhere? Could it be that he was also here as an agent? This matter was only known to people in their circle. How did he know? I haven't heard of any newcomers in the circle recently. Li Kai's was just wondering. Sun Hong on the side stood up and said, Mr. Chen, you're here. Let me introduce you, this next door to Wanla County, Li Kaixia, wants to be our car paint agent. Hearing Sun Hang's introduction, Chen Fan nodded and said, We've just met. Met? Sun Hong didn't expect Chen Fan to have actually met with Li Kaija and turned his head to look at Li Kaija and asked, Little Li, you know our mister. Chen, why didn't you tell me? Li Kai's looked at Chen Fan with a surprised look on his face. Indeed we met just now, mister. Chen just bought one of my family's fertilizer plants. How could he not have thought that the person who drove a small broken Santana just now to acquire his own fertilizer factory? Surprisingly, he was one of the owners of this paint factory. What a fertilizer factory? Hearing Li Kai's words, Sun Han was very surprised. He didn't understand what Chen Fan was doing buying a fertilizer plant. Well, just signed the contract. Looking at Li Kai's dumbfounded expression, he knew that he and Chen Fan had only met once and did not have any friendship. Little Li, this paint factory is Mr. Chen's, I'm just working for Mr. Chen. As soon as Sun Hang's words came out, it was visible to the naked eye that Li Kai's eyes were rounded. But Sun Hang's words were not yet finished. There is also a gas tank factory and a steel factory under Mr. Chen's name. Together with this paint factory and the fertilizer factory that was just purchased from you, there are already four factories. Four factories now? Li Kai's couldn't help his eyelids jumping. Although it seemed to him that those factories of Chen Fan were not very profitable, they were still the owners of several factories, and the age still looked about the same as his own. All the things produced by these factories of Mr. Chen are exported. At the end Sun Hong added another sentence. This time Li Kai's was completely shocked. Even the beautiful woman who had been following Li Kai's on the side started to seriously look at Chen Fan at this time. Although Li Kai's felt that these few factories of Chen Fan looked very ordinary, but just this one paint factory alone could make Chen Fan rich, not to mention that the other factories produced things that were going to be exported. It must be making money as well. Brother Chen, I'm sorry for just now. It's my little brother who has eyes and doesn't recognize him. Tai. Tai. Chen Fan waved his hand and said, which is true. By the way, can the former director of your fertilizer factory still be contacted? It should be possible. If you need it, I'll contact him in a moment. Well, then I'll be in trouble. After saying that, Chen Fan looked at Sun Hung again and said, Brother Sun, for the time being, you can go over and take care of the fertilizer factory. Tidy up the machine repairs and plant, and start production as soon as possible. 
Good. I'll go over in the afternoon. The matter of Li Kai's agency had basically been pretty much negotiated before Chen Fan came. After signing the contract, Li Kaija transferred $1 million to Sun Hang. After paying the money, Li Kaija then remembered. The $1 million that he had just transferred to Sun Hong was the money that Chen Fan had used to buy his fertilizer factory. This made Li Kaija somewhat speechless. This $1 million had gone back to Chen Fan before he even warmed it up himself. He didn't have a fertilizer factory, but only gained an agent. How to look at it seemed like he had lost money. Ferris returned to Canaan and found the big chief of Canaan at the first time, in an office more than 70 meters below the ground in Canaan. Ferris looked at the big chief and said happily, Great chief, this trip to the Great Xia dynasty has yielded a very large harvest. I didn't realize that the technology of the Grand Xia dynasty was already so advanced. The great chief looked at Ferris suspiciously and asked, What did you encounter that makes you so happy? In his opinion, Ferris' trip to the Great Xia dynasty this time was nothing more than buying some gas canisters. There was no way for them to produce something like gas canisters here, but it was only because they didn't have the raw materials. It wasn't some highly technological process. Seeing the big chief's curious face, Ferris said, Big chief show you this. After saying that Ferris showed the video of Chen Fan's courtyard wall defense system hitting the rabbit to the great chief. After watching it the great chief asked with some confusion, Isn't it just hitting a rabbit? What's the technological content of this? It's fully automated. What? Fully automatic? Hearing Farah's words, the Grand Chief stood up from his chair at once. Farah's had already anticipated the Big Chief's reaction. It wasn't a surprise at all. Yes, the TS-8 is integrated, and it doesn't require human intervention. My god, such a good thing, it's used to hunt rabbits? The Great Chief also didn't expect that the technology of the Grand Xia Dynasty had actually developed like this by now. Such an awesome weapon of war was actually only used to guard the house. No matter what we think of and how much money we spend, we must find a way to buy it. The ones used in the video were toy ones, but he knew that as long as it was replaced with a real gun, it could be used on the battlefield at any time. Already bought it over. One million. This price isn't cheap, but as long as we get someone to crack this program of his, we'll have countless systems like this by then. Hearing Farah's words, the great chief nodded in satisfaction. Not bad, he probably doesn't know the value of this thing. One million isn't expensive, you've done a very good job on this matter. Hurry up and send someone to modify it and try the effect already sent someone to modify it. Besides this, I also found a good thing there. And a good thing? What is it? A kind of paint that can absorb radar rays. As long as this paint is applied to our artillery shells and missiles, the chances of being intercepted can be greatly reduced. Hiss. Hearing Farah's words, the Grand Chief couldn't help but take a deep breath. This is also used for civilian purposes in the Grand Xia Dynasty? The Great Chief asked with some disbelief. It shouldn't be, this kind of paint has to be military in any country. But this is something that he has only just developed, so perhaps the officials of the Grand Xia Dynasty don't know about it yet. After hearing this, the Great Chief sat in his chair for a while. Somewhat regretfully, he said. Even the folk can develop something so high-tech. The rise of the Great Summer Dynasty is already imperative. By the way, how much of that paint did you buy? 10,000 barrels. But Chen Fan's side has no goods of that kind of paint for now, so we need to wait. And, the price can be a bit higher, let him ship it to us first. Once our operation starts, these supplies won't be able to come in by then. That's why we must stock up on enough supplies before the operation begins. After finishing, the big chief continued to add, On Chen Fan's side, you must not let him know our identity. Otherwise, he might just stop supplying us. Hearing the big chief say that, Farah's face suddenly turned a little strange. I think Chen Fan already knows my identity. Eh? You told him? Hearing Farah's words, the great chief said with some displeasure. No, he guessed it. How can you be sure he knew? The big chief asked, a little puzzled. He sent me three triangles for each gas tank, the kind we weld to our tail fins. The big chief's entire body went numb when he heard Ferris say that he had sent three triangles. This was clearly telling Ferris that. Himself already knew what they wanted the gas tank for. But even though he knew, he didn't say so explicitly. Just said that the triangles we were sent were for holding the gas tank in place. And the oil and gas piping and anti-radar paint, all with civilian excuses. Hearing Ferris say that, the big chief breathed a sigh of relief. It seems like he's an understanding person, since he doesn't point it out, we have to pay attention in the future. I, chief, the next day, the TSA the integrated courtyard wall defense system that was purchased from Chen Fan had been modified. They installed this system on the ground, with the computer system underground. If it came to wartime, as long as the computer system in the underground was not broken, they could then replace the guns and bullets and cameras outside at any time, inside an office. Ferris and the Grand Chieftain looked at the surveillance images on the computer screen. 
At this time a sheep had just appeared in the middle of the screen. Immediately afterward, it was locked by the computer system. Then the modified machine gun opened fire and killed the sheep directly. From the discovery of the sheep, to the start of the robbery took only a few seconds. The whole process did not involve anyone manually. After seeing this effect, the big chief was very happy. With this, we can reduce the sacrifices of many of our warriors. Immediately have our technicians crack this system. Strive to install more. Yes, great chief. As the two were talking, a programmer walked in from outside with a frown on his face. Great chief, this system is encrypted, it can't be cracked. Eh? What's going on? Hearing this programmer's words, the great chief also frowned. Almost everything in this system program can be modified, but the key contents of the program are encrypted, and can only be done by using an activation code. Otherwise it can't be used even if the entire program is copied, and it also has a self-destruct program inside. The program will self-destruct if it is forcefully cracked. Hearing the programmer's words, the Grand Elder and Faraz looked at each other. It seems like Chin Fan had already anticipated that we would do this. That's why he left such a hand in the middle of the program. Faraz nodded and said, Indeed, I didn't expect him to do that either. So what now? Without the activation code, it would be useless even if he copied it many times. You contact him and purchase 10 more sets. We have to get this done before we launch the operation. Good. I'll contact Chin Fan right now. Also, I've asked Chen Fan to contact the purchase of ammonium nitrate for us. If he can help us get ammonium nitrate, then the ammunition will also be available. You hurry up and rush this matter. There's less than a month before our operation begins. It must be delivered before the operation. Yes. If all the supplies can be put in place, then our operation can be called not Operation Vengeance. Ferris asked as he looked at the Grand Chieftain suspiciously. If we don't call it Operation Revenge then what do we call it? At that time our shells will be like a flood to the enemy. It can be renamed Operation Flood. Operation Flood? That's a good name. Ferris' eyes lit up, feeling that the Great Chieftain had a very good point. This time we must deal a heavy blow to the Israelite army. Let the whole world see that the Canaanites still have blood and resistance. We only have a chance if we make the whole world pay attention to us. The Great Chief looked at Ferris and continued. That's why you must properly draw close to Chen Fan. Whether he knows your identity or not, we have to buy supplies from him. This is the key to us being able to succeed. Faraz nodded solemnly and said, Yes, great chief, I will. On the other side, Song Zhe once again came to the factory to find Chen Fan. Chen Fan, did you complete that program for your TSA to integrated courtyard wall defense system by yourself independently? Chen Fan nodded and asked, Yes. What's wrong? Song Zhe specifically came to ask about this TSA to integrated courtyard wall defense system of his. This made Chen Fan a little surprised. It's like this, last time after I saw it, I went back and talked about it when I was chatting with someone. Then I don't know how it was passed on, but it was passed on to the top. Now the top wants me to come over first to find out exactly what's going on. It's best to take some information back. Hearing Sun Ze say this, Chen Fan froze and asked, is this going to be requisitioned by the dynasty? Sun Ze shook his head and said, I don't know yet, but the higher-ups are very interested in this system of yours. The exact requisition or not will have to be evaluated. Oh, it can be. What do you want to know? Song Zhe stayed at Chen Fan's place for the whole morning. Asked Chen Fan a lot of questions. Chen Fan answered them all. In particular, some of the core contents of this program were said without reservation. But Song Zhe was just a police officer. Not a programmer. He couldn't understand many of the specialized words that Chen Fan said. Nor was he able to understand the power of this program written by Chen Fan. Seeing that Song Zhe had a blank look on his face after he finished speaking. Chen Fan knew that he had spoken in vain. Song Zhe was a bit embarrassed. He also did not expect that just a program that automatically aimed and opened fire. There were actually so many Dao in it. Chen Fan, I didn't understand what you just said. But it also feels like it's quite impressive. I'll go back and report to the higher-ups. After finishing the business, Song Zhe looked at Chen Fan again and asked. Chen Fan where did you learn this from? I learned it when I was in college. Usually I like to study it when I have nothing to do. After that incident last time, I figured it out on my own. The reason Chen Fan had already thought of it. Song Zhe gave Chen Fan a thumbs up, you're really something, to write a random program and be seen by the higher-ups. I guess they can't see it. Although this program written by Chen Fan had some technological content in it, but this kind of auto-locking and auto-targeting technology, Dynasty had already mastered it a long time ago. So Chen Fan was now a little confused as to why the above would pay attention to this thing. Who knows, I'll go back and report it first and see what they say. Good. After Song Zhe left, Chen Fan fell into deep thought. The Chada One was not any particularly advanced technology. 
He felt that it could be that the matter of those gas canisters at the exit had been discovered, so it came to test itself first. Then he thought about all the things he had done recently. I'd been thinking about it all before and after. I feel that there is no big loophole. After thinking about it for half a day, I didn't think of the problem. Simply no longer think about it. Anyway, the car to the bridge naturally straight. When thinking about this, Ferris called him. Mr. Chen, how's the fertilizer thing? How's the contact you made for us? No suitable ones have been contacted. Hearing Chen Fan say that there was no suitable one, Ferris was a little disappointed. But before he could speak he heard Chen Fan continue. So I directly acquired a fertilizer factory. It's been undergoing repairs in the last few days and will be ready to start within a week. You directly acquired a fertilizer factory? That's great. Ferris' eyes lit up at once. He knew that Chen Fan was not wanting others to make this money. But such a result was what he was most satisfied with. Because Chen Fan was a smart man. Ferris had also dealt with him. It could be said that he knew his roots and was more comfortable doing business. Mr. Chen, I hope you can make me a few thousand tons to send over first, I have an emergency on my side. No problem. Chen Fan agreed very painfully. He bought this fertilizer plant just to produce fertilizer for Ferris. Working with a smart person like you is just pleasant. Ferris said very happily. It's all about making money. I'll have them produce your other orders as soon as possible. Just rest assured. Then I'll trouble you. After hanging up the phone Ferris told the great chief the news. The great chief was also very happy. He began to order the people below to continue to speed up the production of ammunition. The next half a month or so, the four factories under Chen Fan's name were in full production. Gas tanks, oil and gas pipes, car paint and fertilizer. Truckloads of them were being shipped out from the various factories. Due to Chen Fan using too many containers during this time, he directly became a VIP customer of the shipping company. The shipping costs were also a lot cheaper than they were originally. The people in the village didn't know that Chen Fan had other factories besides the gas tank factory. But just this gas tank factory alone. Every day, there were container trucks pulling gas tanks out. This made those in the village feel that the Chen family was going to be rich this year. Full of them, they also began to treat the Chen family better. Even those who had been badmouthing the Chen family since Zhang Suihua went in. Now they also stopped talking. Especially after Chen Fan Wang Kaixian lifted four Mercedes-Benz businesses in one breath. After he drove the cars back to the gas tank factory, there was even less people who dared to say anything. This day Chen Fan was surfing the internet in his office when Song Zhe came again. This time he didn't come by himself. There were several other people who came with him. These people were not ordinary people at a glance. Mr. Chen, these are the technicians from the top who shot down and want to take a look at that system you wrote. Good. For these people Chen Fan was still relatively respectful. After all, these were the people sent by Dynasty. Hello, my name is Chao Jianzhang. I'm a researcher at the Third Research Institute under the Ministry of War. These are my colleagues. Chao Jianzhang looked at Chen Fan as he introduced the few people who came with him one by one. The first few people had a very good attitude and shook Chen Fan's hand. But when it came to the last young man who was carrying a school bag, seeing him holding his shoulders with both hands, he looked at Chen Fan and just grunted through his nose. Then he directly turned around and walked aside. Seeing that young man with such an attitude, Xiao Jianzhang said to Chen Fan with some embarrassment. Mr. Chen, don't take offense, he has this temper. Chen Fan nodded without saying anything. As soon as Xiao Jianzhang finished saying this, that young man suddenly said with a disdainful voice in his tone. Che, isn't it just an image locking, system controlled firing program? Something for a child's play. There's still no need for us to make a personal trip. As soon as he said this, everyone present frowned. In Ji, how do you talk? Xiao Jianzhang said with great unhappiness. It's not like I'm wrong. Something like this isn't even worth a personal trip for us. In Ji repeatedly said such things in front of Chen Fan. Chen Fan was also a bit angry, then go away. Oomph, as if I wanted to come. After saying that In Shi went outside. After he left, Xiao Jianzhang said with some embarrassment. Mr. Chen, don't get on his bad side, he's just young and unintelligent. Chen Fan did not pick up on this. Instead, he said to him, you guys came to see the source code of that program of mine, right? Yes. Didn't your military department already have this kind of program for checking and beating together? For what reason do you still need to see my kind? This is sorry, it's not convenient to talk about it for now. If this system of yours can be selected, I can tell you guys, but of course you need to keep it a secret. Hearing him say that, Chen Fan shook his head and said, then it's better for me not to know, I'm not a tight-lipped person. Zhao Jianzhang didn't expect Chen Fan to say that and laughed dryly. Then can we look at your source code now? Feel free to look. Originally, this program was written by Chin Fan casually. He didn't take it seriously either. If Dynasty wanted to casually pay some money it would be sold to Dynasty. 
If the dynasty didn't want it, that was even better. One could still continue to sell it to Ferris and the others. Your code is beautifully written. At the first sight of the program's source code, Xiao Jianjiang couldn't help but praise it. It's indeed beautiful, there's hardly a single useless code. The ordering of the code is also very neat. A code like this is not often seen in our research institute either. Yes, even Inji couldn't write such a code. A group of people gathered around Chen Fan's computer, looking and marveling. Song Zhe didn't understand computer programs, so he came to the side of the coffee table to drink tea with Chen Fan. Chen Fan, is this program of yours awesome? Although Song Zhe did not know how powerful these Chada 1 programs of Chen Fan were, but he knew about the third research institute of the Ministry of War. What was researched there could be cutting-edge high technology. Chen Fan shook his head and said, it's not very powerful. The two were chatting here when Xiao Jianzhang over there suddenly exclaimed, why didn't I think of this method? This method he used is indeed good. It's both simple and labor-saving. It can be used on the 698 prototype. Yes, if we had thought of this method earlier, 698 could have entered the testing stage by now. Xiao Jianzhang and a few of them looked at it while talking. It was obvious that they had gained a very big one from among Chen Fan's set of programs. Half an hour later, Xiao Jianzhang and the others finished reading this program written by Chen Fan. Mr. Chen, you are really a genius. You wrote that program so well. We were also greatly inspired by it. However, the use of this program is too singular. It doesn't meet our requirements. But thank you for letting us look at your source code. Chen Fan heard Xiao Jianzhang say that it did not meet their requirements. Chen Fan quietly breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. Dynasty couldn't see it, so he could continue selling it. What's the point of being polite? I'm happy to let you guys get some inspiration. Well then, we won't bother much, we still have to get back to work. Aha! Chen Fan sent Xiao Jianzhang and the others to the door. At this time Ying Ji, who had been sitting in the car, saw Xiao Jianzhang and the others come out. Isn't it not much use? I've said it before, how can this kind of place make anything useful? Ying Ji's words made Xiao Jianzhang very unhappy. Ying Ji, come over and apologize to Mr. Chen. The code that people write is much better than yours. And the solution to the problem is better than ours. Hearing Xiao Jianzhang say this, Ying Ji thought it was because he was giving Chen Fan face so he said this. He didn't believe it at all. If his code can be written better than mine, I'll go out upside down from here. After saying that, he directly pulled on the car door. Ying Ji had only just been recruited into their institute not long ago. Because of his good computer skills, he couldn't look at anyone in the unit except the director. Usually, he was used to being arrogant. Originally, this trip today was not going to let him follow. But the director wants to let him out to see the world. Only let him come. I didn't expect him to give Chao Jianzhang so little face. Yin Xi. Xiao Jianzhang was really angry this time. Although that Cha to one system of Chen Fan was not what they needed. But that was also because Chen Fan had never touched anything in this area before. But the technical content in it was not low. And from the point of view of this code written by Chen Fan, the technology was also at the level of a big brother. And the way Chen Fan's program was solved gave them great inspiration. They sort of owed Chen Fan a favor. But now Ying Ji was actually like this. This made Xiao Jianzhang very embarrassed. Chen Fan on the side saw this and walked out, knocking on the car window. Ying Ji dropped the car window and looked at Chen Fan with a disdainful face and asked, What for? You're looking down on me? When Chen Fan said this, not only Ying Ji froze. Next to him, Xiao Jianzhang and the others also froze. No one had expected Chen Fan to say this in public. Yes. Ying Ji quickly replied, What are you the best at? Compare? Chen Fan knew that he could follow Chao Jianzhang and the others here to see his program. Yin Shi must have a unique expertise in computer programming. Otherwise it would be impossible for such a person to enter the military research institute. You are not worthy. Yin Shi looked at Chen Fan and gently spat out three words. Hearing Yin Shi's words, Chen Fan laughed a little and nodded his head, alright. After saying that, he turned around and went back inside. Chao Jianzhang's face darkened at the side. He knew that Yin Shi's character was arrogant but he didn't expect it to be this arrogant. Yin Ji, get off and apologize to Chen Fan. Director Chiao, we'll only see someone like this once in our lives. If he's angry, he's angry. What does it have to do with us? And what I said was right in the first place. I think we'd better not waste time here. There's still a lot of things to do at the institute. Yin Ji spoke, half wanting to get out of the car and apologize to Chen Fan. Are you sure? Sure. If you insist, then I'll go and suggest to the director to let you leave the third research institute when we get back. Oomph. Whatever, Yin Ji had originally looked down on these older people, feeling that their level of technology had long since fallen behind. Many of his own views were dismissed by him. Moreover, he was specially recruited in, there was no way he could be fired just because of someone he didn't know. So he wasn't afraid of Chiao Jianzhang's threats at all. Go! 
Xiao Jianzhang saw that it was useless for him to say this, he could only blacken his face and get in the car to prepare to leave. He had already made up his mind to go back and talk to the director about this matter. Just as Xiao Jianzhang and their car had just gone out from the courtyard, before they reached the highway, Yin Ji, who had always looked down on Chen Fan, suddenly spoke loudly. Turn around, go back quickly. Yin Ji's words made everyone else in the car a little uncertain. Didn't you hear me when I said talk? Turn around quickly. Said it again and saw that the driver still didn't stop and turn around. Yin Ji angrily shouted again. Yin Ji, what do you want? Xiao Jin Zhang Yin Ji was inexplicably mad again and couldn't help but angrily rebuke. Stop the car. Yin Ji acted as if he hadn't heard Xiao Jianzhang's questioning. Once again, he shouted at the driver. The driver also saw that he had been looking at this young man with displeasure for a long time. And since Xiao Jianzhang didn't say anything, he didn't stop the car. Yin Shi saw that the car had no intention of stopping at all. He directly pulled open the car door. This action startled everyone. The driver hurriedly stopped the car. As soon as the car stopped, Yin Ji directly got down from the car and began to frantically run towards the gas tank factory. Only a car full of confused people were left in the car. Director Chow, this Yin Ji is starting to go crazy again, let's hurry back and take a look. That's right, although this man has good skills, this temper is really no one's fault. Hurry back and take a look, don't let anything else happen. Xiao Jianzhang was also afraid that Yin Ji would go and cause trouble. So he said to the driver, go back and take a look. This kid can't stay in our department even if his skills are good. It's too infuriating. After Chao Jianzhang finished speaking, the driver started to make a U-turn and drove towards Chen Fan's gas tank factory. Director Chiao, look at this. A person sitting in the back row pointed at Yin Ji's computer screen and said in surprise. What? Yin Ji's computer has been hacked. Ah, bring it over and I'll take a look. Yin Ji was able to enter their third research institute. Was entirely due to his amazing computer skills. And he was specially recruited from a hacker. Naturally, he had a firewall on his computer that he wrote himself. I didn't expect it to be hacked. Taking over Yin Ji's computer, he took a look. Only saw three big words written on his computer screen. I'm not worthy? Seeing these three words, Xiao Jianzhang laughed out at once. Ha, ah, so it's because of this. Seeing these three words, one didn't need to think to know that Yin Ji's computer had been hacked by Chen Fan. Director Xiao, I didn't expect Chen Fan's skills to be so strong. Without any preparation, he was able to hack Yin Ji's computer in such a short time. Yes, although he developed that program in general, this technology is what we need. Why don't we have a chat with him and recruit him specially into our institute? Being able to write a program for detecting and hitting, and also being able to hack Yin Ji's computer. Chen Fan's computer skills were no longer in doubt. This was the talent that their three institutes needed the most right now. If they could special recruit Chen Fan into the three institutes, then their current projects would definitely speed up a lot. However, Xiao Jianzhang shook his head and said, do you guys think Chen Fan might come? Don't forget, before, Officer Song said that his business is very prosperous right now. It's all foreign orders, he can make a lot of money a year. Hearing Xiao Jianzhang's words, those people also understood. It was impossible for Chen Fan to go. Stop the car, stop the car. By this time, Xiao Jianzhang and their car had already caught up with Yin Ji who had just gotten out of the car and ran. Although Yin Ji's computer skills were good, but his physical strength was average. It had only run a hundred meters or so, and he was already panting with exhaustion. So he stood on the side of the road and waved his hand at the cars that were catching up, telling them to stop and go up themselves. Ignore him. Doesn't he want to run? Then let him run back. Hearing Chao Jianzhang's words, the driver was pulling up next to Yin Ji. With a direct hit on the steering wheel, he turned a bit then drove off with a kick of the gas. Only Yin Ji was left standing in place rushing at them and cursing angrily. But no one was even paying attention to him right now. Soon Xiao Jianzhang and the others returned to the gas tank factory. Mr. Chen, you really surprised us. Seeing Xiao Jianzhang and the others return, Chen Fan was not surprised. Really modestly, he said, I've made you all look at the joke. Which is a joke, this is amazing. Can you tell us how you hacked his computer in such a short period of time? Hacking a computer. All of these people present could do it. But the prerequisite was that they needed to go through a lot of pre-preparation. And like Chen Fan, with no preparation at all and in such a short period of time, hacked another hacker's computer. It's not just Xiao Jianzhang and the others who couldn't do it. Even Yin Ji couldn't do it. That's why Yin Ji ran here like crazy. This is easy. He just linked my wireless network. I wrote a simple program that entered his computer through the wireless network. Although Chen Fan said this as if it was simple. However, it made all of them present, Xiao Jianzhang, freeze. The technique of hacking into a cell phone computer through a wireless network was something they all knew. But from the time they went out to the time they realized that Yin Shi's computer had been hacked, 
it was only four or five minutes before and after writing a hacking program in such a short period of time. That was what surprised them. Can I see your code? Generally speaking, making such a request with a hacker is very excessive. But such a request that Xiao Jianzhang had made for the second time today. Last time, he lost his job. This time it was purely out of personal curiosity. So he was a little embarrassed when he said this. See, it's right here. Chen Fan did not take this matter to heart. Pointing to his computer, he said. Thanks. After Chao Jianzhang finished speaking, he immediately walked over to Chen Fan's computer and looked at it. Holy shit. This code is surprisingly only this short. After seeing those programs written by Chen Fan, Xiao Jianzhang couldn't help but burst out a foul mouth. Because this program written by Chen Fan simply amazed him too much. The code of the entire program was just less than 200 lines, but every line of code was very useful, and it was extremely refined. There was nothing superfluous. Even all the code layout was very beautiful. As a senior programmer, Xiao Jianzhang thought to himself that he could not do something like Chen Fan. This code can still be written like this. This has really opened my eyes. We never thought of this approach before. Chen Fan is truly a genius. Director Chiao, don't you really have any ideas to recruit him into our three institutes? It wasn't just Xiao Jianzhang, the others couldn't help but marvel after taking a look at the codes. At this time Ian she gasped and pushed open the door from outside, although it was only a few hundred meters away. But Ian Shi was now dripping with sweat. The clothes on his body were soaked through. If he wasn't gripping the door handle with his hand, it was estimated that he would have been lying on the ground by now. After entering the door, he glanced at Chen Fan and then walked over towards Chao Jianzhang and their side. When he saw the program code written by Chen Fan on the computer, the whole person froze. The level of this code was more than a notch higher than his own at a glance, and the architecture in it was also very advanced. A most powerful invasion tool had been written with the least amount of code. After looking at the code, Ian Shi somewhat do not believe that this is a powerful program. It would be written by a small boss of a broken gas tank factory in such a remote village. You wrote this? Ying Ji knew that after they left there would only be. Chen Fan and Song Ze were the only two people. Song Ze he had contacted before. It could be said that he knew nothing about programming. So the only person left who could write this program was Chen Fan. But he just didn't believe that it was written by Chen Fan. Yes. Chen Fan looked at Ying Ji's frowning expression and took a sip of tea and said indifferently. I don't believe it. You compete with me once. If you win, I will believe that you wrote this. In his heart, although he already believed that it was written by Chen Fan, but Inji still wanted to verify it again in person. But Chen Fan did not give him such an opportunity. He only saw Chen Fan still calmly looking at Inji. From his mouth, he slowly spat out three words. You are not worthy. Chen Fan's words came out. Inji's face instantly darkened. These words were ten minutes ago. He had only just said it to Chen Fan. He didn't expect Chen Fan to use it on himself now. When Xiao Jianzhang and the others heard Chen Fan's words, there was just one word in their hearts. Cool. This kind of in-your-face slap in the face was something that those of them that people who usually looked down on, but were no match for Ian Ji. It felt very refreshing. If they didn't know that it was not the right time to applaud, they would have already been unable to resist applauding Chen Fan. However, even so, the few of them glanced at each other. All of them could see a smile in their respective eyes. I, although Ian Ji was extremely angry in his heart. However, there was nothing to say. Before, he himself was simply looking down on Chen Fan, thinking that he was just an ordinary small boss. To be able to write a program like Cha Tao Wan was already the limit. So without looking at the code Chen Fan had written, he had directly said to Chen Fan's face that he was not worthy. But now, he had already read the code written by Chen Fan. In his heart, he also realized that he was not on the same level as Chen Fan at all. When he said that Chen Fan was not worthy, that was arrogance. Chen Fan said he was not worthy. That's just the truth. So when faced with Chen Fan saying that you are not worthy, Ying Ji, who had always been proud, had only uttered an eye. There was no more to follow. For a moment, a great sense of humiliation came over him. Growing up, he was a computer genius. Ying Ji, who had grown up with many people's compliments, was frustrated for the first time. For the first time, he suffered such a defeat. Only to see that he had been standing there with both hands clenching his fists as he looked at Chen Fan. When Xiao Jianzhang and the others saw Ying Ji's current appearance, they thought that he was going to make a move. So they rushed over to pull Ying Ji and were about to leave. Ying Ji, you're not allowed to mess around, hurry up and leave with us. Yes, this is a lesson for you. Just don't underestimate anyone in the future. The great god is in the people. Xiao Jianzhang and the few of them were talking at the same time, while pulling Ying Ji towards the outside. Mr. Chen, I'm really sorry for making you look at me funny. 
Inji hasn't suffered much since he was a child, so he might have met someone better than himself all of a sudden. The heart is more or less unable to accept it. Chen Fan nodded and said, understood. When the crowd pulled In Ji to the door, In Ji, who hadn't said anything, suddenly looked at Chen Fan and said, How do I deserve it? When he said this, everyone froze. No one had expected In Ji to say such a thing. In their eyes In Ji had never defied anyone. By saying this, he was admitting that he was inferior to Chen Fan. It was bowing down to Chen Fan. Wait until you hack my computer sometime. Chen Fan could see it. In Ji was not a bad person by nature. It was just that he had always been used to being proud. So after Yin Ji admitted to being inferior to himself, he, he also left a step for him. I know. After saying this, Yin Ji broke free from the others. Looking at Chen Fan, he said, I believe that soon I will be able to do it. I hope that if I do, you can have a fair and square match with me. Chen Fan nodded and said, no problem, but this computer of mine is not easy to hack. I will definitely hack it. After saying that Yin Ji turned around and left. Xiao Jianzheng nodded to Chen Fan with apologies. He also followed and left. This matter had passed. Chen Fan didn't put it on his mind either, but Yin Ji was different. As soon as he returned to the car, he began to think of ways to hack Chen Fan's computer. Because he had just linked to the wireless network in the gas tank factory. So he quickly found the IP address of the gas tank factory. But what happened next made him dumbfounded. Because this address was just a fake address. Following the IP address, he continued to look for it. Yin Ji realized that the IP address had already left the country. There was no way for his laptop to continue checking. He could only sit there with his head hanging down. All in his mind was the concise but effective code on Chen Fan's computer just now. The next day, after returning to the Third Research Institute, Xiao Jianzhang reported what happened at Chen Fan's place to the director of the Third Research Institute, Maku Fei Chiang. This Chen Fan really made Yin Ji not even dare to make a sound? After listening to Xiao Jianzhang's words, Xiao Fei Chiang said with a face full of surprise. And, not to mention Yin Ji, it's me I wouldn't even squeak. Chen Fan's writing of that code is too good looking. And the ideas are very clear, a lot of them are ways we've never thought of. This man is a computer genius. Seeing that Xiao Jianzhang actually esteemed Chen Fan so much, Curtin Fei Chiang couldn't help but ask, Old Xiao, is it possible to special recruit him and then? Xiao Jianzhang shook his head and said, Chen Fan is a small boss, and I heard that his business has already gone abroad. Do you think he would give up everything he has now to come to our institute? Maka Fei Chiang shook his head, that would be a real shame. We're lacking such a genius right now. Xiao Jianzheng nodded and said, Yes, Chen Fan, no matter if it's ability, skill, or character. All are first class good. It's a shame that such a person doesn't come to us. Xiao Jianzheng was very sorry. In his opinion no matter from that aspect. Chen Fan was very much in line with their requirements. Unfortunately, he knew that it was impossible for someone like Chen Fan to come. So at that time, although he wanted to ask Chen Fan in his heart. But then on second thought. If he were Chen Fan, he wouldn't have agreed either so it didn't open the mouth. Right, where is Yin Ji? After coming back, he dove headfirst into the dormitory. He should be holding his breath in his heart, wanting to hack into Chen Fan's computer and have another match with him. Xiao Jian Zhang was right. Yin Ji was indeed busy hacking Chen Fan's computer in the dormitory. But at this moment, his brows were wrinkled together. There was still no way out. He had wanted to hack Chen Fan's computer through his IP address. But Chen Fan's computer IP was always abroad. And it would change every few minutes. This left him with no way to start, unless he could hack the entire root server. But that would require a lot of manpower and material resources. It was simply not something he could do by himself. Chen Fan's factory was still in full production these days. The first batch of fertilizer has already been sent out. It won't take more than a few days for it to arrive. Chen Fan, on the other hand, was taking advantage of this time. He bought all the hundred acres of land around the gas tank factory. Although Chen Fan's gas tank factory was not big. But the benefits generated were very high. In just two months time, the taxes paid by the gas tank factory alone had reached tens of millions. Not to mention the money from the steel factory, paint factory and fertilizer factory are all settled from here. So now, in less than two months, Centennial Industries has paid over tens of millions of dollars in taxes. It has already paid more than tens of millions of dollars in taxes. It has become a local taxpayer. For such a god of wealth to want a piece of land, the local community is certainly very happy. Not only did they quickly complete the formalities, and also gave a lot of preferential policies. This day Chen Yan came to the factory to find Chen Fan. Since handing over the factory to Chen Fan, the business of the factory is getting better and better, and Chen Fan has also acquired several factories on the verge of bankruptcy one after another. Chen Yan was getting old. Seeing that Chen Fan was so capable, he was also very relieved to hand over the factory to Chen Fan. 
He has been resting at home during this period of time. After all, he was a member of the older generation. After two months at home, he couldn't stay any longer. He wanted to help out in the factory. But now the factory was well organized by Qin Fan. There was no need for him to help. This made Qin Yan, who had been busy all his life, feel a bit overwhelmed for a while. So he wanted to bag the mountain behind the factory and find himself some work. When he told Chen Fan about this idea of his, Chen Fan agreed after thinking for a while. He knew that the older generation simply couldn't stay idle. It was not bad to find some work to kill time. Moreover, the hill behind had already been planted with fruit trees. There was no need to buy it and take care of it again. This way Chen Yan wouldn't be too tired and would still have some work to do. Seeing Chen Fan agree so quickly, Chen Yan, however, was a little worried again. The others are fine, it's Zhao Er's family that kind of doesn't want to sell their family's land to us. It's fine, I'll go talk to them. There was no other use for this mountain other than planting some fruit trees. It wasn't that Zhao Er didn't want to sell it, it was actually just that he wanted to ask for more money. Chen Yan was not willing to pay more money. But Chen Fan didn't care about that little bit of money. Dad, go home and wait. I'll go talk to him about this tomorrow. And that night Chen Fan came to Zhao Er's house. Second brother, at home. Seeing Chen Fan come. Zhao Er knew what Chen Fan was trying to do by coming. So he said bluntly, Chen Fan, you came for the matter of the acres of land on my mountain, right? Chen Fan nodded and said, yes. Then don't open your mouth, I won't sell those acres of land. 10,000. Chen Fan didn't bullshit him and spoke directly. That seven acres of my land, you want to buy it away for $10,000? Chen Fan's price for an acre of land here for them was just $1,000. The mountain was planted with fruit trees though. But the people in the village had basically gone to the city to work. There were very few people to take care of the fruit trees on the mountain. Basically, they don't produce much fruit. Chen Fan said a finish. This price is already 3,000 more expensive than others. But Zhao Er still disagreed. I'm talking about 10,000 for an acre of land. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Zhao Er rubbed his head and stood up from the sofa. 10,000 for an acre of land? Really? N. Come on, brother Chen Fan, sit down and drink some water first. Zhao Er did not expect Chen Fan to be able to offer such a high price. His attitude changed instantly. No more sitting, if you agree, go to the factory tomorrow and find me to sign for the money. If you don't agree, I'll use the $70,000 to find the village and let them figure out what to do. Chen Fan's words were considered both soft and hard. Zhao Er naturally knew that if Chen Fan really went to the village with $70,000, the village would definitely find a way to take the land back for themselves. After all, this mountain was not a ration field, and he himself did not pay the contracting fee. It's just hoard out for nothing. So at that moment immediately said, Don't worry, I'll go to the factory early tomorrow morning to sign. And, then I'll leave first. After saying that, Chen Fan turned around and left. After Chen Fan left, Zhao Er looked at Chen Fan who had disappeared from the doorway. Heat scared twice. Zhang Suihua, you guys are really blind, withdrawing your shares and backing yourselves and not to mention. The Chen family has made so much money. It has nothing to do with you guys anymore. Early the next morning, Zhao Er came to the gas tank factory to look for Chen Fan. Chen Fan printed a contract on the computer, signed it and gave the money. It took less than five minutes. The mountain behind the gas tank factory was surnamed Chen. After Zhao Er left, Chen Fan told Chen Yan about it. I didn't expect Chen Fan to take care of the things he didn't take care of so quickly. Chen Yan was also very happy. So carrying a hoe, he was about to go up the mountain. Dad, what are you doing? I'm going to the mountain to cut the fruit trees a bit and weed them in the meantime. Hearing Chen Yan say this, Chen Fan had two big heads. It was nothing that he was going to trim the fruit trees, but he also had to go and weed. This made Chen Fan somewhat unable to accept it. The whole mountain was more than a hundred acres. If he were to get rid of all the grass, he would be exhausted. Dad, that grass can't be weeded. You child, what are you talking about? If we don't cut the grass, what's the point of keeping it? Your dad has been farming since he was a kid, he's more experienced than you. After saying this Chen Yan was about to leave. But once again, Chen Fan pulled him back. Dad, your method of planting seeds is now outdated. Outdated? Then how do people plant now? Chen Yan was puzzled, he had planted land all his life. To actually be called obsolete by someone who had never planted land. This made him incomprehensible. But he still believed in Chen Fan's ability and vision. So he stopped to listen to him. We have such a big mountain, it's actually a bit of a waste to just plant fruit trees. Now it's all the rage to plant and raise all in one. Planting one? What does that mean? Chen Yan had never heard of the term integrated farming. It means that in addition to planting fruit trees, then you have to raise something on the mountain. If grass chickens, wild boars, whatever. Ah, uh, raising grass chickens, wild boars on top again? 
Chen Yan somewhat did not understand Shen Fan's words. Yes, it's grass chickens, wild boars. This can form a benign closed loop. After saying this, he saw that Chen Yan still did not understand what he meant. So he continued to explain. Grass chickens, wild boars can use the grass on the mountain as their food, which can reduce the input of feed. And what the grass chickens and wild boars pull out can in turn become fertilizer for the fruit trees. In this way, the fruit that comes out of the trees is fresh and tasty, and there are no pesticides. Grass chickens and wild boars raised on the ground, since they are all groundwalkers. There are also no those hormones and whatnot, healthy meat quality is also good. In the city, such chicken and pork are more than twice as expensive as the ordinary ones. Listening to Chen Fan finish, Chen Yan also felt that his idea was good. In addition to planting fruit trees, he could also raise chickens and pigs, which could greatly increase his income. This is a good idea of yours. Then let's follow what you said. The next day Chen Fan started looking for workers to enclose the entire mountain. Then hundreds of pig pens were built at the foot of the mountain. Then hundreds of chicken coops were built not far away. After these pig pens and chicken coops were all set up. And let people buy 50 wild boars and 200 grass chickens. They were stocked in the mountains. Seeing Chen Fan get so many pigs and chickens at once. Chen Yan started to get a little worried. Chen Fan, how did you get so many pigs and chickens? Hearing Chen Yan's words, Chen Fan smiled and said, Dad, we've bagged a mountain, this is only a few. There will definitely be more in the future. How can I raise so many? Chen Yan originally thought that raising three or five pigs and a few dozen chickens would be about right. But he didn't expect Chen Fan to get 50 pigs and 200 chickens. Although in his heart, he felt that Chen Fan had bought a little too much. But since he had already bought them back, he couldn't let Chen Fan give it back again. He could only raise them with a hard head. Fortunately, Chen Fan was right. These pigs and chickens are all free range. Basically, they didn't need to be cared for much. Just feed them once a day. It saved him a lot of trouble. That day Ferris called Chen Fan. Mr. Chen, can you sell me some more of that Chata 1 defense system of yours? How many do you want a few? You can just give me 20 activation codes. 20? A single Chata 1 compound wall defense system could control up to 10 guns at the same time. 20 would be 200 guns. He wanted it so urgently. It looked like he was ready for war. Chen Fan was still very sympathetic to these people in Canaan. So when Ferris opened his mouth and said he wanted 20 activation codes, Chen Fan immediately sent it to him. It didn't take long for Ferris to call over the money. Then he said to Chen Fan again, Mr. Chen, something might be happening on our side, I hope that in the recent period, you can give us priority in supplying US. We will give you a 5% increase on top of the original price. No problem. And so the next few days, every day, as long as the factory had enough goods for one car, Chen Fan immediately contacted to send them out. Because Chen Fan knew that as soon as the war started on Canaan's side, at that time, all the passages would be blocked. It would become very difficult for any supplies to enter, especially materials like gas tanks and oil and gas pipelines that could be transformed into weapons. It will be even more difficult to enter Canaan. Not only was time running out for Ferris, it was also very tight for Chen Fan. Sure enough, a few days later, Chen Fan was swiping his cell phone in the factory. Suddenly, he saw on the news that a war had started in Canaan. Seeing this news Chen Fan immediately clicked in. Breaking news, just now the Clicker Brigade under the Canaan region launched a military operation called Operation Flood against the Israelite army. In less than half an hour, the Clicker Brigade fired a total of more than 5,000 shells against the Elijah dynasty. The Elijah army urgently activated its interception system. Probably because the number of artillery shells has far exceeded the upper limit of the Israelite army's interception system. Nearly more than half of the shells landed in the territory of the Elijah dynasty. And the Clicker Brigade also took a ground offensive, capturing several strongholds of the Israelite army in a short period of time. After seeing this message, Chen Fan knew that the Elijah dynasty had only intercepted half of them, not only because of the saturation attack of the Clicker Brigade. It was also because the shells, which were converted from gas canisters, were coated with car paint produced by their own family. Kanan and Elihu were at war. There were pros and cons for Chen Fan. The good side was that as long as they were still fighting, they would be looking for themselves to buy raw materials, and they would be like having a regular big gold master. The bad side was that in the future, it would become very difficult for these materials to enter Canaan. At the same time, it would exacerbate the risk of exposing oneself. And once he was exposed, he would most likely have no way to continue providing them with these supplies. So for now, Chen Fan intended to expand his line of business. Get the laboratory up as soon as possible. In this way, even if any new products came out of his factory in the future, he could say that they were researched in the lab, avoiding himself from being targeted. The construction of the laboratory building had already begun. 
Chen Fan did not use the traditional way of building one layer on top of the other, that would be too time consuming, he used that kind of modularized assembly, this way, although it would cost a bit more, but the speed was faster than building a house layer by layer, at the same time, he also started recruiting researchers online, but these researchers he recruited were not the staff of those colleges or institutes, it was the students who graduated from some related institutions, although these students had degrees, they didn't have much practical experience, these people did not need to be paid much, Chen Fan did not have to manage them much either, when needed, he went to the laboratory and wandered around a few times, then just prompt them a bit based on the upgrade recipes purchased from the system, of course before they joined Chen Fan had already signed a good contract with them, as long as all the things developed in the lab, the patents all belong to the lab, the things in this lab, contained in the car paint upgrade, as well as steel upgrade research, at the same time, Chen Fan had also set up a special department to develop drones. Although this business of drones was not compatible with all of Chen Fan's current factories and businesses, but this thing would be the biggest consumable on the battlefield in the future. It could be said to have unlimited money prospects. While Chen Fan was building the lab, he was always keeping an eye on the battle situation over in Canaan. After Canaan shelled the Elijah dynasty, soon the Elijah dynasty announced that they were launching a ground attack on Canaan. They had amassed a large number of troops at the border. And it looks like Canaan's side is also making active preparations. But there wasn't any report on the news about Canaan's interior. The person on the internet who had been in contact with him to buy supplies had also never been online. In order to be able to learn more about the situation on Canaan's side, Chen Fan came to the extranet to have a look. There was really a lot more news here. On the second day of Canaan's shelling, Elihu had already begun organizing small-scale attacks. However, these attackers were not the Israelite army. Rather, they were mercenaries. These mercenaries were basically just advanced troops. The role was to attack and spy on Canaan's interior. But obviously Canaan had already prepared for this. And their troops were already good at guerrilla warfare. Those mercenary ratios didn't get much benefit in Canaan. While browsing through these messages, Chen Fan accidentally saw a recruitment post about mercenaries. However, the recruitment was not from Elagyu and Canaan, but from Ermao's side. They provided weapons and equipment for the mercenaries to fight on the front lines. These mercenaries were paid a daily wage. If you didn't count special missions, the daily pay for just one day of fighting in the battlefield was surprisingly as high as 1,000 European federal dollars. That's 10,000 Dasha dynasty coins. If you kill or capture enemy soldiers in the process, there will be additional rewards. There were also some special missions, such as assassinations, raids, transportation, and various other missions. Depending on the difficulty of the mission, the commission given was also different, from 500,000 euro federal dollars to 10 million euro federal dollars. Such a high salary made Chen Fan a little heartbroken. What is the point of being an entity with such a high salary? Wouldn't it be more profitable to directly engage in a mercenary corps? Of course, the most important thing is to be able to make money. Ever since he saw a progress bar in the system, Chen Fan wanted to fill this progress bar. But to fill up the progress bar, the amount of money needed was too much. However, Chen Fan also knew, this mercenary is not that good. If you don't get it right, you'll be stuck there. So he still needed to prepare. After putting down this idea of mercenaries for the time being, Chen Fan came to the R&D base. After nearly half a month of constant construction, the R&D base next to the gas tank factory had now taken shape. The recruited R&D personnel were also already in place. It was only waiting for some equipment to be transported over so that the research could be carried out. Chen Fan was wandering around the factory. Song Ze came in a police car. As soon as he stepped out of the car Chen Fan saw Song Ze frowning with an anxious look. Officer Song, why are you free to come here? Chen Fan, there's something I need to confirm with you. Good, then let's talk in the office. N. So the two came to the office. Just after sitting down, Chen Fan was pouring tea for Song Ze. Song Ze then couldn't help but look at Chen Fan and ask. Mr. Chen, do you still have a paint factory? Hearing Song Ze ask about the paint factory, Chen Fan's heart thumped. Could it be that the car paint thing was discovered by him? Yes, what's wrong? The paint factory produced a kind of car paint you know. Chen Fan nodded, I know, what's wrong? I heard that this kind of car paint has anti-scratch and wear-resistant e properties. Chen Fan nodded again and said, there is such a thing. It's like this, the bureau is going to spray all the cars with this kind of paint. So I want to ask if I can buy some from you alone. Hearing Song Zhe's words, Chen Fan let out a long sigh of relief in his heart. The agents for the car paint all over the country had pretty much been found as well. The production volume of the paint factory was now up. If it was discovered that the car paint had stealth properties at this time, it would make Chen Fan earn a lot less money. 
So just now, when Chen Fan heard Song Zhe ask about the car paint, heart was already in his throat. That's it. I thought. Because what? Song Zhe said suspiciously as he looked at Chen Fan. Nothing, how much do you guys need? Just go directly to the factory and get it. Chen Fan said. Song Zhe said with some difficulty. I've been there, the factory manager over there is called Sun Hungright. He directly took out for me, the orders for car paint to see. Now the orders have been lined up until after the year. Said he really had no choice and asked me to come to you. Song Zhe was a police officer though. The matter of spraying paint on the cars in the police station was considered official business. But this was, after all, a matter of asking for a favor. That was why he was a little embarrassed to say it. This is simple, I'll give brother son a call and just have him squeeze some out. How much does our police department need? Hearing Chen Fan agree so painfully, Song Zhe extended his palm with some hesitation. 500 barrels? No problem. I'll make the call right now. Unexpectedly, Song Zhe shook his head and said, not 500 barrels, but 5,000 barrels. 5,000 barrels? Do we have that many cars in the police station? Song Zhe shook his head and said, there are only a thousand cars in our department. It wouldn't have been possible to use that many barrels. However, when the budget report was typed, it was shown to the leaders of the city police department. After some research, it was found that the quality of the paint produced by your factory was indeed very good. So it was decided that all the vehicles of all the police departments in the entire city would all be repainted with your paint. Song Zhe looked at Chen Fan with some difficulty as he finished speaking. He also knew that this car paint was now sold out. Sun Hong had also shown him the order form. So trying to squeeze out so much car paint for the police department, it was indeed a bit difficult. But this is what the leader asked him to do. There was no way he could refuse. 5,000 barrels right, no problem, but we need to wait two or three days. I'll have Sun Hung squeeze some out of each batch. That's great. Seeing Chin Fan agree, Song Zhe let out a long sigh of relief in his heart. After Song Zhe finished speaking, Chin Fan made a call to Sun Hung. With Chen Fan's call, Sun Hung then sent less in each batch. It took less than two days to get enough of the car paint that the police department needed. At the time of settlement, Chen Fan directly gave a 50% discount. $80 per barrel. This made a little less money, but there was still $40 per barrel. However, there was still a profit of $40 per barrel. It wasn't that Chen Fan was withholding. He also thought of giving it away for free, or giving a lower price. But giving it away for free is suspicious of bending over backwards, and Song Zhe doesn't agree with it either. Did not give Chen Ben price, that is because this belongs to the business secrets. Song Zhe was already very happy with a discount. In his opinion, Chen Fan gave him the cost price. Song Zhe went back and reported this matter to the director. The director was satisfied. Chen Fan took the money, which means they don't have any special relationship. If he gave a discount, it means that there is a favor in it. In this way, he could also explain to his superiors. In a few days, all the cars in the entire Lincheng police station were sprayed with 100 years of car paint. This is equivalent to a disguised wave of advertising to the paint. More and more people in Lincheng knew about this paint. Not only that, after the police station's cars were all painted, Lin Cheng City also sent someone to get 7,000 buckets of paint from Chen Fan. Chen Fan still gave them the same price he gave to the police department. Regardless of whether it was for the police department or the city of Lin Cheng, the car paint, Chen Fan made a lot less money. However, the corresponding reward came soon. First, Chen Fan's new research and development center. By the city positioning municipal key scientific research unit. In the policy also gave a lot of support and tax concessions. This alone allowed Chen Fan to save hundreds of millions of dollars in taxes every year. Two days later, Chen Fan's R&D center officially began to use as the largest science and technology R&D center in the county and a big taxpayer. The Centennial R&D center was officially put into use. It got the attention of the town and the district. At 10 o'clock in the morning, the leaders of the town and the district came. A lot of people from the village also came. Many people didn't know what this R&D center was for but looking at such a big row. So they came over to see the hustle and bustle. This Chen family has really developed. Even the leaders of the town and district have come. Yes, I didn't expect a gas tank chief to be so powerful. It must be because their family has connections, otherwise why would so many leaders come? Then we'll have to pay attention from now on. Yes, just as these people were talking, many more cars came to the courtyard. Even the city TV station's car came along behind them. Hey, look isn't that the TV station's car? Holy shit, is this going to be on TV? Chen Yen's relationship is extraordinary. That's right, didn't you see the city leaders and the TV station come? This Chen fan is really getting ahead. The village people had never seen such a big battle before. They were all surprised by such a scene. 
They originally just thought that Chen fans that gas tank factory was making money, but hadn't thought that it was just a gas tank factory. It would make so many leaders come. Not only did these leaders from the city come, not a moment later, many police cars came. The leaders of the city police department also came. If the city's leaders came just to let Chen Fan some surprise, the leaders of the police department came. Chen Fan did not expect it all. So he hurriedly went forward and started to greet them. Just when Chen Fan was busy greeting these leaders, his cell phone suddenly rang. When he took it out and looked at it, it was actually Farah's calling. This made Chen Fan somewhat surprised. He hurriedly found a quiet place to answer the call. As soon as the call was connected, he heard Farah say, Mr. Chen, can you urgently allocate a batch of gas canisters for me? What's wrong? During this period of time, Chen Fan would look at the battle situation over in Canaan every day. The Israeli army had not launched a ground operation against Canaan for the time being. Chen Fan had thought that they hadn't fought yet for the time being. The last batch of gas canisters were blown up on the way. Can you send us another batch as soon as possible? Hearing Farah say that the last batch of gas canisters had been blown up, Chen Fan was shocked in his heart. It couldn't be that it had been discovered. Farah seemed to have considered Chen Fan's mind as well, explaining, Mr. Chen, this batch was originally intended to be shipped to Canaan for sale, but right now, Israel doesn't allow any supplies to enter Canaan, so it was blown up by them. But there are over 2 million people in Canaan right now, without these portable gas tanks. They might starve to death. I hope you can help, Mr. Chen. Chen Fan knew that Ferris was using the excuse that the poor people of Canaan were in need, wanting to continue buying gas canisters from himself. After thinking for a moment, he said, it's not a problem to send another batch, but even if we send another batch, aren't we afraid of being blown up again? Ferris said, we have a way to transport it. Good. Since he had already said so, Chen Fan also agreed directly without further questioning. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan made a call to the workshop director of the gas tank factory. Let him see how many gas canisters are still in the warehouse. Hurry up and contact the container and pull them all away. Chen Fan understood very well in his heart. Right now, the battle between Canaan and Eli Dell had just begun. It would likely be more difficult to transport in later. So he thought of taking this opportunity to give them some more. After arranging all this, Chen Fan once again came to the venue. The ceremony for the official commissioning of the Centennial R&D Center had officially begun. This ceremony was not complicated. It was the leaders who spoke. Chen Fan also went up to give a speech. Then he was interviewed by the TV station. After the visit, the leaders left. Chen Fan found Song Zhe who hadn't left yet. Officer Song, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? Song Zhe looked at Chen Fan and asked, Can our dynasty set up a mercenary company now? It can't right now, but it should be possible in the future. What do you mean? Do you mean that in the future, the dynasty will allow mercenary corps to be incorporated? Song Zhe nodded and said, it's possible, because as our dynasty grows stronger, the interests in the outer sea will also grow. There are many things that there is no way for the military department to send people to. That's why it's likely that we'll allow the establishment of some controllable private mercenary companies. After explaining, Song Zhe looked at Chen Fan and asked, why are you asking this? You want to become a mercenary? Chen Fan did not hide anything about this and, nodding his head, he said, Officer Song, I won't lie to you, I really do have this idea. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Song Zhe was startled. Originally, he thought Chen Fan was just asking casually. He didn't realize that he really had such an idea. Are you serious? Song Zhe asked again in disbelief. Chen Fan nodded and said, Yes. Officer Song, my main businesses now are all foreign, such as the Middle East, Africa, South America, and these places. As you know, these places are poor but chaotic. Today I have a client who called me, saying that the gas canisters that were shipped over to him before, were blown up. Although this is only the first time, it definitely won't be the last. I'm thinking of setting up a mercenary corps to help escort it. After listening to Chen Fan's words, Song Zhe was surprised and a little unsure of what to say. You are just a gas can seller. How dare you want to set up a mercenary company to escort gas cans. Gas cans and mercenaries. The gap between these two was a little too big. Song Zhe couldn't keep up with Chen Fan's thinking. After half a minute, Song Zhe looked at Chen Fan and asked, Aren't you making a big deal out of this? It's just some gas canisters, the price is probably not as high as the cost of escorting them. Would anyone hire mercenaries to escort these things? Song Zhe felt that the matter of him setting up a mercenary company just to escort some worthless gas canisters, it was more or less whimsical. I don't know about this, what I want to ask is if one joins or sets up a mercenary company in a foreign country, will there be any trouble in the country? Song Zhe thought for a moment and said, I'm not really sure about this, 
But I seem to remember that there are people on the internet who have participated in foreign legions abroad. After returning home, there doesn't seem to be anything going on. I'll find someone to ask you about it later. Thank you then. Chen Fan's idea of wanting to set up a mercenary corps. It had been brewing for a while. Right now, Canaan's side and the Israelite army were about to go to war. Big Mao, Air Mao's side had been fighting for over a year. There are also many places like Africa and South America that are at war. Mercenaries have long since become a way for many dynasties to avoid losses in their regular armies, and to deal with some of the things that are not on the surface of the first choice. Although Chen Fan is not a professional soldier. Although Chen Fan was not a professional soldier and had not even touched a gun in his current position, but he has a system. He can purchase the appropriate skills in the system to improve his combat power. Most importantly, his four most profitable factories, gas tank, car paint, steel, and fertilizer. Although they could bring him a large amount of wealth in a short period of time, but these four factories were not a business that could make money for a long time. As long as it is developed by the dynasty, whether it's gas tanks or steel and fertilizer, it's estimated that they can't continue to sell out. And the probability of the car paint business would also be controlled. This was also Chen Fan's purpose for setting up the R&D center. Wanting to give himself more room for business. Researching new things before those four factories stopped production. Realizing sustainability. Right now in Chen Fan's opinion, getting a mercenary corps was a good choice. Chen Fan was just about to study the matter of a mercenary corps. Chen Yan then came in from outside in a hurry. Chen Fan, it's bad, our family's pig is lost. Hearing Chen Yan's words, Chen Fan couldn't help but frown. He asked, Dad, how can a pig still be lost? Aren't they all penned up? In order to alleviate Chen Yan's pressure, Chen Fan had hired five people to help him look after the fences together after he had built the fences in the back of the mountain. Someone cut a hole in our fence. The pigs should have escaped from there. Song Zhe, who was on the side, heard that this was not lost, this was clearly stolen. Uncle, a pig doesn't need to be in such a hurry, I'll help you go look for it. Seeing Chen Yan's anxious face, Song Zhe comforted. After Song Zhe finished speaking, Chen Yan's face remained anxious. If it was just one pig, I would have left it alone. Fifteen heads were lost. Fifteen heads? That many? This time Song Zhe got nervous. It wasn't a small case when so many pigs were stolen. Song Zhe turned his head to look at Chen Fan and asked, Mr. Chen, when did your family start raising pigs? Chen Fan briefly talked about the matter of planting trees for the old man in the back of the pack. After Song Zhe heard it, he said, then let's go together to see the site. Then let the old man go back with me to make a statement. Good. So Chen Fan and his group came to the back mountain. The barbed wire fence around the perimeter had been cut one person wide with pliers. There were also pig footprints around the perimeter. There were also marks of tricycles outside. But since there was no surveillance in any of these places, and this is a remote location, and it's not every day that someone comes to check, so there was no way to know the exact time of the pig thief's crime. After looking at the scene, Song Zhe was a little worried. This is not very easy to find. There's no surveillance around at all. Saying this Song Zhe also looked back at the surroundings. There were fields all around. There were several roads that could pass through here. There was no surveillance. It would be difficult to find the pig thief. Chen Fan naturally understands. Although it seems difficult to catch these pig thieves. However, Song Zhe still said. In a moment, I'll immediately have people start investigating, there aren't any useful clues here though. But we can check from other intersections and slaughter points as well as sales points. You guys raise wild boars, it shouldn't be hard to find. Then I'll work hard for you. After going back Chen Fan felt that things like this would definitely happen again in the future. Instead of waiting to call the police after being stolen, it would be better to take precautions in advance. The first thing Chen Fan thought of was the courtyard wall defense system of his. But the range of this mountain was too big. If one used the courtyard wall defense system, one would need to arrange hundreds of them. But if so many were arranged, the power would be a problem. Moreover, there was no courtyard wall here, so if it was placed on the ground, it would not be effective. If a pillar was erected alone, it would be a bit too wasteful. After thinking for half a day, Chen Fan suddenly thought of something. So he immediately went to the system technology category panel. He found something called active phased array radar. With this active phased array radar, together with the drone's video shouting, it would be possible to constantly protect the entire mountain from forests 24 hours a day. So Chen Fan immediately bought this active phased array radar in the system. This active phased array radar system could monitor thousands of targets at the same time. In addition to being able to set detect the fences under the mountain. It was also able to add numbers to the wild boars and detect the location information of all of them at the same time. With this system, where is every pig? Were all able to be clearly displayed on the computer. At the same time Chen Fan purchased two more drones. 
These two drones were used to drive away the wild boars and to take videos for those who wanted to come over and cause damage to leave evidence. And as long as the identification system was installed on those people Chen Fan hired, they worked on the mountain and from time to time caused a reaction from the radar and the drones. With this system, Chen Fan would no longer have to worry about the wild boars being stolen from the mountains. Of course, in order to be able to use this set of equipment openly and honestly, Chen Fan also purchased a one-by-one -one nine-handed radar system and drone online. In case it was discovered at that time, he would be able to say that he modified it himself. It took three days. Only then did Chen Fan install the entire phased array radar system. After debugging the system well, Chen Fan found Chen Nian wanting to talk to him about this matter. But as soon as they met, Chen Fan saw that Chen Nian's eyes were red from staying up all night. Dad, have you not slept for the past few days? Chen Nian nodded and said, the pig stealers haven't been caught yet. I'm afraid they'll come again, I've been staying with old Wang and the others on the mountain for the past few nights. Although Chen Yan had worked in a factory for many years, but at heart, he was also a farmer. Although he was rich now, the family wasn't too far behind the money for these few pigs, but he was still heartbroken. He hadn't slept much in the past few days. Go back and get a good night's sleep in a while. I've installed an alarm system on the mountain, as long as someone dares to come and steal again. An alarm will immediately go off and drones will automatically go to drive them away. Chen Yan looked at Chen Fan doubtfully and asked, Drones? Yes, the drone can go over and take videos to provide evidence to the police. And it can also shout to get them to leave. This is much faster than you sleeping on the mountain. After hearing Chen Fan's words, Chen Yan was still a bit hesitant. He somewhat didn't quite believe that technology was so advanced nowadays. Seeing that he didn't believe his words, Chen Fan said, If you don't believe it then we'll just go and try it together and we'll know. Okay, go and try, if it really works then I'll go back to sleep. After saying that the two came out of the factory and came to the place where they were cut open last time. Chen Fan, there's no movement here either. Dad, don't be in a hurry. It'll take you at least 10 minutes to get here from the mountain. Aha! That's right then, although the drone is faster than you can walk. But it has to take a bit of time to fly over here as well. Chen Fan was just talking when he, he heard a buzzing sound coming from above. As soon as he looked up, he saw a drone in the sky rapidly flying towards them. It stopped in midair a dozen meters away from them. The mountain contracted by 100 years industry is ahead, the entire process is currently being filmed, please leave immediately, otherwise the police will be called. Ahead is the mountain contracted by 100 years industry, the entire filming has currently taken place, please leave immediately, otherwise, the police will be called. The drone was hovering above the heads of Chen Fan and Chen Nian and, while continuously issuing warnings, looking at the drone above his head, Chen Nian said happily, this thing is really good. After Chen Yan stepped back about 10 meters, the drone stopped shouting. However, it did not leave. Then it backed up another 20 meters. It went beyond the alert range set by Chen Fan. Only then did the drone begin to return. Seeing the drone leave, Chen Yan was all excited. He had seen something so high-tech for the first time, so wanted to try it again. So it came to the other side of the mountain. It was still the same as earlier. The drone arrived at the scene within 5 minutes, and shouted at him and Chen Fan to repel them. As long as Chen Yan didn't withdraw 20 meters, the drone would keep shouting. At this time he suddenly thought of a question. Chen Fan, what will happen if I just don't leave and continue to go inside? What won't happen for now? The alarm on our side will go off, and it will also make different sounds depending on the situation. If you force your way in, a special alarm will sound on my end. I will come over at that time. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Chen Yan couldn't help but frown. But if we wait for you to rush over, wouldn't the pig have already been stolen by him? Don't be afraid of this, our drones will follow him, and my radar is capable of detecting a 50 kilometer radius. No matter where he goes, I will have a display here. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Chen Yan then put his heart down. I'm relieved in this way. With no more worries in his heart, a wave of sleepiness hit him. I have to go back to bed. Well, I'll see you off. After sending Chen Yan home, Chen Fan returned to his office. He began to prepare to find upgrade projects for a few factories. The first one was the steel factory. There were many directions on how to upgrade the steel factory. Chen Fan found two in the system that had something to do with steel. One was the refined calcination technology of steel. The current steel forging machine, although the steel that was forged could already satisfy the vast majority of industrial use. However, there were actually some tiny cracks as well as some invisible air bubbles inside these steel materials. These cracks and bubbles are even difficult to detect with instruments. If used in some special equipment, it is very likely that accidents will occur. For example, if used on gun barrels and gun tubes, it might cause blowing up. Another one is the refining of special steel. This kind of steel is not very widely used, but as long as it is developed, the profit is very high. 
and demand will outstrip supply. Both of these technologies are very cutting edge. They are also very expensive. The steel refining technology requires 10 million Dasha dynasty dollars. The special steel technology required 30 million Grand Xia dynasty coins. However, although this kind of steel technology was expensive, but Chen Fan knew that they were all very useful. Without saying a word, he bought all of these two steel technologies. At this time, the system's progress bar increased a little. It reached 0 0.4558. After finding the direction of the steel factory's research and development, Chen Fan started to look for the paint factory. Chen Fan started to look for the paint factory. Chen Fan already had a plan for the paint factory's research and development. He directly opened the system to find the super materials. The first three items Chen Fan had already purchased were ordinary paint technology, anti-scratch and wear-resistant paint technology, and paint with anti-radar speed measurement function. These three options had turned gray and, and there were also no more purchase options. All that was left to purchase were the four generations of super materials. Generation 1 metamaterials, 2 million. Generation 2, 3 million. Generation 3, 5 million. Generation 4 super material, 10 million. Chen Fan directly purchased the first generation hypermaterial technology. After purchasing it, he read the description of the Generation 1 Ultra Material. Generation 1 Ultra Material could absorb radar light waves in a small area and reduce the radar reflection area by 30%. This meant that applying Generation 1 metamaterials to a fighter jet could make it look smaller than it actually was. Another one is the carbon fiber material, a branch technology of metamaterials. This kind of carbon fiber material has the characteristics of lightweight, high strength, high modulus, corrosion resistance, high temperature resistance and so on. Most of them are used in aerospace, national defense and military, transportation, construction, sports and leisure, and other fields. The application scenarios are extremely wide. Especially in the military, there is a very big role. The price of this carbon fiber material was 20 million Dasha dynasty coins. Chen Fan also directly bought it. The next step was in those gas tank factories in Chen Fan's own house. Regarding the research and development path of this gas tank factory, Chen Fan thought for half a day and didn't think of anything that could be relied on. After all, those few R&D directions of the steel plant and paint plant could more or less still be related to it. Even if others questioned it, it could still be justified. But the gas tank plant is different. A gas tank only cannot really give him upgraded into a bombet. So for the upgrading direction of the gas tank factory, Chen Fan had a headache. After looking through the system interface several times, he still couldn't find anything that could be related to it. This made it very difficult for Chen Fan. After thinking for a day, he could not think of anything suitable. At night, he was watching TV. An accident report was suddenly shown on the news. At 3 o'clock this afternoon, a tank-type special vehicle transporting highly toxic chemicals suddenly exploded on the way, causing one person to die on the spot and three people to be injured. Seeing this message, Chen Fan tapped his head and instantly thought of a gas tank factory's R&D direction. It was air tightness and safety. It could even be researched in the direction of high pressure resistance and vacuum resistance. So immediately found a tank plant technology among the system. Then another deep sea submersible manufacturing technology was found. The price of the first two technologies is relatively low only 5 million. The latter won 20 million dollars. From the price point of view, the technological content of the tank equipment technology is not very high. What surprised Chen Fan was this deep sea submersible manufacturing technology. Surprisingly, it needed 20 million dollars. This shows that the technological content of this thing is very high. Chen Fan bought it without saying anything. The last one was the fertilizer factory. This one was relatively simple. Just look towards fertilizer upgrades and increasing crop yields. Soon Chen Fan found a technology called high efficiency compound fertilizer. There was also a hybrid rice technology. The prices of these two technologies also differed greatly. The price of the front one of high efficiency compound fertilizer was only 10 million dollars. But the price of the latter hybrid rice technology was as high as 50 million dollars. This was the highest price technology that Chen Fan had encountered in the system. But think about it, no matter how high the technology is, no matter how good the food is, it will work. And this hybrid rice can ensure that more than a billion people in the Dasha dynasty's food problem. This technology was researched by Yuan Lao in Chen Fan's original world. Chen Fan didn't know if there was him in this world now. If there was, he wanted to invite Yuan Lao here. Using the technology he had purchased, he would let Yuan Lao test it a few times less. After buying all the technologies for the future development of the several factories under his name, Chen Fan looked at the UAV system and the system again. From Chen Fan's original world. In the future, no matter if it was for daily use or military use, drones would play a huge role. Especially in the military, 
no matter if it was a quadcopter bombardier or a traverser, or even large-scale cruising drones. All of them have a pivotal role and can even change the situation on the battlefield. However, now the drone has many companies in research and development, like the more powerful DJI. His drone technology is already very mature. Currently, it has firmly occupied more than 90% of the civilian market share. Chen Fan didn't want to steal territory from DJI on this track. He's looking at drones for military use. The competition in this market is mainly between dynasties, although it was also fierce, compared to civilian drones. The demand for military drones was greater. There were more profits. However, Chen Fan knew that he was a private company after all. It was impossible to directly say that what he was researching was a military drone. So Chen Fan found an excuse for his drone. That was special rescue. For example, when there was a high altitude fire, a quadcopter drone could be used to carry water bombs for targeted drops. It could also be used to use a traverser-like drone in some places where ordinary firefighting equipment couldn't reach. Quadcopter drones have places that cannot be operated, the use of traversing water bombs machine to break windows to extinguish the fire. Also look into anti-drone equipment. The more drones there are, the more anti-drone equipment is needed. There are no competitors in the anti-drone equipment track. It was a blank market. This was a very favorable point for Chen Fan. The system showed that the price of the quadcopter drone was $10 million. Quadcopter drones were priced at $10 million. The price of the traversing machine was $8 million. The price of the anti-drone equipment was $13 million. Chen Fan did not hesitate to buy all three technologies. After buying them, Chen Fan had these technologies directly in his mind. If he didn't need to cover it up, he could have directly developed it within a month, a drone that was better than DJI. But Chen Fan couldn't do that, so he could only come to the R&D center. First, he gathered all the 200 people he had recruited into the large conference room. The people Chen Fan recruited were all fresh graduates. At that time, the salary given to them was 6,000 per month. This salary was not high, but for a third-tier city, consumption was low here, too. Although the location is a bit remote, the working environment is quite good. Plus there are year-end performance and dividends. These people are also quite satisfied with the treatment. After all, they would probably not even be able to find a job in a large factory. After gathering all of these 200 people, Chen Fan looked at the group of young faces in front of him. In his heart, he was very emotional. Who would have thought? Two months ago, he was the director of a gas tank factory that was about to close down. Now he had become a big boss with over 400 employees. Those college students below were also very surprised to see Chen Fan. When they applied for jobs before, they were all interviewed by Wang Kaixian. The interview was basically just a formality. Basically, as long as they came to enroll, they all agreed. All along they thought that Wang Kaixian was the boss. Until yesterday, the R&D center officially put into operation at the ceremony. They realized that Chen Fan was the real boss. Our boss is so young. Yeah, looks about the same age as us too. It can't be helped, he's a rich second generation. What second generation rich guy, haven't you heard? His family's gas tank factory was about to close down before he took over. It was only after he took over that it slowly got better. I've also heard that our old boss is very capable. Hey, he's young and capable, I wonder if he has a girlfriend? Don't even think about it, even if you don't, it's not your turn. Opening the microphone, Chen Fan coughed. Those whispering below knew that Chen Fan was about to speak. So they stopped talking. Before the meeting begins, please stand up. Hearing Chen Fan's words, these people were a bit confused. Not knowing why a good Chen Fan would ask them to stand up. Just then, he heard Chen Fan say, please sit at the easternmost part of the room if you are studying chemistry, agriculture or want to engage in research in this area. After Chen Fan said this, those people below did not understand what he was trying to do though. However, they still obeyed his words and started to change seats one after another. After this batch of people had all passed, Chen Fan continued. Students from the steel-related majors please sit next to those students just now. With the experience from earlier, this time those people changed their seats much faster. Students related to material science, mechanics, and chemistry please sit over there. Please follow the students who are related to aerospace, drones or want to engage in research in this area over there. Chen Fan, based on the several directions in which he needed to conduct research and development, gathered these people together temporarily. There was no other way for him to do so. It wasn't him who recruited them at that time. Even if there were so many people, they wouldn't be able to remember them at all. So this was the only way to categorize them. After reseating himself, Chen Fan then started the formal meeting. As you all probably know, my family originally made gas canisters. Later on, one after another, we acquired a steel factory, a paint factory and a fertilizer factory. These small factories are basically not competitive. If we don't carry out new business and research and development, 
then we will surely be eliminated from the market. That's why I set up this R&D center. In the future, your R&D goal will be to upgrade the production content of these four factories. Your seats are the industries you'll be researching and developing. Also I have set up a drone R&D center. This will be a new front opened up by our company. At the moment, our R&D center has only just been established, and all of you are on the same starting line. All of you are in equal positions. I will select and promote some capable students from among you in the next six months to become your team leaders, supervisors, directors, and even vice presidents. So all of you students please work hard to show your talents. Let me see. But I'll say the ugly words up front, too. I don't oppose or even encourage competition. But it's absolutely not allowed for anyone to engage in backstabbing. Immediate dismissal upon discovery and it will be written on your files. Everyone should understand what the consequences will be. Chen Fan encouraged as he hammered away over and over again. These young people who had only just entered and left the workplace quickly put down the small thoughts in their respective hearts. They began to think about how to work hard to enhance their value. Because Chen Fan this kind of didn't give any of them positions. Everyone had equal opportunities, which was very rare for them. Especially some people with average family conditions. People with average school background. In their hearts, they were resolving in their minds that they must make a career here. In the end, I believe that our hundred years of industry under the efforts of all of you will definitely break out into a world that belongs to us. One day we will even build our hundred years industry into a company that can be passed down for a hundred years. Chen Fan's words made these people's hearts pound. One after another began to applaud him. At the end of the meeting, Chen Fan assigned them different floors based on their projects, and he told them the direction of research and development that he had thought of before. Let them start working on the research once they return. After the meeting ended, everyone was discussing the content of the meeting just now. Do you think what Mr. Chen said is reliable? I don't know, but I feel that these R&D directions he said are still okay. Yes, these few factories he has now are basically not competitive. If they don't upgrade, they'll be eliminated, there's no way around him doing this. But the problem is, what if by then, after investing so much, nothing is researched? Not all the investment will pay off. Many companies can be dragged down in the end because they invested too much in research and development and delayed the results. Right, I also feel that Mr. Chen is like this now. It looks like a far-reaching goal, but in reality it's a very dangerous step to flag. Then there's no way out. Hey, let's hope it doesn't collapse too quickly. Why don't you guys think on the bright side? We have research and development and a factory. As long as we can develop something useful, the factory can then be directly upgraded, and won't the future be vast? By then, we'll get promoted and get a raise, and marry a rich white woman to walk on the peak of life. Huh, so we are still very important. That's not true. The next few days, Chen Fan ran to the R&D center every day, chatting and discussing with the various project teams, then inadvertently told them ideas related to the project. Many people were greatly surprised after hearing Chen Fan's ideas. It was unexpected that Chen Fan actually knew so much about their project. Mr. Chen, did you also major in chemistry in college? After hearing that Chen Fan's insights were even better than his, who majored in chemistry, an employee couldn't help but ask. No, I studied medicine. Studying medicine? Then you're really great. I feel like I'm not as good as you even if I majored in chemistry. Yes, or else Mr. Chen would have succeeded. By the way Mr. Chen, I heard from my colleagues in the drone program. You also have very deep attainments in drones? And even researched a compound wall defense system for detection and combat yourself? What? A probing and fighting yard wall defense system? What is that? A person who didn't know about the integrated compound wall defense system asked curiously. You don't even know about the integrated catch and fight courtyard wall defense system? It's Mr. Chen himself using cameras and toys. Together with a program written by himself. It will be able to strike at people outside the courtyard wall who want to cause damage or even steal things. Hearing this, the man was directly stunned. Ah, Mr. Chen is so powerful. No wonder Mr. Chen wants to engage in drones. It turns out that he is an expert himself. Because they were all about the same age, Chen Fan had the status of a boss though. However, there was nothing to be ashamed of, and he soon became familiar with these people. The research and development of the project was revealed by Chen Fan intentionally or unintentionally. Slowly began to enter the right track. On this day, Chen Fan was chatting with them in the R&D center. Once again, he received a call from Faris. As soon as the phone was connected, he heard Faris on the other side, saying in a very tired tone, Mr. Chen, can you send me another batch of gas canisters? Hmm. Hearing Faris' words, Chen Fan was very surprised. Last time, he had already sent all the stock in the factory. It was reasonable to say that so many gas canisters, together with the ones sent before, 
It was definitely already enough. Why was he still letting himself send it there? It's not enough? Hearing Chin Fan ask this, Ferris couldn't help but sigh. It should be enough if it's all transported over. But a large portion of it was blown up by Israel's Mossad. Our secret tunnels were also destroyed. Originally Canaan had some some underground tunnels that would connect to the Egyptian dynasty. These tunnels weren't big, but they were usually able to secretly transport some things. After the last time the gas tanks were seized, they wanted to use these tunnels for transportation. It's just a pity that too many gas canisters were discovered by the Israeli army. Less than a tenth of them were transported, the rest were blown up. Mossad? Chen Fan knew that this was the Israeli army's intelligence organization. It was also one of the top intelligence agencies in the world. So many gas canisters trying to be transported through tunnels. Being discovered by the Mossad wasn't a surprise. Aha! This is the Israeli army's intelligence department. Ferris thought that Chin Fan didn't know about the Mossad and specially explained. I don't have any more stock on my side. If it's shipped to you, it probably won't be much. And even if it's shipped, how will you send it in? We're prepared to spend a high price to hire mercenaries to help us escort it this time. Hearing him say that he was prepared to get mercenaries to escort him this time, Chen Fan brightened up and asked, How much can we pay them for escorting once? 10 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. Chen Fan froze when Ferris said this figure. One had to know that he couldn't use that much money to send a shipment to Ferris even once. And these mercenaries could earn over 60 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins just by escorting them. Such a large profit made Chen Fan a bit red-eyed. Ferris didn't know what Chen Fan was thinking in his heart. He thought that he was just asking casually and didn't say much on it. Can we trouble you to allocate us another batch? We're in a hurry here. Ferris was in a hurry. It was because of the combined various intelligence. The ground operation of the Israeli army was about to begin. With their strength, it wasn't possible to fight hard against the Israelite army. They could only fight a guerrilla war. So when the Israeli Lenanese army conducts a ground attack, it will be even less likely to send in the gas tanks. The only advantage is, they still have a border with the Egyptian dynasty. Now, although on the surface the Egyptian dynasty has no intention of helping them, but behind their backs, they also turned a blind eye to them receiving supplies. Chen Fan thought for a while and said, can you leave this matter of escorting to me? Leave it to you? Ferris froze for a moment. He didn't expect Chen Fan to want to do what a mercenary did. At that moment, he immediately shook his head and said, no, mister. Chen, escorting is a very dangerous thing. If you don't get it right, you might lose your life because of it. Mercenaries are the ones who earn this money by putting their heads on their pants belts. This job is not for anyone. Ferris thought that Chen Fan was trying to earn the 10 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. It was only on a whim that he said that. I know all of what you said. I can wait until the goods are delivered to you before I collect the money. What? Collect the money after it's delivered to us? Mr. Chen, are you sure? Ferris was very excited. One had to know that both times the goods were either detained or blown up halfway through the journey. All of their money had gone down the drain. If Chen Fan could really do what he said, payment on delivery, it would be great for them. Of course it's true. Seeing Chen Fan speaking so firmly, Ferris asked doubtfully, Mr. Chen, you still have mercenaries abroad? Chen Fan shook his head, no. Hearing Chen Fan say no, Ferris was instantly deflated. Feeling that Chen Fan still did not realize the seriousness of this matter. Very unhappy, he said. Mr. Chen, I don't want to joke with you, you should still just just ship the goods. This time when the goods are delivered to the Black Gold Dynasty, I will find someone to escort them. Originally thinking that Chen Fan had spoken so firmly, Ferris thought that Chen Fan was a hidden big shot, having his own mercenary corps abroad. I didn't expect him to want to make this money without anything. In Ferris' opinion, this is not trying to make money. It was simply wanting to send people to their deaths. I'm serious. You don't need to care how I deliver the freight. You just need to promise to pay on delivery. Don't forget, even if you get someone else to escort it, there's also a chance that it will be intercepted, in which case not only will you not get the goods, and I still need to pay for the expenses on my side. Then why don't you consider this option of mine? Ferris on the other end of the phone fell silent after Chen Fan finished speaking. Chen Fan was right. If he was able to personally deliver the shipment, and still pay on delivery, this would be a very good program for him. After all, although they had a gold master behind them, but if they kept taking the money of the gold master and blowing it away, the gold master behind them would also be unhappy after a long time. Mr. Chen, I'll ask again. Do you want to be allowed to escort? It would be very dangerous. It's very likely that you'll get killed because of this. Honestly, it was a pleasure working with you. I feel good about this man. I wouldn't want you involved from my personal point of view, but if you've thought about it. Still, if you want to insist, I agree with your proposal. 
Hearing Farah's agree, Chen Fan immediately said, Don't worry, I will definitely send the goods to you safely this time. Chen, this site is dangerous, you must be careful. Aha, uh -huh, I know. After saying that, he hung up the phone. Chen Fan wanted to take this mission. It wasn't just because of the money. There was another reason that Song Zhe said. As Dynasty's interests in foreign countries grew, there were many things that the military department could not step in. So the establishment of a private security company in the future is already imperative. In this aspect of the country is currently a blank. Everyone is on the same starting line. Competition is not so fierce. It is also an industry that can be made bigger. And mercenaries were just a move for Chen Fan to test the waters. After all, the current him did not have any real-world experience. This was also to lay the foundation and accumulate experience in advance for the establishment of a security company in the future. But although Faris had agreed, but as he said, Chen Fan currently had no preparation at all, if he acted rashly it would just be a death sentence. So Chen Fan wanted to find some skills related to combat in the system. For example, firearms master skill, special machinery driving skills, close combat skills. As long as it was a skill that could help him in this operation, he bought them all among the system. Before and after, it directly cost Chen Fan nearly 50 million Dasha dynasty coins. Although these skills cost Chen Fan a lot of money. However, they gave Chen Fan a skill that was not inferior to that of a special forces soldier. It also gave him the skills to be able to gain a foothold on the battlefield. Now he didn't have any problems on his own. But it was a bit difficult if he wanted to recruit members. He didn't have any resources in this area. First, he came to the extranet and inquired about mercenaries on the internet for half a day. But there was very little news about mercenaries on the extranet. Most of them were mentioned in some news sites. After looking for a long time, Chen Fan finally found a recruitment post. This post was recruiting mercenaries to go to Ermao. It said it was a daily salary of 1,000 European federal dollars. It also left a URL. But when Chen Fan entered the URL, he found that there was no recruitment information at all. Instead, it was a company's website. After searching for half a day, he couldn't find a place that could really recruit mercenaries. Chen Fan could only give up looking on the extranet for the time being. Returning to the internet, Chen Fan changed his mindset. Instead of searching for mercenaries on the internet, instead, he started searching for content related to retirement and security. Soon, he searched out a lot of content. Then he looked for some useful information among these contents. After sifting for about an hour or so, Chen Fan finally found a person who claimed to be retired from the special forces and wanted to find a bodyguard job. Then through the phone number he left behind, he called over. After the phone rang a few times, the other party picked up the phone. Hello, Bai Huang is it? It's me, and you are? Bai Huang's voice sounded just 27 or 28 years old, and his voice was thick. My name is Chen Fan, I see that you saw on the internet that you are a retired soldier in the special forces? Looking for a job as a bodyguard? Yes. I have a job over here that requires me to go abroad, with a monthly salary of 100,000 plus commission. Are you willing to consider it? Hearing Chen Fan say a monthly salary of 100,000, Bai Huang did not immediately agree, but asked somewhat cautiously. $100,000? What kind of job? Escorting some goods, there will be some danger. Are you at home or abroad? I'm at home, I have a batch of goods that need to be sent abroad, I need someone to escort them. No. Bai Huang directly rejected Chen Fan. Why? Is it because you are afraid of danger? Chen Fan was a bit puzzled as to why Bai Huang directly rejected himself. No, I don't do illegal things. Hearing Bai Huang's words, Chen Fan was speechless. What I'm giving away isn't something illegal. It's just some gas canisters. Gas canisters? It was Bai Huang's turn to be speechless. In his opinion a gas canister was only worth how much money, and actually needed to specifically ask a special forces soldier like him to escort it. Yes, the specifics can't be explained on the phone, if you have the intention to do it, you can come to my place to take a look on the ground. If you don't want to do it, you can see if there are any comrades or something that you can introduce me to. I can reimburse the airfare and all expenses. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Bai Huang was a bit moved. Because he had only just been discharged from the army not long ago, he had spent 7 or 8 years in the special forces, and apart from fighting, he didn't know anything else at all. So he had never been able to find a suitable job. It wasn't just him, the situation of several comrades who had been discharged together with him were all in the same situation as him. Chen Fan was paying a very high salary, if it was to be really legal. He very much wanted to come, and at the same time, he also wanted to call those few comrades to come along. Really? Of course. That's good. You send me a location, tomorrow I'll contact my comrades to go together. No problem, I'll be waiting for you guys. But there's something I need to tell you in advance, you need to go through an examination if you want to join, and you can only do so after passing the examination. 
Ah, don't worry about this, as long as it's security related, we'll have no problem, Bai Huang said confidently. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan made another call to Faraz. Mr. Chen, I knew you would regret it. As soon as the call was connected Faraz thought that Chen Fan was regretting making this call to himself. Didn't want to deliver the goods himself. Regret? No. I'm giving you this call because I want to ask you something. What is it? Hearing that Chen Fan had no regrets Faris asked. I can find people on my side, but as you know, our dynasty is very strict about weapons management. Can you help me contact a weapons supplier? First time doing this without acquaintances. This is no problem. I'll send someone to deliver the weapons to you at that time. Well, thanks a lot then. I should be the one thanking you for taking such a big risk to help us. By the way, when will this shipment be sent? In the next two days. Well, I hope you guys can still make it in time. Although it was said that the Israelite army hadn't just gone for a ground invasion yet, the preliminary preparations were almost complete. Now it had been waiting for their great eagle dynasty son to ship them weapons and ammunition. Waiting for the weapons and ammunition reserves once they are enough. The Israelite army will immediately carry out a large-scale ground invasion. Ferris wanted Chen Fan to send this batch of gas canisters over before they started their ground invasion. The next afternoon, Chen Fan received a call from Bai Huang. Mr. Chen, we've arrived at the place you mentioned. Where are you? Bai Huang and his group of five people stood at the main entrance of Hundred Years Industry. He didn't even associate the dilapidated factory building in front of him with Chen Fan. After all, in his opinion, even if it was a gas tank factory that could make it to the exit and still need someone to escort it, it must be a big factory. This small dilapidated factory next to them simply couldn't be. The tall building next to them looked more like it. Just when a few of them were casting all their eyes on the tall building not far away, Chen Fan walked out from the factory. Hello guys, I'm Chen Fan. Hearing the voice, Bai Huang and the few of them all turned their heads to look over. They saw a person even younger than themselves standing there to greet them. Old Bai, this is too unreliable of you. That's right, how can such a small shitty factory have foreign business? And still need an escort? Hey, I thought I could get a big job. I didn't expect a wasted trip, a waste of time. Seeing Chen Fan, Bai Huang and his comrades were very disappointed. A small broken chief, someone even younger than themselves. It was simply impossible for them to have the kind of mission that Chen Fan had said. Not to mention a monthly salary of $100,000 plus commission. Hearing the words of his comrades, Bai Huang was aggrieved and angry. He himself felt that Chen Fan had tricked him. Filled with anger, he looked at Chen Fan and said, You better give me a reasonable explanation. Otherwise, I'll go out on a limb today and let you know the price for tricking me. Bai Huang was already prepared to beat Chen Fan up. Hearing Bai Huang's words, Chen Fan not only did not get angry, but, instead, he looked at him with a smile and said, Oh, what is the price? Seeing Chen Fan's provocative words, Bai Huang was instantly annoyed. Walking up to Chen Fan, he looked him up and down. In his heart, he calculated his force. He was prepared to give Chen Fan a lesson, but he didn't intend to knock him into the hospital either. Chen Fan looked white and clean, although he was not short, even a little taller than himself. But the whole person looked very thin and weak. Bai Huang even suspected that if he exerted too much force, he could beat the kid in front of him to death. But he was still prepared to give Chen Fan a little lesson. After slightly thinking for a moment, he raised his foot and kicked towards Chen Fan's chest. Originally, he thought that this kick would send Chen Fan flying. However, he did not expect this kick to go out but was dodged by Chen Fan. If this is your strength, you don't deserve to join my team. Chen Fan said as he looked at Bai Huang with a smirk. Just now, although Bai Huang did not use too much strength, but the speed of the kick was also very fast. It was reasonably impossible for Chen Fan to dodge it. But not only did he easily dodge it, but he also taunted himself. This made Bai Huang even more angry. At that moment, he also no longer stayed a punch towards Chen Fan. But this time again, Chen Fan easily dodged it. Bai Huang was surprised this time. At that moment, he even started attacking one after another. But no matter how he attacked, he was able to be skillfully neutralized by Chen Fan. At this time the few people standing next to him were also dumbfounded. Holy shit, this kid's hands can be ah. This is not okay, it's simply bullish. Old Bai has already started using his full strength, but he still can't hurt him. It's only been a few days since he came back. How come Old Bai's skills are no longer good? If you're good, you're good. Can't you see that kid seems to be familiar with our attacking style? Every time Old White is attacking before he's already dodging. Bai Huang attacked Chen Fan a dozen times in a row in one breath. It couldn't hit Chen Fan at all, which made him shocked and frustrated at the same time. Although he was not considered to have the best hands in the special forces. But he wasn't at the bottom either. Even the captain with the best hands in their team. It wouldn't be possible to fight him so easily. Who the hell are you? 
After fighting for half a day without touching Chen Fan, Bai Huang stopped and looked at Chen Fan with some discouragement and asked, I am the boss of this gas tank factory. Why are you so good with your hands? This might just be talent. Chen Fan couldn't say that he had purchased skills among the system to make himself stronger. Unexpectedly, Chen Fan's casually made up excuse made by Huang and those of his comrades break the room. The other person couldn't look at it anymore. Putting down his bag, he came directly to Chen Fan. I'll try a couple moves with you. Come on. After Chen Fan finished speaking, the man charged straight up. Bai Huang's attack was more or less reserved. But these people did not treat Chen Fan as an ordinary person at all. All of them were one-hit kill kind of moves. Boom. 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 Although Chen Fan had the skills of a fighting master, he was faced with his kind of fighting style. Naturally, it couldn't be as easy as it was just now. Boom. Chen Fan saw an opportunity and directly kicked him back. Seeing his comrade actually being kicked away by Chen Fan. Bai Huang and the others were all dumbfounded once again. It was important to know that just now, this person was the one nicknamed Tarzan in their team. He was tall and strong. How much strength would it take to kick him away? After Tarzan was kicked flying by Chen Fan, he stood up from the ground and looked at Chen Fan with a face full of conviction and said, I can't beat you. Chen Fan looked at him and said, you're not bad. How about it? Do you want to join my team? Because of the fight in front of the factory. Now Bai Huang and the rest of them no longer had any contempt for Chen Fan. Bai Huang looked at Chen Fan and asked, do you really have a mission abroad? Chen Fan nodded and said, let's go to the office and talk. So the group followed Chen Fan to the office. Chen Fan told a few of them about the gas tank. After saying that, Taishan frowned and asked, a gas canister is only one or two hundred dollars, it's not as expensive as the shipping cost, right? Are the people over there all idiots? Chen Fan shook his head and said, I don't care if they're idiots, but people have already paid, so I'm going to ship it. As for what they think, it's not within my scope of thinking. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Taishan nodded although he still hadn't thought about it. Right, if there is money to be made, who cares what he thinks? At this time, Bai Huang asked, Chen Fan, did you just say that these things are going to be sent to Canaan? Right. There's a war going on over there, isn't there? Chen Fan nodded and said, I guess it's soon. We don't have any weapons if we go there. I'll find a way. $100,000 a month? Chen Fan nodded and said, yes, but that's when there's a mission, 10,000 when there isn't. Is there five insurance and one gold? Yes. After asking several questions in a row, Bai Huang looked at the others, then looked at Chen Fan and said, We need to discuss it. Chen Fan nodded and said, Then you guys discuss it here, I'll go out for a stroll. After Chen Fan left, Bai Huang looked at the others and asked, What do you guys think? Taishan said, I feel okay, 100,000 in January, 10,000 when there's no mission, and also 5 insurance and 1 gold, not bad. Green Bird, what do you think? The person called Green Bird said, I just checked online. That R&D center next to it opened a while ago, and the leaders of the city and the police department all came. What do you mean Lone Wolf? Lone Wolf thought for a moment and said, I don't have much of an opinion on the rest. It's that he sent this gas canister to Canaan, something I can't figure out. Canaan is now a powder keg, a little bit will blow up. I suspect. He these gas canisters sent may be military use. At this time Cheetah, who had not been speaking, suddenly spoke up. It's definitely for military use. As soon as he said this, the others all looked at him. Cheetah continued, you guys imagine a hundred odd dollar gas canister being shipped to the Middle East, it's not even enough for a shipping fee. How could it be shipped anywhere under normal circumstances? And he even asked us to escort it, that's what mercenaries do. The cost of escorting is definitely not low. If all the costs were sandwiched together, it would be enough to buy a lot of gas canisters. There's no other possibility except for military use. These people were all from the special forces, and could understand the reasoning with a simple thought. Hearing Cheetah's words, Tarzan on the side was not happy. Then isn't this kid screwing us over? Paying us security wages and making us do mercenary work. No, I'll find him and ask him. After saying that, Tarzan was about to go out and look for Chin Fan. Tarzan, wait. Cheetah pulled Tarzan to a halt. There's no way around it if he doesn't say anything. Although mercenaries are common abroad, don't forget. Mercenaries are not legal in our dynasty. It's not legal within our dynasty, but it's fine abroad. And what kind of security do you think you can do for a hundred thousand dollars a month? When Cheetah said that the others understood. Chen Fan had invited them here because he wanted them to be mercenaries. Well, do you want to do it? A few minutes later Chen Fan walked in from outside. Looking at the few people in the room, he asked, how's your discussion going? We have already discussed it. Although the danger of this mercenary is indeed great. When he said the words mercenary, Bai Huang even deliberately glanced at Chen Fan. Seeing that he didn't have any expression then he continued. However, there are a few of us that can do nothing else but this. Chen Fan didn't say much when he saw that they had all understood. 
Although you guys have agreed, as I said, I still have an assessment. You can only join if you pass the test, otherwise you're just sending yourself to death if you go. Hearing Chen Fan say assessment a few of them didn't say anything. They all understood that mercenaries were not that good. And it was normal for Chen Fan to want to test their strength. Say, how do you want to test? Chen Fan was thinking about this just now when he went out. This was a small city of theirs after all, and it was basically impossible to test them comprehensively. So it would have to rely on what was available to test them. 3. Fighting, Firearms, and Concealment Fighting is sort of already tested, here are firearms and concealment. Fighting is not a problem, how do you test firearms? Although there were also professional shooting grounds within Dynasty, but basically they were not open to the public. If one wanted to enter that kind of professional shooting range to test, one would still need to contact them now, and it would take at least 2 or 3 days to do so. Chen Fan simply did not have that much time. So 10 minutes later, Chen Fan brought the 5 of them in front of an airsoft balloon shooting stall in a nearby bazaar. Chen Fan, you're not planning to test us with just this, are you? Bai Huan looked at Chen Fan and asked. He felt that using airsoft guns to test their shooting skills in such a place was a bit absurd. However, Chen Fan said very seriously. What's wrong here? What's wrong? Can this air gun be compared to a real gun? Other than that he's not even allowed to do this. If it's not allowed to hit, then there's no need to test it with a real gun at all. Chen Fan's words made a few of them unexpectedly have no way to refute. After all, if this kind of toy gun they could shoot accurately, then those guns that had been professionally calibrated really didn't need to be tested. Seeing that they were all silent, Chen Fan directly walked to the stall and said to the boss, Boss, I'll give you $500 for a two-hour package. The boss was overjoyed when he heard Chen Fan's words. He had been out at the stalls in the big fair for so many years, but he had never seen such a bold one. Good, good. After giving him the money, Chen Fan turned to look at Bai Huang and the others and said, 20 meters away, 9 out of 10 shots, give you guys a chance to school your guns. No problem. Bai Huang said as he picked up the airsoft gun and walked forward 20 meters, then a very standard gun racking position began to aim. Boom. The first shot was empty. The plastic bullet landed on the left side of the balloon he was aiming at. After he adjusted his direction, he began to fire the second shot. Boom. Boom. This shot went down a balloon was blown up. Then it was seen that Bai Huang started firing shots one after another. One by one, the balloons exploded. Soon after 10 rounds were fired, a total of 9 balloons were blown up. Then Tarzan went over to take the airsoft gun. This gun had already been taught by Bai Huang earlier, so he could just take it over and use it. Boom. 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 All 10 rounds hit. The remaining few were the same. All of them hit a hundred times. After seeing his operation, Chen Fan nodded. There's nothing wrong with the guns. Follow me. After saying that Chen Fan led them to the back of the gas tank factory's mountain. This mountain has been contracted by me, and I've installed phased array radar in drones on the mountain. You guys have half an hour to hide here. I'll have someone from the company come looking for you guys, and I'll also have someone look through the drone surveillance. As soon as you are found, it's elimination. If you are not found within three hours, you will be considered past. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Bai Huang and the few of them were dumbfounded. They didn't care at all about what Chen Fan said about those people going to find them. Rather, it was just now that Chen Fan said that he had actually installed a phased array radar on this mountain and that it was also equipped with a drone. This made them somewhat incredulous. Chen Fan, you just said that you installed a phased array radar on the mountain? Chen Fan nodded, yes, some time ago someone came to steal wild boars so I installed one to prevent thieves. Hearing Chen Fan's explanation, Bai Huang and the few of them were once again shocked. Originally, they had thought that there was something very important on this mountain that needed to be protected. They didn't expect that a phased array radar would be installed just for a few pigs. You really have no place to spend your money. For all that Chen Fan had done, they could only explain it by using money willy-nilly. Let's begin. You can hide anywhere on the mountain, but you can't run out of the fence at the bottom of the mountain. Chen Fan finished speaking by Huang and they ran towards the mountain. Bai Huang, what kind of person is this guy, to use phased array radar to prevent thieves? How would I know? I'll pay attention, the phased array radar can spot us through scanning, and I guess it will also let the drones find us. Ah, uh, got it. After saying that, several people began to spread out, each looking for a place to hide. They people had just left not a moment ago. Two drones flew over Chen Fan's head and started chasing them away. Only then did Chen Fan take out his phone and call those people from the R&D center to come here. After about 10 minutes, one after another, people started to come here. Mr. Chen, what did you ask us to come here for? You guys will know in a moment. When the people had almost come, Chen Fan looked at them and said, everyone has been working very hard lately, so this afternoon is a group building. Let everyone relax. I've hidden five people in the mountains, find one in three hours and reward them with 10,000 in cash. 
Originally, these people were happy to hear about the group building. But when Chen Fan said that they should look for people in the mountains, they were not excited anymore. However, when Chen Fan said that he would give $10,000 if they found one, the crowd burst out into enthusiastic shouts. Mr. Chen, are you telling the truth? $10,000 for finding someone? Chen Fan nodded his head and said, of course, the person who finds it will go to the finance in a while to receive it directly. Seeing that Chen Fan had already said so, each of these people began to rub their fists. It was important to know that the salary of these people was only $6,000 a month. Finding one person and getting nearly two months' salary was still very attractive to them. Also, I have drone surveillance in my office. You guys can go up the mountain and look for them yourselves, or you can look for them through the drones. Chen Fan had only just finished saying this when someone had already started running towards the office. Seeing that someone had already started to act, Chen Fan said, it's now 12 o'clock, 10,000 if you find it before 3 o'clock, and it's invalid if it exceeds 3 o'clock. I'll go by the time I answer the phone. Let's begin. As soon as Chen Fan finished saying this, the 200 or so people instantly rushed towards the mountain. This mountain that Chen Fan had bagged was quite a lot though. However, the mountain was full of trees and animals, as well as a few caves. There weren't many places that could hide people. It wasn't particularly difficult for more than 200 people to find 5 people. Some of these people went straight to the top of the mountain. Some ran towards the other side of the mountain. There were also people who started looking from the bottom of the mountain one after another. Where do you think they might be hiding? The top of the mountain. There are fewer people up there. I think it's most likely that they can hide in a cave. It's the hardest place to find. I think so. Let's go up and take a look. These people chatted as they searched. Almost halfway up the mountain. They saw two people panting down from the mountain. How did you guys come down so quickly? These few people who were walking up the hill looked at those two people and asked. We came up from over there, and we wanted to go up to have a look, but we felt too tired halfway up. So we came down. Ah, uh, you guys just gave up? No, we looked down the mountain, I think the dangerous place is the safest place. They know we'll definitely go up the mountain to look for them, so hiding on the mountain isn't as safe as hiding at the bottom. Especially by the fence, that's the least likely place for others to look carefully. Hearing these two people's words. Those few people who were climbing up the mountain felt that what they said made sense. I think he's right. There's a saying that the lights are dark. If those people are hiding there at the fence, surely no one will look for them. I think so. Why don't we go down there and look for them too? I think so. It's too tiring to climb up. Let's just look for them down there. With those words, these few girls who were about to go up the mountain also turned around and prepared to go to the foot of the mountain to look for someone. Hearing the words of the few of them, the two who came down from the mountain looked at each other. That one can we join together? If we find it, we'll split the money equally. When the few girls heard his words, they all looked at the two of them and sized them up. The two were about the same age as them, and both looked very spirited, long and handsome as well. So the few girls agreed after discussing it for a while. Okay, but if we do find out, you guys have to help us go catch someone. We're all girls surely we can't run away from those people. Seeing that they agreed by Huang and Chita looked at each other and hurriedly said, no problem. Just like that, under the cover of a few girls, Bai Huang and Chita went down the mountain in a dignified manner. Along the way, they encountered quite a few people who had gone up the mountain to ask them how they came down. There was no need for Bai Huang and Chita to speak at all. A few girls just helped them explain. It was because they were already outnumbered by five people and there were four girls among them. So those who went up the mountain didn't care about White Yellow and Chita among them. When their group arrived at the foot of the mountain, the Bai Huang even pretended to come to Chen Fan and asked, Mr. Chen, is it just a matter of us spotting them? Or do we have to catch them before we count? After saying that, he even squeezed his eyes at Chen Fan. Chen Fan looked at him and explained, just recognize them. But you guys have to be careful, those people are all retired from the special forces. Not only can they hide, they may also pretend to be one of you. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Bai Huang was startled. Thinking to himself, wasn't Chen Fan intentionally telling those girls that he and Chita were hiding amongst them? However, those few girls obviously did not take Chen Fan's words in. Mr. Chen, don't worry, my eyes are the ruler. I can recognize them with a single glance. Chen Fan nodded and said, well, that's good. Bai Huang was afraid that he would continue to stay here Chen Fan didn't know what else he would say. So she told the girls, let's start looking from this side. All the fences nearby could be hiding people, especially where there are trees. With those words White Yellow even pretended to crouch down and look towards the distance. There's someone hiding there, Bai Huang said as he pointed to the distance next to the fence. The several girls heard Bai Huang's words and all crouched down to look through the bottom of the tree as well. Sure enough, more than a hundred meters away from them, they saw someone squatting by the fence. This discovery made these girls very excited. 
running faster than both White Yellow and Cheetah. Seeing that the girls had all left, Bai Huang grumbled towards Chen Fan, Mr. Chen, you're the referee, you can't tip them off. Then how dare you guys come to the referee to get in front of them. Hearing Chen Fan's also White Yellow's head shrunk and stopped talking. It also ran towards the person in the distance. The physical quality of several girls was already average. Just now, they had climbed the mountain for half a day, so they were already tired. So the running speed was not very fast. However, the noise made was great. After hearing the voices of the girls, the man in the distance stood up and ran. Seeing that person run, the several girls immediately said towards White Yellow and Cheetah. Hey, that person ran away, you guys go after him. Hearing the girls' shouts, White Yellow responded, coming. After saying that, he chased after the man in the distance. His physical fitness couldn't compare to these people who had only just graduated. It took less than five minutes. Bai Huang was seen grabbing a person and walking back. I told you, I'm really not those people. You grabbed the wrong person. Then what are you doing crouching there so sneakily? A girl questioned as she looked at the boy in front of her. I. The boy held his face red, but he didn't explain. The more he looked like this with an expression that was hard to explain, the more the several girls decided that he was one of those five people. I'm really not. Why don't you guys believe me? If I were really how could I hide in such a close place? Wasn't this found at once? The boy struggled to defend himself. Then you say, if you weren't, then what was the point of hiding there? Don't you know there's a saying about a lamp going dark? I see you're just trying to take advantage of this loophole. Thinking that no one would check this place, so I deliberately hid here. Bai Huang had a righteous look on his face. But in his heart, he had already laughed like crazy. Just now, when he was going after this boy. Passed by the place where he had just squatted. He realized that he probably had a bad stomach. Squatting where the poop, I do not know whether it is not bring paper. It's also possible that he saw the girls running close by. Don't want them to see themselves doing this kind of shameful thing. That's why he ran away in a hurry. So now he had no way to explain what he was doing just now. This gave him a feeling of being dumb and unable to speak. After Bai Huang stirred things up, a few girls saw that the boy also refused to explain. So they decided in their hearts that he was one of the five people hiding in the mountains. Handsome boys, it's still you guys who are smart. If it wasn't for you guys we wouldn't have been able to catch this guy. When the rewards are handed out later, we'll treat you guys to dinner. Bai Huang said as he waved his hands in succession. The way you say this, even if there's no reward I still want to treat you guys to dinner. Bai Huang was serious when he said this. He knew that these girls definitely wouldn't be able to receive their rewards, and had been taken advantage of by him, so he wanted to treat them to dinner as a way to make up for it. But those few girls didn't mean that when they heard it. One of the girls looked at Bai Huang and asked, so which one of us do you want to treat? When she said that, the other girls all turned red and laughed. I'll treat all of you. Suddenly a girl frowned as she was chatting and asked, Do you guys smell a foul odor? At these words, the boy they caught turned green in the face. He couldn't wait to find a crack in the ground. Seeing that boy's awkwardness, Bai Huang didn't want to continue to make things difficult for him. So he helped explain, There are quite a few free-range chickens and pigs here, it's strange if it doesn't stink. Hearing him say this, the few girls then didn't mention this. The boy gave Bai Huang a grateful look. We've all caught someone, so let's go out first. There are still so many people inside, it's unlikely that we'll be able to catch a second one. Bai Huang said as he looked at the several girls. Okay, let's just go out first, it stinks too much here. So their group went straight to the door. Finding Chen Fan. Mr. Chen, look we caught one. When can we go and collect the prize money? Chen Fan glanced at the boy and said, I'll announce the results after it's over. Then we'll go out first. Aha! After saying that, Bai Huang and Cheetah followed those girls out. Sitting outside the fence not far away, they chatted. On the other side, a few boys came outside a cave halfway up the mountain. There must be someone hiding in here. Let's go in and take a look. It's too dark in here, I'm a bit scared. A girl said. It's okay, there are more of us, just turn on your cell phones, everyone. Hearing him say that, so the group turned on the flashlights on their cell phones and started walking inside the cave. Just less than 10 meters inside, they heard a sound of wings stirring and chirping coming from inside. At once, the few girls were scared and all of them screamed and ran out. These people looked up and saw that there were actually many bats on the roof of the cave. The bats were hanging upside down one by one on the roof of the cave, so densely packed that it looked scary. Especially when that pair of pears were illuminated by the light. Those pairs of glowing red eyes. Even more so, it made people's hearts tremble. Several more people retreated at once. This time, there were originally a dozen people who entered the cave, but now there were only seven or eight left. Even these remaining people were all very scared in their hearts. Otherwise, let's leave as well. It's too scary in here. Yeah, it's so scary. If so many of us don't dare to go in, those people definitely won't dare either. 
I think so, we can also look elsewhere, it's too scary here. Several people proposed to leave this place, but the one walking at the front said, You guys don't think about it, there's nothing else on this mountain other than trees. If they don't hide in this cave, then where? There is one thing that you guys are right about. If so many of us were scared when we came in, they would definitely be scared too. That's why I don't think they would hide here alone. There must be at least three or more, or even five of them here. That's $50,000 if we find it. If you guys don't want this money, just leave, I'll go in by myself. After hearing this boy's words, the others thought about it and felt that what he said made sense. But, it's too scary in here. Just the thought of so many bats above my head makes my scalp feel numb. Then won't you stop looking up? What's the point of looking up when you know you're scared? Hearing his words, everyone stopped looking up above their heads. But they also didn't know that above their heads, there was a man who was bracing himself on the roof of the cave with both hands. The group of people groped and continued to walk forward. Just walked out a dozen meters. Another sound of wings stirring was heard from behind them. Because it was already known that there were a lot of bats on top. Although they were startled by the movement, they didn't care too much. The further inside, the quieter it became. The sound of water drops could be heard clearly. But they had already come here. For the sake of that $50,000, they could only continue to walk forward with their heads held high. After walking for about 10 minutes, they finally came to the end. In front of them was a pool. These people began to shine the light of their cell phones around. There wasn't even a hiding place around here. There's nothing here. Yeah, a trip for nothing. Let's go, let's go, it's too scary here. After taking a brief look around, these people began to turn around and head back. After these people of theirs left, lone wolves had slowly emerged from the water. On a pine tree outside this cave, Greenbird squatted on the branch of the tree and watched the people below walk past their feet one by one. Some of them were even walking under this big pine tree and made a point to look upwards. But none of them found any trace of him because he was hiding too high. It couldn't be seen from below at all. Plus he was already covered by a large amount of pine leaves, so even from other places he couldn't be seen. This time a drone hovered over his head. It made his heart stutter. It was only at this time that he remembered. Chen Fan had already told them before coming in. There were phased array radars and drones installed on this mountain. Although he could hide here from the sight of ordinary people, but he could not hide from the scanning of the phased array radar. At the same time, in Chen Fan's office, a dozen people were gathered around Chen Fan's computer. All of them were staring intently at the computer screen. However, although the phased array radar was able to spot the target and command the drone to automatically track it. However, it was not able to recognize if these people were the five people hiding in the mountains. These people had just seen hundreds of people through the surveillance screen. But all of those people were their company colleagues. At this time, the drone in the screen stopped at a place where no one was. This made those people in front of the screen very different. After staring at the screen carefully for half a day, they didn't realize where the people were. Is this drone mistaken? There's no one here how did it stop here? I don't know either. Is it hidden somewhere? It's such a small place if it's hiding someone, we'll definitely be able to see it. Maybe the system recognized it wrong. Hurry up and look at the next one. Aha! And so Ayashimakuan was right under these people's noses without them realizing it. The $10,000 bonus was high though, but it also exhausted these fresh graduates. And three hours had passed. The two of them froze and didn't find a single one on the mountain. In the end, one by one, they walked down from the mountain lost. The mountain has been chatting with the white, yellow and cheetah two people at this time has been asked by the girls do not know what to say. Seeing the people on the mountain have come down. Bai Huang quickly said, time's up, let's go over there. Good. Although they still felt a little unfulfilled, the several girls still got up and came over to Chen Fan's side. Mr. Chen, are you sure there are five people on the mountain? Although this mountain looked not small, it was actually not very big. And 200 of them were looking for 5 people on the mountain. Surprisingly, they didn't find any of them, which made them mistakenly think that there was no one else on the mountain. You guys will know if you take a look in a while. Although the recruiting session was over, but none of those 200 people had left. They all wanted to see what kind of person was hiding so stealthily, making it impossible for them to find them. Not a moment later, Tarzan slowly walked down from the mountain. Seeing Tarzan coming down, a man rushed at him and asked, Where did you hide? Tarzan smiled and said, I hid in a cave. A cave? Impossible. At this time those who had entered the cave earlier to look for it spoke out. Yes, we've all gone to the innermost part, there's no hiding place at all. Facing their skepticism, Tarzan hemmed and hawed and said, Are there a lot of bats in the cave? You people are too scared by the bats to look up? Hearing Tarzan's words, these people who had entered the interior of the cave immediately understood. You wouldn't be at the top of the cave, right? 
Tarzan nodded and said, yes, it's at the place where you guys said not to look up. No way, we were going really slow there and stopped for a long time too. It's not like there's a place to hide on top of that cave, how did you go up there and stay there for so long? In the face of these people's skepticism, Tarzan didn't say anything just rolled his sleeves up a bit, revealing an arm thicker than many girls' legs. Wow, why is this arm so thick? Geez, how did you practice that? He wouldn't have been using his hands to prop himself up on the roof of the cave, would he? Seeing Tarzan's arms that were as thick as his thighs, these people then stopped questioning him. At this time Lone Wolf also walked back drenched in water. Where are you hiding? Why is your body all wet? There was basically no water source in the mountains, so many people were very curious about the water stains on Lone Wolf's body. I'm also in the cave, but I'm in that pool at the very end. What? Hearing that Lone Wolf was also in the cave. Those who had entered the cave earlier to look for someone were stunned, especially the one who said that there had to be at least three people in the cave. Regret's bowels were turning green. He had never thought that there would be more than one person in that cave. It was a pity that he hadn't found any of them. The last one to come back was Cyan Bird. There was nothing of any kind on him, and he didn't look at all wretched. Where did you you hide? I'm in a tree, Cybird said as he pointed to the very tall pine tree in the distance. How is this possible? I even observed that tree for a long time and didn't see you. Yeah, I watched it too. I even watched it for half a day. Are you lying? Facing the questioning Sybil took out his own cell phone and said, Look guys, I even took a video from the tree. After saying that, he released the video. Sure enough in the video Cybird squatted on a tree branch and filmed the surrounding footage. This time no one questioned Cyan Bird anymore. It was the way all three of them hid that had surprised them greatly. But they were also all very convinced. But after waiting for a while, no one continued to appear. Mr. Chen, you didn't just hide three people on the mountain, did you? Why didn't the others come out? This person's words had only just finished asking. A girl outside the crowd was heard saying, we caught one of the people. Hearing her words, everyone turned their heads to look outside. Then they saw white, yellow and cheetah, as well as a few girls, escorting a boy in from outside the crowd. Isn't this Su Yen from our project department? How did he become one of those five people? I don't know. Hey, Su Yin you're one of those five people? Why don't you just tell us so we can come and get you? That's right, we're all in the same project department, how dare you let outsiders catch you? Those people who were in the same project as Su Yen were all very unhappy one by one. But Su Yen was even more unhappy. Originally, he was so embarrassed that he couldn't say it. Now it was good that he was directly given a public execution. Mr. Chen, we caught one. After escorting Su Yen to Chen Fan, a girl said proudly amidst the envious gazes of the others. Chen Fan nodded and said, someone is indeed with you, but, that person is not Su Yen. Everyone present was confused when Chen Fan said this, especially those girls, they were in disbelief. Mr. Chen, what do you mean by that, we've caught the person and you're saying it's not him. The few girls did not understand what Chen Fan meant by this. Chen Fan said, those five people on the mountain were not employees of our company, so Su Yen wasn't even one of those five people. He's not one of those. Saying that, the gazes of several girls simultaneously looked at the two people with them, Bai Huang and Cheetah. Bai Huang somewhat embarrassedly touched his head and said, that, the people that Mr. Chen is talking about are the two of us. Ah, it's really the two of you? Although they had already been mentally prepared, the few girls were still very shocked. Well, but I said I treat you guys to dinner, so it still counts. Hearing Bai Huang say that, the girl. No wonder you said at the time that even if you couldn't get it, you'd still treat us to dinner. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm really sorry for making you guys happy for nothing. Hoomph. A girl grunted as if she was gambling. Everyone had already shown their identities. None of the five people were found, which made Chin Fan very satisfied. He didn't even care what tactics and ways these people used. As long as they were not found, it was a success. After all, survival came first on the battlefield. Alright, all the people have returned. The regimentation is over. Continue resting in the afternoon, and I'll have the dining hall serve extra meals in the evening. When Chen Fan finished speaking, a cheer immediately erupted amongst the crowd. Although they didn't get the $10,000 bonus, but they were also considered to have a half-day vacation, and the dining hall had extra meals in the evening. This was already very good news for them. After everyone had left, Chen Fan looked at Bai Huang and the five of them and said, Congratulations you all have passed my test. Welcome to the War Wolf Mercenary Corps. The name War Wolf, Chen Fan obtained from a movie in his original world. Bai Huang and the few of them had long known that what he, Chen Fan, wanted to establish was not an ordinary security company. So for Chen Fan to say that he was welcome to join the War Wolf Mercenary Corps, it was also not a surprise. And so the War Wolf Mercenary Corps, which would later become renowned in the mercenary world, it was established in such a simple situation. 
In the afternoon, Chen Fan sent all the supplies to Canaan, including gas tanks, chemical fertilizers, car paint and steel. They were sent away together. However, Chen Fan and the others did not follow the shipment. From the Dasha dynasty to the Black Gold dynasty, the transportation in between was very safe. There was no need for Chen Fan and the others to follow. All they had to do was to transport these goods from the Black Gold dynasty to Canaan. The sea transportation from the Dasha dynasty to the Black Gold dynasty would take about a week or so. Chen Fan and the rest of them were traveling to the Black Gold dynasty first on an airplane. After all, they still had to go there to equip weapons and ammunition. After arriving at the Black Gold dynasty, Chen Fan and the others did not stop and directly came to the border between the Canaan dynasty and the E-level dynasty. Since the Canaan region had been blockaded by the elegant dynasty, if the Canaanites wanted to obtain supplies, they had to make purchases from here. Over time, a small town was formed here. After Chen Fan and the others arrived, they made a call to Faris. Someone soon came to where they were staying. Hello guys, my name is Khalid, are you guys from the Dasha dynasty? Chen Fan nodded and said, yes, you were sent by Faris? Yes, the second chief sent me to provide you with some weapons and ammunition. Hearing Khalid say second chief, Chen Fan directly froze. He did not expect Faris to be Kanan's number two. However, now that all of them were here, Chen Fan didn't delve any deeper into Faris' identity. Where are the weapons and ammunition given to us? Please follow me. After saying that, Khalid led Chen Fan and the others to a second floor. Then it entered a basement. Finally, in an inconspicuous place in the basement, a dark compartment was lifted. There were several boxes within the dark compartment. Chen, this is the ammunition we prepared for you. These weapons and ammunitions were all personally selected for you by the second chief. All of them are the best weapons we have there. Also, he said that if you guys need anything else, you can tell me. I'll find a way to contact them for you guys. Chen Fan nodded and said, then I'll work hard for you. After saying that, he let Bai Huang and a few of them go over to check out the weapons and ammunition. Bai Huang walked over and opened a box. It was filled with some bulletproof vests and bulletproof helmets, as well as military boots and the like. These things are a bit old. Bai Huang picked up a bulletproof vest and turned it upside down with at least 20 pounds. This was one of the earliest types of old bulletproof vests used. It was all steel plates inside and was very bulky. Wearing this on the battlefield would very much affect movement. If it is accompanied by a dozen or so singles, a dozen or so grenades, and two guns, then this set alone would be 40 to 50 pounds. How come it's all AKs? There's nothing else? Although AK was known as the king of automatic rifles, but that was already a claim made decades ago. Its advantage was that it could be used in all kinds of environments. But in modern warfare, it would be a bit outdated if this weapon was still used. After all, even if it was more durable, it was still no match for the modernized automatic rifles that were retrofitted with standard static, grenade launchers and silencers. This is a rocket? The other box was filled with rockets. These rockets were also some from a long time ago, and didn't even have a sight on them. Seeing these equipment, Bai Huang and a few of them felt that these weapons were too poor. If they were escorted with these weapons, they would easily be exterminated by others. Chen Fan looked at these weapons in front of him. He also knew that using these equipment to deal with mercenaries would definitely not work. So he asked, Khalid, are you all using this? Khalid did not understand what Chen Fan meant, so he said, yes, the ones given to you are already the best we have there. Chen Fan nodded his head, indicating that he knew. He originally just knew that the weapons on Kanan's side were very backward. Otherwise, they wouldn't have used gas canisters as cannonballs. But he didn't expect them to be so backward. Can you help me contact the weapon suppliers on the black market? We are small in number and need some special weapons. Chen Fan didn't have the heart to say that he couldn't see their weapons. It just said that he needed some others. Good. After saying that, he added, although I can contact them for you, the cost needs to be paid by yourselves. Weapons on the black market are too expensive. Chen Fan thought about how expensive that could be. A few hours Chen Fan realized how expensive it was. Looking at the fancy weapons from various countries in front of him, as well as the automatic rifles that could easily start at $70,000 to $80,000 or even over $100,000, Chen Fan and a few of them were dumbfounded. An HK416D actually costs 150,000 Great Eagle Dynasty coins. Bai Huang couldn't help but spit out after seeing this this gun's price. What's 150,000 Great Eagle Dynasty coins? Look at our 951B which is sold for $300,000. The moment Lone Wolf said this, everyone else immediately gathered around. Holy shit, it's really a 951B. How did this gun come out? It was important to know that this gun was only a special model that could be used by special forces people like them within the dynasty. The vast majority of soldiers used the 95 type. The 951B was a specially modified and upgraded model. 
It was important to realize that the Grand Xia dynasty was different from other dynasties. The Daxia dynasty's gun control is very strict. How could such a gun appearing here not surprise a few of them? Chen Fan was on the side and saw how several of them were surrounding the 951B in love with it. In his heart, he wanted to help them buy it. However, the price of $300,000 for a gun was really a bit too expensive. Then they looked at the other weapons, as well as grenades, pistols, and some rockets. Those other weapons were all very advanced though, but the price was also very expensive. If all six of them were given a complete set of equipment, it would cost at least a few million Eagle Dynasty coins, and their commission was only $10 million in total. So Chen Fan just looked at it and did not purchase it. Captain, get us a set of 951B. We've been using this gun before, and it's working just fine now. Right. Captain, just get the 951B. The big deal is that we'll ask for less commission. Several people really liked the 951B that gun. Chen Fan also liked it a lot. Only he didn't want to spend such a high price on it. So he quietly checked in the system. It was discovered that the gun was actually available in the system as well. Not only was there a gun, but there were all kinds of weapons and ammunition. There was no way to compare the price with the black market. So Chen Fan smiled and quietly said. I suddenly remembered that I have a friend here, I'll ask him to help see if I can get this gun. Bai Huang and the others also knew. The reason why the 951B was cheap on the black market was because the quantity was too small. After all, the Great Eagle Dynasty was particularly strict in managing guns, especially this kind of gun. And selling it for more than 30 Great Eagle Dynasty coins was indeed a bit expensive. So he listened to Chen Fan's opinion. When they returned to the resting place, Chen Fan told them, You guys wait here for a while, I'll go to my friend's place to take a look. After saying that, he drove a pickup truck and left. After Chen Fan left, Bai Huang and a few of them started talking. Is Chen Fan so strong? Even have friends here? Yeah, wasn't he just a Gaskin seller originally? How can he still have friends who sell arms? Who knows, won't we know when he comes back and see what kind of weapons he's holding? Chen Fan drove around outside for more than half an hour. Finding a place where no one was, he stopped the car, then got the system out, started shopping for equipment from inside. Originally, Chen Fan wanted to purchase the 951B among the system, but after thinking about it for a while, he felt that it was not right to use the Dasha Dynasty's gun, so he purchased the 18 Malawian Quach's Mod Zero short assault rifle in the system, which also had very good performance. This gun was a common gun used by the Marines of the Great Eagle Dynasty. Although it was a bit worse than the 951B in general, the performance was very good in all aspects, and it was cheap. Everything in the system is all priced at cost. So this 18 Malawian Quach's Mod Zero short assault rifle was also less than 2000 Great Eagle Dynasty coins. There was also the Big Pineapple and the RPG rocket launcher, which were also bought quite a lot. Especially the grenades, directly bought 20 boxes. Bulletproof vests, bulletproof helmets and so on. Chen Fan bought all the most advanced ones. Not only was the quality light, the performance was also good. The main thing was that the price was cheap. In addition to equipment and weapons and ammunition, Chen Fan also purchased 20 quadcopter drones in the system. 100 traversing planes. With these drones and traversing planes, Chen Fan would have enough capital to fight against those mercenaries. After buying all those weapons and equipment and drones, the total cost was less than 2 million Dasha dynasty coins. Among them, the drones and the traversing machines accounted for the bulk of the money. After Chen Fan finished paying, the weapons and equipment appeared in the trunk of Chen Fan's pickup truck. After checking that nothing was missing, Wood Chen Fan then drove back. Old Bai, coming to unload. After driving the car to the yard, Chen Fan shouted to the people in the house. Hearing Chen Fan's voice, Bai Huang and a few of them immediately came out from the house. So many? Looking at a large cart full of boxes, Bai Huang and the few of them froze. They had all seen the prices on the black market. If they bought from the weapons merchant that Khalid had taken them to just now, these weapons and equipment alone would cost tens of millions of dollars. Moving these few boxes into the house, a few people then began to check them out one by one. How come we didn't buy the 951B? Seeing the 18 Malawian Quach's Mod Zero short assault rifle in the boxes, Bai Huang asked suspiciously. Chen Fan explained, didn't buy it, we are all from the Dasha dynasty, if we are using Dasha dynasty weapons, in case someone finds out, they will think that we are sent by the Grand Xia Dynasty. This is not good for the Grand Xia Dynasty. When Chen Fan said this, he actually understood immediately. The 18 Malawian Quach's Mod Zero short assault rifle is almost better than our 951B, but it's not bad. Well, Chen Fan has a point, we can't cause trouble for the Grand Xia Dynasty. Seeing that they all understood his meaning, Chen Fan continued, you guys check your equipment and see what is still missing. If you don't lack anything, then hurry up and rest. Tomorrow, we'll go outside and poke around to see if there are any other mercenaries in the neighborhood. 
When the shipment arrives, we'll start moving immediately. Yes. Early the next morning Chin Fan and the others arrived at the border between the E-grade and Canaan dynasty. Didn't they say that the border was already under the control of the E-class dynasty? Why are there still so many cars coming in and out? Lone Wolf said as he looked at the vehicles coming in and out at the border. It's control just to keep ordinary people from coming out. They still don't care about the material transportation vehicles. White Yellow said as he looked at the many people dragging their families over the Canaan border. Why do you guys think they don't let these people out? It's so dangerous inside, if they don't come out, when LAU's side launches a ground attack, how many people would have to die? Hearing White Yellow say that, Green Bird shook his head and said, it can't be helped, war is so cruel. If these people of theirs leave, they may never come back. Chen Fan also nodded and said, although it is said that they will most likely die here, but if they leave, their home will be gone forever. Bai Huang still said with some incomprehension, they're all paupers, so there's no help at all here other than waiting to die, right? Then why don't you let these paupers leave and leave the fighting to the soldiers? At Bai Huang's words, Chen Fan shook his head and said, You've seen the situation on Canaan's side. Without these paupers as a cover, do you think they could be a match for the Israelite army? Without these paupers, the Eretz Israeli army would be unencumbered. They'd probably carpet bomb the whole of Canaan first. Before the people even arrive, Canaan's side will have lost at least half of its fighting force. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Bai Huang finally understood why the Elder Dynasty did not allow these poor people to leave. Boom! Just as Chen Fan and the others were talking, a loud bang suddenly came from not far away. A supply truck that was about to enter Canaan was blown up. Boom! Just before anyone could understand what was going on, another supply truck was blown up by someone firing an RPG from a distance. Immediately after that, there was a counterattack. There was a fierce exchange of fire between the two sides. Chen Fan and the rest of them also hid on a nearby high ground to observe. These seem to be mercenaries, Taishan said as he looked at the two sides exchanging fire in the distance. Well, this is the territory of the E-class after all. Neither Kanan nor Elijah want to offend the E-class dynasty at this time, so they can only use mercenaries, and the elder class dynasty pretended not to see it. After all, on one side is a good brother, and on the other side is the powerful Elijah dynasty as well as the great eagle dynasty behind him. The Elder Dynasty doesn't want to offend anyone, so whether the supplies can be transported in or not, it's also up to each individual. The battle in the distance lasted for nearly an hour. In the end, those convoys of supplies that were preparing to head to Canaan Dynasty only managed to get in with two vehicles after losing 18 of them, watching the entire engagement. Bai Huang frowned and said, the numbers of these two sides are somewhat disproportionate. The mercenaries in charge of the escort were a group just like Chen Fan and the others. There was only a squad of five or six people. The other party's mercenaries, on the other hand, had 20 to 30 people. With such a huge difference in numbers, there was no way that the team of 5 or 6 people could guard the dozen or so supply vehicles well. Chen Fan and the others were not surprised by this. Canaan itself was very poor. Although it was said that there was also a golden master behind it. But the gold masters were not as rich as the Elijah dynasty and the great eagle dynasty behind him. We will also encounter such a situation. What should we do then? Bai Huang and the few of them were all retired from the special forces. It was also their first time being mercenaries. And in a situation where the weapons and equipment were more or less the same, trying to win with less was not an easy task. Especially since they also needed to protect so many supply trucks. This was even more troublesome. If the other party didn't tangle with them, it only attacked the supply trucks. Then there was nothing they could do at all. Seeing such a situation, Bai Huang and the others were all frowning. Couldn't think of any good solutions. Chen Fan was their captain. It was also the initiator of this mission. For a while everyone aimed their gazes at Chen Fan. Seeing the gazes of several of them, Chen Fan knew that if he didn't think of a solution, there would definitely be a lot of supplies lost. After thinking for a while, Chen Fan said, Green Bird and Tarzan are here to watch over things. The others follow me. What are we going for? Bai Huan looked at Chen Fan and asked, to give you guys a boost in self-confidence. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Bai Huang and the five of them were all confused. However, they still followed Chen Fan out. After coming out from the house, Chen Fan drove for almost half an hour with Bai Huang, Lone Wolf, and Cheetah in his car, arrived at an underground bar. The bar here didn't have a name, but there were a lot of people inside. This was what Chen Fan had just seen when he came out to buy equipment in the system. Many of the people in the bar were mercenaries from various places. These people of theirs had just fought a battle during the day and had made a lot of money. So at night, they needed to come to a place like this to relax. After Chen Fan and a few of them came in, the booming music inside was loud. Even talking across the room required a lot of sound. There were quite a few card seats around. 
There were also a lot of beautiful women of various skin colors going back and forth. Several gentlemen, is this your first time here? A blonde beauty asked after seeing Chen Fan and the few of them, she took the initiative to go forward and put her arms around Chen Fan's neck. Well, is there anything interesting here? Chen Fan was nonchalantly asked as he wrapped this blonde beauty in his arms. The blonde beauty had looked at Chen Fan and reached out to gently stroke across his faces. Here as long as you have money, you can play whatever you want. After saying that, she grabbed Chen Fan's hand and placed it on her chest. Chen Fan nonchalantly touched it twice, then looked at the ring not far away and asked, How does that one play? The blonde girl looked towards the ring and said, It's very simple, as long as you go up and defeat the person inside, you'll get 100,000 Great Eagle Dynasty coins, but you need to pay a $5,000 entry fee if you challenge. Defeat one and that's it? This money is too good to be true. Hearing Chen Fan say that the blonde beauty couldn't help but smile. Looking at Chen Fan, she said, yes, as long as you defeat him, then the $100,000 and I will all be yours tonight. Chen Fan listened and then asked, then is there a faster way to make money? The blonde said, yes, after defeating him, you can choose to continue to wait in the ring for others to challenge you. Defeat one person, and the prize money will total 10,000 more Great Eagle Dynasty coins. Defeat two people, and the prize money will total 40,000 more. If you're strong enough, it's not impossible to earn a million tonight. Hearing him say that. Chen Fan pulled out a pile of money from his pocket and drew 10 sheets from it and handed them to the blonde. That's what I like. Help us find a well-positioned seat. The blonde beauty didn't expect Chen Fan to hand out a thousand dollars right away. She immediately smiled with joy and quickly said, Okay, wait a moment, I'll go make arrangements. After he left, Chen Fan called by Huang and the three of them over. Don't you guys feel that we have a lot of opponents? The vast majority of the people here can be our enemies in the future. Before Chen Fan could finish his words, Bai Huang and the three of them already understood what Chen Fan meant. Captain, just don't worry, I will definitely not show any mercy. This method is really good. Being able to minimize our future enemies without moving our guns. Each person should fight at least 10. That way we'll have 30 less enemies by then. Fighting one-on-one -on -one in the ring definitely coins much better than being set on fire by them when the time comes for their supplies to arrive. Don't forget to tell them that our mercenary group's name is Battle Wolf later on. After the two of them finished, Chen Fan reminded, Why should we tell them? What if they come after us for revenge in the future? Bai Huang asked with some confusion. They will only think of revenge if they feel that their strength is similar to mine. But if it scares them, then they won't dare. Don't forget, a man's name is a tree's shadow. As long as we have built up our prestige. At that time, if they want to snipe us, they will have to weigh it in their own hearts. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Bai Huang and the others all lit up. One by one, they began to rub their fists together. At this time the blonde beauty walked back. Sir, the location has been arranged for you. Good. Chen Fan said and followed her to a private room on the second floor. This place was able to clearly see the situation in the ring downstairs. I'll go first then. Bai Huang said to Chen Fan. Don't drag it out to avoid wasting your stamina. Understood. After saying that, Bai Huang directly walked down. After white yellow left, the blonde beauty sat next to Chen Fan and asked. Should we find a beautiful woman to accompany these two as well? Chen Fan nodded, yes, serve some wine and food as well. After saying that, he took out a bunch of money from his pocket and directly handed it to the blonde beauty. After seeing the money, the blonde beauty's eyes lit up and said with a smile, don't worry, we'll definitely arrange it for you. After saying that the blonde beauty walked out. Not a moment later there were three more beauties in the room. There were also waiters walking in one after another with wine and talent. Handsome man, come have a drink. A white girl said as she made her way to Lone Wolf's side. Lone Wolf that had experienced such a situation. Instantly somewhat embarrassed, he pulled away from the girl beside him. The cheetah next to him was the same. Both of them were a bit rushed. Seeing the two of them like this, Chen Fan said in Dasha dynasty language. You guys will be seen like this. Didn't you learn this in the army? Hearing Chen Fan's words, Lone Wolf and Cheetah then became normal. Seeing that the two of them blended in quickly. Only then did Chen Fan turn his head to look downstairs. At this time, Bai Huang had already entered the ring. A tall black man with a muscular body was in the ring. After seeing that the person who came up to challenge him was a person who was much smaller than himself. And at a glance there wasn't much muscle in the yellow man. Grinning and laughing twice, he said, Yellow skin monkey, you'd better go down. I don't want to bully you. When white yellow heard him call himself a yellow skin monkey, his eyes went cold and he rushed at him to retaliate as well. Black haired star, I don't want to bully you either, go down yourself. What that black man hated the most was being called an ape. At that moment, he stared at Bai Huang and said, Damn it, I have to break one of your legs today. With those words, he charged directly towards Bai Huang and slammed his fist towards his head. Bai Huang blocked it with his arm. Unexpectedly, the black man's strength was surprisingly great. 
If it wasn't for the fact that he smoothly leaned back a bit, unloading most of the force, it was possible that this blow alone would have broken his arm. Seeing Bai Huang being beaten back and forth, the black man grinned as soon as he said, Ha, huh, you I feel like I can crush you to death with my hands. After saying that he once again charged towards Bai Huang here, after understanding the black man's power, this time Bai Huang didn't carry him hard anymore, starting to use his dexterity to dodge the black man's attacks. Instead, he looked for opportunities to attack the black man's weak points. For example, the armpits, knees, and the ground such as the neck and head. After a few rounds, the black man was already in a sorry state by him. At this time, White Yellow found an opportunity to lock his throat directly from behind the black man. At first, the black man still wanted to resist, but in no time, he directly began to pat the ground and beg for mercy. After defeating the black man, White Yellow became the new ring master. Only to see him pat his chest in the ring and shout at the people below the stage. I'm from the War Wolf Mercenary Corps, is there anyone who wants to challenge me? As soon as his words came out, quite a few people under the stage immediately began to jump at the chance. Bai Huang was relatively skinny compared to the rest of them, and he just looked like he could be bullied. So some people from the Mercenary Corps started to pay money to come up and challenge. The first one to come up was a white man. This person's figure was similar to white yellows, but it looked quite a bit sturdier than him but the stance was average. Within a few rounds of getting on stage, he was kicked in the ankle by white yellow, lay on the ground rolling around in pain. The second, third, fourth, four people in a row were injured by Bai Huang. But after this half day of fighting, Bai Huang's physical strength had also reached its limit. Chen Fan, who was in the private room on the second floor, saw Bai Huang's situation. He said to Lone Wolf on the side, Lone Wolf, go and replace white yellow. Hearing Chin Fan's words, Lone Wolf looked like he had grabbed a life-saving straw. It quickly stood up and ran towards the stairs. Soon Lone Wolf stood on the ring and looked at Bai Huang and said, Chen Fan said for you to go down and rest. White Yellow had also reached his limit at this point and nodded at Lone Wolf. Aha! The two then fought a few times after pretending to fight. White Yellow was then defeated by Lone Wolf. Those foreign mercenaries under the stage after seeing Bai Huang being defeated by another person so simply. One by one, they were chagrined. This was because the prize money had now reached $130,000. Almost this money was theirs. Seeing that another yellow man was now coming up, those mercenaries didn't think much. They rushed towards the high bonus and started to enroll. They were afraid that if they were a little late, the money would be taken away by someone else. Lone Wolf just watched half a day under the stage. In his heart, he already had an understanding of the skills of these mercenaries. In his opinion, these people might be okay at shooting guns, but fighting in the ring was really average. There were almost no rules to speak of when they struck, totally relying on instinctive reactions and habits in fighting. In order to be able to hit a few more people, the lone wolf faced these opponents without any mercy at all. It only took less than 10 minutes to beat down two people. The third person who came up was a Goryeo Dynasty Taekwondo expert. This person was about the same size as Lone Wolf, and his reflexes were also very agile. The way Lone Wolf dealt with the black man before, it didn't work at all in front of him so the two people could only fight with their wits. After nearly 20 minutes of fighting, Lone Wolf knocked him down. After knocking him down, Lone Wolf himself was already covered in wounds, although it was not so bad that he lost his strength, but he also had no strength left. Seeing Lone Wolf's appearance, Sheeta stood up and walked over to Chen Fan and said, Captain, I'll go take his place. Chen Fan shook his head, no need, he can still fight one more time. He's already tired. Lone Wolf had been Cheetah's comrade for almost 10 years, and seeing him now, he was a little heartbroken. Look at his eyes. Although his footsteps look a little unsteady, he still has fighting spirit in his eyes. I feel like he's doing this on purpose to those people under the stage. HM, are you saying that he did this to paralyze those people? Chen Fan nodded and said, Aha. Uh -huh. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Cheetah looked towards Lone Wolf on the stage. At this moment, he was facing a white mercenary who was also covered in muscles. That mercenary had squeezed in from the many applicants. At this moment, he was full of smiles and felt that he had already won. The man in front of him was already physically exhausted. One could defeat him casually. Hey, you're already out of stamina, I'm not going to beat you, so go down yourself. The lone wolf raised his head once, extended his hand and hooked a finger at him, then grinned and said, We, the War Wolf Mercenary Corps, have no one who admits defeat. Hearing the name War Wolf Mercenary Corps, the mercenary froze. He didn't expect that the two hardened opponents tonight were actually both from this War Wolf Mercenary Corps. War Wolf Mercenary Corps? Never heard of it, but your performance today surprised me. I will use my full strength. After saying that, the mercenary stopped talking nonsense and directly charged up. Unfortunately, although he was already wary in his mind, but he still hadn't expected that lone wolf, who looked exhausted, 
would still be able to react so quickly, between the lone wolf who originally seemed to be struggling to even move a little bit. Suddenly, when the mercenary hadn't rushed over, he suddenly attacked him. Suddenly launched an attack on him against him. Boom! Lone Wolf used all his strength to punch the man's temple. It directly knocked him out on the stage without moving. At this moment, those on the stage who were still scrambling to get on the stage were confused. No one had thought that this person who clearly had no physical strength left would still be able to burst out with such a powerful force. He directly knocked a mercenary unconscious. Just as they were still in a daze, Cheetah paid up and walked up. A glance was exchanged with Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf directly admitted defeat. This pissed off those mercenaries under the stage. Now they had also seen it. This battle wolf mercenary course people, taking turns, simply wanted to monopolize these prizes. One must know that the prize money had now reached $150,000. Although they were all mercenaries, $150,000 was not a small amount for them. Damn it, yellow skin monkeys, you're cheating. I'm going to go up and chop him up. For a while those mercenaries who reacted were furious at this way of relaying the war wolf. One by one shouted to come up to give the cheetah a little color quietly. The ones who came up this time were some old mercenaries. One by one, their hands are very good oh. Although the cheetah has tried its best, but only defeated two already cannot carry. At this time, Bai Huang, who had already rested almost, looked at the cheetah in the ring, who was already a bit physically exhausted, and said to Chen Fan, Team Chun, I'll go and replace him, the cheetah doesn't look like it can hold up anymore. These people who came up this time are obviously much better in stature than those who came up before. I'll go. If it's just the way it is now, it won't make them fear us at all. This. Hearing Chin Fan's words, Bai Huang was somewhat speechless. Everyone was a mercenary, and they all came out from various elite units. Although there was more or less a gap, but the gap wouldn't be too big. The fact that they were able to fight four on their own was already very impressive. Such a record was very good even in their old unit. However, Chen Fan didn't seem to be satisfied with their performance. Although Bai Huang had fought with Chen Fan before, but that was mostly tentative. He didn't use his full strength at all, so he didn't know Chen Fan's true strength. Soon Chen Fan arrived under the ring. At this time, Cheetah was already being chased by a mercenary. Seeing Chen Fan coming down, the Cheetah was very unhappy. Previously, both White Yellow and Lone Wolf had beaten four people before coming down. He himself was only the third person to have been pressed and beaten already. This made him feel humiliated. Thinking of this, Cheetah clenched his teeth. Suddenly stopping and turning around, he charged at the mercenary who was chasing him. Fists smashed over like rain. The mercenary who had been chasing the cheetah was a bit confused. This person in front of him clearly had no physical strength left. How could he suddenly burst out with such a powerful fighting force? Turning his head, he realized that at an unknown time, a person from the Grand Xia Dynasty was standing under the stage. There was a person from the Da Xia Dynasty standing under the stage. Seeing Chen Fan, this mercenary immediately understood. This was the person who had come to replace him. Humph, want to beat me down quickly? Not that easy. Facing the cheetah's reign of attacks, this mercenary didn't care about that at all and struck at the cheetah's vital parts. The cheetah was already at the end of his rope. This blow directly knocked him to the ground. The entire person directly fainted. But that mercenary still did not intend to give up. He raised his foot at the cheetah, who was already lying on the ground unconscious, and wanted to kick him. But his foot hadn't even landed yet. It was kicked away by Chin Fan who came up at an unknown time. This kick was very solid. The mercenary broke at least two ribs. You. Being interrupted midway, that mercenary was very angry. Just as he was about to shout at Chen Fan, he felt a sharp pain coming from his abdomen. Not to mention shouting, even making a hard breath hurt. He no longer has the strength to fight. I'll challenge below. Bai Huang and a few of them came up to carry the cheetah down. The mercenary opposite Chen Fan's eyes changed color several times. In the end, he also chose to give up. After he went down, he told the others in their mercenary group about his injuries. When the others heard this, they instantly exploded. Just now, it was Chin Fan who went up first and stopped him from laying his hands on the cheetah. Instead, Chin Fan still hit him so hard. All of them were furious and wanted to come up to avenge him. As a result, the first person who came up. Under Chin Fan, he lasted less than two minutes. He was broken two ribs in the same way by Chin Fan and went down. This kid on stage is a ruthless man. Broke someone's ribs with a kick. Can't you see? Every time he can predict the direction of someone's offense in advance. And then make a preemptive attack in advance? Well, there's something about this guy. If we meet him on the battlefield, I'm afraid it'll be a bit difficult to deal with. Among those who were spectating under the stage, they looked at Chen Fan and started to talk. On the second floor, inside a private room. A woman around 30 years old looked at Chen Fan in the ring and asked to the person beside her. Have you found out the details of these few people? No. 
Boss, they I don't have the registration information of these people in my system library. They should be out for the first time, or they don't know about the darknet yet. Hearing the words of the people around her, the woman laughed a little. It's a bit interesting, I didn't realize that our Grand Xia dynasty has started to have mercenaries as well. Boss, doesn't the Grand Xia dynasty not allow the existence of mercenaries? The original is definitely not allowed, but who knows in the future. Well, as the Grand Xia dynasty has more and more interests overseas, it will definitely need mercenaries in the future. Could it be that these people are, well, sent by them? The woman shook her head and said, unlike, if they were really sent by the Grand Xia dynasty, they wouldn't be so high profile. Find someone to observe. Also feel out their details as soon as possible. Yes. At this time, Chen Fan in the ring had already defeated four people in a row. The one who took the longest time had lasted under Chen Fan's hand for three minutes. This time, it surprised those mercenaries under the stage. Many mercenaries who had been in the mix for a long time had often fought in the ring. They had also encountered those who had beaten several people in a row. But like Chen Fan, after beating several people in a row, surprisingly, he did not even take a breath. It was the first time they had seen it. But the more it was like this, the higher the prize money was. There were also more and more coming up to the ring to challenge. Chen Fan just hit one after another. After beating a dozen people in a row, the mercenaries realized. This guy was like an undefeatable little strong man. After fighting for half a day, not only did he not look half tired. Instead, the more he fought, the stronger he got. This made those mercenaries depressed. However, the prize money had now accumulated to $300,000. There were still many mercenaries who went up to challenge Chen Fan. But without any surprise, all of them were broken by Chen Fan within three minutes. In the private room on the second floor, the woman looked at Chen Fan in the ring, her eyes full of doubts. She also didn't expect the great Xia dynasty to have such a powerful person. This was not on her previous intelligence. Bai Huang and the three of them were even more dumbfounded. Previously, they had already anticipated Chen Fan's stature. It was felt that he would almost be able to fight four or five. At most, beating six people would be about right. But they didn't expect Chen Fan to beat a dozen people who came up to challenge him in one breath. It was important to realize that these people were not ordinary people. Rather, they were retired elites from various dynasties. But who would have thought that in front of Chen Fan? Surprisingly, it was just like an adult beating a child. After defeating nearly 20 challengers in a row, the mercenaries all realized one thing. This guy was simply undefeatable. Facing such a powerful Chen Fan, no one dared to go up and challenge him anymore. For a while, the name of the War Wolf Mercenary Corps began to circulate amongst the various mercenary corps. Hello sir, ring time is now up. Please follow me to the back to get your prize money. Chen Fan waited in the ring for 10 minutes. There was no one else coming up to the stage to challenge him. So an attendant came to the side of the ring and said to Chen Fan, That's all? Aren't there so many people down there who haven't come up? Chen Fan said as he looked down at the stage at those who hadn't come up to the ring. Sir, not everyone likes to fight in the ring, more people just like to watch others fight. Please follow me. Hearing the waiter say this, Chen Fan could only nod his head somewhat unwillingly. Although he had already fought more than 30 people today, nearly 20 of them who had fought themselves had lost their fighting strength in a short period of time. This achievement was already very good in the eyes of others. But in Chen Fan's opinion, it was still a bit too little. One should know that there were at least hundreds of mercenaries here now. Those who were not fighting now were less than one twentieth of the total number. Such a small number of people, for that huge crowd of mercenaries. It didn't change much at all. Wanting to make this escort mission of theirs safer. Then one needed to make more mercenaries lose their fighting strength before they set off. With this thought in his mind, Chen Fan got down from the ring and, he followed the waiter to a private room on the second floor. After the waiter led Chen Fan in, he went out. This made Chen Fan a bit puzzled. Didn't he say for me to come here to collect the money? Why did he leave? He had only just finished saying this when a woman in front, near the window, turned around and looked at Chen Fan and said, Little friend, the money is collected here by your sister. Hearing this, Chen Fan then looked over towards the woman. What surprised Chen Fan was that the woman in front of him was actually a person from the Dasha dynasty. She was wearing a black chong sam and had a head of long, flowing hair. She looked like a classical beauty. Only the cigar in her hand did not match her image. Seeing Chen Fan looking at himself, the woman did not care about Chen Fan's measuring gaze. She even stood up and walked to Chen Fan and turned around, showing off her dimpled figure to the fullest. Then in a seductive tone, she asked, Is sister pretty? Chen Fan nodded, pretty. Hearing Chen Fan's words, the woman seemed satisfied and, putting one hand on Chen Fan's shoulder, she asked, Are you the leader of the War Wolf Mercenary Corps? Chen Fan nodded, yes. Chen Fan did not hide his identity as the leader of the War Wolf Mercenary Corps. 
After all, everyone had seen his own performance just now. However, the woman's next words caused Chen Fan to break out in a cold sweat. In a few days you guys are planning to ship goods to Canaan? Hearing her words, Chen Fan was startled and, looking at her with a face full of caution, he did not answer. Looks like I guessed correctly. The woman smiled slightly after seeing Chen Fan's reaction. Stretching out her hand towards Chen Fan, Hello, my name is Wang Yin, you can call me Sister Yin. I'm Darknet, the person in charge in the Middle East. This time Chen Fan was even more surprised. He didn't expect this delicate looking woman in front of him to be the head of the Darknet in the Middle East. What was even more surprising was that she was even a person from the Grand Xia Dynasty. Wang Yan looked at Chen Fan's surprised expression and was not very concerned. Instead, she said, don't be too surprised, our Darknet sells intelligence in addition to releasing mercenary missions. After saying that Wang Yan turned her head to look at those people downstairs. There are no factions or rivalries here with us, these mercenaries can rest and have fun here without a hitch. They can also accept missions and buy intelligence here with us. Listening to these words from Wang Yan, Chen Fan could not help but frown and ask, What are you telling me all this for? LOL. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Wang Yan could not help but laugh. Little friend, this is your first time taking on a mission. Haven't you heard of the Darknet before? I've heard of it. Chen Fan had indeed heard of it, but had not found any contact information for the Darknet. If we want to utilize our Darknet to receive missions and purchase intelligence, we need to register as our member first. You haven't registered yet. Chen Fan shook his head and said, No. You need to have a recommender if you want to register. I can be your recommender. The more Wang Yan said, the more Chen Fan was puzzled in his heart. This was the first time he had met with her, and he seemed to be a little too nice to himself. What do you want from me? You have more than $300,000 in bonuses tonight right? Aha! Are you willing to give it to your sister? You're short of that kind of money? Ha ha! Wang Yan really wasn't poor in that amount of money, but she just didn't expect Chen Fan to say it so directly. Then what do you think you can give me? I have nothing to give you. Although Wang Yan had not been releasing any danger signals to Chen Fan, even trying to help him. However, Chen Fan had a vague feeling of danger in his heart. That feeling was like being stared at by a cobra. Why don't you stay and accompany your sister for a night tonight, and how about my sister will be your recommender? Hearing her words, Chen Fan froze. But just at this time when he froze, Wang Yan suddenly struck out at Chen Fan. Only to see her holding a dagger in her hand, she stabbed towards Chen Fan's chest. Fortunately, Chen Fan had always been prepared for her. With one reach, he grabbed Wang Yan's wrist. Then he directly backhanded the dagger out of her hand. But Wang Yan wasn't a vegetarian and turned around and utilized her small stature to flip her hand over. And gave Chen Fan an over-the-shoulder slam. Then she was about to ride on Chen Fan's body. But Chen Fan didn't give her a chance at all and directly kicked her out. After being kicked out by Chen Fan, Wang Yan did not launch another attack on Chen Fan. Instead, she looked down at the footprints on her chest. Looking at Chen Fan, she said with some some displeasure, Little fellow, why are you hitting so hard? Let's do the same to each other. Give me the money. Chen Fan looked at her and said, Aya, isn't it just $300,000? It's not as expensive as this dress of mine. With those words, Wang Yan walked to the table again and took out a check from the table and said to Chen Fan, Here, uninspired guy. Chen Fan took the check and glanced at it, turned around and walked out. Looking at Chen Fan's disappearing back, Wang Yan had a look of pain on her face. This brat, he's really hard on his feet. After saying that, he couldn't help but rub his chest. At this time one came in from outside, Boss, should we send someone to follow them? Don't worry about him, he will come back tomorrow. Speaking of this Wang Yan's mouth curled up, Humph, this kid is a bit interesting. Trying to use our Darknet's turf to disable the mercenaries sniping them. After bringing Bai Huang and the three of them back to their residence, the, seeing their bodies covered in bruises and purple, the three of them, white and yellow. The two who stayed at the residence, Cyan Bird and Tarzan's, were startled. What did you guys do, letting someone beat you up like this? Tarzan asked as he took medicine to help them rub it. Nothing, hit the ring and incapacitated some enemies early. Egu, rub it gently. Bai Huang said as his teeth were bared by Tarzan. Fighting in the ring? Why don't you let me go? Tarzan said as he looked at Chen Fan unhappily. Don't be in a hurry. I'll take you and Green Bird there tomorrow. Hearing Chen Fan say that he would let himself go tomorrow, Taishan instantly became excited. Quickly tell me, how many did you beat? Bai Huang told Tarzan what happened in the ring. When he said that Chen Fan had defeated a dozen people by himself and, it was only when no one dared to challenge him that he got off the stage. Taishan's eyes went straight. He asked with some disbelief. Those can be mercenaries, you guys beat four and that's it? How could Chen Fan fight a dozen without a single injury on him? Bai Huang. The next day, Chen Fan brought the two people, Green Bird and Tarzan, to that bar again. 
Just like yesterday, first the two people, Green Bird and Tarzan, went up to fight in the ring. After they finished fighting, Chen Fan went to fight again. This time the same Chen Fan also injured a dozen people. Although such a battle record was already very impressive. But Chen Fan still felt that it was not enough. So before he left, he asked the waiter to take himself to Wang Yan. Sister Wang, I want to ask you for a favor. Wang Yan had been observing Chen Fan for the past two days. She knew Chen Fan's intentions, but could not imagine what Chen Fan wanted to do by looking for her. What is it? I want to raise the prize money for the ring. In the past two days, I've earned a total of over $600,000 in prize money. Tomorrow I'll take out all these bonuses, and I'll add another 400000 myself. That's a total of $1 million in prize money. There's only one rule, fight until the opponent can't stand up. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Wang Yan laughed and asked. Little brother, you guys are just escorting some gas canisters. Based on what happened before, it will be two to three mercenaries at most. About 30 people or so to block you guys. You're so timid, what's the point of being a mercenary? Wang Yan said with a smile. Chen Fan scratched his head and said, it can't be helped, I don't want the ones following me to get injured or even sacrificed. I can only think of ways to consume the possible enemies in advance. In response to Chen Fan's words, Wang Yan continued to smile and said, if you are afraid of death, don't don't be a mercenary. Chen Fan shook his head and said, I am not afraid of death. When I came here a few days ago, I saw a blockade battle. The equipment on both sides of the engagement was state of the art. And the sniper side was advanced in both numbers and equipment. Now I'm a bit of a firepower shortage phobic. But with people abroad, there's no way I can get the weapons I want. So I can only think of something else. Wang Yan knew that this was Chin Fan's first time as a mercenary. After hearing him say that he had some underfire phobia after seeing those people's weaponry. So he asked curiously, then tell me, what kind of equipment do you have? This. Although Chen Fan was a mercenary for the first time, he also knew that weaponry was something to save one's life. One couldn't just tell anyone about it. Wang Yan also saw Chen Fan's concern and spoke. Don't worry, no one will pay for your little rest. It's just a gas tank. It's not as much as the money spent on buying news. Our Darknet's news is not that cheap. Also, I can provide some weapons here. Tell me what kind of weapons you have. I can match the ones that are missing for you, and I definitely won't overcharge you for the price. Hearing Wang Yan say that they could also provide weaponry here. Chen Fan's eyes lit up and asked, Are you telling the truth? Of course, I'm the head of the Middle East region of the Darknet, would I lie to you? Wang Yan had already said so. Chen Fan felt that she was telling the truth, and that she didn't seem to have any malice towards herself. So he said, I just bought helmets for five people, bulletproof vests, automatic rifles, and pistols. When Chen Fan finished his sentence, Wang Yan still had a normal look on her face. But the next words left her a little shocked. There are also 5 large pineapples, 10 RPGs as well as 50 rounds of artillery shells and 20 boxes of grenades. There are also 20 quadcopter drones and 100 traversers. That's all. When Chen Fan finished speaking, he saw Wang Yan's entire face look shocked. After a while, she looked at Chen Fan with a very puzzled expression and asked. Automatic rifles, pistols, all normal. PRGs and big pineapples I can also understand. But 20 boxes of grenades is a bit excessive. But I can understand that too. But what's the point of those 20 quadcopter drones and a hundred traversers? Are you preparing to go on a massacre or an escort? Wang Yan was all but speechless. She didn't expect the lack of vigor phobia that Chen Fan was talking about to be like this. It doesn't mean anything. There are few of us, so we just want to increase our firepower. Chen Fan said with an innocent face. Quadcopter drones and traversing planes, these were the most commonly used weapons nowadays between the big hairy two hairy ones he had seen on the internet. With these things, one could eliminate the enemy without letting themselves get damaged. This was Chen Fan's ideal state. Wang Yan almost laughed at Chen Fan's words. It was the first time she had heard of a mercenary who would bring more than a hundred traversers on a mission. Then tell me, what weapons do you want to replenish? Looking at Chen Fan with a serious look on his face, Wang Yan felt funny and angry. Can you find me a hundred drones? Drones Chen Fan could buy in the system. But he couldn't buy them all in the system, after all, he had already bought a hundred traversing planes before. If he bought another hundred drones, it would be a bit excessive. It was also not good to explain to the others. If he purchased them from Wang Yan, it just so happened that he could put the previous purchase of the traversing machine on his head together, and it would be good to explain. There are drones, but there aren't that many of them, and mercenaries fight wars where this is useful. In response to Wang Yan's lack of understanding, Chen Fan said confidently, someone will use it after we finish this single mission. Drones were low cost and cost effective. And it can be maneuvered remotely. It was simply too good for carrying out this kind of escort or sniping mission. It was just that right now, these mercenaries hadn't associated it with this place. Chen Fan believed that after he finished using it, 
there would be people who would use this more than once. But what do you need so many drones for? All drones need someone to operate them, you guys just take a few people, a hundred of them can't be operated at all. To Wang Yan's question, Chen Fan did not answer. Can you get them? At most, I can get ten, I don't have any more here. After saying that, Wang Yan looked at Chen Fan again and admonished. And don't tell me in the future that you have a phobia of insufficient firepower. Although Wang Yan did not promise Chen Fan on her lips. But the next day when Chen Fan and the others went, a banner had already been hung up in the bar. Million Ring Challenge, the ringmaster will be rewarded with an additional $1 million in addition to his due rewards. As soon as this banner was hung, it immediately caused many mercenaries to fist pump. Although the income of these mercenaries was not low, but they couldn't earn a million dollars for a single mission. And that was still earned by putting their lives on the line. But fighting in the ring was different. Although they might get injured, they wouldn't lose their lives. So this million was still very tempting for these mercenaries. And in order to increase the motivation of these mercenaries, Wang Yan also set up a rule. As long as you beat three people in a row, you can take 20% of the prize pool. If you beat six people in a row, you can take half of the prize pool. If you beat 10 people in a row, you could directly become the ringmaster and take all the rewards. How about this rule I made? Seeing Chen Fan coming, Wang Yan walked over and asked. Chen Fan nodded and said, very good. The vast majority of mercenaries had very little difference in strength between them. It was just very difficult for one person to fight more than five. Moreover, up until now, there was only one Chen Fan who was able to beat more than ten people in total here. Say, how should I thank my sister? Wang Yan asked as she looked at Chen Fan with a flirtatious face. I can register your organization. Originally, Chen Fan did not intend to register on the dark net. This was because he only had the goods here in Canaan that needed to be transported. And in the future, as the ground attack of the Israeli army unfolded, Canaan's side wouldn't need his gas tanks anymore. This is considered a thank you? Hearing Chen Fan's words, Wang Yan was a bit surprised. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Right, or else you plan to ask me to give my body in return? Ha, huh, it's not impossible. Hearing Wang Yan's answer, Chen Fan was somewhat speechless. Let's do it this way, the prize money from the ring match will all be given to you. What do you think? All right. Wang Yan naturally knew that Chen Fan was joking just now and did not take it seriously. So when Chen Fan said he would give her the prize money, she didn't reject it either. By the way, I found the drone you wanted for you. Do you want to go over and take a look? But there are only 10 of them. Good. So Chen Fan followed Wang Yan to a room on the fourth floor. There were a dozen boxes placed in the room. Opening one of them, all of them contained drones. Only these were all civilian DJI drones. Trying to modify them to throw bombs like that was a bit troublesome. Seeing Chen Fan frowning, Wang Yan asked, what's wrong? It's not the kind I want, and the drone systems are all too old. There is no no way to use it at all. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Wang Yan looked at him with a surprised face. Old? These are all the latest models. You don't want that kind of military, do you? I can't get you that kind. Chen Fan shook his head and said, by old, I mean this UAS, not the production date. These UAV systems can only be used to view, they simply can't be accessed to other systems for upgrading and remodeling. There's no use in me wanting them. Those drones that Chen Fan had purchased from the system could all be used to drop bombs directly. And the systems were all very advanced, not only could they be controlled through computers and cell phones, they were also able to automatically find targets to lock onto for an attack based on the settings. Forget it then. Seeing that Chen Fan could not look at these drones of his, Wang Yan didn't say much. So the group came to the second floor again. At this time, the ring challenge below had already started. The two black mercenaries were fighting fiercely. One of them was knocked out in no time. But soon another one came up. And so the fight went on for more than two hours. The mercenaries had all gone red-eyed. The prize money had skyrocketed from one million at the beginning to one and a half million. However, not a single person could take a single point of such a large amount of money. In the private room on the second floor, Chen Fan was watching the ring match below. While counting the time in his mind. He had already been here for so many days, those gas canisters should almost have arrived. At this time, Wang Yan suddenly walked by and asked, Brother, have you ever thought of joining the dark net? Join the dark net? Chen Fan was startled, not expecting Wang Yan to actually ask that. Yeah, in the dark net you can also take on missions, and there's also us providing intelligence. The pay is also very high. Chen Fan shook his head and said very firmly, No go, I still have business at home, I can't do this. Business? Gas can business? After so many days, Wang Yan had long since inquired about the goods Chen Fan was preparing to escort through the Darknet's intelligence system. Yeah, not just gas cans, my family also has a steel factory, fertilizer factory, and paint factory. When I'm gone, there's no one to take care of these factories. Chen Fan said it as a matter of course, 
But Wang Yan was a bit confused. Then why did you come to participate in this this time? Curious, came out to take a look. What Qin Fan said was certainly not the truth. His main purpose of coming out this time was to see what kind of drones would be needed in a real battlefield. Only after there was a need would he be able to finalize the direction of research and development. Hearing Chen Fan say that he was not willing to join the Darknet, Wang Yan felt a little pity. Won't you think about it anymore? Our Darknet is not something that anyone can enter just because they want to. If you miss this opportunity, you might not have a chance in the future. Chen Fan nodded and said, I know, but I still want to do business at home. Seeing that he had already said so, Wang Yan also stopped persuading him, giving him a business card of his own. If there is anything you need in the future, you can contact your sister. Adding another sentence, whether it's business or physical, it's all fine oh. After saying that, she walked out from this room. Boss, why are you so nice to him? As an old employee by Wang Yan's side, the man who spoke had never seen Wang Yan treat anyone so well. His stance, even our dark net can be one of the best, such a person will definitely be useful in the future. Yes, in the ring. The match had been going on for more than two hours, and the total prize money had exceeded two million dollars. Those mercenaries were also starting to become frantic under the effect of alcohol. More and more people began to line up to join. Chen Fan was instantly happy when he took a look at the situation. At this rate there was no need for him to do anything at all. These mercenaries would all have to be accounted for here today. This was because one wanted to defeat several people in a row, or even get the final prize. Then it was necessary to defeat the opponents in the shortest possible time, retaining physical strength for themselves. So when sparring, one would have to hit the enemy's vitals straight on. This also caused that there were especially a lot of injured people tonight. Just as Chen Fan was watching the match, his cell phone came with a message. Cargo arrives tomorrow, please be ready. After reading this message, Chen Fan's heart fluttered, it was finally here. Raising his head, he looked towards the ring downstairs. At this time, the current ringmaster on the ring had already defeated four people. However, there were still a lot of people who wanted to go up to the stage to challenge. Chen Fan was not going to wait any longer. He directly went down and walked to the ring. In two strikes, he defeated the mercenary on the stage. For those who came up behind him, Chen Fan was also not merciful at all. None of them were able to last more than two minutes under him. After defeating more than ten people one after another. At this time, those mercenaries under the stage had already begun to be a little afraid of him. Chen Fan saw that no one continued to come up to challenge him. He directly walked off the stage and left the place without looking back. After Chen Fan left, a waiter came to a room on the third floor and said to Wang Yan, Boss, Chen Fan has left. Why did he leave so early? After saying that Wang Yan suddenly had an expression of sudden realization on her face. Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, call up a few brothers and go out with me. Chen Fan left in such a hurry. Wang Yan instantly figured out that it should be the arrival of the batch of supplies he was going to escort. She wanted to go tomorrow to see if Chen Fan had any other specialties besides his strong melee combat ability. At the same time, she was also curious as to what kind of firepower configuration Chen Fan, who had always said that he had a phobia of not having enough firepower, would prepare for himself. On the other side, after Chen Fan returned to his residence, he, called by Huang and the few of them all over, the shipment of supplies we're escorting will arrive tomorrow. So as soon as we receive the supplies tomorrow, I will start moving immediately. I'll divide the labor below. Ten minutes later, Chen Fan finished laying out their respective tasks. Bai Huang and the five of them glanced at each other, all feeling a bit incredulous at this arrangement by Chen Fan. Team Chen, are you sure we want to do this? Chen Fan nodded and said, although the firepower is slightly weak, I can't think of a better way to do it at the moment. When he heard Chen Fan say that the firepower was a little weak, Bai Huang and the few of them were dumbfounded. Team Chen, how is this weak? We've never fought such a rich battle in our lives. Yeah, the first time I've heard of a war that can still be fought like this. This feels like our existence is so low. Well, I think so too. Sheeta, Greenbird, and the few of them felt that this mission, not to mention them coming, even if just any other person came, it would still be a success. If you guys don't have any doubts, then go prepare as I said. After Chen Fan finished speaking, Bai Huang said, what else is there to prepare for? You've already anticipated all the situations in it. Hearing his words, it was Chen Fan's turn to be surprised. Could it be that you guys weren't like this before in the special forces? Chen Fan scratched his head in some confusion. Speaking to himself, he said, wasn't it all like this on the TV I watched? Hearing Chen Fan say that watching TV was all like this, Bai Huang and the few of them were instantly dumbfounded. Originally, they thought that Chen Fan was an old bird who had been in the battlefield for a long time. They didn't realize that everything he had just laid out was based on television. Chen Fan was also very depressed. Although he was now familiar with all kinds of firearms knowledge and had a strong tactical mindset, 
but those were all purchased by him in the system. He himself had never been a soldier and had never participated in any battles. The only source of information about special operations was the movies and TV shows, but this made Chin Fan unaware that he had entered a big misunderstanding. That is, the reality of special operations is completely different from that of the movies. Movies and television on the touchscreen, 3D display topographic maps and so on. All of them are post-computerized special effects. But Chen Fan because their own configuration did not reach the same level in the movie. For example, high-altitude drones, confrontation aircraft, as well as all kinds of electronic warfare, information warfare, and many smart wearable devices. So he had been feeling inadequate about the firepower of his own equipment. But he didn't realize that they were now equipped with such firepower. It had long exceeded the weaponry configuration of the vast majority of mercenaries. All right, everyone go get ready. Chen Fan finished speaking as Bai Huang and a few of them walked out from the house. Old oh, Bai, do you think Chen Fan's battle plan is reliable? Why do I feel a little heartless? I'm also a little weak-minded, but I thought back carefully. There's nothing wrong with his battle plan, and it basically doesn't require us to do anything. It should be fine. Just as the few of them were discussing, Chen Fan was also muttering to himself in the room, was I wrong in that sentence just now? Why does it feel like their confidence is gone all of a sudden? Early the next morning, Chen Fan and the others drove a jeep and a large 6 meter 8 van to the previously agreed location. Not long after, a fleet of nearly 20 vehicles drove towards this place from a distance. Prepare for action. Chen Fan finished speaking and came to the van's co-pilot, took out his laptop and quickly entered a row of codes on the computer. The 10 drones that had long been placed in two rows on the van at the back began to take off. Each of these 10 drones had a bomb on it. After taking off, these drones rose to over a hundred meters in the air and began to hover. After those supply trucks arrived, without stopping at all, they were following Chen Fan and their car. Boss, what are they doing? Wang Yan had brought his men early to find a place with a good view to observe. When she saw Chen Fan coming in a big truck, she was still a little surprised in her heart. But when she saw that 10 drones had risen up from the bucket behind the van, moreover, these drones had bombs on them. Wang Yan instantly understood why Chen Fan did not look at his own drones. It was because Chen Fan's drones no longer belonged to the civilian level. Although their darknet organization was powerful, they didn't have many of these drones. Not only Wang Yan and the others were surprised that Chen Fan used so many bomb-dropping drones. Even some of the other mercenaries who had come out to watch the scene were surprised by such a scene. Who would have thought that just escorting some supplies would result in so many drones being deployed for protection? One should know that on the black market, a drone like this would cost at least several hundred thousand dollars. But here in this war wolf mercenary corps, this kind of high-level drone was like it didn't cost anything. Surprisingly, they were able to send out ten of them at once. So Wang Yan and the others saw. Two rows of drones in the sky were on both sides of the road in front of them. Behind them was a large convoy that was moving forward in great numbers. Taishan, Lone Wolf Cheetah and the three of them drove a pickup truck at the front. Bai Huang drove a large truck and Chen Fan were at the back. Greenbird didn't come and set up all the hundred traversing planes in the place where he lived, ready to receive coordinates for bombing at any time. After the convoy entered Canaan, Chen Fan controlled the ten drones to escort them in front. On the other hand, he controlled one of the drones to explore the road at low altitude. The length of Canaan was only 40 kilometers. Under normal circumstances traveling would not take an hour at all. But now, Chen Fan drove the car very slowly at just over 20 miles per hour. It was too fast for Chen Fan to see the surroundings clearly. After the convoy had advanced for 10 minutes, Chen Fan suddenly noticed an abnormality from a pile of ruins not far in front of him that had been bombarded by the Israeli army's missiles. Taishan, pay attention to a place 500 meters away from your 1 o'clock direction. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Taishan immediately aimed the heavy machine gun on his pickup at his 1 o'clock direction. The cheetah also began to lower its speed. The lone wolf even jumped down directly from the vehicle and began to look for high ground. Chen Fan controlled the drone and raised its flight altitude. Coming to the high point of that ruin, through the zoomed-in camera, he viewed the situation below. There were ten mercenaries here, and at this time, they were already hiding behind the cover of the ruins. If one looked normally from the middle of the convoy, one would not be able to see them at all. But Chen Fan was able to see their whereabouts and one go through the drone from a high place. Perhaps they hadn't expected that someone would use a drone to scout their path. So no one even paid attention to the fact that there was a drone above their heads observing them at the moment. Boss, why is that convoy slowing down? A mercenary on the ground who was hiding amongst the ruins looked at the distant convoy through binoculars and asked over the intercom. Normal. They've entered Canaan territory now. This is the area where Canaan's defenses are the weakest. It's also the best section to snipe them. It's natural for them to slow down. The leader of this mercenary corps on the intercom said. What's the point of that? They don't have many people in total. 
Going slow is just living a little longer. Sooner or later, don't they still have to come over? A mercenary member on the intercom said. Huh, I think Pete's right. Going slow is just living a little longer. Even if they know we're right here, they won't be able to get through. Just as these people below were talking, Chen Fan had already controlled the drone and arrived above their heads. Green bird, the picture and coordinates have been transmitted to you. Received. Attacking now? Aha! After Chen Fan finished speaking, Ching Bird immediately input the coordinates of those people into the computer. Then pressed the enter key. Whoosh! 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 The ten traversing planes instantly ejected and entered the air and began to fly towards their respective targets. On the other side, a mercenary was using binoculars to observe the situation of the convoy in the distance. Suddenly, he saw a dozen things in the distance that were rapidly flying towards them. Boss, look, something is flying over in the distance. Hearing his words, the captain of this mercenary group immediately picked up his binoculars and looked towards the distant sky. Holy shit! This is coming at us! Hurry and dodge! The speed of the traverser was so fast that just as his words were finished, the, the traverser had already exploded next to him. Boom! 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 Ten explosions rang out, and ten people from this mercenary group lost their lives. Until they died, they didn't understand how the other party knew their position, and what exactly was that flying over although they didn't know how they died. But the other mercenaries who were not far behind them were able to see it clearly. Fark, these guys actually have traversing planes and drones. Attention everyone, don't expose yourself in the open. Don't let their drones see. Damn it. Snipers, shoot down those drones. Roger that. This mercenary leader's words had just finished. Bang. A sniper not far away had already fired. It shot down one of the drones that Chen Fan was controlling. Although his shot had managed to destroy a drone, he had also exposed his position. After Lone Wolf saw his position, he also took out the other sniper with a single shot from his sniper rifle. Not good, there are snipers on the opposite side as well, everyone be careful. After losing a sniper, these mercenaries also turned honest. Chen Fan looked at the screen on the computer that had turned into a snowflake. There was some annoyance. Losing a drone was nothing. But now that the other party was hiding in the building, his drones could not be used at all. Moreover, these drones didn't have thermal imaging modes. They could not see the mercenaries hiding in the buildings. This made Chin Fan discover a disadvantage of drone combat. Since the drones could not be used for the time being, they could only charge hard. Putting down his computer, Chen Fan got out of the car with his gun. Get out of the car and prepare for battle. Find the enemy's location first. As soon as Chen Fan shouted over the intercom, Bai Huang and the few of them immediately got out of the car and started looking for cover. Taishan attract the enemy's attention, I'll flank them. Roger that. When Tarzan finished speaking, he picked up the big pineapple and started strafing a building in the distance. Although these bullets couldn't hit anyone, they were able to suppress the other party so much that they didn't dare to raise their heads. Chen Fan then took the opportunity to quickly encircle from the side. Just after walking out more than a hundred meters, he saw head on a mercenary who was also flanking towards them. As Chen Fan spotted the other party, the other party also saw him. Only for Chen Fan to raise his hand and fire a shot. This shot did not hit the other party, but only startled him. He hurriedly hid behind the cover, always keeping an eye on Chen Fan's side. Chen Fan could only find a place to hide as well. For a while neither side dared to show their heads first. Whoever shows his head first will die first. The two people were in a stalemate here. The mercenaries from the opposite team obviously didn't care about being in a stalemate with Chen Fan here. Anyway, time was on their side. Moreover, their numbers were more dominant. He only saw him hiding behind the cover, and from time to time, he would stick his gun out and fire two random shots in the direction where Chin Fan was hiding. In this way, it could make Chin Fan not dare to attack. But he didn't realize that Chin Fan didn't intend to force his way through at this time. Instead, he took out his cell phone and activated a drone. Maneuvering the drone to the opposite side of the sky. Then dropped a bomb. Boom. That mercenary didn't figure out how he died until he died. Boom. Someone fired a shot from inside the bunker to knock out this drone of Chen Fan's. Just as Chen Fan was just about to move on, there was another mercenary in front of him blocking his way. This time, the mercenary was smart. He was hiding in a building. This way, he was not afraid of Chen Fan using the drone to drop bombs. This drone is still too unintelligent. Facing an enemy placed in a house, the drone could not do anything at all. Chen Fan could only find a way to make a breakthrough. On the other side, Bai Huang and the others had already exchanged fire with the other side's mercenaries as well. Although the weapons in Bai Huang's hands weren't bad. However, the other side was outnumbered and the few of them who were fighting Bai Huang could not even lift their heads up. Captain, the other party's firepower is too fierce. What do we do now? Bai Huang shouted over the intercom. Have Green Bird used the traverser for fire suppression? 
I'll break through immediately and attack from the side. Roger that. Bai Huang started transmitting the coordinates of the other side to the green bird. Chen Fan was also launching a drone once again towards that hidden enemy in front of him. However, this time, in order to prevent the other party's snipers from shooting the drone down, Chen Fan maneuvered the drone, almost sticking to the ground. When the drone flew to the mercenary bunker there in front of him, Chen Fan directly shot at the bomb hanging from the drone. Boom! The bomb was exploded by Chen Fan's shot, directly killing the mercenary who was in front of Chen Fan. After there was no obstruction, Chen Fan directly rushed over. Coming to the left side of those mercenaries, he found a vantage point and began to fire point blank shots one by one. In the distance, Wang Yan had been observing Chen Fan's actions. After seeing him linking drones in combat, his heart was also very surprised. It was not uncommon for drones to be used on the battlefield. However, not many were used amongst mercenaries. Because of the high price, a drone could easily cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. And they were all disposable, such a huge consumption was not something that the average mercenary corps could afford to spend. Looks like Chen Fan was right. Drone combat will be popularized in the future. Although the consumption of using drones was relatively high. However, it could minimize the casualties. As they were talking, they saw another dozen or so traversing planes flying towards the place where the battle was taking place. Boom. 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 Fark. Where did they get so many suicide drones? A mercenary who had sniped Chen Fan and the rest of them rose up from the ground with a gray head. Luckily he ran fast just now, or else he would have been blown up by this traversing machine. No one had any response from the intercom after he finished speaking. Damn, is there anyone else? Shouted at the intercom once again. But still no one responded to him. Boom. Boom. Although there was no one to respond to him anymore. But Chen Fan and their traversing machines were still coming towards here. Damn it. He didn't expect a dozen people to all be killed so quickly. Only himself was left alive. He didn't dare to continue here either, picking up his gun and running. However, just a few steps after he ran out, he was killed by a shot from Chen Fan. After killing the mercenary, Chen Fan came to the bunker where they were unchecked. After making sure it was safe, he said over the intercom. Only then did he say over the intercom, stop the attack. After Chen Fan finished speaking, Bai Huang and the others stopped their attack. One after another, they walked over holding their guns. Team Chen, this is a really good solution of yours. Yeah, easily eliminated a dozen mercenaries. In the battle just now, although Bai Huang, Tarzan and the others had made quite a commotion. But basically, they only exposed their guns outside and opened fire to attract the enemy's firepower, and they didn't have to show their heads at all. Most of the mercenaries were killed by the bombs dropped by the drones and by the traversing planes. They served no purpose other than attracting enemy fire. Hurry up and go. After saying this, Chen Fan and the others reboard the vehicle and continued to advance. Just as Chen Fan and the others restarted their advance, a mercenary who was observing from a distance reported the situation here to his leader. What did you say? They sent out a large number of drones and traversers to participate in the battle. Yes, chief, just now I counted, they used up nearly 30 traversers and 4 or 5 drones just here. Those mercenaries who sniped them were all wiped out without even fighting back. Hearing his regiment's words, that mercenary leader took a deep breath. If it was really like what he said, then their mercenary group wouldn't have been able to successfully snipe this team. But the words of the mercenary who was observing from the front were not yet finished. And I found out that this escort squad is the same ones that have been fighting in the bar the other day. Hearing these words, the leader of this mercenary group's complexion shook. There were five or six people in their mercenary corps who had been Chen Fan's who hadn't been discharged until now. He was very much aware of Chen Fan's strength. After thinking for a moment this mercenary corps leader began to say over the intercom. Everyone, evacuate immediately and cancel this operation. For this order of the leader, not a single person questioned it. Because just now they had all heard the words in the intercom. Although they earned this money. But it didn't mean that they were going to go even if they knew it was death. And so this mercenary squad that was originally planning to snipe Chen Fan and the others in front of them. Just withdrew. Chen Fan didn't know what happened here. But Chen Fan was a bit surprised that he didn't encounter any snipers along the way. Ferris was even more surprised. When he saw that Chen Fan had escorted more than 20 container trucks one by one, the whole person was dumbfounded. My god, Chen, how did you guys do it? Over the past few days, they had been contacting various supplies to enter the Canaan region. But every time, they were sniped by the mercenary groups hired by the Elijah dynasty. The supplies that could truly be sent over were less than one-fifth of the supplies they had purchased. It was the first time that it was like Chen Fan and the others, a little bit and a lot. It's nothing much, just using some drones. After saying that Chen Fan showed him a dozen drones on the big truck that hadn't been used up yet. Seeing these drones, Farah's eyes lit up at once. You actually got so many drones. Farah's looked at Chen Fan with great surprise. 
Drones were very useful in the battlefield. They had also wanted to purchase some of them. However, they couldn't buy them at all because they didn't have the channels. Is this a lot? Chen Fan looked at the dozen or so drones still left and said with an indifferent face. Of course it's a lot. You have to realize that we can't buy this at all. Can you sell these drones to me? I can offer you a high price. I didn't expect Ferris to want these drones. Chen Fan had originally thought that there was no place to dispose of these drones after the mission was completed. So he agreed painfully. Good, I still have dozens of traversing machines there. Do you want them? Traveling machines? Want. Hearing Chen Fan say that there were still traversing machines, Ferris was so excited that he almost didn't hug Chen Fan and kiss him. The traversing planes and drones that Chen Fan had in his hands now were very chicken ribs in his opinion. The drones could also kill the enemy by throwing bombs from the air if there was no cover. But the disadvantages were also very obvious, requiring someone to manually operate the bombs. And it is very easy to be shot down. The power of the traversing aircraft is much more powerful than the drone though. But the problem is that the traversing aircraft can only attack fixed targets. If the other party moved their position, then the traversing aircraft simply could not achieve the role of effective killing. It would only be a waste of money. Chen Fan felt that if he wanted drones to be used on a large scale on the battlefield, then they needed to be more intelligent, allowing them to automatically lock onto targets and fire automatically. This would save manpower and also be able to increase efficiency and strike effectiveness. But that was not what Ferris thought. He simply didn't expect Chen Fan to be able to buy such advanced weapons as drones and traversers. One had to realize that they were still in the stage of hand rubbing artillery shells. Chen Fan, a person who was hired by them, was actually already using such advanced weaponry as drones and traversing machines. It's fine if you want it, but I can't send it over to you anymore. There's no need for you to send it, I can send someone to get it. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Ferris said in a hurry. Not to mention that Chen Fan didn't want to send it to them, even if he wanted to. He wouldn't let Chen Fan send it over. One had to know that Chen Fan would have to waste dozens of traversing machines just sending this trip. In Ferris' opinion, these traversing machines were all treasures. They had to be used in critical times. How are you going to take them? We have tunnels, although large equipment can't come through them. But small ones are still possible. Although the gas canisters were small, there were too many of them. If so many gas canisters were to walk in through the tunnels, there were too many of them and he was afraid that they would be discovered by Israel's intelligence. Well, the rest of the traversers are in the place where we live, so find someone to get them. Good, then I won't leave you guys to rest here. I reckon it won't be long before the ground operations of the Israeli army begin. Chen Fan nodded and said, well, when you guys are done on your side, then you can hang out at my place. Ferris also nodded and said, if I'm still alive by then, I'll definitely go. No sooner had he said this than he heard alarms ringing around him. Not good, air raid. As Ferris spoke, he immediately pulled Chen Fan and the rest of them into the tunnels. Boom. 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 Although Chen Fan and the few of them in the tunnel could not see the situation outside. However, they were able to clearly feel the vibrations caused by the explosions. This bombardment lasted for half an hour. After Chen Fan and the others came out of the tunnel, they saw that the building that was still in good condition just a moment ago had turned into a pile of rubble. There were also cries faintly coming from the ruins. Seeing such a situation, Bai Huang and the few of them were about to go and rescue people without saying a word. However, they were stopped by Faraz. Chen, we're here, you guys should hurry and leave. Chen Fan thought for a moment and nodded his head. We'll leave then, see you next time. After saying that, Chen Fan greeted them and got into the car. Captain, why don't you let us go save the people? As a retired soldier, Bai Huang and the others had long gotten used to going to help civilians when they saw them being harmed. He couldn't understand why Chen Fan didn't let them go and save people. It's too late. If we save people we might be trapped here. But, Bai Huang also knew that Chen Fan was right. Their current status was that of mercenaries, and they were no longer soldiers of the Dasha dynasty. It was just that the habits he had developed over the years made him feel a little uncomfortable in his heart. The car had just driven out not too far. A shell hit a building on the side of the road. Accelerate the speed. They're starting a ground attack here, as a highly developed country. Israelite army's tactics were similar to those of the Great Eagle Dynasty. Both were to conduct an artillery laydown before conducting a ground attack, striking the enemy's living forces and enemies that might be hidden in the buildings. But this time, the actions of the Israelite army were again different from the Great Eagle Dynasty. They didn't just bombard military positions. And they also used this indiscriminate artillery shells to carry out the attack. Shell after shell kept landing on both sides of Chen Fan and their car. Many people on the roadside screamed and fled in all directions. There was simply no safe place in the entire Canaan area at this time. Looking at the miserable bombardment outside the car, Bai Huang said angrily, the Israeli and Israeli armies have gone too far, how is this fighting a war? 
They are trying to raise this place to the ground. That's right, these half-day bombardments are all civilians. These guys really deserve to die. Chen Fan was also very angry at this situation. However, there was no way for him to stop such a thing from happening. He could only watch as the lives around him were blown up one by one. The car was traveling quickly. The people in the car had also become silent from the righteous anger they had felt earlier. Although everyone wanted to help, even if they all stayed, it wouldn't help at all. Just a few of them could not change the battle situation at all. However, Chen Fan's eyes suddenly turned firm. Although he had no way to help the Kanan dynasty on the battlefield, but he could help them in his own way. After coming out from Kanan, Chen Fan asked Bai Huang and a few of them to help Ching Bird pack up the rest of the traversing machines at their residence. He himself drove to the bar, found Wang Yen. Sister Wang, I want to set up an official mercenary corps, what do I need? Hearing Chen Fan's words, Wang Yen understood what was in his mind as soon as she thought about it. Why can't you look at them? Want to help them? Chen Fan did not refute or admit it. You can't help them, this is their own war. Just like our dynasty decades ago. After Wang Yen finished saying this, she saw that Chen Fan still didn't speak, then continued. Do you know how much money a set of equipment plus a life costs? Do you know that human life is the least valuable on this kind of battlefield? Chen Fan, even if you are rich, there is no way you can change the situation here. Wang Yen was right. A war like this was simply not something that an individual could change the situation. Chen Fan understood that Wang Yen was right. Only that Chen Fan did not intend to directly recruit mercenaries to help Kanan for free. He had his own thoughts. I know, I just want to set up a mercenary group to protect my own business. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Wang Yen stared at him for half a day. Only then did he say, actually, you don't need to have any formalities to set up a mercenary corps. You just need to register with us. You can buy weapons, intelligence, recruit members, and accept and issue missions with us. Hmm. Then you can register for me. Good. With the help of Wang Yen, the head of the Middle East region, Chen Fan quickly registered the Warwolf Mercenary Corps on the Darknet. After the registration was completed, Chen Fan asked again, Sister Wang, can you do me another favor? What? We're going back to the Grand Xia Dynasty soon. Those weapons and equipment that we bought earlier, we can't use them for now. Can we put them here with you first? No problem. Then thank you so much, if you have the chance to come and play in the Grand Xia Dynasty, I'll be sure to treat you well. Wang Yan smiled and said, that's what you said. If I go back, I will definitely look for you. Hearing Wang Yan's words, for some reason, Chen Fan always felt a little hairy in his heart. After returning from Wang Yan, Bai Huang and the others had already handed over the remaining traversers and drones to the people sent by Ferris. Let's go. After saying that, Chen Fan and his group got into the car and prepared to leave, as they passed the Canaan border. At this time, there were surprisingly a large number of soldiers from the Israelite army on the border in addition to the soldiers from the Elder Dynasty. They are so fast, occupying the border so quickly. Yes, and their equipment is also much more advanced than Canaan. This time I'm afraid that the Canaan dynasty will disappear. Several people sighed as they walked. Captain, what do you think about Canaan's side? After this mission, Bai Huang and the others had completely convinced Chen Fan. Although Chen Fan was younger than all of them, he was better than the rest of them in both stature and talent. They had already seen Chen Fan as their backbone in their hearts. Although the Israelite army is powerful, Canaan is no slouch either. Ferris and the others have been operating in Canaan for so many years. There are tunnels under the ground that are 500 kilometers long. It's not that easy for the Arabus army to wipe them out. What's more, there are still many eyeing dynasties around staring at the Elijah's army. As long as Canaan can hold out for a few months, things should be heading in a good direction. At the very beginning, this period of time will definitely be the most ferocious time for the Israelite army to attack. As long as they are able to withstand this period of attack, their chances of victory will be even greater in the future. As Chen Fan finished speaking, Bai Huang and the others all looked towards Kanan who was getting farther and farther away from them. In their hearts, they began to cheer for these people they had never met. Three days later, Chen Fan and the others returned to the Grand Xia Dynasty. During the time Chen Fan was gone, the several companies under his banner were producing in an orderly manner. Although the Kanan side was due to the start of the ground invasion by the Israelite army, the orders from their side were no longer available. But with the rest of the Middle East as well as South America, the customer resources in Africa gradually opened up. There were more and more orders from several factories. Because even if the gas canisters were more expensive, they were still too much cheaper than the missiles. The price slash performance ratio was simply unbeatable. After coming back, Chen Fan let people in the R&D center next to the construction of a 10 acres of tactical training center. Externally, this tactical training center was for people to experience real life CS. Internally, it was a training base for Bai Huang and the others. Through this mission abroad, Chen Fan deeply felt the cruelty of war. 
At the same time, he also firmly believed that drones would have a very important role in the future war. The cooperation between people and drones would greatly reduce the cost of manpower and increase the effectiveness of kills. Only the current drones were too unintelligent, can only fight through human control. And in many places, such as when the enemy is hiding inside a building, the effect of the drone will be greatly reduced. If these problems could be solved, then one would likely help the Grand Xia Dynasty change the world pattern. Thinking of this, Chen Fan came to the R&D center and strolled around. However, since the time for research and development was still too short now, there were no major technological breakthroughs. Chen Fan was anxious in his eyes, but he couldn't directly tell them the improvement method. He could only tell them on the side. At the same time, because they all knew that Chen Fan had high computer skills. So in terms of UAS development, Chen Fan didn't have that much to worry about. He directly led these fresh graduates to develop the UAS. On this day, Chen Fan was discussing the UAS in the R&D center. Sun Hong called Chen Fan. Mr. Chen, there is a large car company that wants to come to us for cooperation. Come over here for a moment. Which car company? General Motors. General Motors? Chen Fan was a bit surprised, not expecting that the first car company to come to their door to look for their cooperation would be General Motors. Yes, they said they would be here in a while. Good. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan felt that this matter was not simple. Driving to the paint factory. Sun Hong had already had someone clean up the entrance to the factory, and when Chen Fan came, someone was spraying water on the road. After getting down from the car, Chen Fan looked at Sun Hong and asked, This is already clean, so there's no need to splash water on it. Sun Hong smiled and said, Mr. Chen, the one who came this time is the vice president of GM Greater China. It's better to make it clean to give a good impression. Chen Fan nodded his head and felt that it seemed right for him to say so, so he didn't pay much attention to it. After the two came to the office, Sun Hong started to give Chen Fan a report on the recent period of time. Mr. Chen, our factory's order book has now been scheduled until next year, but the supply still exceeds the demand. I added a production line to the factory some time ago, and it has recently been commissioned. It's just started to go into production, but it's still a bit too little compared to our huge demand. Chen Fan nodded and said, it is indeed a bit less. It was important to realize that the entire Dashia dynasty now had more than 400 million automobiles. Among them, there are more than 300 million cars. In such a large market, they were the only one who could produce such a paint right now. The demand was naturally high. If you counted the future cooperation with the car companies that produced cars, then the need for this kind of car paint would be astronomical. Seeing that Chen Fan also said so, Sun Hong continued, so I think we shouldn't build a new standardized production plant with greater capacity? Chen Fan nodded and said, I think that's fine. You go ahead and operate this matter. Hmm. I've already inquired, this piece of land next to our factory should be fine. If we can take it down, the two factories are close to each other and can be managed better. Chen Fan nodded and said, yes. While the two were talking, Sun Hang's cell phone rang. He glanced at the cell phone number and immediately stood up from his chair. Hello, hello, oh, you guys are already here aren't you? Mr. Chen is already here, we will go down immediately. After hanging up the phone, Sun Han looked at Chen Fan and said, Mr. Chen, GM's people are already here. Let's go down and take a look. Good. After saying this, Chen Fan and Sun Hong both came down from upstairs. They saw seven or eight cars parked in the yard, and several people foreigners in suits and ties were already standing in the yard. Hello, I'm the director of this factory, my name is Sun Hong, you guys were the ones who contacted me just now. After seeing them, Sun Hong immediately walked over to greet them. This is the boss of our centennial group, Chen Fan, Mr. Chen. After hearing Sun Hong, the interpreter who was following those foreigners directly crossed over Sun Hong to look at Chen Fan and said, Mr. Chen, this is our senior vice president of GM Greater China, Chris. Hello? Chris covered his nose and frowned, privately sizing him up. Hearing the words of the interpreter, it was only then that he was full of unconcern and stretched out a hand towards Chen Fan wanting to shake Chen Fan's hand. Chen Fan didn't bother to shake his hand, but instead gave him a hug. Hello? Seeing that Chen Fan did not shake his hand, Chris was a bit unhappy. However, he didn't say anything, but just looked at Chen Fan and asked, Mr. Chen, make a price for this factory of yours, we, General, want to acquire it. Chen Fan was already a bit unhappy with his attitude. Now he actually wanted to acquire this paint factory of his with a condescending tone. This made Chen Fan a little angry in his heart. Ten billion dollars. Hearing the offer made by Chen Fan, Chris' eyes widened. With an expression that he was being teased by Chen Fan, he said angrily, 10 billion? You're kidding. Chen Fan was not used to him saying, you were the one who joked first. If you are here to talk about cooperation, I welcome it. If you're here to find trouble, then. 
Before Chen Fan could finish his words, the interpreter on the side hurriedly said, Mr. Chen, don't be angry, we are here to talk about cooperation. Begging me to talk about cooperation is this attitude? Right now, the paint factory's production capacity couldn't keep up with sales, and their factory wasn't lacking in capital flow. Only a brain-dead person would think of selling the factory to them at this time. Mr. Chen, I know that this factory of yours is doing very well right now, but the production capacity of this factory is too low, we can invest in this factory, help you expand your production capacity, and we can also help you sell your car paint abroad. Won't you make more money that way? After the translator finished speaking, Chen Fan sneered a bit and said, Do you think we will lack people who want to cooperate with us now? After saying that Chen Fan stopped paying attention to them and turned around to go back upstairs, Chris saw that Chen Fan dared to ignore himself so much. At that moment, he said angrily, Good, since you were so ungrateful, then we will see. After saying that, Chris directly got into his car and left. After they left, Chen Fan knew that they would definitely not let up. So he called Sun Hung over and said, in the future, if General Motors people come and mention acquisition or investment again, don't receive them. Well, I didn't expect them to have this attitude either. They're a big factory, they're used to being begged. How could they lower themselves to beg us? But we also have to be on our guard these days. During this period of time, let all the employees live in the factory, don't go out. Also the secrecy of the formula has to be done well. Sun Hung nodded and said, don't worry, no one knows the complete formula for the car paint. I've separated all the processes, even if they poach our entire factory. It won't get the formula either. Sun Hung said so confidently, which made Chen Fan a little surprised. Why? Sun Hung hemmed and hawed, well, it's surprising to say. The earliest paint masters in this paint factory of ours were all village people, not many literate ones. The material they add or I tell them how to add, add how much. As for what was added, they didn't even know. Chen Fan was stunned after hearing Sun Hang's words. I didn't expect it to be like this but we still have to be careful. I don't know if all these big car companies have discussed as if in advance. Ever since GM's people came. The next day another large car company, Hyundai's, came looking for them. This time the one who came was also their senior vice president of the greater China region. His attitude was not much better than the previous one, Chris. Mr. Chen, we at Toyota Motor want to invest in your car paint company. We are offering 200 million Dasha dynasty dollars in hopes of acquiring 10% of your company and we won't interfere with your normal operations. Hearing this condition from Li Xiangyu, Chen Fan was a bit surprised. Chen Fan's paint factory was only worth a few tens of millions now, but this he opened his mouth is 200 million dollars, and only need 10% of the shares. This kind of condition is already considered very good. However, Chen Fan feels that there is a problem here. This stick has always been a careful calculator, it is impossible to give himself such good conditions for no reason. After thinking for a while Chen Fan directly rejected his investment request. Sorry, we don't need investment for now. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Li Sangwu did not seem surprised. He looked at Chen Fan with a smile and said, Mr. Chen, I know that we don't lack cash flow in your company, but the money we invested is all cash, and we won't ask you what you do with the money. The implication of his words was clear. This money was for Chen Fan, and he could spend it however he liked. And we can help you expand your sales channels. You can think about it, and if you feel that the percent is too much, we can also consider reducing it some more. It's even possible to increase some investment. Li Sangwu felt that he had made it so clear. Chen Fan should be very moved. But Chen Fan stared at him and asked, What do you want from us? We only want the paint that your factory produces, exclusively for our Hyundai cars. Hearing Yamamoto say this, Sun Hong on the side was stunned. Such a condition was too good for them. However, Chen Fan could not help but frown. Although the conditions given by Li Sangwu were good, he felt that these rods were simply not people who could be so kind. Moreover, he himself didn't have a good impression of these stick people. It was already giving them face by not just kicking them out. Excuse me, we don't need to invest for now. Seeing Chen Fan rejecting himself so directly, Li Sangwu frowned and asked, Does Mr. Chen feel that the conditions we gave are not good? Chen Fan shook his head and said, That's not true, it's just that I don't really like doing business in partnership with people. Then what if we are willing to increase the amount to 300 million? Li Sangwu looked at Chen Fan, thinking that Chen Fan just wanted more money. Unexpectedly, Chen Fan directly said, It's not a matter of money. If you want to use our car paint, then we can work together. If anything else then forget it. Hearing Chen Fan say that, Li Sangwu could only smile and say, Since Mr. Chen has already said that, then I can't force it anymore. I hope we can agree on the car paint. At this point, Chen Fan nodded and said, I also hope that we can reach an agreement. Seeing that Chen Fan did not resist on supplying them with car paint, Li Sangwu said with a happy heart, Mr. Chen, our Hyundai sales are the number one in the world. 
When the time comes, our demand will also be great. I hope that you will be able to set up a car paint production plant in our South Bang Dynasty. This is not necessary. We already have plans for a new factory. If we still can't keep up with your use by then, I will consider setting up a production line in South Bang Dynasty. Li Sang Wu nodded and said, All right, then I wish us a happy cooperation. I'm sure it will be very pleasant. The general intentions of cooperation had been pretty much negotiated. Some of the next details were for Sun Hong to talk with those people brought by Li Sang Wu. Chen Fan, on the other hand, went around the factory with him. Mr. Chen, I've heard that your car paint can also avoid telltale radar speed measurements? Is this true? Hearing Li Xiang Yu say this, Chen Fan understood in his heart at once the reason why he wanted to get in even after giving himself so many conditions. No, no. This is all rumored by people outside, the paint in our factory doesn't have such a function at all. Seeing Chen Fan denying it while smiling, Li Sang Wu directly took this denial from Chen Fan as confirmation. Moreover, their company's people had already purchased the car paint through other means a long time ago. It had already been tested before coming here. So whether Chen Fan admitted it or not, he knew the effect of this car paint. Ah, don't worry mister. Chen, I won't say anything to the public, after all, if this spreads, your Dashia dynasty's high speed will have to earn a lot less. Chen Fan couldn't help but roll his eyes when Li Xiang Yu finished speaking. Thinking to himself, you really think I'm stupid? Is this a matter of that little highway fee? Do you really think I don't know what's in your heart when you want my paint so badly? Chen Fan and Li Sangwu returned to the office after wandering around the factory with their own thoughts in their hearts. At this time, Sun Hong had already finalized the content of the cooperation with those people brought by Li Sangyu. The content was that Chen Fan's Centennial Paint Factory would supply at least 2 million barrels of paint to Hyundai every year. The price would be calculated according to the current price, and the price would be agreed upon once a year in the future. For this cooperation content, Chen Fan expressed great satisfaction, but just one point of opinion was mentioned. That was that currently their production capacity could not keep up, and the supply needed to start after the new factory was completed. For this opinion of Chen Fan, although Li Xiang Yu was a little anxious in his heart, but on the surface, he could only agree. After all, the paint produced by Chen Fan's paint factory was very hot right now. Not to mention that the orders right now are already lined up until next year. Even if there were not so many orders, the output of this factory is simply not enough for them to use. Soon the matter of Hyundai reaching a cooperation agreement with Chen Fan spread out, which made Chris, the first GM senior vice president to come here, feel very disgraced. Moreover, the last time he came here, he had a very bad time with Chen Fan. Now it is impossible to pull down his face and come back to Chen Fan. So he started to have crooked thoughts, took out the phone and called out. Steve, go steal a piece of information for me. After you get the information, burn that place down. I'll let the people of the Great Eagle Dynasty know the consequences of offending me. A man from the Great Eagle Dynasty on the other end of the phone nodded with a smile on his lips. Don't worry, I'll make you satisfied. The honorarium remember to call my account. Not a moment after hanging up the phone, a text message came on Steve's cell phone. On it was the address of Chen Fan's paint factory. On the other side, the paint factory was in addition to Hyundai and GM. These days there were other automobile companies that came here wanting to talk to Chen Fan about cooperation. Their purpose was the same as the two car companies before. At first, they all wanted to take a stake in the company, and after being rejected, they. Only then did they change to cooperation. Chen Fan would basically agree to cooperation. Especially the domestic car companies, Chen Fan personally entertained them. Of course, there were also some small-time automobile companies that came here to seek cooperation. However, Chen Fan directly rejected all of these small-time enterprises. Watching more and more car companies come to discuss cooperation. Chen Fan knew that the car paint produced by his family would sooner or later attract the attention of the dynasty. So he exchanged a car paint formula from the system that did not have the radar speed detection effect. After exchanging the new car paint formula, he started to let the factory people use the new formula to produce car paint. This new car paint, although there is no anti-radar effect. However, it still had the same anti-scratch and wear-resistant effects. The materials used are similar to the original. Only the dosage of a few of the ingredients was different from before. Chen Fan had just let the new formula be used for a few days. A group of Chen Fan's acquaintances came to the paint factory. After Ying Ji was the first to get down from the car, he took a look around at the dilapidated factory buildings and the old-fashioned machines in the workshop. Frowning, he walked over to Chao Jinjiang and said, Director Chao, aren't we in the wrong place? How can just this small factory produce such high-tech car paint? Chao Jinjiang came down from his car and saw the look of this paint factory. There was also some skepticism in his heart because that kind of paint that could prevent radar detection. Their research institute had been researching it for more than 10 years, and there hadn't been any substantial progress. 
This kind of small factory that looks like it doesn't even have a decent laboratory. In theory, it is impossible to produce a car paint that can avoid radar speed detection. But from the point of view of the kind of car paint they tested, that kind of paint does have the function of avoiding radar speed measurement. And the location was here. Since we're all here already, let's go and take a look. After saying that, Xiao Jianjiang led In Ji and the others directly to the inside of the factory building. Those workers in the factory building had long since gotten used to seeing all sorts of people who came to visit during this time. No one paid any attention to Xiao Jianjiang and the others, each doing their own work. Not long after, Sun Hong ran over from the office. He looked at Xiao Jianjiang with some curiosity. In his heart, he was still a bit puzzled. No one has made an appointment to come today. With this thought in his heart, Sun Hong still went forward and asked politely. Hello, I am the factory director of this factory, may I ask if you are here to talk about cooperation? Before Xiao Jianjiang could say anything, he heard In Ji on the side say without any good humor. Call your boss over. Hearing his tone, Sun Hong looked at him and then turned his head to look at the coaster in the courtyard outside thinking that this was a big leader from somewhere coming down to inspect. So he hurriedly made a call to Chen Fan. Mr. Chen, a group of people have come to the factory, and they want to see you by name. Chen Fan was eating his meal when he heard Sun Hang's words and asked suspiciously, which factory? It doesn't look like they are here to talk about cooperation with us. They came in a coaster, it looks like the leaders came down to inspect. In a coaster? Although Chen Fan had never been an official, but he also knew that generally leaders came down for inspections in a coaster. So he said to Sun Hong, you take care of it first, I'll go now. After hanging up the phone, Sun Hong came to Chao Jianjiang and said, leader, our boss will be here soon. Chao Jianjiang nodded and asked, how many years has this factory of yours been open? More than 10 years. How's business? It wasn't so good before, but it's been pretty good lately. The orders have all been lined up for next year. Hearing Sun Hang's words, Chao Jianjiang's eyes shifted and he continued to ask, why has it suddenly gotten better during this period of time? Sun Hang felt that the other party was a leader, so he didn't think much about it. Because our boss developed a new type of paint for the building, this paint has a strong anti-scratch and wear-resistant function. Anti-scratch and wear-resistant? Then this kind of paint is really good. Hearing Sun Hong say anti-scratch and wear-resistant, Xiao Jianjiang was already certain in his heart. The kind of car paint they had tested before was produced by this small factory. By the way, what's your boss's name? Chen Fan. Chen Fan? Hearing this name Inji froze and his face instantly turned a little unsightly. Last time, it was because of a person named Chin Fan. He himself was screwed over by a person named Chin Fan last time and was reprimanded by the director. So for this name he remembered it very clearly. Yes, Chen Fan. Sun Hong was still a bit surprised and looked at Inji and asked, Leader you guys know my boss? Inji hurriedly shook his head and said, I don't know him. The paint factory and the gas tank farm were not in the same township. And the name Chin Fan was too common. So In Shi thought it couldn't be such a coincidence that he had met the same person both times he came here. Not only did In Shi think so, Xiao Jianjiang on the side also didn't think that this Chen Fan and the Chen Fan he knew were the same person. Although Chen Fan has high computer skills, car paint and computer skills, completely two different fields. So he also didn't think that the owner of the paint factory was the same Chen Fan who sold gas canisters to make the Chata One Piece Courtyard Wall Defense System. Do you have a research and development room in this small paint factory of yours? How did your boss research this kind of paint? Xiao Jianjiang asked as he walked towards the factory and looked around. I'm not sure about this. The few of them were talking when a group of people suddenly trotted in from outside. After those people came in, they walked directly to Xiao Jianjiang's face and stretched out their hands, saying, Director Xiao, why don't you say hello to us when you come to our place? Xiao Jianjiang was a little confused as he looked at the person in front of him. He didn't recognize these people at all. Although Xiao Jianjiang didn't recognize them, Sun Hong on the side did. At this moment, he was dumbfounded. These people who came were the main leaders of their town and county. There were times when Sun Hong went to the county for meetings and had seen this person at the venue. Seeing Xiao Jianjiang looking at himself with a dumbfounded face, the county leader was a bit embarrassed. At this time Sun Hong opened his mouth and said, Leader, this is our county's Zhao Kongsheng, Secretary Zhao. Oh, hello, Secretary Zhao. Hearing Sun Hang's introduction, Xiao Jianjiang then realized. The feeling was that his coming here was known by the people in the county. The two men exchanged pleasantries there for half a day. Zhao Kongsheng looked at Xiao Jianjiang and asked, Director Chao, are you coming to us for an unannounced visit this time? After saying that, he also gave an inquiring glance towards Sun Hang. At the same time, he was still thinking in his heart that during this recent period of time, there shouldn't be anything going on in the county either. Sun Hang was also at a loss, he had no idea what Xiao Jianjiang and the others were here for. 
Xiao Jianzhang couldn't help but roll his eyes and shook his head, no, just heard that there's a new material here and came over to take a look. New material? Hearing Xiao Jianzhang's words, Zhao Kanshang was confused. To be able to startle someone who came from the research institute above, it definitely wasn't something childish. But he surprisingly didn't know anything about it. It was only after a person beside Zhao Kangsheng whispered a few words in his ear that he came to his senses. So it's the car paint thing. Director Zhao, but I've heard that their car paint is not only scratch and wear resistant, but I've heard that it can also dodge radar speed measurement on the highway. Hearing Zhao Kangsheng's words, Sun Hong quickly waved his hand and said, Secretary Zhao, those are all rumors, there is no such thing. Chen Fan had already instructed Sun Hong that the anti-radar paint was definitely not to be told to the public. But even if he denied it as much as he could, it was useless. Xiao Jianzhang had already tested it long before they arrived. The car paint produced by their family did indeed have this effect. Mr. Son, you don't have to hide it. If we didn't have a clue, we wouldn't have found our way here. Yin Shi said as he looked at Sun Hong with a haughty face, seeing that he had already said so. Sun Hong couldn't say anything else. He could only hope in his heart that Chen Fan would hurry up and come. After all, the matter of the car paint was not a small matter, in case if it was looked at by Dynasty. If they were to be recognized by Dynasty and take away their formula, then this paint factory would be finished in the future. When Yin Shi finished speaking, he saw that Sun Hong stopped talking. He continued, show me the formula for the car paint. This, Yin Shi came up and asked for the formula, and Sun Hong didn't want to give it to him at all. The poor county leaders all had to flatter him, and he was somewhat afraid to disobey. Just when he was in a dilemma. Chen Fan drove his car to the yard. Seeing Chen Fan's car come in, Sun Han let out a long sigh of relief and hurriedly ran over. Mr. Chen, you're finally here, those few people who don't know what kind of officials they are want our car paint formula. Shall we give it or not? Chen Fan sat in the car, unbuckling his seatbelt while looking outside in the rearview mirror. Originally, he had already arrived a long time ago. But as soon as he came out of the gas tank factory, he felt as if someone was following him behind. So he deliberately took a detour. Sure enough there was indeed a car following him behind. This made Chen Fan somewhat puzzled. In the end, what kind of person was following him? He waited in the car for a while. He didn't find the car that was following him. Chen Fan felt that he should have been shaken off by himself on the way here just now. What kind of person, coming up and asking for the formula, don't you know that the formula is our lifeblood? With those words Chen Fan got down from the car. As soon as he looked up, he saw Chao Jianzheng, Ying Ji and a few others who were looking at him with their mouths wide open and shocked. Director Chiao, how come it's you guys? For Chiao Jianjing Chen Fan's impression was still very good. This person was steady in his work and humble in his behavior. It's really you. Chiao Jianjing's face was filled with surprise when he saw that the visitor was really Chen Fan. He hurriedly walked over to shake hands with Chen Fan. This made Zhao Kangsheng and the others on the side confused. One should know that when he came over just now, Zhao Kangsheng was still ignoring him. But he was so polite to Chen Fan. If I had known that you guys were coming, I would have gone straight to my factory, causing me to be chased for half a day before I came over. Hearing Chen Fan say that he was chased for half a day, Xiao Jianzhang's face turned serious for a moment and asked, What's going on? What kind of people are chasing you? Chen Fan shook his head and said, I don't know, I just came out of the gas tank factory and was targeted. That person followed me all the way, and when I was almost there, I should have been shaken off. After Chen Fan finished speaking, Xiao Jianzhang pulled Chen Fan aside a few steps and asked, have you offended someone recently? Chen Fan thought for a moment and said, Noah, I'm all about opening doors and doing business. What people can I offend? If I really say I've offended, there are just a few car companies that wanted to invest in me, but I didn't agree. Which car companies? General Motors. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Xiao Jianjiang instantly understood. Chen Fan, this car paint of your family has a stealth function. I reckon they're all coming for this. It's best for you to pay attention during this period of time. Those people from the Great Eagle Dynasty are capable of doing anything. Chen Fan nodded and looked at him as he asked and said, You guys are here for this as well. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Xiao Jianjiang was a bit surprised. You already knew I would come? Chen Fan nodded and said, The legend of the car paint has the function of preventing high-speed radar speed measurement. This should indicate that the car paint can absorb some of the radar light waves. If it is used on top of an airplane, then it will enhance the stealth effect of the airplane. Am I right? The purpose of Chao Jianzhang's trip was to figure out the principle behind this car paint being able to absorb radar light waves. That's right, that's what we came here for. You have to realize that we haven't been able to figure out anything after studying it for over 10 years. I'm very curious, how did you research it? At this Chen Fan also said with a helpless smile, Do you believe me when I say that I don't know either? Chao Jianzhang gave Chen Fan an expression of do I look like a fool. 
The matter of not being able to be captured by the highway speed radar, I only heard it from others later. This was what Chen Fan had long thought of saying. As for whether Chao Jinjiang believed it or not, Chen Fan didn't care about that. And after hearing about this, I also knew that this matter had a very big impact, so I started to have people work backwards on the materials. The car paint produced now no longer has that kind of function. Looking at Chen Fan did not look like he was telling lies. Xiao Jinjiang asked half-heartedly, Are you saying that you already know what caused the car paint to absorb radar light waves? Chen Fan nodded and said, Yes, I have set up a research and development center, and I'm working on this stuff now. You still have an R&D center? Xiao Jinjiang asked with wide eyes full of incredulity. Yeah, what's wrong? Chen Fan looked at him and asked, Where is it? Can I go and have a look? Yes, it's right next to my gas tank farm. Seeing Chen Fan agree, Xiao Jinjiang didn't care to talk to those leaders in the county in detail, so he directly pulled Chen Fan into the coaster and left. The group of leaders in the county saw Xiao Jinjiang and the others pull Chen Fan and leave without saying a word. One by one, they were all dumbfounded. They couldn't figure out what was going on in the hearts of this group of people. Chen Fan, I remember you said at first that there were several fields? On the way to the gas tank factory, Xiao Jinjiang looked at Chen Fan and asked, There were four then, and now there are five. What kind of factories are they? A gas tank factory, you guys know that. There's also a steel factory, a fertilizer factory, and a paint factory. And one more. And a drone factory under construction. Ah, you've even got a drone factory? Xiao Jinjiang was puzzled. Although the first few factories were basically not very relevant, they were still justifiable. But this drone factory could be said to be worlds apart from the others. He couldn't figure out how the industry Chen Fan was working in could span so much. Seeing Chao Jinjiang's face filled with doubt, Chen Fan explained, It's like this, my several factories are basically sunset industries. Even though they can still make some money now, sooner or later they will have to be shut down. That's why I'm thinking of getting into some high-tech industries. The drone industry is an industry I feel has a lot of potential, so I want to develop in this industry. Chen Fan's words made Chao Jinjiang a little confused. The drone industry had a lot of potential that anyone could see. However, there was already a unicorn like DJI in this industry. Other people want to get a piece of the pie is very difficult. And it needs to have a lot of technical reserves to be able to do so. He couldn't understand where Chen Fan got his backbone from. One must know that even the most powerful Great Eagle Dynasty in the world now could not do anything about DJI. Chen Fan ah, what you said is quite right, but developing a drone requires a deep technical reserve. Otherwise, a few hundred million or even a few billion dollars smashed into it might not be able to make a single wave. Xiao Jinjiang said this for Chen Fan's benefit from the bottom of his heart. Yin Ji, who was on the side, also spoke out at this time and scoffed. Some people, they just don't know the heights of heaven. They always think that if they have a little money, they want to do everything. They don't take a piss first. Hearing Yin Ji's words, Chen Fan not only did not get angry. Instead, he looked at him with a smile and said, you can do it. I didn't expect that the lesson from last time had made you learn so much in one go. You. Yin Ji's words were meant to mock Chen Fan but he didn't expect that Chen Fan would just one sentence, and transferred the mocking words to himself. In Ji, say less. Chao Jinjiang said with a reprimanding tone. Being told off by Chao Jinjiang, In Ji skimmed his head, and although he was still unconvinced in his eyes, he didn't speak anymore. As for Chao Jinjiang, he saw that he couldn't convince Chen Fan either, so he didn't continue to persuade on this. Soon their group arrived at Chen Fan's R&D center, looking at the 10-story high building not far away, and those tall workshops around them. Xiao Jinjiang was somewhat dazed. The last time they came here, the R&D center here was still a wasteland. It was only how long ago that there had been already built into tall buildings. Chen Fan, your movements are really fast, it's only been a few months. This tall building has already been built. Xiao Jinjiang said with great generalization. Let's go, I'll show you guys around. The meta materials that our R&D center is working on. Chen Fan was here every day, so he felt normal about the changes here. Aha! After saying that, Xiao Jinjiang and the others followed Chen Fan to the R&D center. Having just walked up to the entrance, the one in charge of today's door guard was Bai Huang. Seeing Chen Fan bringing people here, he immediately stood up and gave them a salute. Bai Huang's salute was clean and sharp, and his military posture was very straight. Just from this glance, one could tell that this person was definitely no worse than those who stood guard at the entrance of their institute. Chen Fan, this is a veteran right? Chen Fan nodded his head and casually said to said, yes, retired from the special forces. Special forces retired? This was another shock to Chao Jinjiang. He didn't expect that one of the doorways of the R&D center were all retired special forces. In his heart, he began to become expectant of those things Chen Fan was researching. Che, making a big deal out of it, as if anyone could come and steal from you. Yin Ji, who was still unconvinced, mocked. Maybe, you want my research results. 
Impossible. The things that are researched in a shitty place like yours, our institute can't even look at them. Then what are you guys doing here? Chen Fan's sentence once again blocked Ying Ji speechless. Ying Ji had a high opinion of himself, and he felt from the bottom of his heart that a grassroots organization like Chen Fan couldn't research anything good at all. Even if they did, it was just a blind cat running into a dead rat. It was just good luck. After walking into the lobby of the R&D center, Xiao Jinjiang was attracted by a floor sign next to the elevator. Written on the sign were, Agricultural Science Research Center 1 to 2, Car Paint Research and Development Center, 3 to 4, Iron and Steel Scientific Research Center, 5 to 8, Tank Equipment Technology Research Center, 9 to 11, Drone Research and Development Center, 12 to 14. Xiao Jinjiang pointed to the words on the floor sign and asked, Is this the project you're researching? Chen Fan nodded and said, Pretty much, because we are researching more and more. That's why it was given a general name directly, and there are also many subtle research and development groups in the specific floors above. Just these few research programs alone were intimidating for Chao Jinjiang. It was important to know that many famous research institutes, at best, only researched one type of project. But Chen Fan and their one R&D center were actually researching so many things at the same time. This made Xiao Jinjing feel that Chen Fan was somewhat trying to eat a fat man in one bite. But it was simply impossible to eat a fat person in one bite in terms of research. A breakthrough was only possible if one concentrated on researching and developing a project at full strength. Chen Fan ah, isn't it a bit too much for you to research so many projects at once? Why don't you focus on the research and development of one project, and then after you have the results, you can gradually develop the other projects? Xiao Jinjiang opened his mouth to persuade. Regarding Xiao Jinjiang's persuasion, Chen Fan however had a face full of unconcern. Old Xiao, just rest assured, I can afford to supply so many projects at the same time. Xiao Jinjiang saw that Chen Fan did not listen to his persuasion at all. He could only give up, he felt that Chen Fan was still too young now. Perhaps hitting a wall and encountering some setbacks was not necessarily a bad thing. A group of people directly came to the third floor of the car paint research and development center. As soon as they came up, they saw many people wearing white coats in the transparent classrooms. They were doing experiments inside. Chen Fan directly led them to the innermost part. Chen Fan pointed to a transparent glass room and said, What's being researched here is metamaterials. This kind of metamaterial is what we separated from the previous car paint. It is produced by a chemical reaction between two materials that don't seem to be very special, after a high temperature, changing the properties. This kind of metamaterial has a strong absorption for light waves. After hearing Chen Fan's explanation, Xiao Jianzhang hurriedly asked, How much can the absorption rate reach? Right now it's around 5%. But if we can continue purifying this material, the absorption rate should be even higher. Xiao Jianzhang was excited. Their institute had been researching stealth materials for stealth fighters for over 10 years, but there hadn't been any major breakthroughs. He didn't expect to find a material that could reach a 5% absorption rate coming from such a small, remote city. Can I go in and take a look? Xiao Jianzhang asked excitedly. Yes. Seeing Chen Fan agree, Xiao Jianzhang immediately changed his clothes and walked in. The people in the research lab did not recognize Xiao Jianzhang, but when they saw Chen Fan right outside, it was understood that it must have been Chen Fan who let him in, so there was no stopping him from operating. Xiao Jianzhang looked at the instruments used in the lab that were actually more advanced than his own place, and there were also several machines that he had only seen abroad. He didn't expect Chen Fan to have gotten it. But now he had no time to think about these instruments in detail. He began to conduct a radar light wave test on the already extracted metamaterial. This test didn't matter. Xiao Jianzhang was startled. Just now, Chen Fan had said that there was only a 5% absorption rate. But when he tested it, there was actually an 8% absorption rate. Are these purified? Xiao Jianzhang asked a researcher beside him. Yes, this has been purified three times. Well, good job. Xiao Jianzhang gave the researcher a thumbs up. Then he came out from the lab. After coming out, he also spoke to Chen Fan and immediately went to the side to make a call. Director, found it. As soon as the phone was connected, Xiao Jianzhang immediately said excitedly, Is it effective? More than having an effect, they had already purified that material when I came here. Now the absorption rate has reached 8%. If they continue to purify it, it will be an excellent material to use in our stealth fighters. Really, that's great. Hearing Xiao Jianzhang's words, the director also turned very excited. Immediately ask for their program and formula over here. Hearing the director say to come over, Xiao Jianzhang said with some difficulty. Director, it's not too good to come over. Oops, I'm talking about selling, ask them if they can sell it to us. This kind of material is useless for them to keep for themselves. I'm afraid this is a bit difficult. After Xiao Jianzhang finished speaking, the director asked suspiciously, how come they don't want to sell it to us? 
This I haven't asked yet, mainly based on what he said, this material is purified from amongst the car paint. It's an extra product caused by the chemical reaction generated by the high temperature. It needs to be purified, even if he sells us the technology, it's not good for us to extract it from that much amount of car paint. Hearing Xiao Jinjiang say this, the director was also a bit at a loss as to what to do. Although he could also apply for Dynasty to set up a car paint factory, specializing in production for his own institute. But then, that would cause a lot of waste. Even if there were more funding, it wouldn't be enough to spend like that. Old Joe, what do you think about this? We can cooperate with them and have them extract it for us and sell it to us. Then let's do that first. Director, this matter, it's a big deal, I think you need to apply and send some people here to protect it. I've heard that someone has been following this boss for the past few days. Hearing Xiao Jianjiang say this, the director also knew the seriousness of the matter. Nodding his head, he said, well, I'll call for an application. After hanging up the phone, Xiao Jianjiang returned to Chen Fan. Chen Fan, I'll be straight with you, this material that you guys are researching now. It's the material that our institute has been researching for more than 10 years without any clue. This material can turn our fighters into stealth fighters, greatly increasing the combat power and deterrent effect of our dynasty air force. Speaking here, Xiao Jianjiang looked deeply at Chen Fan. I won't talk about the importance of this kind of material, I'll just go straight to the idea. We want to enter into a cooperation with you, you sell us all of the super materials that you come up with. We will give you a satisfactory price. But the premise is that this material can only be sold to us. Are you willing? After Chao Jianjiang finished speaking, his two eyes were fixed on Chen Fan. He and Chen Fan had only met twice. He did not know Chen Fan particularly well either. So if he saw Chen Fan hesitate or disagree, then he would have to think of other ways. After all, such a precious thing, the dynasty would not allow other dynasties to get it. But what he didn't know was, this kind of super material that Chen Fan had researched was originally prepared for the dynasty. After all, the businesses he was doing now, although not considered illegal, but they weren't anything honorable either. Chen Fan also needed to put a talisman on himself. And this kind of super material was a good talisman. Of course, Chen Fan agreed to Xiao Jinjiang's request at once. After saying that, Xiao Jinjiang was a bit surprised. It was because Chen Fan's promise was just too painful, without even thinking about it. Even Xiao Jinjiang had the feeling that Chen Fan had been waiting for him to say this for a long time. You agreed so painfully? Not thinking about it? When Chen Fan saw Xiao Jinjiang's expression, he knew that he had agreed too painfully. But since he had already agreed, he could only say, Didn't you already say everything just now? This is for making coatings on our stealthy fighters. It can greatly improve the stealth effectiveness of our warplanes. If the dynasty can use it, then what else do I have to consider? Chen Fan spoke these words in an impassioned and righteous manner. Instead, it made Xiao Jianjiang a little uncomfortable. He did not expect Chen Fan to still be this fervent patriot. Chen Fan that's really thank you. We haven't had any breakthroughs in our research for so long, but we didn't expect to have a breakthrough with you. In this case, when we go back in a while, we'll bring some of your super materials back to do research. You guys just keep producing this material. Also recently there might be soldiers coming to your place to take care of security. Don't be too surprised if you tell the people in your company. Xiao Jianjiang explained to Chen Fan. This is no problem. Do you want to take a look at our other research? At this proposal from Chen Fan, Xiao Jianjiang directly waved his hand and said. Let's wait until we have the chance to look at it later. My main task right now is to bring the meta material back for research. This matter is already urgent for us. You don't know that the stealth planes of the Great Eagle Dynasty are now coming to harass our coast all day long. If we can develop our stealth fighters earlier, they will not dare to hang around in front of us so brightly one day sooner. Xiao Jianjiang had already said this, so Chen Fan couldn't afford to continue to hold back. He had someone take out some meta materials from the lab for Xiao Jianjiang and took them away. Due to Xiao Jianjiang's eagerness to leave, the people didn't even have lunch before they left. Xiao Jianjiang's car had just gone out from the gate. In a car outside the gate, the two people who had been squatting at the gate froze as they looked at that Yanjing license plate coaster. How does this kid still know people from Yanjing? Looks like he's still an official. I don't know. Both of them were a bit confused. Just as the two of them were chatting here, a foreigner passed by the door. As he walked past the doorway, he also quietly took several pictures of the inside of the door. His movements were very stealthy, and could not be seen at all from a distance. But these two people were sitting in the car, less than two meters away from the man's so they saw his movements clearly. The two men looked at each other, both could see that this foreigner was not right just now. This person couldn't be a foreign mercenary coming to kill Chen Fan. I don't know, but looking at his movements just now, he looks like a professional. Holy shit, daring to run to our great Xia dynasty to do a mission? It's really bold and fat. Don't you know that our great Xia dynasty is a forbidden place for mercenaries? 
These two people were from the State Security Bureau of the Grand Xia Dynasty. When Chen Fan and the others were on a mission in Canaan, they had already been discovered by the Great Xia Dynasty's intelligence department. So when Chen Fan returned, he was immediately targeted by the people from the National Security Bureau. The ones who had followed Chen Fan before were also them. Only they didn't realize that the foreigner just now was hired by General Motors. He didn't want to come and kill Chen Fan. Rather, he wanted to steal the car paint formula from Chen Fan. Looking at this suspicious looking person, these two reported directly to their superiors. Head, when we were monitoring Chen Fan, we found that some foreign mercenaries came here. The person on the other end of the phone was directly stunned when he heard his report. What? Foreign mercenaries? Are you sure you're not mistaken? No, that person was sneaking around outside Chen Fan's factory and even took pictures towards the inside. This kid, he really doesn't let people worry about him, you guys keep an eye on that person, I'll send someone to support you. After hanging up the phone, these two started to follow that foreigner just now. They followed him all the way to the hotel where he was staying. Then they opened a room next door to him. But after that person entered the room, he didn't move. He didn't come out for the whole day. And didn't come out until the night when they turned in. This made them very strange. More than 2 o'clock in the evening, the foreigner quietly came out of the hotel. As soon as he came out, the people from the state security bureau next door knew and also quietly followed him out. The foreigner drove a car downstairs and stopped two kilometers away from Chen Fan's gas tank factory. Due to his strong anti-surveillance skills, the two men from the state security bureau didn't dare to follow him too closely. They could only follow from afar. What does he mean by parking his car here? I don't know, it can't be that he found us. Can't be, right? I could have been very careful just now. And it's still so far away, there's no way he could have spotted us. Then why do you think he parked his car here? Just as these two NSA men were wondering. The foreigner in the car in front had already taken advantage of the darkness and gotten out of the car, then walked all the way in the shadows towards Chen Fan's gas tank factory. When he arrived near the gas tank factory, he first looked around. There was not a single person around. With a confident grin, he took out a pair of black gloves from his bag and walked towards the courtyard wall. With his hands this gas tank factory's courtyard wall is virtually non-existent. But before he could reach the courtyard wall, he was illuminated by the light on the camera that suddenly lit up. Attention, you have entered the surveillance area, please leave immediately. Otherwise you will be punished. Please note, you have entered the surveillance area, please leave immediately. Otherwise you will be punished. Hearing this monitoring voice, the foreigner panicked a bit, picking up a stone from the ground and smashing it on the lamp. Ta da da. Da da da. Before the stone in the foreigner's hand could be thrown out, it was attacked by the Chada 1 courtyard wall defense system on the courtyard wall. Soon the foreigner was covered in bruises. Although they were all superficial wounds, they hurt him so much that he bared his teeth. Fark. The foreigner didn't expect Chen Fan's gas tank factory courtyard wall to still have this kind of thing. It was also very angry. But now that the alarm had gone off, there was no way for him to continue to climb over the wall. He could only curse and run away. Although this foreign mercenary was beaten very badly at the courtyard wall there. But it was still very careful when it came back. The two people from national security did not see how he returned to the car. Just saw the car parked here for about 10 minutes or so before driving away. He stopped here for so long, did he go down? I don't know, I didn't see him go down. I didn't see it either, but I always feel as if he went down. If it doesn't work, go find Chen Fan tomorrow and ask him. Ask how? Let's just say if some mercenary from another dynasty came to you last night? This is better to go back and ask the captain. Humph. The two men spoke and once again started the car to follow the foreign mercenary. Chen Fan saw the video the next day. It was also very surprised. He didn't expect that there would be someone trying to come in over the wall. And this person was also a foreigner. This made Chen Fan wonder who this was sent by. When he was abroad, although he had indicated his identity of the Dasha dynasty, but it was impossible for them to find out where he lived so quickly. Although the Faris knew, they were busy fighting guerrilla attacks against the Israelite army right now. There was no way they could betray their news. Besides, he would need to buy gas canisters and stuff from himself later. After thinking for a while, Chen Fan couldn't figure out who wanted to come in over the wall and mess things up. He had no choice but to tell Bai Huang and the others to be more vigilant in the recent period. The next day during the day, several vehicles came to the courtyard. More than 20 people came down from the cars. After these people got out of the car, they consciously stood in two rows. The fact that so many people suddenly came to Chen Fan's place made Chen Fan very surprised. At this time, a person came over and looked at Chen Fan and said, Mr. Chen, hello, we are sent by the Third Research Institute to protect this place. Our director said that due to the special situation you have here, we are not allowed to stand guard in uniform for the time being. Hearing his words, Chen Fan remembered it once. 
Earlier, Xiao Jianjiang had told himself that there would be people coming. I didn't expect these people to come this soon. The addition of these people of theirs just made up for the lack of Bai Huang and the few of them protecting the security of the R&D center and the gas tank plant. Although Bai Huang and the few of them were skilled enough, they were too few in number after all. Moreover, it happened last night that someone tried to come in over the wall. You guys came at the perfect time. Last night I watched the surveillance of a person from another dynasty trying to climb over the wall and come in. You guys need to pay some attention when guarding. Okay, leader. Hearing that person call himself leader, Chen Fan instantly felt a little embarrassed. Waving his hand, he said, don't call me leader, we are more or less the same, just call me Chen Fan. After Chen Fan finished speaking, he saw that the man was still a bit hesitant. He continued, I have a few more friends here, all retired from the special forces. You should be able to chat together, they all call me by my name as well. Hearing that Chen Fan had already said so, the man couldn't afford to push back. Alright then, my name is Zhuang Yuan, they all call me scholar, you can call me whatever you want. Good, scholar, let's go, I'll take you to meet them. After saying that, Chen Fan led them to the dormitory next to the R&D center. Seeing Chen Fan bring so many people, Bai Huang and a few of them hurriedly walked out. Captain, you found people so quickly? Recruiting so many at once, this is a big job. After Bai Huang and a few of them followed Chen Fan as mercenaries in the Middle East last time, it had been on their minds to go out on another mission for some time now. For them, carrying out missions was not only able to make money, it would also allow them to fulfill their gun addiction. Ever since they retired from the army, they hadn't touched a gun for a long time. Last time, it was a great experience for them, but it was just too short a time. They had been thinking about when they could go out again. So now when they saw these people that Chen Fan had brought with him, at a glance, they knew that these people were all practiced fighters. Thought that Chen Fan had received some big job here. Hearing them all call Chen Fan captain. Scholar gave Chen Fan a puzzled look. Thinking to himself, didn't you just say that they all called you by your name? How did you become a captain? Seeing Zhuang Yuan's puzzled gaze, Chen Fan smiled awkwardly and said, I am the security captain here. Come let me introduce you guys. At this time, White Yellow, Green Bird, Tarzan, Lone Wolf, and a cheetah are standing guard outside. After saying that, Chen Fan said to Bai Huang and a few of them, This is Zhuang Yuan, sent by Dynasty to protect our security here. From now on, you guys don't call me captain, you still call me by my name as before. Chen Fan said this in a very cryptic way, but he deliberately emphasized the word dynasty in his voice. Bai Huang and the few of them heard Chen Fan's meaning at once. They immediately thought that their whereabouts abroad had been leaked. They began to be cautious. Hello, I'm Bai Huang. Which troop is the brother from? 96312. I heard Chin Fan say that you are all retired special forces? Bai Huang nodded and said, yes. Then how? Zhuang Yuan meant to say that all special forces retired, how could they willingly come here to be security guards? Bai Huang thought that he was testing himself. So he said, the wages here are high, the treatment is good, nothing to do can also play real CS here, miss the life of the army, it's quite good. Hearing Bai Huang's words, Zhuang Yuan nodded his head without any doubt. Chen Fan looked at Bai Huang and said, Old Bai, why don't you take them to see the dormitory first, and take them to familiarize themselves with our environment here in the next two days. Also it's best to send a few people to the paint factory, I reckon there might be people there as well. Yes. After Bai Huang finished speaking, he led Zhuang Yuan and the others to the dormitory. After arriving at the dormitory, Zhuang Yuan looked at the dormitory with surprise in his eyes. The dormitories here were all double rooms, two people to a room, with their own beds and closets. It didn't look like a dormitory at all, more like a double room in a hotel. Brother Bai, is Chen Fan so rich? Giving his employees all such dormitories? It wasn't the first time Zhuang Yuan and the others had been on such a mission, but it was the first time they lived so well. Bai Huang also didn't know exactly how much money Chen Fan had right now. After thinking for a while, he said, he makes money pretty fast. Gas tanks, steel, paint, fertilizer. These few seemingly unrelated things were all able to make Chen Fan into an arms business. The value was definitely much higher than the original. And selling these things came with distribution. On the last mission, just a few of them alone had no one to share several million dollars. In Bai Huang's opinion, Chen Fan did make money very quickly. When Zhuang Yuan heard Bai Huang's words, his heart was still a little strange. This neighborhood was just next to a somewhat dilapidated looking gas tank factory. Where did Chen Fan make all his money from? However, when he heard Bai Huang say that Chen Fan did not only have this one gas tank factory but also three other factories, he had thought that the other factories were all about high-tech research. But after listening to it, he realized that the other factories were actually old factories like steel factories, fertilizer factories, and paint factories. This makes Zhuang Yuan somewhat more strange. What kind of high technology can such a factory research? What kind of high technology can such a factory research? 
After Bai Huang finished his introduction, he saw that Zhuang Yuan still had a puzzled look on his face. Then he asked, Brothers, how did Chen Fan recruit you guys? We weren't recruited by him, we're from Dynasty Third Research Institute. Hearing Zhuang Yuan's words, it was Bai Huang's turn for a few of them to be confused. Dynasty Third Research Institute? This unit Bai Huang and the rest of them had never heard of. But just hearing the name made them feel powerful. HM. We're here to be in charge of security here. Ah. This time, Bai Huang's eyes directly widened. Thinking to himself that even if Chen Fan had sold the gas canisters to the Middle East, then it wouldn't be possible to use these people to come here as security guards. Is there anything here that is worth protecting? Bai Huang asked tentatively. I'm not sure about this, but the information we've gotten is that no one can take any information from here. Bai Huang and the few of them glanced at each other. All saw shock in each other's eyes. They couldn't figure out why this was happening. Although it wasn't explicitly stated, from Zhuang Yuan's words just now and the actions of those of them, Bai Huang and the others could tell that these people probably weren't retired from the military right now. That meant that these soldiers who were serving in the military had actually come to work as bodyguards for Chen Fan. This made Bai Huang and all of them confused. However, they also all knew about discipline and didn't ask for more. They only wanted to find an opportunity to ask Chen Fan what was going on. Next, Bai Huang brought Zhuang Yuan to the R&D center. We are currently mainly responsible for the security here. I reckon you guys should be as well. We can be on duty together at that time. Zhuang Yuan nodded and said, Okay, but we also need to protect the gas tank factory and paint factory as well. Hearing Zhuang Yuan say that he also wanted to secure the gas tank factory, he directly shook his head and said, I don't know about the paint factory. But forget about the gas tank factory, it's safe there. Eh? Zhuang Yuan looked at Bai Huang and revealed a puzzled expression. Why? Bai Huang said with a smile, you'll know if you come with me. After saying that, he brought Zhuang Yuan to the courtyard wall of the gas tank factory. Looking at the courtyard wall that was only one person high, Zhuang Yuan didn't find anything strange about it, except for the fact that there were several cameras on it. What's wrong? You don't think that just because there are several cameras, no one would dare to go in and steal it. Bai Huang hemmed and hawed and said, you can go over there and try. Seeing Bai Huang show watching expression, Zhuang Yuan suspiciously looked towards the cameras for a while longer and still didn't find anything different. So he carefully walked over towards the courtyard wall. Attention, you have entered the surveillance area, please leave immediately. Otherwise you will be punished. Zhuang Yuan, who had been carefully approaching, was startled by the sudden sound. However, upon seeing that it was the sound of a monitor alarm, he ignored it and continued to walk forward. Just a few steps ahead. A toy tank that was originally hidden within the courtyard wall suddenly flipped over onto the courtyard wall. When he first saw this toy tank, Zhuang Yuan was still startled. When he saw clearly that it was a toy, he couldn't help but cut. Cut, just use this to scare people. He had only just finished saying this when the toy tank suddenly opened fire at him. A single steel ball that wasn't even as big as a fingernail cap shot out from the toy tank's gun port, sending Zhuang Yuan back and forth. Holy shit, what is this thing? How come it's so fierce? Bai Huang, who was on the side, couldn't help but laugh when he saw Zhuang Yuan's wretched appearance. Ha, huh, look at you even like this, other people can't even get close, right? Zhuang Yuan touched his face and stepped back with a wary face. This thing is indeed powerful, but what if I break it in advance? If it's broken, he'll automatically call the police and Chen Fan will know. If there's no one else, just Chen Fan, what can he do if he's there? Hearing Zhuang Yuan say this, Bai Huang said with a bad smile on his face again, you can find him to try. Hearing Bai Huang's words, Zhuang Yuan asked with an extra heart this time. Can it be that Chen Fan is also a retired special forces soldier? That's not true. Since it's not, then why are you still saying that? Bai Huang smiled without saying anything. He had suffered a loss at Chen Fan's hands. Naturally, he wanted to see others suffer losses at Chen Fan's hands. Never mind, if you said so, Chen Fan must have two tricks up his sleeve. But it's still necessary to send two people here to mean something. Fine. Bai Huang and Zhuang Yuan started setting up the guard post. Not far away, the people from national security took it all in. What the hell is this Chen Fan up to? There were only just five mercenaries before, and today there must be twenty more. Another person nodded and said, didn't he know about the foreign mercenaries coming here to look for him? Is that why he recruited so many people to come and try to protect himself? It's possible. As the two were talking, Bai Huang's voice suddenly rang out from the side. What foreign mercenaries? When did you guys come over? The two men from the national security were in the car and didn't even realize when the two men, Bai Huang and Zhuang Yuan, came to their car. I'm asking you, what foreign mercenaries came looking for him? Bai Huang yanked that national security man out of the car in one go. Although that person was from the national security, he was still much less skilled than Bai Huang. Trying to resist was simply no match for Bai Huang. 
he was completely subdued in a few moments. The other person was just about to make a move when he was taken down by Zhuang Yuan. Let go, we're from the dynasty. Dynasty's people? It's dynasty's men who are fighting today. Zhuang Yuan was sent from above, and when he saw someone posing as one of his own, he was instantly enraged. Going up towards that person was two kicks. Egu, I really am. You guys are breaking the law. After the man received two kicks, he still refused to let go, and Zhuang Yuan kicked two more times at him. The commotion over here soon attracted the attention of the others. Soon Cygnus and those of them ran over. What's going on? These two guys are sneaking around here, and talking about mercenaries coming. Hearing White Yellow say this, Cyan Bird immediately thought of the incident they had abroad, but that matter was only known to a few of them. At the thought of Chen Fan saying that a foreigner had recently tried to get in over the wall, it was assumed that these two people were in league with that foreigner. After exchanging a glance with Bai Huang, he pressed the two of them and headed towards the courtyard. Chen Fan was in his office watching the news from Canaan. During this period of time, the Israeli and Lebanese armies had launched a fierce ground attack on Canaan, and quickly occupied many places in Canaan. However, Faris and their resistance organization were also fighting back extremely hard. Every day on the internet, there were videos of them using PRGs to shell tanks and armored vehicles of the Israeli army. Even Shen Fan had seen several people from Faris and their organization. Videos of them putting bombs on tanks with their bare hands without any protection. These videos touched Chen Fan deeply. Decades ago, the forefathers of the Dasha dynasty had dealt with those invaders in the same way. If it wasn't for the fact that Canaan was now inaccessible, Chen Fan really wanted to send some more gas canisters over to them for free. While thinking about this, he heard someone outside the door talking while walking towards him. He was just about to get up and go out to see what was going on. He saw Bai Huang and Zhuang Yuan as they escorted two people in from outside. Chen Fan, these two people are sneaking around outside and talking about foreign mercenaries. Hearing this from Bai Huang, Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly as he waved his hand at Bai Huang and said, Let them go first, I'll ask what's going on. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Bai Huang directly let go of that person. Zhuang Yuan saw that Bai Huang directly let go and said with some worry, Chen Fan, it's better to find something to tie them up, just in case if they try to disadvantage you. Before Zhuang Yuan could finish his words, he was interrupted by Bai Huang. Old Zhuang Yu can rest assured, even if you let the two of them do it, they are no match for Chen Fan. Ah! Zhuang Yuan didn't expect Bai Huang to say that and looked at Chen Fan in surprise. He had been in contact with Chen Fan. In his opinion, Chen Fan looked like a freshly graduated college student. It didn't even look like a person who could do two things. However, since Bai Huang had already said so, Zhuang Yuan could only let it go. Who are you two? Chen Fan looked at the two of them and asked. Those two knew that if they didn't say anything today, they were afraid that they wouldn't be able to get out. So one of them said, we are people from the state security of the great Xia dynasty. What are the national security people doing here with me? Oomph, don't you know what you've done yourself? That person had been kicked several times by Bai Huang, and there was fire in his heart. Now that his identity had been revealed, he spoke to Chen Fan in a rude manner. Where are your documents? Didn't bring them. Didn't bring it what are you pretending with me? Give me a beating. Chen Fan's words had only just been finished when white, yellow and green bird went up and beat on the two men. Stop fighting, stop fighting. These two people might be fine against other people, but in the hands of Bai Huang and Cyan Bird and the others, they were simply powerless to fight back. They hadn't even hit them a few times before the man was a little too much to handle. Chen Fan waved his hand and looked at him and asked again, What exactly are you guys trying to do here? What is the meaning of foreign mercenaries? We came here to spy on you, earlier we saw some foreign mercenaries hanging around your neighborhood. Was it yesterday? Chen Fan asked with a frown. No, that foreign mercenary drove to this neighborhood last night, but stopped for 10 minutes or so and left. What he said, matched up with the video from last night this. Chen Fan was basically certain that these two people were not telling lies. Alright, you guys go, if you want to spy on me in the future, you can come directly to the factory to watch, you don't need to be outside. Ah, it was the turn of the two of them to be dumbfounded. What's going on? Don't you guys want to spy on me? You can come in and see what I'm doing? It's not like what I'm doing is illegal. Not afraid to look. Hearing Chen Fan say that what he was doing wasn't illegal and he wasn't afraid to look. One of them couldn't help but say, you're still not breaking the law, aren't you all? He suddenly stopped when he said this. It seems that being a mercenary abroad is indeed not against the law. Thinking of this, he asked again, you're just going to let us go? Chen Fan laughed dumbly and said, you are all national security, if I don't let you go, is it hard to keep you here for dinner? You know that we are dynasty people? The man looked at Chen Fan and asked with wide eyes. Chen Fan didn't say anything, but his expression already made him sure that Chen Fan believed his words. Then you still let them beat us up. At this moment, he dared to be angry. 
After all, he was the one who said that he had no documents just now, and it was not Chen Fan's fault. After the two people came out of Chen Fan's office, both took a long breath. Although they had been beaten up by those people just now, the physical pain was much smaller compared to the pressure that Bai Huang as well as those people from Zhuang Yuan had brought to them. It was only now after coming out from inside that the two started to feel pain all over their bodies. What do we do now? What else can we do? Go back and report truthfully to the head. After those two people left, Chen Fan looked at Bai Huang and Zhuang Yuan and said, You guys heard what that person said just now. Although I don't know what that foreign mercenary came to do. As long as he dares to come next time, we must catch him no matter what. Just don't worry, as long as he still dares to come, we'll make sure he can't leave. Well, you guys go ahead and get busy. After Chen Fan finished speaking, Bai Huang left with Zhuang Yuan and all of them. Walking downstairs, Bai Huang suddenly said to Zhuang Yuan, You guys go back first, I'll ask Chen Fan something. After saying that, he went upstairs. Seeing Bai Huang come back, Chen Fan asked with some surprise, Why did you come back? Team Chen, the things we did abroad, they won't really be illegal, right? Bai Huang and the others were retired special forces soldiers, so they naturally didn't want to do anything illegal. Hearing him say that, Chen Fan said with a smile, Of course not. If we really committed a crime, do you think the national security people would just spy on me? We'd probably be arrested as soon as we got back. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Bai Huang felt quite relieved in his heart. But he still couldn't help but ask, then why do you think they came to spy on us? I think it's mainly because I don't feel comfortable with them, after all, there are fewer of them doing this in our country. Dynasty is also not very assured. Oh, just don't break the law. After Bai Huang heard Chen Fan's explanation, he left with peace of mind. At the same time, inside a conference room somewhere in Yanjing, several soldiers with only weed ears and stars on their shoulders were discussing an incident in anger. A blocking demand of 10 million dollars? Why don't they go robbing? Isn't this robbery? They only procured 5 million dollars apiece themselves, and they turn around and ask us for 10 million dollars. I don't think they want to sell to us at all. It's just a way to get under our skin. Even if we agreed to 10 million dollars apiece, they'd surely use all sorts of reasons not to give it to us. After all, as long as there are no blocking cables, our fighters won't be able to take off from the carriers, and they'll never be able to form combat power. Is it as simple as our carriers being short of a single blocking cable? We haven't developed stealth materials for our fighters either. Alright, everyone stop arguing. In a moment, I'll ask the third institute how the research is going. This leader of the military ministry was talking when suddenly a man barged in from outside. This person panted and ran in through the door with a smile on his face, excitedly rushing towards those military department bigwigs in the room. Leader, the third institute called, the stealth spray paint for J-20 has been developed. As soon as he said this, many people in the conference room instantly stood up from their seats in excitement. The J-20 was a fifth-generation fighter aircraft that had been in development for seven years by the Grand Xia Dynasty, with extremely high situational awareness and maneuverability. It was also designed with both stealth characteristics, but the stealth coding has never been developed. Otherwise, this plane would have been ready to go into service a long time ago. Now these military leaders are very excited to hear that the stealth paint has been developed. Because this was the result they had been waiting for for a long time. Are you sure? A commander-in-chief of the military ministry with three beans on his shoulder asked with a seemingly calm surface. Commander-in-chief, this is the phone number of the head of the three institutes. The man handed an encrypted cell phone to the commander-in-chief of the military ministry. Director Maku, the stealth spray paint has really been successfully developed? The man on the other end of the phone, Shou Fei Chiang, immediately replied. Yes, Commander-in-Chief. We've already conducted dozens of tests. The results are very good. According to the results of our tests on the model aircraft, the radar reflection area of the J-20 is only 0. 0. 0.027 square meters. Hearing Maku Fei Chiang's words, the Commander-in-Chief of the military department was very happy. At the same time, he was very puzzled in his heart. This stealth coating had been developed for several years. There has never been any great progress heard of, how is it that this has suddenly been successfully developed? How did you guys succeed in your research? The commander-in-chief of the military department asked this question. Xu Fei Chang instantly felt a little embarrassed. After all, strictly speaking, this stealth coating was not researched by their three institutes at all. They were merely experimenting with those super materials that they had brought back from Chen Fan. Commander-in-chief, we didn't develop this. Not developed by you? Then it was bought? Said the commander-in-chief as his face began to look puzzled. Right now there were only a few dynasties in the world that had the ability to develop a fifth-generation stealth fighter. The Great Eagle Dynasty was basically enough to say that it had been under an arms embargo against the Grand Xia Dynasty for so many years. It was definitely impossible to sell such high-tech things to Great Hope Super. 
Although the Great Bear Dynasty next door has a good relationship with the Grand Xia Dynasty, but their hearts have always been put in the Dasha Dynasty, surely will not give the Dasha Dynasty stealth paint for no reason. After thinking about it for half a day, the commander-in-chief of the military department couldn't think of any other dynasty that had this thing, and was willing to give it to the Grand Xia Dynasty. Almost, we got this from a private enterprise. Private enterprise? Hearing Mako Fei Chiang's words, the commander-in-chief of the military ministry was stunned. He had never thought that the stealth coding that they had spent huge amounts of money on developing for so many years without success, it was surprisingly developed successfully by a private enterprise. Yes, it's still a modest private enterprise. I'll tell you more about the specifics when I get to your office. I'm on my way now. After Curtin Feichon finished speaking, the commander-in-chief of the military ministry nodded and said, Good. After hanging up the phone, the commander-in-chief of the military ministry saw that the others were looking at him. With a haha -ha smile, he said, Everyone doesn't need to look at me. Didn't you all already hear it just now? Although the crowd had already heard the commander-in-chief of the military department's call just now, but it was still a bit unbelievable. Commander-in-chief, there can't be a fraud here, what's a private company researching this for? What do you care why he's researching this, as long as there isn't? Right, as long as it's our dynasty's own enterprise. With the stealth paint, it won't take long for J20 to come out. Previously, because there was no high performance, high stealth fighter, the Great Eagle Dynasty often ran into the neighborhood of the Grand Xia Dynasty to harass it. But every time the Great Xia Dynasty's warplanes just took off, they were discovered by the Great Eagle Dynasty's radar. Not to mention drive away, even cannot catch up with the Great Eagle Dynasty's fighter aircraft. Therefore, the Great Xia Dynasty for the Great Eagle Dynasty's provocative action can only be expressed in protest. At one time these military department bigwigs present have begun to think of waiting for the J-20 to come out. They must ruthlessly destroy the Great Eagle Dynasty. They must ruthlessly destroy the arrogant flames of the Great Eagle Dynasty. Although the meeting has ended, but none of the military leaders have left. Everyone is waiting for the director of the Third Research Institute, Curtin Fei Chiang, to come. Half an hour later, Shou Fei Chiang walked in from outside. As soon as he entered, he saw that the conference room was filled with bigwigs from the military. Many of them hadn't come to the meeting earlier. After hearing the news, they immediately put down everything in their hands and rushed over. Little Curtin, quickly tell everyone what's going on. As soon as Curtin Fei Chiang came in, the commander in chief of the military ministry couldn't wait to look at Curtin Fei Chiang and said, Right little curtain, hurry up and tell us what's going on. Hurry up and tell me, I'm dying of anxiety. Seeing these bigwigs of the military department who were usually very calm no matter what they encountered. At this moment, they were all more anxious than one another. Mako Feichang also stopped resting and, after taking a breath, he began to explain to them. Fellow leaders, it's like this. A week ago, we heard that there is a kind of car paint on the market that can dodge the speed measurement of highway radar. So we had someone go out and purchase some. After our tests, this kind of car paint does have the effect of dodging speed radar. After investigating, we found that it was a car paint produced in a small paint factory in Linchang. So I sent Xiao Jianzhang from our office to check out the situation in Linchang. It was only after this look that we realized that that car paint factory had already begun to extract the material in the car paint that can evade radar. This material is being researched by what they call metamaterials. Xiao Jianzhang asked for some from them to bring back for testing. After our tests, this material is the J20 stealth coating material we've always wanted to develop. After Curtin Feichang finished speaking, those bigwigs from the military ministry in the conference room, one by one, were all filled with incredible looks. No one could have imagined that the thing they had been researching for so many years, had been crookedly developed by a paint factory. Talk to them about buying this paint technology over. The commander-in-chief of the military department said after hearing Maku Feichang's words, Commander-in-chief. I'm afraid buying it over won't work. What? He's not willing? The commander-in-chief of the military department frowned as a superior's pressure radiated out. That's not true, it's just that I heard him say that this material is extracted from amongst the many paints. I'm afraid that if we were to buy the technology, we'd have to build a paint factory as well. And our J-20 is in great demand, if we were to extract the stealth paint alone, it would be a great waste. We can cooperate with this factory, and let them extract the stealth paint and then sell it to us. That way we don't have to build a new paint factory, but we can still have stealth paint. Mako Feichang not only gave the commander-in-chief of the military ministry the answer, but also gave him advice. The commander-in-chief of the military ministry thought for a moment and said, this solution is feasible, but this factory must be under our control. Hearing the commander-in-chief of the military department say this, Curtin Feichang immediately said, I've already sent people over to do security work. It's just that there's a bit of a problem with the owner of this paint factory. Hearing Maku Feichang's words, 
The commander-in-chief of the military ministry asked with a glazed look in his eyes, Is he a spy? No. Ten criminals? Not a spy, not a criminal, so how big of a problem can it be? In the view of the commander-in-chief of the military department, as long as they weren't spies or criminals, nothing else was a problem. Only to see Mako Feichang say with some difficulty, he's a mercenary. What? A mercenary? The commander-in-chief of the military department said with wide eyes and a face full of incredulity. Yes, not only a mercenary but also the head. The commander-in-chief of the military ministry took a deep breath and said, as long as we can guarantee that he won't contact those people abroad in the future, that's fine. Although mercenaries were not allowed in the Grand Xia dynasty, there was no relevant law stating that they could not participate. So as long as one could guarantee that Qin Fan would not contact those people abroad in the future, it would not be a big problem. But he has other problems. There are still problems? What problems? He's still considered an arms supplier. Ah, arms supplier? This time, the commander-in-chief of the military department was no longer calm. Impossible, our dynasty is so strict about weapons, where did he get them from? It can't be produced by himself. After the commander-in-chief of the military department finished saying this, he saw Mako Feichang's face become very ugly. Did he really produce it himself? Mako Feichang nodded and said, yes. Only he produces gas tanks, steel, fertilizer, and paint. Hearing Mako Feichang say these things, the commander-in-chief of the military department was puzzled. He was just about to ask what these things had to do with arms. Suddenly his face changed. Because he recalled the flooding operation launched by the resistance organization over in Canaan some time ago, which was using gas canisters converted into bombs. The mercenaries you're talking about, it wouldn't be the mercenary group called Warwolves that appeared in Canaan some time ago. The whole world was paying attention to the battle in Canaan. The Grand Xia dynasty was naturally very concerned as well. And that battle wolf mercenary group, because of the Chinese characters used for the Grand Xia dynasty, and all of its members were from the Grand Xia dynasty. That's why the commander-in-chief of the military department knew about it. That's them. Mako Feichang continued, it was minister son of national security who called and told me. They left the country that time to protect the gas canister they sent to Canaan. Hearing this, the military commander's face looked better. I know about this matter, I've seen their videos. It seems that apart from that captain called Chen Fan, all the others are retired from our special forces. At that time, I also thought that these few boys were a bit interesting, and I didn't expect that they actually messed up the stealth paint. After seeing that the commander-in-chief of the military department had known about Chen Fan for a long time, Curtin Feichang's heart relaxed quite a bit, because Chao Jinjiang was very appreciative of Chen Fan and said a lot of good things about him, and before he came, he told himself to find a way to keep Chen Fan no matter what. Commander-in-chief, then can we cooperate with Chen Fan? The commander-in-chief of the military department said after thinking for a while, for Chen Fan, we have already investigated. There's no big problem, selling gas canisters abroad is just because he wants to make money. Although he contributed a lot to the matter of the gas canisters being converted into bombs. But overall it's not illegal, and it's even more or less to our liking. After all, there are a lot of things that we can't directly intervene in. The commander-in-chief of the military department had already said so. Mako Feichang naturally understood what he meant by that. Then I'll go back and start working with him officially? The commander-in-chief of the military department nodded and said, yes, but it's still important to be cautious, in addition to your people, then let the people from national security secretly watch over things. Speaking of letting national security's people watch in the dark, Mako Feichang suddenly thought of the words that the minister of national security had said to him before he came. Commander-in-chief, I think it's better to forget about national security's people. What's wrong? Just now, before I came here, the minister of national security told me that their people were discovered by Chin Fan and given a beating. Ha ha, this brat. He must have done it on purpose. All right, then let your people be more careful. Also get Chen Fan to increase production as soon as possible, we're going to need a lot. Yes. After saying that, Mako Feichan left. After he left, those bigwigs in the conference room started chatting about Chen Fan. I really didn't expect it, this Chen Fan kid is quite capable. Yeah, that mercenary core of his, even though it only went out once. But now it has long been famous in the mercenary world. That's for sure, before him there were no mercenaries who went out on missions using drones and traversing planes to fight. Look at now, it's only been a short while and drones and traversing planes have almost become the standard equipment for mercenary corps. Even the price on the black market has more than tripled from before. At this time, a bigwig from the military department suddenly looked at the commander-in-chief of the military department and said, Commander-in-chief, since one of Chen Fan's tiny paint factories is able to create stealth paint, then why don't we try the blocking cable on those enterprises in the civilian world? As soon as this bigwig finished his words, he immediately received unanimous approval from the other bigwigs of the military department. 
Right, don't they say that experts are in the civilian world? Why don't we just call all those relevant enterprises in the civilian world together and let them see if they can develop it? After all, all hands make light of the fire. The commander-in-chief of the military ministry thought for a moment and said, this matter, I think it's fine. Secretary Zhou, you go and operate this matter. A person standing behind the commander-in-chief of the military ministry immediately nodded his head and said, yes, I'll go arrange it right away. Ah, uh, right, when you give the notice, give it to Chin Fan as well. Hearing this from the commander-in-chief of the military department, the secretary said with some doubt. Commander-in-chief, Chen Fan only has steel factories, gas tank factories, fertilizer factories and paint factories under his name, there are no projects related to blocking cords. There's no use in calling him. The commander-in-chief of the military department waved his hand and said, it's fine, I just want to take this opportunity to meet him. Understood, I'll go arrange it right away. After saying that, the secretary walked out. The secretary had only just gone out when another person immediately came in from outside. Commander-in-Chief, the Great Eagle Dynasty's carrier is coming over again. And it's sending an electronic warfare plane, a reconnaissance plane and two F-35 fighters. It's coming towards our country's waters. As soon as this person finished speaking, the happy look on the Commander-in-Chief of the military department's face instantly disappeared. Boom! He slammed the table and said angrily, conduct an interception immediately. At this time, someone opened the large screen in the conference room. There were a few small dots on the radar in the screen that were rapidly approaching. The warplanes of the Grand Xia Dynasty had also taken off to intercept them. However, due to the fact that the warplanes of the Grand Xia Dynasty were still all fourth generation planes, whether it is in maneuverability or combat radius and attack capability, it is not on the same level as the F-35 of the Great Eagle Dynasty. Can only watch the Great Eagle Dynasty's warplanes in front of the show of force, even before our warplanes began to intercept. It was strongly interfered by the other side's electronic warplanes. Had to change course and conduct remote shouting. On this day, Chen Fan was talking to his staff at the R&D center about his thoughts on drones. The so-called drones nowadays are not considered real drones in my opinion. Because behind every drone there needs to be a person to operate it. I think a real drone should be the kind where you set a goal for him and he can figure out how to accomplish it on his own. Like setting a starting point from here and an end point at the end of the mountain so that the drone can recognize and determine a passable path on its own at a height of about 1 meter from the ground. Hearing Chen Fan's vision for this kind of drone, the several staff members who were responsible for the research and development of the drone were all brightened up, but it was also very difficult to realize such a function. Mr. Chen, this idea of yours is very good, but it's very difficult to realize. Yeah, it requires writing a very powerful program. Chen Fan nodded and said, isn't that what you need to do? Imagine what it will be like if and when we develop such a drone. Even DJI drones won't necessarily be our match by then. As he was talking, Chen Fan's cell phone suddenly rang. Brother Wang, what's wrong? Wang Kaixian on the other end of the phone was sitting in his office, holding an invitation in his hand, and said with an odd expression on his face. Mr. Chen, I received an invitation today that wants to invite us to a meeting. Chen Fan laughed a little and said, then go, there's no need to tell me about this. But this meeting is organized by the Ministry of War and the invitation is still in your name, but it's the address of our steel factory. An invitation from the military department? Now Chen Fan was puzzled as well. He had never heard of the military ministry looking for these private enterprises of theirs for a meeting. Is there anything written on it? No, it just says that it's going to be held in Yanjing and wants us to attend. When? The day after tomorrow. So soon? Aha! Wang Kaixian said with some worry, Mr. Chen, there won't be any problems with this. Chen Fan this frowned, he also didn't understand what the military department was doing by convening this meeting. It should be fine, the day after tomorrow you'll be with me, let's go and take a look. Good. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan continued to continue with those staff members. Actually, it's not difficult to write a program like this, you guys think about the Gauta map. In the event that the vehicle doesn't follow its planned direction, Gauta map will automatically plan a new route. Once Chen Fan said this, everyone else brightened up. Right, as long as we can avoid the obstacles, and then constantly optimize the path. It's still Mr. Chen's method that's good. It feels so much simpler when you put it this way. Chen Fan thought for a moment and continued, there is also the need to recognize people and objects through images. At this time, a staff member asked, Mr. Chen, we're almost done building our drone factory. Chen Fan nodded and said, it's almost done, we are currently debugging the production line. But, Mr. Chen, we haven't developed any new features yet. We've only done the most basic research and development. Once the production line is done, is it hard to just keep waiting? Chen Fan said with a slight smile, of course not. As soon as the production line is debugged, production will start immediately. Ah, 
then we'll have to step up our research. Chen Fan waved his hand and said, there's no need to have too much pressure, the ones we just talked about are all upgraded products for later. The ones being produced now are basic products. I need to open up the supply chain first and reduce production costs. Compared to DJI, a unicorn, Chen Fan currently did not have any technological advantage. But DJI had already opened up the upstream and downstream industry chain. What Chen Fan wanted to do was to learn from his original world like Xiaomi's cell phone. Utilizing the complete industrial chain brought about by Apple's cell phone, he assembled and matched the drones. Let a drone with 80% of DJI's functions. The price was only half of DJI's, or even lower. Then increased the functions and price of the drone based on the technology that he had developed. The next day, Chen Fan drove to Yanjing with Wang Kaixian. At the gate of a hotel called Xinghua. In front of them was a Rolls Royce cum Phantom. A security guard went up and asked a few questions before opening the gate to let them in. By the time Wang Kaixian drove his car to the gate, the, the security guard also came over and said, Hello, we are not open to the public here today, do you have an invitation? Yes. Wang Kaixian said and handed over the invitation. Only after seeing the invitation did the security guard let them in. When they arrived at the parking lot, there were not only people here to help them direct the parking, but they also conducted a strict inspection of the people coming down from the car, as well as the vehicle. Only after the inspection did this allow them to enter the hotel. Mr. Chen, why am I a little nervous? Although Wang Kaixian had been the boss for longer than Chen Fan, this was the first time he had seen such a formation. Moreover, the one who had called them to the meeting was still the military department of the Grand Xia Dynasty. It would be a lie to say that he was not nervous. Comparatively speaking, although Chen Fan, as a sole wearer, was also attending such a meeting for the first time, he was not particularly nervous. But he was not particularly nervous. The meeting started at 10 in the morning. There was still nearly an hour to go. As time was still early, Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian did not go to the conference room first. They directly came to the room prepared for each of them. Just as they arrived at the room, the phone in Chen Fan's room rang. Hello Mr. Chen, this is the liaison officer of the military department, please come to room 16305 for a moment. Uh, okay. Hanging up the phone, Chen Fan was a bit puzzled. Why would the liaison officer of the military department ask himself to go over? Just as he came out of the room, he saw Wang Kaixian also coming out of the room. You received the call as well? Wang Kaixian nodded and said, Aha, uh -huh. how could someone from the military department find the two of us alone? I don't know, let's go and see together. After saying that, the two of them, Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian, walked towards room 16305 together. When they arrived at the door of the room, they knocked on the door and a man in his 30s wearing glasses opened the door from inside. Mr. Chen, Mr. Wang, please come in. The military liaison invited both Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian inside and poured a cup of tea for the two of them. The two of you wait here for a while, the leader will come over in a moment. After saying that, the military department liaison left. Mr. Chen, what do you think he's looking for us for? Chen Fan shook his head and said, I don't know. Although he said so on his lips, Chen Fan vaguely felt in his heart that it might have something to do with those businesses he did. But what made Chen Fan somewhat puzzled was, if it really had something to do with that, why didn't the military department directly look for him, but instead asked him to come here for a meeting? As he was thinking, the door of the room was pushed open from outside. An elder in his fifties walked in from outside. Seeing this person, Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian both stood up from the sofa at once. Seeing the person who walked in from outside, Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian were both startled, because this person they often saw from the TV. Commander-in-Chief. Commander-in-Chief. Seeing the Commander-in-Chief of the military department, Wang Kaixian couldn't speak well. How could he not expect that he would meet the commander-in-chief of the military department in such a lifetime? Don't be nervous, sit. Although these words were addressed to Wang Kaixian. However, the words of the commander-in-chief of the military department was always sizing up Chen Fan. Good day, commander-in-chief. Seeing the commander-in-chief of the military department Chen Fan was also a little excited, but it was not like Wang Kaixian who could not even speak properly. Hello, I haven't heard much about your great name in recent times. Hearing the commander-in-chief say this, Wang Kaixian, who was standing beside Chen Fan, thought that he had heard wrong. The commander-in-chief of the military ministry had actually said that he had often heard Chen Fan's name mentioned. He glanced at Chen Fan with some astonishment and a, with a very complicated mood. I didn't expect Chen Fan to have such a great relationship. Commander-in-chief, this is all what I should do. Once Chen Fan said this, Wang Kaixian became even more puzzled. He couldn't figure out that Chen Fan was just a gas can seller. What could he do that would make the commander-in-chief of the military department say that? When the commander-in-chief of the military department heard Chen Fan's words, he laughed. Some of it is something that should be done, and some of it is not something that should be done. 
Although the commander-in-chief did not say it explicitly, but the meaning of it was already clear. What should be done is the matter of supermaterials. What shouldn't be done was definitely selling the gas canisters to Canaan and personally going as a mercenary escort. Because of doing what shouldn't be done, so that you can do what should be done. Chen Fan's words meant that it was because of the money made from selling the gas cans that he had the money to do the research and, it was only then that the meta-materials could be developed. Hearing this answer from Chen Fan, the leader of the military department did not reply. It just looked at him and smiled without saying anything. Because at this time, he also saw it from the confused look on Wang Kaishuan's face. He didn't even know that Chen Fan had done these things. Little comrade, I forgot my teacup, would it be alright if you go get it for me? Hearing the words of the military leader, Wang Kaishian immediately stood up and said, Okay commander-in-chief, I'll go now. After saying that, Wang Kaishian stood up and went out. But after leaving the door of the room, he remembered that he didn't even know which room the commander-in-chief of the military department was staying in. Not properly at that military department contact had been waiting at the door. After telling him about this, he then took Wang Kaishian to get the cup in. At this time, only Chen Fan and the commander-in-chief of the military department were left in the room. Chen Fan, how did you come up with the idea of selling the gas canisters to Canaan? The people over in Canaan are poorer and definitely don't have gas. I thought they should need gas canisters, so I posted a message on the internet to try and see if anyone would buy them. I didn't expect there to be any, and quite a few more to come. Chen Fan wasn't sure if the commander-in-chief of the military department knew all the things he had done, so he could only explain this matter according to the rhetoric he had originally thought of. But it was obvious that the commander-in-chief of the military department already knew all the things Chen Fan had done long ago. So you also specifically told them that gas canisters cannot be converted into bombs? Hearing the commander-in-chief of the military department say this, Chen Fan's heart sank, and he, knowing that those little thoughts of his could not be hidden from the dignified old man in front of him. Commander-in-chief, Canaan is originally a dynasty, but it has been blockaded by the Elijah dynasty for so many years. It's also certain that the Canaanites want to revolt. After all, no one wants themselves as well as their offspring to be oppressed all the time. Hearing Chen Fan's words, the commander of the military ministry nodded and said, You're right. But you have to realize that our dynasty's external stance is not to interfere in the affairs of other dynasties. If you do this, it will make people think that this is our Grand Xia dynasty supporting Canaan. Hearing the military commander say this, Chen Fan froze. This was something he had never thought about. At once, he said with apologies, I'm sorry commander-in-chief. This matter is something I didn't think of before. It has brought trouble to the dynasty. Seeing Chen Fan's face full of apologies, the commander-in-chief of the military department waved his hand and said, It's not that serious. The current Grand Xia dynasty is not what it was before. Even if another dynasty knew about it, no one would dare to just accuse us. Not to mention that what you sold them was just some gas tank steel, fertilizer and paint. These are all civilian goods. They can't say anything even if they knew. Not to mention that the Great Eagle Dynasty's support for the Elijah Dynasty has never been explicit. Canaan also has a lot of dynasties and powers supporting it, it's not that bad for you. Hearing the Commander-in-Chief of the Military Department say this, Chen Fan then put his heart down. Commander-in-Chief, I wonder what you are looking for me specifically this time. Chen Fan understood that logically speaking, a meeting of this level, simply wouldn't be the turn of a small company like him. It's nothing big, it's just that I've often heard people talk about you and want to meet you with my own eyes. There's one thing I haven't been able to understand. You tell me. You've never been a soldier, and you've never been out of the country before. Yet your performance in Canaan was even better than those few retired special forces soldiers. How did you do this? Hearing the commander-in-chief of the military department ask this, Chen Fan's heart thumped. There was no way for him to explain this matter at all. But since the commander-in-chief of the military department had asked, he could only say with a hard head. I've been a military enthusiast since I was a child and have always paid more attention to information in this area, often blindly pondering over it when I'm not doing anything myself. And my physical quality is originally good, plus the first time on the real battlefield. It's just blindly daring, and only after I came back did I feel fearful. Shen Fan sneaked a glance at the commander-in-chief of the military department when he finished speaking, only to see that he had been looking at him with a smile but not a word after he had finished speaking. Obviously, he did not believe in his words at all. But regardless of whether he believed it or not, Chen Fan could only say so. After a while, the commander-in-chief of the military department suddenly asked, Chen Fan, do you think our dynasty needs to develop mercenaries? Need. At this point Chen Fan said directly without even thinking about it. Why are you so adamant that we need mercenaries? With the rise of the dynasty, we will have more and more interests around the world in the future. A lot of times we can't directly send soldiers, so this is the time when we need mercenaries to step in. And it's not like our dynasty doesn't have any mercenaries. Hmm. 
The commander-in-chief of the military department looked at Chen Fan suspiciously. Don't we have a mercenary army in the Black Gold Dynasty? They are not our dynasty's troops, but they help the dynasty to look after the missiles sold to the Black Gold Dynasty by the Grand Xiao Dynasty in the Black Gold Dynasty. Hearing Chen Fan say this, the commander-in-chief of the military ministry laughed at once. Ha, huh, if you say so, they can indeed be considered mercenaries as well. Speaking here, the commander-in-chief of the military ministry stood up. Looking at Chen Fan, he said, develop your mercenary corps well, maybe it can really help the Grand Xia dynasty in the future. Chen Fan's eyes lit up, this was tantamount to the commander-in-chief of the military ministry having recognized his mercenary corps. Half an hour later, Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian arrived in the conference room. This conference room was huge, with two to three hundred seats. The table in front of each seat had the name of the company on it, and the chairs had people's names on them. The two of them were positioned in an inconspicuous corner at the very back of the conference room. It was thought that those sitting at the very back like them were basically some small businesses with no name. But just as they sat down, they heard Wang Kaixian on the side say in surprise, Damn, it's just that we are sitting at the end, but Yongfeng Iron and Steel is even sitting next to us. Chen Fan was not very familiar with this industry and asked, Is Yongfeng Steel famous? Wang Kaixian nodded and said, Well, it can rank in the top 10 in our province. It's the one that came in ahead of us and drove a Rolls Royce Phantom when we came here today. Ah, such an awesome person can only sit at the end? Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian did not know. All of the people invited to this meeting were some of the large steel groups within the dynasty that could be ranked. The two of them were able to come and participate solely because the commander-in-chief of the military ministry wanted to meet Chen Fan. Not a moment later, a man in his thirties came next to Chen Fan. Very politely, he said to Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian, Hello, please make way, I wanna go in. Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian stood up and made room for him. After the man sat down, he looked at the name of Centennial Industries in front of Wang Kaixian and thought for a while. In his mind, he did not remember that there was such a steel company within the dynasty. So he asked, Hello, I'm Qin Qixing from Yongfeng Steel. Hello, I'm Wang Kaixian from Centennial Industries. Facing Qin Qixing's gesture of goodwill, Wang Kaixian immediately said, Where is your hundred years industry located? We are in Lin Chang. Lin Chang? Hearing Wang Kaixian say that Hundred Years Industry was in Lin Chang, Qin Qixing froze for a moment. Their Yongfeng Iron and Steel was also in Lin Chang, and he was very familiar with the steel industry in Lin Chang. He had never heard of this Hundred Years Industry as a company. Yes, we are in the countryside of Lin City, you probably haven't heard of it. Seeing the puzzled expression on Qin Qixing's face, Wang Kaixian immediately explained, Our Hundred Years Industry is mainly steel, paint, and chemical export business. Next to me is our company's boss, Chen Fan. As he said this, Wang Kaixian did not forget to introduce Chen Fan. Wang Kaixian said that to Qin Shixing, this hundred years industry seems to be very powerful. All they do is export business. He is also a very low-key person. Otherwise, he had been in the steel industry for so many years, it was impossible that he hadn't heard of hundred years industry in Chen Fan's name. Mr. Chen, hello, can we add a WeChat? I'm also from Lin Chang, so I'll be in touch often in the future. In Qin Shixing's opinion, those who were able to come to this meeting were the leaders in the domestic steel industry. Although Chen Fan was sitting at the end like him, but that could only mean that Chen Fan's hundred years industry was similar to his own family's Yongfeng steel. Chen Fan understood Wang Kaishuan's thoughts. He just thinks that there is no use in pretending here. After all, people only need to go back to inquire, they know what kind of business they have. However, he did not reject Qin Shixing. After the two added a friend to each other, Chen Fan said, Mr. Qin, we are actually just a very small business. Mr. Chen, you are really low-key. Chen Fan smiled bitterly and said, I'm really not low-key. Chen Fan was about to say something else when the person on the stage in front of him had already started to speak. Hello everyone, I am the Vice Commander of the Navy of the Ministry of War, and I have invited you all here today because I want to talk to you. This Navy's Vice Commander-in-Chief had spoken on the stage for more than half an hour. The main thing he said was all about the development of the Navy the current situation and the difficulties. It was only at the end that he began to talk about the matter of the blocking ropes. Although the blocking cable is just a component on an aircraft carrier, this component is very important. It is the lifeline of the pilots on the carrier. It's an important part of how we maintain the safety of the dynastic seas. I've invited everyone here today in the hope that we can brainstorm. Remove the blocking cable, the last obstacle standing in our way. As long as any of the enterprises present can research the blocking cable then that enterprise will be the pride of our nation, and it will also become an important partner of our navy. As soon as he finished his words, the crowd of steel company owners on stage began to whisper. Being able to provide the navy with blocking cables was very good for their companies. 
After all, in the future, all of their products would be said to be of military quality. This would greatly increase their corporate value and brand value, although the value of a blocking cable would not be very high, but its added value was very large. Everyone was rubbing their fists, wanting to immediately go back and set up a special research center to research and develop the blocking cable. Xin Shixing is also very excited at this time. Although their Yongfeng iron and steel factory has some fame in the province, but looking at the whole country, not ranked at all. But if the Yongfeng iron and steel factory can help the country to solve the blocking cable, then for their family status and fame enhancement, it will be of great help. The words of the vice commander of the navy on the stage had only just finished. He had already started to take a picture of the requirements of the blocking cable and sent it to his company's researchers. He told them to start researching immediately, and no matter what, to make a qualified blocking cable in the first place. Chen Fan did not hold much hope for this, although his research center also had research in steel. However, the direction was mainly on refining, and had nothing to do with the blocking cable. Feeling that this meeting had nothing to do with him, Chen Fan was a bit bored and was ready to leave. But at this time, he saw Wang Kaixian sitting there in a daze. Brother Wang, what are you thinking about? Chen Fan touched Wang Kaixian and said, Mr. Chen, the data requested by this blocking cable, I seem to have seen it somewhere. Ah, you've seen it? Hearing Wang Kaixian say that, Chen Fan was a bit puzzled. After all, he had never heard of such a thing himself, so how could he have seen it before? I've really seen it, a foreign customer came to our factory to place an order like this some time ago. Ah, are you serious? You can't joke about this. Wang Kaixian said with a serious face, how dare I joke about this kind of thing. The reason why I remember it clearly is because at that time, this was my first foreign customer. That's why I remember it especially vividly. At that time he placed an order for a hundred strips in one breath. Forty strips a year, four hundred thousand dollars each. Because the quantity was small and the price was high, I gave the production of one hundred strips in one breath. Now there are still sixty strips lying in the warehouse. Hearing Wang Kaishuan's words, Chen Fan was directly dumbfounded. Weren't you just a producer of steel back then? How did you go on to produce things like blocking sets? Speaking here Wang Kaishian also said with a long sigh. I was also forced to do this, now the market is getting worse and worse, the steel factory at that time has not paid wages for half a year. Suddenly there was such a big order coming to me, no matter what I had to take it. At that time I even thought well, even if I couldn't get this thing he wanted, I also had to take their deposit first and pay the workers. I didn't realize that a few engineers from our factory studied it for two months and got it out. Chen Fan was dumbfounded when he heard this. He remembered that the blocking rope in his original world was made by a rope company called Julie Group. He didn't realize that it was now being made by Wang Kaishuan Steel Factory. Then you quickly send the data back and see if it's the same? Ah, uh, I'll ask right now. The conversation between Chen Fan and Wang Kaishuan left Qin Shixing on the side stunned. He didn't expect that even Dynasty couldn't research the carrier blocking cable, but Chen Fan's steel factory had researched it half a year ago. Mr. Chen, you guys really researched it? Xin Shixing's voice wasn't small when he said this, and many people around him heard it. Che, who is this, with such a big mouth? It's only just released the specifications to come, and you're saying you've already researched it. That's right, I guess it's just a conspicuous bag, the specifications can't even be read before he dares to say he's already researched it. You don't look at the place even if you want to pretend to be a pussy, is this a place where you can just pretend to be a pussy? Don't mind him, I don't think he's pretending, he's looking for death. Daring to lie to the dynasty military department, isn't this asking for embarrassment? Hearing Qin Shixing's words, more and more people around began to mock Qin Fan and Wang Kaixian. There was even someone watching the fun who stood up and rushed at the vice commander of the navy of the military department on the stage. Vice commander in chief, someone here said that the blocking ropes had already been built a long time ago. The moment this person's words came out, everyone immediately looked in the direction of his finger. Ha, what a mouthful, if a rope like a blocking rope was really that easy to make. Would the military ministry still let us companies come together to study it? That's right, which enterprise is this, wanting to make such a splash here, not afraid of flashing their own tongues. With such a person managing the enterprise, I'm afraid this enterprise won't be any better. In my opinion, we should hurry up and kick out the people who only play the fool and don't do their job. Those people spoke to each other. From the initial mockery, they directly started personal attacks at the back. This made Chen Fan a little angry. Xin Shixing, who was on the side, also didn't expect that his one sentence would turn Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian into such an embarrassment. Mr. Chen, I'm really sorry, I was just too surprised just now. I really didn't mean to embarrass you guys. Qin Shixing said as he looked at Chen Fan with great guilt. Chen Fan waved his hand and said, since some people think that we are pretending, then I will pretend to show them today. Being mocked and abused by so many people in public, Chen Fan's fire also came up. 
He thought that if the specifications at Wang Kaishuan's place if not right, he would go to the system and purchase it himself. He didn't feel bad about helping the dynasty to make a blocking cable anyway. Wang Kaishian was very excited at this time. The more he thought about it, the more he felt that what was produced in the steel factory was the barricade cable. Although at that time, he was also a bit curious and asked those people from the Great Eagle Dynasty why they wanted such a good rope. At that time, they even lied to themselves and said that it was used to make a guardrail around the airport, in order to prevent airplanes from running off the runway. That's why Wang Kaishian didn't think that much at that time. After the message was sent to the factory's accountant, seeing that she never replied to the message. At this time, the vice commander on the stage couldn't help but look at Chen Fan and Wang Kaishian here and ask, This comrade, this kind of thing is not a joke, have you really made a move to block the cable? Hearing that the vice commander in chief was asking, Chen Fan stood up and said, Vice commander, we are checking the data, please wait a moment. When Chen Fan finished speaking, a few of the front row steel mill bosses immediately said, They really don't know the heights of heaven, how dare they even blow this kind of bull. That's right, if a small factory like them can research it, I'll directly give him the factory. Alright, let's just leave them alone and directly let our researchers start working on it. As they were talking here, a message came up on Wang Kaishuan's cell phone. Mr. Wang, this specification is the same as the batch of ropes we made for the Great Eagle Dynasty before. Seeing this reply, Wang Kaishian stood up directly in excitement. Mr. Chen, look. With those words, he directly held the message in his cell phone to Chen Fan. I'm just saying that we haven't done anything like this, right? After seeing the message, Chen Fan rushed to the vice commander on the stage and said, Vice commander in chief, the rope of this specification that you asked for, we already made it half a year ago. Hearing Chen Fan's words, the vice commander stood up from his seat at once. Are you serious? Chen Fan nodded and said, Yes, I've already checked the data with our factory just now. Once Chen Fan finished saying this, the surrounding area was in an uproar. No one had expected that the blocking cable that had made it difficult for all the dynasties had been made by an unknown small factory half a year ago. Young man, this is not the time to get carried away. This is a matter that concerns the safety of our dynasty carriers as well as countless pilots. Can you really be sure that what you have made is the blocking cable? Facing the skepticism of a large steel factory boss, Chen Fan said in an unassuming manner, I don't know if it's a blocking cable, but the data is indeed the same. When Chen Fan said this, the vice commander was stunned. He directly walked from the stage to Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian. Are you sure the data are the same? Sure. Seeing that Chen Fan did not look like he was lying at all, the vice commander in chief's breathing began to quicken. You come with me. After saying that, he didn't care about the other people present and directly walked outside quickly. The two of them, Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian, also followed. After the two of them left, the conference room instantly turned boiling. Old Wu, do you think what he said is true? If he's mentally sane and doesn't want to die right now, he shouldn't dare to tell lies. But something like a blocking cable, how could they possibly make something like that? That's right, this kind of model, specification thing, normally we can't use it at all. What are they doing this for? I think it's 80% fake. If it's really a fake, then we'll just wait and watch the show. After following the vice commander from the conference room, Chen Fan and the others took the elevator and arrived outside a conference room on the 23rd floor. You guys wait here first. The vice commander-in-chief walked into the conference room after saying that. Not a moment later the commander-in-chief of the military department and the vice commander-in-chief of the navy walked out together. Chen Fan, you said that your factory built the blocking cable half a year ago, is that true? We didn't know it was a blocking cable, but the data is the same. Just as long as the data is the same, you guys still have things to do now. There are 60 more in the warehouse. 60? Can you turn on the video now so I can see it? No problem. After saying that, Chen Fan headed to Wang Kaishuan's connection with the factory and a video link was opened. Then the commander-in-chief of the military department saw, in a nook and cranny of the steel factory's warehouse, a pile of very long wire ropes piled up in the corner. A thick layer of dust had fallen on top of that pile of wire ropes. This is the blocking rope? Seeing that they had actually piled up a treasure like the blocking ropes like garbage, the commander-in-chief of the military department asked with a face full of doubt. Yes, this is the blocking rope we made last time. The customer only had to come with 40 of them, and there are 60 more here. How much did you sell them for one piece at that time? 400,000 Dasha Dynasty coins. When Wang Kaixian finished speaking and saw that the commander-in-chief of the military ministry didn't say anything, he continued. Originally, we didn't want to take this kind of foreign order either, but the price he gave was too high, and our factory hadn't been able to pay our wages for several months at that time. So we took it. Wang Kaixian thought that the commander-in-chief of the military ministry was angry. After all, he now knew that this thing called a blocking cable was used on aircraft carriers. For him to make a blocking cable for a foreign client, 
It would be like making a weapon for the enemy. That's why he was worried that the commander-in-chief of the military department would get angry and lock himself up again. 400,000 Dasha Dynasty coins? Hearing Wang Kaixian say this figure the commander-in-chief of the military ministry froze. Yes, 400,000. Do you know how much they buy back and sell one to the Great Eagle Dynasty's navy? Wang Kaixian shook his head and said, I don't know. 1 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. That's nearly 6 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. 6 million? This is too dark. Hearing this figure from the military commander, Wang Kaixian was directly stunned. These Great Eagle Dynasty merchants were only purchasing one strip from themselves for $400,000. When they went back and resold it, they could make over $5 million. Wang Kaixian couldn't believe that this thing could be so valuable. Of course, this is still the price of giving it to their own army to use. The price for selling it to their allies is one and a half million apiece, and selling it to the White Elephant Dynasty is three million apiece. A while ago when we wanted to buy from them, the price they quoted was five million apiece. Hearing these prices from the commander of the military department, Wang Kaixian was dumbfounded. Five million, that was more than 30 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. These Great Eagle Dynasty people are also too black. After Wang Kaixian finished speaking, the commander-in-chief of the military department looked at him and said, the style looks somewhat similar from the video, but the specifics still need to be tested on site. In this case, I'll contact the people from the three institutes and have them go back with you to test those blocking cables that have been manufactured. Speaking here, the commander-in-chief of the military ministry looked at Chen Fan and said, Chen Fan, if the blocking cables pass the inspection, then your steel factory will be the supplier of our navy's blocking cables from now on. This kind of blocking cable cannot be sold to the public in the future. Understand? Chen Fan nodded and said, understood. I'll have someone escort you guys to the third station. I hope you can bring me good news. Commander-in-chief, you can rest assured. After saying this, the two of them, Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian, left from here. Just as they went downstairs from the hotel, they saw that there were already four police cars waiting downstairs at the entrance. You are Mr. Chen Fan, right? I am. Hello, I'm from Yanjing branch, the leaders asked us to escort you to the three places in Lin Chang. Good, then it's hard work for you guys. Chen Fan knew that the commander-in-chief of the military department was not doing this to watch over himself. Rather, he wanted to make himself rush back as soon as possible to conduct tests on those blocking cables in the warehouse. The two of them, Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian, got into the car. The two police cars in front were driving in front. The two police cars followed behind. Their car was in the center. The sirens were pulled along the way and there was no need to care about the traffic lights. Mr. Chen, this is the first time in my life that I've been treated like this. Wang Kaixian said excitedly to Chen Fan, who was sitting next to him in the passenger seat, while driving. Ah, police car driving. Mr. Chen, record a video for me, just this I can go back and brag for the rest of my life. It was also the first time Chen Fan had such treatment. In his heart, he was also very happy. So he recorded a video for Wang Kaixian and sent it to him. Originally, it took nearly an hour to travel. Because of the police car driving the road, it only took less than half an hour to arrive. When Chen Fan and the others arrived at the third research institute, Zhao Jianzhan and the others were already waiting at the entrance of the third institute. As soon as Chen Fan got out of the car, he saw Zhao Jianzhan giving Chen Fan a thumbs up. Chen Fan, you have really impressed me. Not only have you researched warplane coatings, but you've even managed to research carrier blocking cables. Hearing Zhao Jianzhan's praise, Chen Fan waved his hand and said, this is what brother Wang and the others researched before. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Zhao Jianzhan looked at Wang Kaixian again and said, Young man, not bad. The leader asked us to go with you to take a look. If all the data matches, then you guys are giving Dynasty a big credit. Chen Fan smiled and said, It's not so much a feat, but if we can bring a little help to the Dynasty, we're already very happy. After chatting briefly, Chen Fan and the others got on the car again and started back to Lin Chang. There were still police cars driving along the way. It only took less than four hours to arrive in Lin Chang. After arriving at the steel factory, Xiao Jianzhang and the others didn't rest. They directly began to use various machines to test the pile of blocking cables. Fortunately, they had brought all the equipment they could this time. After a few hours of various tests, a smile gradually appeared on Xiao Jianzhan's face. Chen Fan, this is really a blocking cable, all the data matches. The maximum pulling force that the blocking cable can withstand even exceeds 950,000 tons of newtons, which is far beyond the standard of 850,000 tons of newtons of pulling force. Very good. I'll report to the higher-ups. After finishing with Chen Fan, Xiao Jianzhang immediately took out his phone and called out, Commander-in-Chief, this batch of blocking cables have all been tested. They are fully compliant with our requirements for the barricade ropes. Even the tensile strength has exceeded 950,000 tons. The quality is excellent. 
Hearing Chao Jianzhan's words, the commander-in-chief of the military department was also very happy. That's really great, when you guys come back bring back all 60 of them. Normally an aircraft carrier would have four arresting cables, and basically every hundred takeoffs and landings would require a replacement of the blocking cables. So don't look at the blocking ropes as very sturdy, but it was actually a consumable item. Although 60 of them were quite a lot, it wasn't a lot, so they all needed to be brought back. Yes, Commander-in-Chief. After hanging up the phone, Xiao Jianzhang found Chen Fan again. Chen Fan, this time you've really made a great achievement. We purchased blocking cords towards the Great Eagle Dynasty they even asked for 5 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins apiece. Hearing Xiao Jianzhang also talking about this, both Chen Fan and Wang Kaishan had a depressed look on their faces. 6 million, that would be equivalent to 30 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. While Wang Kaishian was selling it for only 400,000 Great Summer Dynasty coins a stick. By the way, how did you guys make the blocking cords? Xiao Jianzhang couldn't figure out how a steel factory, which was clearly a steel factory, would think of making something like a blocking cable. Hearing Xiao Jianzhang ask this, both Chen Fan and Wang Kaishuan's faces were not very good. However, Chen Fan still told Xiao Jianzhang everything. After hearing this, Xiao Jianzhang froze for a moment, then couldn't help but burst out laughing. Ha, if this matter spreads out, then the Great Eagle Dynasty's face will be disgraced. The two of them, Chen Fan and Wang Kaishin, did not understand why Xiao Jianzhang would say that. They played us like this, what's there to be ashamed of? Seeing that Wang Kaishin did not understand, Xiao Jianzhang explained. Before this, there were only two dynasties in the world, the Great Eagle Dynasty and the Great Bear Dynasty, that were able to make blocking cords. But if people knew that in fact, the Great Eagle Dynasty's blocking ropes were actually not made by themselves. But if people knew that the Great Eagle Dynasty did not actually make their own blocking cables, but that those arms dealers looked for the Great Xia Dynasty to make them, it would not be a shame to die. Don't forget that they are now known as the number one strongest dynasty in the world. Xiao Jianzhang was talking. Wang Kaishuan's cell phone rang. Taking it out and looking at it, it was actually that Great Eagle Dynasty client who had commissioned him to make a blocking cable before. What a way to speak of the devil. He's calling us again. What should we do? Hearing that it was someone from the Great Eagle Dynasty calling, Chen Fan's eyes narrowed as he said to pick up. Wang Kaishian picked up the phone. A voice speaking in broken Great Eagle Dynasty language soon came from the other end of the phone. Mr. Wang, hello, I'm the person who ordered a hundred steel wire ropes from you earlier. As soon as he heard him speak, Wang Kaishian became a bit angry, what's the matter? Didn't we order a hundred wire ropes last time? At that time, we only had to come with forty, there's still sixty left, right, so send them over to us. Hearing that he wanted to take the remaining sixty blocking ropes. Wang Kaixian was about to reject him. However, he was stopped by Chen Fan. He took the phone and said to the person on the other end of the line, Hello, this is Chen Fan, Mr. Wang's company has been acquired by me. You can tell me anything now. Hearing Chen Fan's words, the person on the other end of the phone was still a bit puzzled that, how could a steel factory that could even make a blocking cable be acquired so easily? But he didn't have the heart to care so much. In his opinion, no matter if it was Wang Kaishian or Chen Fan as long as they were able to give them the blocking cable, it would be fine. Mr. Chen, we had previously ordered a hundred blocking cables with Mr. Wang, and only forty were given to us at that time. Now we want to bring over the remaining sixty, and by the way, we'll pay you the final payment for those sixty. Oh, I didn't hear him say anything about this. And the contract was signed by you and Mr. Wang at that time, it has nothing to do with our current company. Mr. Wang's company has gone bankrupt, so if you want to wire rope, you need to re-sign the contract with me. Hearing Chen Fan say this, the Great Eagle Dynasty people on the other end of the phone were a bit upset. Mr. Chen, since you have acquired Mr. Wang's company, then their company contract, you should also acquire it together. Chen Fan shook his head and smiled, when we acquired it, that factory of his had already gone bankrupt, so any contracts in their factory are null and void. This, the man from Great Eagle Dynasty hesitated for a moment. At that time, their deposit with Wang Kaishian was for a hundred bars. If they re-signed the contract with Chen Fan, then those previous deposits would be gone. However, once they thought that they could earn more than 5 million Dasha Dynasty coins from a single piece of wire rope, that 1 million dollar deposit didn't matter. Thinking of this, the Great Eagle Dynasty's man said, Alright, then you give me an email address, I'll send the contract over in a moment. No need, the email address you sent to the original general manager before will do. He's my plant manager now. Eh? Okay. After hanging up the phone, the one from the Great Eagle Dynasty was very annoyed and said to the people around him, These people from the Great Eagle Dynasty are really too bad. Obviously we've already given a deposit, and now they're actually telling me that the original guy went bankrupt and asked us to re-sign a contract with them. I think they just want to swallow our deposit. Hearing his words, a company executive on the side laughed and said, 
Ha, huh, Gabriel, what are you getting mad at them for? Isn't it just 1 million Dasha dynasty coins? Just give it to them. We're going to sell each blocking cable for 3 million this time, which translates to nearly 20 million Dasha dynasty coins apiece. That 1 million deposit is nothing at all? Another person also said, yes, it's better to hurry up and sign a contract with them and have them send us the blocking cables. Right, this is the right thing to do. Hearing both of the other two people say that, Gabriel could only sigh and say, then it will be cheaper for those people from the Great Xia Dynasty. After saying that, he had someone make a contract and send it to Wang Kaishuan's email. It was because they had already worked together before. And according to Chen Fan, although Wang Kaishuan had gone bankrupt, he was still working as a factory manager here at Chen Fan's place. In order to avoid being found out, what was written in the contract was just wire ropes as before. The previous specifications were all phoned in so that they wouldn't be discovered by the relevant parts of the Dasha dynasty. So this time they still did it. On the other side after Chen Fan hung up the phone, Xiao Jianzhang on the side immediately reminded. Chen Fan, this blocking cable is a national weapon. Before, if I didn't know that I sold it to the Great Eagle Dynasty, I would have sold it to them. But now that we already know, this blocking rope can't be sold to them anymore. Chen Fan nodded and said, this I know. Xiao Jianzhang asked suspiciously, since you know that you can't sell it to them, then why did you re-sign the contract with them? Just tell them directly that you won't sell it to them, won't that be enough? Chen Fan said with a slight smile, that won't do. They're screwing us over so much, I have to find a way to rip them off a bit before I can do that. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Xiao Jianzhang was very puzzled and asked, How do you plan to screw them over? Chen Fan said with a mysterious smile, just wait and see. Xiao Jianzhang's curiosity was aroused by Chen Fan. There was no hurry to go back at a moment's notice anyway, so he planned to see how Chen Fan planned to pit those people from the Great Eagle Dynasty. It didn't take long for the people on the Great Eagle Dynasty's side to have sent over the contract. The other contents were basically the same. Only that the object of the contract had changed from Wang Kaishuan's company to Chen Fan's Hundred Years Industry. Had changed to Chen Fan's Hundred Years Industry. After they sent the contract over, Chen Fan carefully read it. The content was the same as he expected. It just said to order a batch of steel wire ropes. There were no specific specifications or models. The contract had just been received when Chen Fan received a call from the man from Great Eagle Dynasty. Mr. Chen, the contract has been sent to you. Chen Fan nodded and said, received, but I have a problem here. You say. Chen Fan cleared his throat and began. It's like this, last time, Mr. Wang was because he manufactured a hundred steel wire ropes for you all at once. That's why it caused the factory's capital chain to break. That's why he sold the factory to me. This time you guys ordered these 100, you have to pay me the full amount first. Only then can I help you guys make them, otherwise, I won't take this job. Hearing Chen Fan's words, the head man on the other end of the phone froze. He also did not expect that the factory that was able to research the blocking cable would close down because of this. But although he was a little less convinced in his heart, but thinking that a hundred of them, even if all of them were given to Chen Fan, it would only be the same amount of money that they had sold to a few other dynasties, it didn't matter at all. After thinking about it for a while the person from the Great Eagle Dynasty on the other end of the phone agreed in one breath. Good, just do as you say, I'll have someone call you guys with the money in a moment. Hearing that the other party was so painstakingly, Chen Fan was a bit surprised. One must know that this was 40 million dollars. So you agreed so quickly? Don't you want to come to our factory to inspect it first? The other party shook his head and said, I've already inspected your factory before, I believe you, so I won't go over there. Originally, he was still a bit skeptical of Chen Fan. After all, this was the first cooperation after the factory was acquired. But he was a member of the Great Eagle Dynasty, and the customized one was a blocking cable. He was afraid that this matter would be known by the rest of the Great Xia Dynasty and the Great Eagle Dynasty. The less people knew about this matter, the more favorable it would be for him. Moreover, Chen Fan had taken the initiative to invite him to the Grand Xia Dynasty just now. In his opinion, this was already very sincere. Chen Fan's face was happy, but his mouth said, Thank you very much for your trust in us, this time we will definitely guarantee the quality and get the wire ropes done for you as soon as possible. The person from the Great Eagle Dynasty on the other end of the phone was also satisfied when he heard Chen Fan say that. That's good, this batch of goods is more called for, please arrange it as soon as possible. No problem, just rest assured. After hanging up the phone, it didn't take a while for the 40 million dollars for the goods to have been paid into Chen Fan's account, seeing that the money had arrived. Chen Fan said to Wang Kaishin who was beside him, Brother Wang, hurry up and make arrangements to make wire ropes for our big customers. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Wang Kaishian froze for a moment and said, Mr. Chen, didn't we say it just now? The blocking ropes can't be sold to those great Eagle Dynasty people. On the side, Xiao Jianzhang also said, Right, Chen Fan, this is no joke. 
It's fine if you guys didn't know before, but now that you know, it would be a crime to sell them the blocking rope again. Seeing that the two people, Wang Kaishen and Xiao Jin Zhang, hadn't understood what he meant, Chen Fan could only explain to them. It's not like it's not blocking ropes that people want, it's wire ropes. We can still sell the wire ropes. Wang Kaishen brightened up when he heard Chen Fan say this. Right, their contract says it's wire ropes, so we'll make wire ropes for them. Ha, huh, they'll be furious when they get the goods. Xiao Jianjiang on the side also understood at this time. Chen Fan was trying to use ordinary steel wire ropes instead of blocking ropes to trick those people from the Great Eagle Dynasty. Chen Fan aren't you afraid that they will sue you if you do this? Chen Fan snorted coldly and said, what are they suing me for? Telling didn't sell them the blocking rope? It's not like they want the blocking rope, said Chen Fan and added. By the way, Brother Wang, when this batch of steel wire ropes are made, the outer type should look just like the blocking ropes. That way, even if they take it back if they don't use it they won't be able to tell. But if they use it, Wang Kaixian also laughed and continued with Chen Fan's words, if they dare to use it, then the airplane will have to wash into the sea. Hiss. After hearing what the two of them said, Zhao Jinjiang sucked in a breath of cool air. If it was really like what they said, then this would be a real joy. One must know that a single fighter on the Great Eagle Dynasty side was billions and billions of Great Eagle Dynasty coins. Every single one of them was piled up with money. I think this method of yours is feasible. If we can really make the Great Eagle Dynasty's fighter jets rush into the sea, that would be great. Each one of their fighter jets is billions and billions of dollars. If we can really make one of their fighters rush into the sea, we can give them this wire rope for nothing. Although the Great Eagle Dynasty's warplanes were many, one or two less could not be seen on the surface. But that was all money. Seeing that Xiao Jinjiang was very supportive of this idea of his, especially when he heard him say that each of these fighter planes of the Great Eagle Dynasty cost billions and billions of dollars. Chen Fan added, Brother Wang, if that's really the case, then let's make them according to the real one, but put a few less ingredients in it. Let's make our fake blocking cords, look more real. Right, we mustn't let them see it before they use it. Xiao Jinjiang chimed in from the side. Wang Kaishen nodded and said, Good, then I'll go make arrangements. Xiao Jianjiang already knew what Chen Fan was thinking and also said, then I'll go back and report to the leaders. Try to keep the matter of us having blocking cords a secret for now and wait for some time. By the way, let the leadership give you guys the green light for this fake blocking cable. After saying that Xiao Jianjiang left with his people. After returning to Yinjing, he immediately hoofed it to find the vice commander of the military department. He told the vice commander in chief of the military department what had happened in Lin Chang. This matter is fine with me. I will greet the following when the time comes. Tell Chen Fan to rest assured and do it boldly, if there's anything dynasty will be at the back with him. After Chao Jianjiang left, Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian then discussed the issue of how to do this fake blocking cable. Mr. Chen, if we really put a few less things in the raw material, what if the blocking cable we make is too fake? Chen Fan nodded and said, it's definitely too fake. It's best if it's similar to the previous one, under normal circumstances each blocking cable can be used more than a hundred times. If only we could make one that can be used once or a few times. Wang Kaixian also nodded and said, yeah, that way even if one of the airplanes falls into the sea, they won't immediately think that it's a problem with our blocking ropes. It might even make them drop a few more fighters into the sea. Chen Fan thought the same thing in his heart. So how to make this fake blocking cable became a problem for a while. The two had thought about it for half a day but hadn't come up with a good solution. They even called the engineers from the factory over and couldn't figure out how to make such a blocking cable. Several people fought for a whole afternoon and did not figure out how to make this fake blocking cable. Chen Fan had no choice but to bring up the system layout. He wanted to see if there was any feasible way in the system. When Chen Fan opened the system panel up, he found that the progress bar at the bottom had already reached 5%. This made Chen Fan somewhat surprised. After all, the last time he looked at it, it was still a little over 4%. Moreover, he had not purchased anything in the system at all during this period of time. He couldn't figure out why this progress bar was growing on its own. Putting the matter of the progress bar aside for now, Chen Fan searched for fake blocking cords in the system. The results showed that there was none. However, when he searched for blocking cords, he found that. The item, blocking cord. He had not purchased it before. But now, it was grayed out. That meant he was no longer able to purchase it. Seeing the color of the blocking rope, Chen Fan then understood. It turned out that if one wanted to increase the progress bar, one did not only need to spend money to purchase it in the system. As long as one's company had it, the system would default to the fact that one had mastered it. In other words, anything developed in the R&D center in the future, the system would automatically default to having mastered it. The system will automatically default to having purchased it. Chen Fan's heart was delighted at the thought. After all, if you just keep so many people as a show for outsiders to see, it would still be a waste of money. 
But with this discovery, in the future, the things developed in the R&D center would allow one to save the cost of purchasing them in the system. This was very good for Chen Fan. The blocking cable showed that it had already been purchased. So Chen Fan clicked on a small plus sign next to the blocking cable. Many things that needed to be purchased were listed below. It was just like the meta materials he had purchased before. There was type 1, type 2, and type 3. Each of the latter was an advancement of the previous type. It's the same with the blocking ropes. Before the finished blocking rope, there were several other rope sizes. These ropes basically represented the progress of the development of the blocking rope. Chen Fan clicked on the special material steel rope that was the closest to the barrier rope. The introduction on it contained that the intermediate form of the blocking rope could be used 50 times. 50 times is too much. So Chen Fan clicked on the primary form of the blocking rope again. It said that it could be used 5 times. Seeing that it could be used 5 times, Chen Fan felt that it should be about right. So he wrote down the materials needed inside. Brother Wang, Chief Engineer Zhang, if we use. Chen Fan spoke about those materials in the system. Will the blocking cable made this way be worse? Chief Engineer Zhang listened to Chen Fan after he finished talking about those materials and went over it in his mind. I feel it's about the same, let's try it first. Good. So the authentic engineer immediately processed the blocking cable according to those materials Chen Fan said. When the finished product came out, the newly produced fake blocking cables looked exactly the same as the real ones on the outside. Even when tested with special equipment, no problems could be found. So Chen Fan and the others began to test the tensile strength of this blocking cable again. The first tensile test. The fake blocking cable performed perfectly. It was exactly the same as the real one. But from the second time onwards, after every tension test, the length of the fake blocking cable would increase by 5 centimeters from the original. But since the length of the blocking cable was 15 meters long, an increase of 5 centimeters could not be seen at all. But when the test was conducted 5 times, the blocking cable simply broke. Seeing that this fake blocking cable was the same as what was described in the system, Chen Fan was very happy. Wang Kaixian was also very satisfied with the result. Then let's produce a hundred of them according to this standard. Good, then from now on, all the blocking cables we export will be produced using this standard. After returning to his office, Chen Fan told Xiao Jian Zhang about this news. Xiao Jian Zhang was very shocked after hearing this. Chen Fan, how on earth did you guys do it? It was already very shocking to Xiao Jian Zhang for a small factory like this to be able to make a blocking cable. It had only been a few days, and they were able to research a blocking cable that had only been used a few times. The R&D strength of this made Xiao Jianzhang feel that the entire Dynasty Third Research Institute was no match for Chen Fan's R&D center. Is this not simple enough? There were many failures in our previous research. Just find out the materials used in those previous failed cases. This reasoning of Chen Fan was very sufficient. Xiao Jianzhang did not doubt it at all. He also knew that any achievement would have many trials just one step away from success before it succeeded. Good, then let's use this type of blocking cable. I will report to the leaders from my side. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, You tell the leadership of the military department that this time we will at least make the Great Eagle Dynasty's fighters lose 10 or 8 of them. Not expecting Chen Fan to be so confident, Xiao Jianzhang was also very happy. If we can really make the Great Eagle Dynasty lose 10 fighters, then I will definitely give you a merit. Three days later, the hundred fake blocking cables had all been made. Chen Fan, after calling Xiao Jianzhang to say a few words, he immediately started arranging for people to load and ship the goods. In the afternoon, the containers with 100 fake barricade cables left the steel factory. The container passed through the steel factory without any problems, because the military department had called in advance. So the container passed through all the barriers very smoothly and got on the cargo ship to start shipping to the Great Eagle Dynasty. After the container was sent away, Chen Fan also didn't forget to make a phone call to the Great Eagle Dynasty customer who was far away across the ocean. Hello, 100 steel wire ropes have been shipped, prepare yourselves to receive them. The person from the Great Eagle Dynasty on the other end of the phone heard Chen Fan say that it had been shipped. Very happy, thinking that it was still this current boss who was efficient. Va, he had only just placed the order a few days ago ah, and he had already started to ship the goods. Okay, I will arrange for someone to receive it. When this batch arrives, we will give you another big order. A few days later, containers loaded with fake blocking cables arrived at the port of the Great Eagle Dynasty. The one who procured this batch of blocking cables was a Great Eagle Dynasty company named Wilka. This company was the largest manufacturer of wire ropes in the world. It was also the supplier of carrier blocking cables for the Great Eagle Dynasty's military department. They were the first company in the world to be able to produce blocking cables. With their company's strength there was naturally no problem in trying to produce a stopper cable. However, they realized that the cost of producing a barricade cable in their place was at least half a million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. 
and the prices of the Dasha dynasty were relatively much cheaper than the Great Eagle dynasty, especially in the exchange rate conversion, it could save a lot of money. In order to be able to earn more money, that's why they came to the Great Xia dynasty and looked for companies to place orders. Because they didn't want to be discovered, they also specialized in finding some small businesses to work with. That's why they found Wang Kaishuan Steel Factory for cooperation. After a chat, they found out that it was enough to buy it in the Dasha dynasty for less than 70,000 Great Eagle dynasty coins. Just one blocking cable alone allowed them to save more than 400,000 Great Eagle dynasty coins. After a manager from Wilka at the port had the container unloaded, he didn't send anyone to pull away the blocking rope inside. Instead, he directly printed a shipping order. Then the container was loaded onto a ship again and shipped away. Manager, this is another profit for nothing. A Wilkin employee said as he looked at the ship that was gradually moving away. When they bought it from Chen Fan, it was less than 70,000 Great Eagle Dynasty coins apiece. Now once they changed hands and sold it to other dynasties, a single one was a million and a half dollars apiece. Between this back and forth they had made over a million and forty thousand dollars. It was simply not too comfortable. Hearing the employee's words, the manager of Wilka said with a faint smile, Don't worry, this year's year-end bonus won't be spared for you, but you have to keep your mouth shut, if this matter gets out. We'll all be unable to eat and walk. As soon as this manager finished speaking, that employee immediately said, Don't worry do your best, there won't be a third person who knows about this matter. After saying that the two people smiled at each other. A few days later, that ship loaded with blocking cables stopped inside the Sunset Dynasty's harbor. After the workers unloaded all the containers, the container loaded with the barricade rope was immediately pulled by a container truck. It left under the escort of several military vehicles. Soon the container truck arrived at a military harbor of the Sunset Dynasty. There was also an aircraft carrier docked at the shore within the harbor. This carrier was the Sunset Empire's Elizabeth Aircraft Carrier. This is the first aircraft carrier of the Sunset Empire. It's now undergoing repairs. The repairs are actually the carrier's blocking cables have reached the end of their service life and need to be replaced. So as soon as that container arrived, it was immediately installed on the carrier by the soldiers of the Sunset Dynasty. At the same time, inside a conference room of the Sunset Dynasty, Commander-in-Chief, the blocking cables have now arrived and are now being installed. When the Commander-in-Chief of the Sun Butsa Dynasty heard this, he nodded his head and said, How much does one cost this time? That minister, hearing the Commander-in-Chief ask for the price, hesitated slightly and said, 2 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins each. 2 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins? These Great Eagle Dynasty guys, but they are really black. We're still their allies and they're still selling us 2 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. Hearing the Commander-in-Chief of the Sunset Dynasty say that, that minister immediately said, Commander-in-Chief, this is already considered cheap. I heard that they sold it to the White Elephant Dynasty for 5 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. The Great Xia Dynasty wanted to purchase the blocking cord, and those people from the Great Eagle Dynasty even offered 10 million Great Xia Dynasty coins. Hearing the minister's words, the, the commander-in-chief of the Sunset Dynasty Dynasty was only a little bit more comfortable in his heart. However, he still said, even if we are given a cheaper price, those guys from the Great Eagle Dynasty can still make a lot of money from it. The minister did not refute this point. After all, the Great Eagle Dynasty was notorious for pitting their allies. They could only be blamed for not being able to make their own blocking cords. After a while, the commander-in-chief of the Sunset Dynasty said, After the blocking ropes are replaced, send the Elizabeth over to the Great Eagle Dynasty. The Great Eagle Dynasty has already urged us more than once to send an aircraft carrier over there. For the fact that the commander-in-chief had been wanting to send the carrier over to the Grand Xia Dynasty, another minister said in great confusion, Commander-in-chief, although we are allies with the Great Eagle Dynasty, but I don't think we should get into a dispute with the Great Xia Dynasty over this matter. After all, the Great Summer Dynasty is not in direct conflict with us. They're still our biggest trading partner, we import quite a few cheap things from them every year. There was some helplessness on that Commander-in-Chief's face, although he did understand that going to the Great Eagle Dynasty's waters to provoke them wouldn't do them any favors, but he had a handle on the Great Eagle Dynasty. If he still wanted to be the Commander-in-Chief of the Sunset Dynasty, then he himself would have to do what they wanted. Otherwise, it wouldn't be long before his own affairs would be exposed. At that time, he would become disgraced. So although he knew in his heart that he was being used as a gun by the Great Eagle Dynasty, he could only do what the Great Eagle Dynasty said. After coughing, the Commander-in-Chief of the Sunless Dynasty said, There are common interests between us and the Great Eagle Dynasty. We have to do this, otherwise after letting the Great Eagle Dynasty rise, then we won't even be the second. You follow my orders. The Commander-in-Chief had already said so, and that minister could only follow his words. On the other side, the blocking cables on the aircraft carrier were being installed in an orderly manner. 
for blocking cables needed to be installed on an aircraft carrier. Under normal circumstances, only the second blocking would need to be replaced, because almost all fighters would land by hooking the second arresting cable. But since the Sunset Dynasty itself didn't have the strength to make the blocking ropes, so all of their barricades were used alternately. Now there are new barbed wire arrivals. They needed to replace all four barricades. The day after the replacement of the blocking cables, this carrier, the Elizabeth, departed from the military harbor and started heading to the waters of the Dasha dynasty. The purpose of their trip was to go to the waters of the Dasha dynasty for the so-called free navigation operation. It is said to be free sailing. In fact, they wanted to take advantage of the fact that the aircraft carriers of the Grand Xia dynasty could not go out to sea because they did not have any blocking ropes. The past demonstration only. Before this kind of thing they did not once or twice. Every time the Grand Xia dynasty can only use some fighter jets to shout at them to drive them away. Such shouting didn't matter to them at all. Even they had gotten used to this kind of shouting from the Grand Xia dynasty. Because they understood that the Grand Xia dynasty could only tolerate their carriers in the face of them. But they could not imagine that this voyage. It is not as smooth as they imagined. Ever since that batch of fake carrier blocking cables were sent out. Chen Fan had been paying attention to the international news hoping to see news of a great Eagle Dynasty fighter crashing into the sea on an aircraft carrier in the news. But after watching continuously for more than half a month, there was still no news about the great Eagle Dynasty fighter jet crashing into the sea in the news. This made Chen Fan very puzzled. Can it be that after they replaced the blocking ropes, there have been no fighters taking off or landing on the carrier? But the news clearly said that the great Eagle Dynasty had a carrier that was sailing around the Great Summer Dynasty, and the Great Summer Dynasty had used fighter planes to repel it but there was no news of a Great Eagle Dynasty fighter jet crashing into the sea. Not only was Chen Fan puzzled, Xiao Jinjiang was also like Chen Fan. During this period of time, he was watching the news every day, hoping to see news of a Great Eagle Dynasty fighter jet crashing into the sea, but no such news had been exposed. For this reason, Xiao Jinjiang even made a special call to Chen Fan. Chen Fan, the batch of blocking cables you gave to the Great Eagle Dynasty wouldn't be a mistake. Chen Fan shook his head and said, there is absolutely no mistake. I personally watched the loading when it was shipped out. Then it's been almost a month, why has there been no news about the Great Eagle Dynasty's warplanes crashing into the sea? Xiao Jinjiang voiced the doubts in his heart. Chen Fan was also puzzled and said, I'm also wondering about this. It's hard to believe that the Great Eagle Dynasty's fighters haven't taken off or landed all this time? Those blocking cables labeled in the system could then only be used five times. The system could not be wrong about that. Chen Fan believed that as long as the Great Eagle Dynasty's fighters landed on the carrier five times there would absolutely have to be fighters crashing into the sea. Only he did not know, he sold to the Great Eagle Dynasty of this batch of blocking cable and did not give the Great Eagle Dynasty aircraft carriers to use. Instead, it was directly resold to the Sunset Dynasty. It shouldn't have gone this long without taking off and landing. It's also possible that the Great Eagle Dynasty deliberately hid this news. Let's wait and see. After saying that, Xiao Jianjiang hung up the phone. Chen Fan was still thinking about this matter when he hung up the phone. His phone then rang again. Picking it up, it was actually someone from Velka calling. Hello Mr. Chen, I've received the goods. As I told you before, I will give you another big order after this batch of goods arrives. Hearing the other party's words, Chen Fan's heart was filled with doubts. However, on the surface, he still pretended to be very happy and said. That's really great. Isn't the quality of our batch very good? That batch of blocking cables was not used on the Great Eagle Dynasty's carriers at all. So the people from the Velka Corporation didn't even know how good the quality of those blocking cables really was. But there wasn't any bad feedback from the Sunset Dynasty side yet. The quality was still good in his opinion. Jade then said to Chen Fan, well, it's very good. Otherwise, we wouldn't have approached you for cooperation again. Hearing the people from Velka say this, Chen Fan was even more surprised in his heart. But he couldn't be bothered to get to the bottom of it. So he could only say, how many roots do you want this time? We still want a hundred roots this time. I will pay you first according to the previous agreement. Alright, I'll arrange for someone to start making them. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan had countless questions in his mind. He couldn't figure out why there hadn't been any news of the crash into the sea being exposed until now. Even the Great Eagle Dynasty had continued to order a hundred blocking cables. After he told Xiao Jianjiang about this matter, Xiao Jianjiang called the vice commander of the military department again said a little bit about this matter. After listening, the vice commander in chief asked, is Chen Fan sure that the batch of blocking cables given to the Great Eagle Dynasty is faulty? Xiao Jianjiang said very firmly, I've already asked Chen Fan, there will be no mistake. Hearing Xiao Jianjiang say that, the vice commander of the military ministry said, in that case, then send them another hundred blocking cables. But commander in chief, 
The carriers of the Great Eagle Dynasty have been circling our coast for days now. Their fighters have taken off and landed 70 to 80 times, if not a hundred. But not a single one has crashed into the sea. The vice commander in chief said, then let's wait a little longer. Maybe this carrier isn't using those faulty arresting cables. The vice commander in chief had already said so. Xiao Jianzhang couldn't say anything else. As time passed day by day, there was still no news about the Great Eagle Dynasty fighters crashing into the sea in the news. Chen Fan was beginning to wonder if there was really a problem with the batch of blocking cables that he had made. Just when Chen Fan was beginning to doubt himself, the carrier Elizabeth of the Sunless Dynasty arrived in the waters surrounding the Great Summer Dynasty and replacing the Great Eagle Dynasty carrier that had been here for almost half a month. In order to let the people of the Grand Xia Dynasty know that they have come, the captain of the carrier Elizabeth said in the command room, Dispatch a fighter jet, an AWACS, and go around the neighborhood of the Great Summer Dynasty. Let them know that our Sunset Dynasty is here. Yes, with a loud order. A few minutes later, a Sea Fury shipboard fighter and an AWACS departed from the carrier and began sailing towards the waters of the Grand Xia Dynasty. On the other side, the Grand Xia Dynasty had already discovered that the carrier of the Sunset Dynasty had appeared in the southern part of the Grand Xia Dynasty, at the same time as their fighters and electronic warplanes took off. The Grand Xia Dynasty also took off two J-20 fighters that had just been upgraded from the coastal military bases. These two J-20 fighters are on their first mission. Due to the stealth paint, they were not detected by the early warning planes of the Sunset Dynasty. Soon the two J-20s appeared in the field of view of the pilots of the Sea Fury of the Sunset Dynasty. Because the early warning aircraft and shipboard radar of the Sunset Dynasty didn't find any abnormality before, the pilot of the Sea Fury shipboard aircraft didn't find any abnormality. So the pilot of the Sea Fury shipborne aircraft was startled by the sudden appearance of the J-20 fighters. Damn it, a Dacia Dynasty fighter has appeared on my right side. My side too. When did they approach? How come my early warning radar didn't react at all? The Great Eagle Dynasty soldier on the early warning plane said in surprise. They appeared without any warning on my side as well. This is the Great Summer Dynasty Air Force. You are approaching Great Summer Dynasty airspace. Please turn around immediately. Before the pilots on the Sea Fury's carrier planes could make any movements, the, they had already heard the shouts of the soldiers of the Grand Xia Dynasty. Oof, so what if I entered your airspace? Your fighters are no match for me at all, come chase me if you dare. After speaking over the intercom, the Sunset Dynasty's shipborne fighter pilot finished. Didn't pay any attention to the shouts of the Di Xia Dynasty soldiers. He directly pulled up the altitude of his fighter, wanting to rely on the high performance of their shipborne fighter to throw off those two fighters of the Grand Xia Dynasty. But to his surprise, he had only just pulled the fighters up to an altitude. He saw that the Dixia Dynasty's fighters had also followed him up. Seeing that the Dixia Dynasty's fighter jet followed him and raised its altitude, the Sunless Dynasty's fighter pilot was dumbfounded. How is this possible? This wasn't the first time they had come into the waters of the Grand Xia Dynasty. Every time before, the Great Xia Dynasty's fighter jets were unable to maneuver because of their maneuverability. It was simply impossible to perform such a fast maneuvering pull-up like his fighter. Damn it! When did their fighters maneuver so well? The Sunset Dynasty's fighter pilot said in an exasperated voice over the intercom channel. What are you talking about? Where are the Great Summer Dynasty's fighters? Higher in the air, the operator inside the AWACS looked at the radar and said suspiciously. Fark, can't you see such a big fighter? The fighter pilot looked at twisted his head to the side. The, the five stars on the Dasha Dynasty's fighters were already clearly visible. And his own family's AWACS hadn't even seen anything. The radar doesn't show any other planes around you at all, are you looking at it wrong? The man on the AWACS said as he looked at the radar. Can't you fucking look down? We're right below you, the fighter pilot said in a very angry voice. The man on the early warning plane heard him say that and looked down through the glass. It was discovered that there was indeed a great summer dynasty fighter jet next to their sunset dynasty fighter jet. Holy shit, there really is a great Xia dynasty fighter next to you, hurry up and get rid of him. After the pilot of the fighter below heard his words, he directly went crazy. Wouldn't I dump it if I could fucking dump it? Their fighter jet doesn't know what's wrong with it, its maneuverability is especially good today. I can't shake them off at all. I know, I'll contact the carrier and ask them to send two more fighters up to help you. The man on the AWACS had just finished speaking when he heard a sudden alarm sound in the cabin. At the same time several warning lights were flashing non-stop. The pilot's face changed, no good, we're locked in. What? The soldier who was just about to contact the carrier dispatch volunteer was stunned when he heard the pilot's words. One had to know that they were at an altitude of over 10,000 meters. Previously, the fighters of the Grand Xia Dynasty never flew this high. Hurry up and turn around, turn around. Being locked on by other fighters, that was basically the same as having been scrapped. 
As long as the other party opened fire, then the only possibility for them was to be shot down. So the AWACS quickly began to turn around, flying in a direction away from the Grand Xiao Dynasty. The fighters below were still somewhat unconvinced. It began to think of all sorts of ways to shake off the Great Xiao Dynasty's fighter. But no matter how hard he tried, that Great Xiao Dynasty fighter jet kept following him steadily. Damn it, when did the combat performance of the Grand Xiao Dynasty become so good? Just as the Sunset Dynasty's fighter pilot was annoyed. On the side, the Great Xiao Dynasty's fighter pilot's face was one of excitement. Ah, from now on, you'll never be able to come and go as you please in our Great Xia Dynasty's waters. After saying that, he then shouted at the Sun Butsa Dynasty's fighters to repel them. Sun Butsa Dynasty fighter, you have entered the airspace near the Grand Xia Dynasty, please leave immediately. After shouting, seeing the Sun Butsa Dynasty's fighter jet, it still didn't have any intention of wanting to leave. So the Great Summer Dynasty's fighter jet suddenly pulled up again from his right side. After drawing a perfect circle in the air, it came directly behind the Sunless Dynasty's fighter jet. You're the one who doesn't want to leave, so don't blame me. After saying this, the Great Summer Dynasty's fighter pilot directly turned on the fire control radar. It quickly locked the fighter jet of the Sun Butsa Dynasty in front of it. After realizing that they were locked, the Sun Butsa Dynasty's fighter jet still wanted to shake off the Great Xia Dynasty's battle, but there was no way to get rid of it. In the end, it could only helplessly turn around and fly towards the distance. Seeing that the Sunless Dynasty's fighter jet had already begun to fly away into the distance, the Great Summer Dynasty's fighter jet performed a falling leaf spin behind him. Such a maneuver directly startled the Sun Butsa Dynasty's fighter pilot. Damn, this is definitely not the J-10, it's their new fighter. What are my intelligence officers for? The new fighters of the Grand Xia Dynasty have already been put into use. Our people didn't even know a thing about it. Listening to him roar angrily in the middle of the channel, the captain of the Elizabeth was also very shocked. One had to know that they had even communicated with the people from the Great Eagle Dynasty before coming over. The other party hadn't mentioned these things to them at all. Damn it, we've been tricked by the people of the Great Eagle Dynasty, they didn't even tell us that the Great Summer Dynasty used a new type of fighter. One hour later, Sunset Dynasty's fighter jet landed on the carrier. The pilot who got down from the fighter jet was still cursing. Carrier Captain Wilson began to contact the carrier captain of the Great Eagle Dynasty. The Great Summer Dynasty has used the latest type of fighter. Why didn't you guys tell me in advance about such a significant matter? Facing the questioning of the Sunset Dynasty's captain, the Great Eagle Dynasty's captain was also dumbfounded. They used the latest type of fighter? How come I didn't know? Didn't you guys just have contact with the Great Summer Dynasty's fighters in the middle of that sea? How could you not know? The captain of the Elizabeth was very angry, he felt that this was simply the captain of the Great Eagle Dynasty deliberately not wanting to tell himself so that there would be an accident between the Sunset Dynasty and the Great Summer Dynasty, deepening the enmity between the two dynasties. The captain of the Great Eagle Dynasty was also very depressed at this time, because when they were cruising there before, although the Great Xia Dynasty also sent fighter planes over, but it was still the same kind as before, and the combat power was not comparable to theirs at all. I really don't know, does it mean that their 5th generation planes have been put into actual combat? That's impossible, their 5th generation planes haven't solved the stealth problem yet, how could they be put into actual combat so soon? Hearing the words of the Great Eagle Dynasty's captain, the Sunset Dynasty's captain took a deep breath and said, Who said they haven't solved the stealth problem? Just now, none of our AWACS planes detected their fighters. Hearing him say that, the Great Eagle Dynasty's battleship suddenly sucked in a breath of cool air. Are you serious? Of course, can I lie to you about this? Seeing that the captain of the Elizabeth carrier did not look like he was lying, the Great Eagle Dynasty's carrier captain thought for a moment and said, you guys will deal with it here first. I'll go to the Japanese dynasty's base to resupply and come back. I'd like to see just how powerful the Dixia dynasty's fifth generation planes are that they can scare you guys like this. Hearing the Great Eagle dynasty's carrier captain somewhat looked down on himself. The captain of the Elizabeth carrier was also a bit angry. Immediately shouting over the intercom. Fighters 15, 16, 17, and 18 prepare for takeoff. The captain of the Elizabeth carrier was now very angry. He had just been intercepted and teased in the sky by the Great Summer Dynasty's fighters. Immediately after that, he was satirized by the captain of the Great Eagle Dynasty carrier. This made the captain of the Elizabeth feel the need to prove the strength of their Sunset Dynasty. That was why four fighters were sent out together at once. Send out a two-seater fighter, I want to see what tricks the Great Summer Dynasty is playing. Soon the four fighters on the Elizabeth carrier began to depart. On the back seat of one of the two-seat fighters sat a camera-wielding fighter. On the other side. The fighters on the Elizabeth carrier had also just taken off. It was monitored by the radar of the Great Summer Dynasty. Report, four fighters have taken off from the Elizabeth carrier and are heading towards my airspace. 
fighters immediately lift off to intercept, with the commanding officer's order. Four fighters from the Grand Xia Dynasty took off from the base to intercept the fighters from the Sunset Dynasty. This time the radars on the Elizabeth were all turned on as well. However, there was still no sign of any Grand Xia Dynasty fighters on the radar. Have you seen any of the Great Xia Dynasty fighters? The captain of the Elizabeth carrier asked over the intercom. I see them, the Great Xia Dynasty has four fighters approaching us. Take pictures of their fighters. Also fully test the maneuverability of their fighters. This time this time the carrier Elizabeth sent out the fighters that were well grouped by their Sunset Dynasty. If these few fighters still couldn't throw off the Great Summer Dynasty's fighters, then it would only mean that the Grand Xia Dynasty had really made a fifth generation plane. The four fighters of the Sunset Dynasty used all sorts of difficult maneuvers in the air. They wanted to get rid of the Great Xia Dynasty fighters that came to drive them away. But no matter how hard they tried, the Great Xia Dynasty fighters were still steadily following their fighters. They locked their fighters at all times. After circling in the air for a few rounds, a fighter pilot of the Sunset Dynasty said over the channel, Report, we can't shake off the Great Summer Dynasty's fighters. They've been locking onto me the whole time, requesting evacuation. Although he knew that it was impossible for the Grand Xia Dynasty and the Sunset Dynasty to engage right now, the other party wouldn't fire either. But it was locked on by the other party all the time like this. In case the Great Xia Dynasty's fighter pilot's hand shook, then his little life would be gone. He didn't want to bury his life just because of a mistake from the other side, so he directly proposed an evacuation. The captain of the Elizabeth carrier, after asking about the situation of several other fighters, it was found that the situation of several other fighters were similar. They had already lost, and the loss was very complete. If they continue to stay here, it would be against the tacit agreement between both sides. In case the people from the Grand Xia dynasty opened fire, they could only take it. After all, if they were locked down and still didn't withdraw, that would be a bit of a rogue. All of you come back. The captain of the Elizabeth carrier's face was unimpressed. Although he hadn't seen the pictures taken back yet. But judging from the fact that none of their four fighters were able to throw off the fighters of the Grand Xia dynasty, the Grand Xia dynasty did indeed have a fifth generation aircraft already installed. After such a big thing happened, he still needed to talk to the monarch of the Sunless Dynasty as well as the side of the Great Eagle Dynasty. Together, they would discuss what to do next. Soon the four fighters that were sent out, began to return to the vicinity of the Elizabeth carrier one after another, preparing to land. The first fighter jet landed very neatly. The second one also landed very smoothly, but the landing distance was more than 10 meters farther than the distance of the last fighter. This was also considered to be within the normal range. Some of the staff on the carrier were already frowning though. When the third fighter landed, it was back to normal. Seeing that the landing distance returned to normal, those staff members thought that it was like that because the pilot of that fighter just now had mishandled it. When the fourth fighter jet landed, an accident occurred. Originally, there was a hook underneath the fighter jet. If a fighter jet wanted to land on an aircraft carrier, it needed to put the hook underneath the fighter jet and hooked onto the blocking ropes on the aircraft carrier, pulling the fighter jet through the blocking ropes so that it can be safely docked on the carrier. But since the blocking cable was purchased from Chen Fan and the others, after a few blocking attempts, the length of the blocking cable had increased by more than 20 centimeters compared to before. This length was not noticeable for a 10 meter long cable. However, it was precisely because of this 20 centimeter increase that the height of the blocking cable, which was originally 15 centimeters above the ground, had suddenly become 12 centimeters. Under normal circumstances, even if it was 12 centimeters, the fighter jet could still hook onto the blocking cable. However, the pilot of that fighter jet made some mistakes in operation. The height of the fighter jet was 2 centimeters higher than normal. This caused the hooks underneath the fighter to fail to hook onto the blocking ropes. The pilot of the fighter had already hooked it. He was ready to stop the plane. But by this time, the fighter he was piloting was already halfway to the carrier. The speed of the fighter still hadn't decreased much. At this time he finally reacted. The hooks under his own fighter had not hooked into the blocking cables. At this point it was no longer possible to stop the fighter on the carrier. He began to pull up as hard as he could, wanting to get the fighter flying again. But even though he had used all his strength, but the fighter still needed some distance to take off. In the command room of the Elizabeth, the captain was reporting the situation here to the commander-in-chief of the Sunset Dynasty. Just then, he saw a fighter jet dashing directly into the sea from beside the ship's platform. Fark! Seeing a fighter jet rush into the sea, the captain of the Elizabeth couldn't say much to the commander-in-chief in time. The directly hung up the phone and ran out. When the captain ran to the side of the carrier, the there was nothing left on the surface of the sea in the distance. The fighter jet had sunk to the bottom of the sea. What just happened? Can someone tell me why he went into the sea? 
That fighter jet's hook didn't hook onto the blocking cable. A soldier who saw the entire process of landing that fighter jet said, didn't hook onto the blocking cable? How could such a low-level mistake happen? The captain of the carrier Elizabeth was very angry. He was already having a rough day. Now this kind of thing had happened again, but now he didn't have time to get angry. He started to let the people put the skiffs over to see if the pilot of the fighter jet was still there. Soon several speedboats were heading towards the place where the fighter jet crashed, but by this time, there was nothing there anymore. Not to mention the pilot of the fighter jet, even the fighter jet was no longer visible. A fighter jet crashed into the sea and the pilot was nowhere to be found. This is not a small thing. So the captain of the Elizabeth carrier immediately ordered an investigation to begin. Through accessing the surveillance, as well as questioning the soldiers who were present at the time of the incident, an answer was quickly arrived at. The fighter jet that crashed into the sea had made a landing. Operational error made the fighter jet 2 centimeters higher than the standard altitude. As a result, the hooks underneath the fighter didn't hook onto the blocking ropes. That's why the fighter jet crashed into the sea. The captain of the carrier Elizabeth reported the results of this investigation to the king of the Sunset Dynasty. The king of the Sunset Dynasty characterized this incident as an accident. He didn't pursue the matter. The matter was left unsettled. Because the results of the investigation into the crash of the Sun Butsu Dynasty's warplanes into the sea, it has nothing to do with the barricade cable. Therefore, the Wilka Company of the Great Eagle Dynasty continued to order 100 barricade cables from Chen Fan. After Chen Fan told Xiao Jianzhang about this matter, Xiao Jianzhang reported it to the military department. It was quickly approved. Chen Fan, the vice commander in chief, said that as long as it's that kind of blocking rope, the Great Eagle Dynasty will give them as many as they want. Hearing Xiao Jianzhang's words, Chen Fan was still a bit puzzled. After all, it had been almost a month since he had given that batch of blocking cables to the Great Eagle Dynasty. Up to now there was still no news on the news about any warplanes crashing into the sea in the Great Eagle Dynasty. Brother Chow, did the military department really say that? Well, there's something you don't know, but I can reveal it to you. What? The batch of blocking cables you sold to the Great Eagle Dynasty. It was resold by them to the Sun Belt Dynasty. These past few days, the Sun Butsa Dynasty has been attacking the eastern waters of our dynasty. As a result, a fighter plane crashed into the sea. Hearing Chao Jinjiang's words, Chen Fan's face was delighted. It finally crashed into the sea after so long. Otherwise, I would have thought that the blocking cable I gave them was good. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Xiao Jianzhang also said with a smile, Don't worry, if it was really good, the military department would have agreed for you to continue selling it to them. Chen Fan nodded and said, I would be relieved if that was the case. I'll have to watch the news in the next few days, huh? Although they didn't make the Great Eagle Dynasty's fighters crash into the sea, but it was almost the same for the Sunset Dynasty to have one crash into the sea. And judging from the fact that the Great Eagle Dynasty's side was going to continue to buy blocking ropes, they shouldn't have suspected it yet. So Chen Fan made a phone call to Wang Kaishan and asked him to hurry up and produce the new order from the Great Eagle Dynasty for them. Otherwise in the future as time went on, there would be more and more warplanes crashing into the sea. Over time they will definitely suspect the blocking cables. Wang Kaishan also understood the importance of this matter. So he let the workers work overtime all night to produce barricade cables for the Great Eagle Dynasty. After this batch of blocking cables was sent over, Chen Fan thought about it and directly made a call to the contact person at Wilka. Hello, this is Chen Fan. The manager of Wilka Corporation was surprised to receive Chen Fan's call and asked, Hello Mr. Chen, what's the matter? Chen Fan said, It's like this, there are still two months left before New Year's Eve on our side. We have a big order after the new year, and we may not be able to continue producing ropes for you within half a year. I thought that if you guys still need it, we can take advantage of the time before the new year to produce some for you in advance. The manager of Wilka Corporation couldn't help but frown after hearing this. That's right. I'll discuss it with the people in the company and get back to you. Chen Fan nodded and said, okay. After the manager of Wilka hung up the phone, he then immediately told the other shareholders of the company about this matter. What else is there to think about? The blocking cables they have there are so cheap, we'll just buy them first and stock them. Right, apart from our Great Eagle Dynasty's military department side that still needs a batch of blocking cables recently, the White Elephant Dynasty side is almost done with the negotiations as well. Their side directly ordered a hundred of them. There are other dynasties that also need to buy blocking cables. If I don't think it's possible, let's talk to him, we can order more at once. But the price let him give us some more cheaper. Yeah, this works. I feel like it's also feasible. Anyway, no matter how many we order, it's not a loss for us. But if we don't have the goods, then we'll make a lot less money. After the several shareholders of Wilka Company discussed the matter, they unanimously decided to order 500 blocking cables from Chen Fan at once. 
This many blocking cords were enough for them to sell for a while. After the discussion, the manager of Wilka Corporation made a call to Chen Fan. Hello, Mr. Chen, I've told the shareholders of our company about your side of the story. After the shareholders deliberated, they felt that it would be possible to order some more blocking cables from you in advance. But, said the manager of Wilka Corporation here pausing for a moment. Chen Fan asked, but what? But if we order a large quantity, can't the price on your side be cheaper? Hearing him say this, Chen Fan said with a happy heart, cheaper is possible, but it depends on how much you can order. You have to realize that it's troublesome for us to replace the manufacturing equipment once. And the price will also be cheaper if we buy enough raw materials at once from our side. After saying that, Chen Fan thought for a moment and continued. Let's put it this way, if you guys can order 300 strips at once, I'll give you a 95% discount. 600 articles will give you a 10% discount. A 20% discount if you have a thousand strips. How's that? The manager of Wilka on the other end of the phone was very happy to hear that Chen Fan was able to give them such a high discount. However, he was still a little unsatisfied as he asked. Mr. Chen, what if we can order 2000 at once? How much discount can you give us? Hearing him say this, Chen Fan was overjoyed. Thinking to himself that you guys are really not afraid of being pitched. But on the surface Chen Fan still pretended to think for a while. Only then did he tell him, if you guys can order two days of strips at once, I can also press the price with the material suppliers on my side. I can give you a 70% discount. One barricade rope was $400,000, and with a 70% discount it would only be $280,000. At this price Chen Fan would only make $80,000 a piece. But although the money was less earned, but it was no longer a matter of how much money was earned. To be able to pit them a bit and make their fighters crash into the sea a few more times. In Chen Fan's opinion it would be very worth it. The manager of the Wilka company on the other end of the phone heard that Chen Fan could even give a 70% discount. At that moment, he immediately said, wait a moment, I'll discuss it with the other shareholders of the company. After saying that, he hung up the phone. It was time to start discussing this matter with the other shareholders. For the matter of getting a 70% discount for ordering 2000 blocking cables. Those shareholders of Wilka Company directly agreed without even thinking about it. After all, in their opinion, they were the sole supplier of the Great Eagle Dynasty, as well as the entire European Union and the White Elephant Dynasty. No matter how much they tuned in, they were not worried about selling. So Chen Fan gave them a 70% discount. It was the same as earning another 20,000 Great Eagle Dynasty coins per strip. With 20,000 per article, 2,000 articles would be able to earn an additional 40 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. This was basically a surefire business for them. After their company passed, Wilka's manager, he immediately sent the money to Chen Fan. Chen Fan also didn't expect them people to be so quick, ordering 2,000 blocking cords at once. So he immediately found Wang Kaixian to discuss. The Great Eagle Dynasty side has ordered another 2,000 blocking cords. We must send these blocking cords to them as soon as possible. Let them use them, and it might even make a few more of their fighters crash into the sea. Hearing Chen Fan say that the Great Eagle Dynasty side had ordered 2,000 blocking cables in one go. Although Wang Kaixian was happy but he also knew that this matter had to be completed as soon as possible. Otherwise, they would definitely find out the problem with the blocking ropes as time went on. But with 2,000 of them, we simply can't produce them. Although we are currently producing fake blocking cables. But the production process is all the same as the real ones. The daily production is only a few dozen. Two days of blocking cords will take at least over a month to produce. I'm afraid it's too late in time. Chen Fan nodded after hearing this and said, a month is indeed a bit too long. According to how often their current fighters are taking off and landing, there might be fighters crashing into the sea again right now. So we must find a way to send it to them as soon as possible. Wang Kaixian nodded and said, yeah, so what do we do now? Chen Fan thought for a moment and said, this way, just give them ordinary wire rope. This business is basically over anyway, and they won't be able to give us any more orders in the future. Direct wire rope? Wang Kaixian said doubtfully, but the difference between the wire rope and the blocking rope is too big, aren't you afraid of being seen by them? Chen Fan smiled and said, what are you afraid of, what was written in the contract was originally wire rope, we'll ship them according to the contract, what's the problem? Good, then let's do it, we still have 30 left in our warehouse from before, let's give it to them together. Chen Fan nodded and said, good, try to send the goods to them in the last few days, as long as they receive it, the rest will have nothing to do with us. Understood. Wan Kaixian knew that Chen Fan was planning to do a one-shot deal, so he called the workers to start working overtime to produce the wire ropes. Originally, it would take a month to make the fake blocking ropes, but it only took five days to produce the wire rope. This five days time is also very peaceful. The carriers of the Great Eagle Dynasty went to the Japanese Dynasty to resupply. 
The Sunset Dynasty did not attack again because of the crash of one of their fighters, they didn't come back to attack again. Chen Fan has been watching the news about the Kanan Dynasty on the internet. Chen Fan has been watching the Kanan Dynasty's battle on the extranet. Although the ground attack of the Elijah Dynasty has lasted for more than two months, however, there were still many videos of the Kanan Dynasty's counterattacks on the internet. Moreover, it looked like the ground attack of the Elijah Dynasty hadn't caused too much damage to the Kanan Dynasty's resistance army. On this day, Chen Fan had just finished watching the video of Kanan striking the Elijah Dynasty's tanks. He received a call from abroad. Originally, he thought that it was a call from the African side who wanted to buy gas tanks. I didn't expect the call to connect. Instead, the other party directly said to Chen Fan, Hello Mr. Chen, I am Yihaya, the commander of the Wild Gate Hussein Military Department. Your call was given to me by Faris, he said that you can help us. Hearing the other party's words, Chen Fan froze. Wild Gate Chen Fan knew about it, and the Hussites Chen Fan also knew about it. But the Wild Gate was far from Canaan. What did they want by calling themselves? May I ask what's the matter? It's like this, Faris said that you are very powerful in the Dasha dynasty. I want to ask you to help me purchase a batch of civilian drones. I'll give you a reward after it's done. Hearing the other party say that they wanted drones, and they specifically said that they wanted civilian drones. This seemed to Chen Fan to be a case of here and now. However, since the other party had already said so, Chen Fan as a businessman naturally wouldn't tear him down. On the contrary, this was better for himself. What kind do you need? Yi Haya thought for a while and said, something with a range of more than a hundred kilometers and a load of more than ten kilograms will do. If possible, we would like to buy some unmanned with a range of over 2,500 kilometers and a load of over 30 kilograms. Chen Fan was speechless after hearing this. A range of 2,500 kilometers and a load of over 30 kilograms. This was obviously wanting to strike the Elijah dynasty across the region ah. You said that this kind of drone with a range of more than 2,500 kilometers, I can't get it for the time being. But if you need more, I can find a way to produce some. With such a long range of kilometers, it was basically military. However, it happened to be within the R&D scope of Chen Fan's R&D center. That was why Chen Fan said that. After all, those drones he had developed also needed to find a place to test. Now that the Houthi armed forces wanted this kind of drone, it just happened to give Chen Fan a place to test the drones. Really? Yi Haya was very excited, knowing that the vast majority of drones of this type were military. This was because civilian drones did not need such a long range at all. Well, I can't guarantee it, but I can try. Good. What about those drones with a hundred kilometer range? Within half a month of this, I can almost produce them here. We can send it to you directly by then. Now Chen Fan's drone production line was almost debugged. Moreover, the kind of drones they wanted were basically suicide drones. The requirements for functionality would not be too strong. With Chen Fan's and their current production line and technology, could completely fulfill their requirements. That's really great. You tell me the price. I'll immediately arrange for someone to call you for the money. Although the Houthi Armed Forces was an unrecognized organization in Wild Gate, however, it was extremely powerful. Previously, they had been struck by a coalition formed by several dynasties such as the Black Gold Dynasty. But the more they were struck, the stronger they became. In addition to being because they had the support of other dynasties behind them, their own fighting strength was also very strong. It was only that they had been blockaded for many years. Although the light weapons were fighting strong, they didn't have any advanced weaponry. Even the drones that were extremely common in the Grand Xia dynasty, they couldn't produce it themselves either. Especially in this situation now, they would be even less able to come up with any decent drones. For the price, I can't tell you yet, because I need to set the price based on our costs. I'll contact you after I've accounted for the price. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Yi Haya began to hesitate a little. The main reason was that he didn't believe Chen Fan had the strength to be able to make such a drone on his own. He had actually called Chen Fan because he wanted Chen Fan to help him procure some within the Dasha dynasty. After all, the current mainstream DJI drones were banned for sale for combat areas. Even if they had the money, they couldn't buy them. Although they were able to buy them at a high price on the black market, the quantity was too small. That was why they had contacted Chen Fan and asked him to help them in purchasing it within the Dasha dynasty. But now Chen Fan said that he wanted to produce it himself. Yi Haya felt that this was Chen Fan wanting to make this money to build a new drone production line. But wanting to build a drone production line was not an easy thing to do. Besides, they didn't have that much time to wait for Chen Fan to build a new production line. Mr. Chen, you know the situation on our side. I'm afraid we don't have the time to wait for you to produce your own drones. Hearing Yi Haya's words Chen Fan froze and said, even if I were to contact them for you, it would probably take a month to send such a large quantity. If I produce it myself, it will be almost a month before I can send it to you. 
Yi Hai I heard Chin Fan say that and asked, you mustn't build a new production line for your own production? I'm afraid that a month's time won't even be enough to build a plant. It was only at this time that he realized that he was worried about this. So he smiled and said, I built the production line a long time ago, and now it has also been debugged. Originally I was going to produce some small drones first, but if you can have an order, then I can directly produce them for you. Yi Haya was very shocked and asked, you have your own production line for drones? Is this thing so well built in the Dasha dynasty? Chen Fan was also very surprised at Yi Haya's words. What's so bad to see about this, we're all civilian drones here. It's not like the dynasty controls it. Yi Haya was speechless. The thing that they wanted to get by all means. It was surprisingly so simple to do in the Dasha dynasty. Mr. Chen, it's great that you have a powerful dynasty. Yi Haya said this, envying Chen Fan from the bottom of his heart. The Dasha dynasty was vast and also had a powerful army. It wasn't like them that hadn't been recognized by the international community so far. I believe you guys will be strong too. Mr. Chen, thank you, I'll wait for your good news then. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan came to the production workshop of the drones. Since the manufacturing of the drones hadn't officially started yet, there were only seven or eight technicians here who were performing the final debugging. Seeing Chen Fan arrive, the seven or eight people hurriedly walked over. Mr. Chen, Mr. Chen, Chen Fan nodded at them and said, how is the debugging of our production line going? All of them have been debugged, and we're just waiting to start work now. Hearing a technician say this, Chen Fan nodded and continued. I want to produce a batch of drones with a range of around 100 kilometers, how long do I need to prepare? Hearing Chen Fan's words, a technician thought for a moment and said, a drone with a range of 100 kilometers, that belongs to a large drone. This production line of ours is currently mainly prepared to produce small drones. If we want to produce this kind of large drone, we still need to remodel it. It will take at least a week or so. Hearing that it would take about half a month to remodel the equipment. Chen Fan frowned and asked, then what if a new production line is put on? If it's new, it's faster, as long as we can pull the equipment over, three or four days, a week at most. Hearing him say that, Chen Fan immediately clapped his hands and said, then a new production line. You contact now, tell me how much you need. That technician didn't expect Chen Fan to make a decision so quickly. He felt that Chen Fan's decision was a bit hasty, so he spoke up. Mr. Chen, the domestic market for this kind of large drone is not good. There aren't many application scenarios either, so I think you should think about it. Chen Fan shook his head and said, I know in my heart, so hurry up and make contact. I want to see a production line for this large drone between 10 days. Also small drones start production as soon as possible. Seeing that Chen Fan had already said so, that technician couldn't say anything else. So he started to pick up the phone to contact about the production line. After leaving from here, Chen Fan came to the R&D center. The body of the drone only accounted for a very small part of the entire UAS. The main thing was the program of the drone. A good program could make the drone smarter. It was much more useful. So as soon as Chen Fan arrived at the R&D center, he went directly to the R&D center of the drone. How is the drone program written? Hearing Chen Fan's words, those programmers in the hall lowered their heads and did not speak. At this time, Cheng Tianrui, the person in charge of the drone R&D center, came over and said, Mr. Chen, we've encountered a bottleneck in the writing of the drone program, and it's not written yet. What bottleneck? It's the flight stability and the connection between the sensors. The drone wants to fly stably and be able to change its flight attitude in time according to the operation. It wouldn't just be a matter of the airframe, it would also need to find a way to ensure flight stability and change flight attitude at the same time based on the algorithm. DJI has their own research gimbal system, and this system solves this problem I just mentioned. It's just that this system is very difficult to develop. We have already organized 20 technicians to attack this problem. Hearing Cheng Tianrui's words, Chen Fan thought for a moment and said, I'll take a look at what you guys are writing now. Yes, Chen Fan's programming skills were known to Cheng Tianrui and the others. So when Chen Fan proposed that he wanted to take a look at the program they had written, there wasn't any unhappiness on his face, instead, he was still very confident in Chen Fan. Under Chang Tianrui's leadership, Chen Fan came to a computer and sat down. He began to read the program they had written before from the beginning. Chen Fan sat here for an afternoon. It was important to know that hundreds of thousands of lines of code had been written for this program. Chen Fan had to look at it little by little, and had to make changes when he encountered some problematic code. Fortunately, he had divine computer skills. He looked at the code as if he was reading text. It was even faster than reading text. With a glance, he could see where the code had problems. It was good that Chen Fan had often come here to instill his ideas with them before. Now that they had written these codes, they were all very deeply influenced by Chen Fan. There wasn't much of a problem. Chen Fan looked at it very devotedly and quickly. 
But after all, there were hundreds of thousands of lines of code. It was still time consuming. Cheng Tianrui saw that Chen Fan couldn't finish reading for a while, so he let the others go about their business. He himself waited here for Chen Fan. This wait was 10 hours. Chen Fan finished reading all the codes, and only then did he feel that his body was a bit numb. Stretching his back, he turned his head to look out the window. Only then did he realize that it was already dark outside. Have I been looking at this for so long? At this time, there was no one else here besides Cheng Tianrui and Chen Fan. Cheng Tianrui nodded and said, almost 10 hours. Mr. Chen, you're really into it. You didn't even drink a sip of water in these 10 hours. Originally, Cheng Tianrui had called out to Chen Fan several times in the middle. But Chen Fan acted as if he couldn't hear. So Cheng Tianrui didn't call out to him again. Chen Fan smiled awkwardly and said, I was too involved in watching, if you didn't say you didn't drink any water, I didn't even feel thirsty. Said Chen Fan got up and walked to the water dispenser, picked up a disposable paper cup and drank two large cups of water, which made him feel more comfortable. After drinking the water, Chen Fan walked over to Cheng Tianrui and said, There is no problem with your directions for the entire program. As for the stability and maneuverability problems you mentioned, I have a way to solve them. It's getting late, you should go back and rest first. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Cheng Tianrui was overjoyed, Mr. Chen, do you really have a solution? Chen Fan nodded and said, well, you go back to rest first, I'll write out that part here. Why don't I work overtime with you? Chen Fan shook his head and said, no, you can't help me much here. It's better to go back and rest early, come over and read it in the morning. Chen Fan had already said so, Cheng Tianrui had sat here with Chen Fan for the whole day and was indeed a bit tired. So he said, then I will go back first. Chen Fan waved his hand and said, aha, after Cheng Tianrui left. Chen Fan looked at the computer screen for half a day. If it was written according to the current progress, this gimbal program would take at least another month. This time was a bit too long for Chen Fan. So he was prepared to directly buy the gimbal program from his own system. This would save a lot of time on the one hand. On the one hand, it could also avoid those people delaying the writing progress due to mistakes. After making up his mind, Chen Fan directly called up the system panel in his mind. He began to look for relevant information in the system. He soon found a drone operating gimbal system called Galaxy in the system. This system was the best drone system in the system. Chen Fan didn't even think about it and directly purchased it in the system. Then he replaced the original half-written program. After doing this, less than half an hour had passed since Cheng Tianrui had left this place. After sitting here for more than 10 hours, Chen Fan was also a bit tired. However, he couldn't just leave like this. After all, if he wanted to complete this program by hand, even Chen Fan would need a few days under normal circumstances. Now that he had completed it in one go, if the cameras here were to see him finish it so quickly again, it would definitely get suspicious. So Chen Fan pretended to start writing a program in front of his computer, then entered into his own home server, copied the video that the camera had just recorded of himself furiously writing code on the computer, then after he processed it and retransmitted it to the server again, and extended the time of that video to 7 o'clock in the morning of the next day. In this way, even if other people suspected and, if he called up the surveillance to see it, he himself had been here all night writing code nonstop on the computer. Although it was said that even if Chen Fan had been writing code nonstop all night, the writing out the entire program, it was still a bit unbelievable. However, Chen Fan didn't have that much time to take his time now, because besides the head, there were many other auxiliary programs that needed to be written. After finishing this, Chen Fan directly went to the lounge and laid down on the sofa to rest. The next morning after 6 o'clock, Chen Fan came out from the lounge. He began to continue sitting in front of the computer to write code. At 8 o'clock or so, the programmers from the drone R&D center began to come here one after another. As soon as they entered they saw Chen Fan sitting in front of the computer. Fingers were bouncing rapidly on the keyboard. Even they, the professional programmers, were not half as fast as Chen Fan when they were writing programs. After all, when they were writing a program, they needed to think and write at the same time. But Chen Fan didn't need to think at all. Those were all washed were already engraved in his mind. He just typed out the codes on the keyboard. Wow, Mr. Chen's speed in writing code is too fast. Yeah, if I could be half as fast as him, I'd be a god. You guys come here and look, not only is Mr. Chen writing fast, but this code is also very beautifully written. Hearing this programmer's words, the others came over and stood behind Chen Fan and watched. Chen Fan sensed that there were quite a few people standing behind him and accelerated his speed. Holy shit, is this writing code? Why do I look like a printer is printing one line at a time? Yeah, I've never seen anyone write code so fast. Just as these people were standing behind Chen Fan and whispering, Cheng Tianrui also came. Seeing so many people standing behind Chen Fan watching him write code, he lightly coughed. Immediately, 
he caught the attention of those people. Mr. Cheng, come and see. Mr. Chen is writing this code really fast. Cheng Tianruwei slowly walked that way, his mouth saying, what's all the fuss about? Mr. Chen has been writing here all night. In Cheng Tianruwei's opinion, Chen Fan had already been writing here all night. The speed wouldn't be too fast at all. After all, the body simply couldn't carry it after writing code for a whole night. But when he came behind Chen Fan, the whole person froze. Chen Fan's fingers were like dancing on the keyboard, extremely fast, and there hadn't been any typing errors in any of the codes. Writing all night long? Impossible. That's right, an all-nighter and still able to write so fast, can Mr. Chen stand it? At this time Chang Tianruwei could no longer hear what those people were saying. He had been stunned by Chen Fan's hand speed. Cheng Tianruwei was a senior programmer that Chen Fan had poached from DJI side. Moreover, he was also a programmer of Dynasty Academy of Science before. It could be said that he had seen a lot of programs, but he had never seen someone who wrote code so fast. When he carefully looked at Chen Fan's code for a while, he said in a shocked voice, Mr. Chen has already finished writing the program for the head. Those around Cheng Tianruwei's words exclaimed in surprise. Finished writing? That's impossible. It took so many of us to write half of it, and Mr. Chen finished it in one night? Holy shit, it's still true. The main body has already been written by Mr. Chen. What he's writing now is the auxiliary program. Chen Fan acted as if he didn't hear them. Both hands continued to tap rapidly on the keyboard. Seeing Chen Fan like this, Cheng Tianruwei said to the others, You guys go ahead and get busy, don't disturb Mr. Chen here. I see him in this state, I'm afraid that he won't be finished until he finishes writing this auxiliary program. The others could only return to their respective positions after hearing this, starting to busy themselves with their own things. But every now and then, they would still look up to see what was going on here at Chen Fan. An hour later, Chen Fan stopped with both his hands and stretched. Cheng Tianruwei, who had been standing beside him, saw that Chen Fan had stopped. He hurriedly asked, Mr. Chen, you finally finished writing. Chen Fan secretly laughed in his heart. In fact, he had already known about it as soon as those people came. It was only in order to set up an image of a code maniac who was almost possessed. That's why he didn't stop. Otherwise, no one would believe it if he wrote out an entire gimbal code in one night. Hmm. Chen Fan stood up from his seat and asked while moving his body. What time is it? It's past 9 o'clock. You wrote all night. Hearing Cheng Tianruwei say that he wrote all night, Chen Fan pretended to be very surprised and said, Really, did I write for so long? I said why do I feel as if I'm very tired? Hearing Chen Fan say this, Cheng Tianruwei didn't know how he should answer. At this time Chen Fan continued, I finished writing the main program for the head. Then another interactive auxiliary program was written. The rest of you guys have been urgently writing them in the recent period of time and testing them. I'm a bit tired. Go back and rest for a while. Well, leave the rest to me. You wrote all night hurry back to rest. Cheng Tianruwei himself was an old programmer. Naturally, he knew that staying up all night writing code for such a long time was very bad for the body. Chen Fan nodded and then left amidst the adoring gazes of a group of programmers. Chen Fan had just left. Those programmers immediately ran to the seat where Chen Fan had just sat here. Quickly look at the program written by Mr. Chen. Cheng Tianruwei was also very curious as to what kind of gimbal program Chen Fan had written this night. So in the midst of the anxious gazes of the crowd, Cheng Tianruwei opened the source code of the gimbal program written by Chen Fan. It didn't matter, everyone was stunned. This program written by Chen Fan was just too perfect. Whether it was in terms of logic or execution, it was perfect. In particular, these codes also used many methods that they had never thought of before. There were places that were even more concise than their previous program, the but the effect was better. After looking at it for a while, these programmers were all convinced by Chen Fan's programming skills. Mr. Chen is really great. If I didn't have a year and a half to write this, I wouldn't be able to write it. Forget about you, with this level of code, even if you were given 10 years you wouldn't be able to write it. If Mr. Chen went to be a programmer, I'm afraid there would be nothing for us to do. You say that, Mr. Chen has such a high level of skill, how could he go and become a programmer? These people looked at those codes written by Chen Fan while marveling. At this time, a person suddenly asked, although Mr. Chen writes code very quickly, this is a dozen codes. Even if he doesn't stop for a moment, it's impossible for him to write so many. Hearing this person's words, everyone else began to wonder as well. To him, besides writing nonstop for a whole night, his body can't take it. Could it be that this was written by someone else before? For those programmers, this answer was still relatively reliable. After all, writing over 100,000 lines of code in one night, it was too incredible for them. And this gimbal code of theirs was actually similar to DJI to a large extent. 
so they thought it was possible that Chen Fan had stolen it from DJI. Hearing them say this Cheng Tianrui immediately said, You guys don't talk nonsense, you all saw how fast Mr. Chen wrote the code just now. He can write hundreds of lines in a minute. If we keep writing at this speed, a night is not impossible. When Cheng Tianrui finished saying this, a programmer immediately said, Mr. Cheng, if we write at that speed that Mr. Chen just did, it is indeed possible to finish. But we're all code writers, do you think it's possible for him to write like that for a whole night? Yeah, I can't even last half an hour writing code at such a high intensity. Just as everyone was doubting whether this program was written by Chen Fan himself or not, a person said, don't we have surveillance here? Won't we know if we look at the surveillance? Yeah, the surveillance is all there, if he was hacking someone else, he would have definitely taken a break in the middle. Hearing that all these people wanted to look at the surveillance, Cheng Tianrui was a bit hesitant. It's better not to look at it, we have to trust Mr. Chen. It's because we believe in him that we have to look at it. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a clue in our own hearts when this matter is told. Right, I don't want to work in a company that has a history of stealing. That's right. These people were basically some fresh graduates who were still very straight in their hearts. Seeing them say that, Cheng Tianrui thought for a moment and said, All right. But this matter mustn't be known to anyone else, much less to Mr. Chen. Seeing Cheng Tianrui agree, the others immediately said, Mr. Chang, just don't worry, we definitely won't tell anyone else. Right, hurry up and let us take a look. Cheng Tianrui nodded and said, All right, the surveillance can be seen on my computer. Go to my office to see it. After saying that, Cheng Tianrui brought those people to his office and opened the surveillance replay. In the surveillance, Chen Fan had been there from 7 in the evening until after they came. He had been sitting in front of the computer, his two hands constantly hitting the keyboard. He didn't even change his posture. Watching the entire surveillance replay, those who questioned Chen Fan were dumbfounded. Is this something a human can do? A whole night without even changing his posture, without drinking any water, he just kept writing. Heavens, I simply can't imagine how Mr. Chen did it. Not only were these people filled with incredulity, even Chang Tianrui was very surprised. It was important to realize that Chen Fan had been writing the whole time, not even stopping to think for a moment. After reading it, Cheng Tianrui sighed, if Mr. Chen had been born a few years earlier, I'm afraid there would be nothing for penguins. After the main program of the cloud station was written, the next thing was simple. When Cheng Tianrui came this morning, he also knew about Chen Fan's plan to have the drone factory start as soon as possible. So he immediately started arranging people for the next work. The main program, Mr. Chen, has already finished writing it for us, there's not much work left. We have to finish it within three days. The drone factory site is ready to start work, we must write all the programs before they do. Ensure that our programs can be used properly. We can't delay Mr. Chen's business. Understood. Leave the rest to us. Otherwise it would also look like we're too incompetent. That's right, don't worry, we'll definitely be able to do it. With Chen Fan, the old boss, giving them an example. These people were all like chicken blood now. After Cheng Tianrui assigned tasks to each of them, they started to get busy. Chen Fan did not go back to sleep after coming out of the R&D center. Instead, he returned to his office. On the internet, he wanted to see if there were any opportunities to make his research on these drones more legitimate. After all, small drones were fine for civilian use. But this kind of drones with a range of over a hundred kilometers that Yi Haya had customized. The general civilian population couldn't use it at all. There were only some large enterprises that needed remote transportation. But there weren't many enterprises that needed to make remote deliveries and still needed a lot of drones. As he was thinking, Wang Kaixian walked in from outside. Mr. Chen, you have an express, I brought it along for you. Hearing Wang Kaixian say express, Chen Fan brightened up. He remembered that in his original world, he had read about drones dropping off couriers on the internet. If one could could cooperate with these courier companies, then this project of his own could be justified. Thinking of this, Chen Fan stood up at once and looked at Wang Kaixian and said with a smile, Brother Wang, you really came at the right time, and helped me solve a big problem. Wang Kaixian was a little confused by Chen Fan's words. He came in and did nothing but get him a courier, how did he help him solve a big problem? Mr. Chen, what's wrong? Chen Fan smiled and asked, do you have something to do in the next few days? If nothing, go out with me. Wang Kaixian thought for a moment and said, there's a meeting in the county, but it's okay if I don't go. Chen Fan's hundred years industry, although it had been established for many years, but basically is unknown, that is, starting this year in the hands of Chen Fan has become the county's leading enterprises. Wang Kaixuan's value has also risen along with Chen Fan. Many meetings in the county will invite Wang Kaixian to participate. The expansion of their new steel plant has also become a key project in the county. Wang Kaixian was also very busy. 
but he's a man who knows his business, knew which end was light and which was heavy, since Chen Fan had opened his mouth, it wasn't a small matter, that's good, get ready, if there's nothing else, we'll leave in the afternoon, not expecting Chen Fan to be in such a hurry, Wang Kaishin felt that it was definitely not a small matter, so he said, I don't need to prepare, I can leave whenever I want, hearing Wang Kaishin say this, Chen Fan immediately said, then we will leave now, good, so the two of them went downstairs and came to Wang Kaishuan's car, Wang Kaishian asked at this time, Mr. Chen, where are we going? To Magic City. Magic City? What's the point of going there? Wang Kaishian spoke, but his hands didn't stop as he started the car and set off. I want to cooperate with these courier companies to develop a delivery drone. A courier delivery drone? Wang Kaishian couldn't figure out why Chen Fan would suddenly think of cooperating with courier companies to get a drone. Yes, we need R&D experience and funding. They need to deliver the courier to their customers faster. This is a very good thing for both of us. Listening to Chen Fan, Wang Kaishin felt that there was nothing wrong with what Chen Fan said. But just how did he suddenly think of this? Thinking of this, Wang Kaishin suddenly remembered that he had just given Chen Fan an express delivery. Mr. Chen, you wouldn't be the one who thought of cooperating with the courier company just now when I gave you an express delivery. Chen Fan nodded and said, yes. This. Wang Kaishin wanted to say that this was too much of a thought. But the words still didn't come out of his mouth. It was just that Wang Kaishian was still a bit puzzled. Mr. Chen, although this idea of yours is good, but our drone production line has only just been commissioned, we haven't even produced a single drone yet. I'm afraid they won't want to cooperate with us. Wang Kaishuan's words were not without reason. Chen Fan thought for a moment and said, I haven't thought about this yet, let's take a step forward and see what happens. Wang Kaishian suddenly felt as if this boss of his was a bit unreliable. He hadn't even carefully considered such a big thing before he directly wanted to go and talk to others about cooperation. Seeing that Wang Kaishian looked like he was about to say something, Chen Fan knew that in his heart, he was not optimistic about this matter. However, Chen Fan had no way to tell him that there was indeed such a thing in his original world. The far ones were delivered by drones, and the near ones were delivered by unmanned vehicles. It was just that there was no precedent of delivering couriers with drones and unmanned vehicles in this world right now. It was normal that Wang Kaishian couldn't understand it. Do you think it's ridiculous to deliver courier by drone? Hearing Chen Fan ask this, Wang Kaishian wanted to nod his head and say yes, but was a little embarrassed. It's not very ridiculous, it's just that I feel that drones are considered a high-tech technology anyways. It's not related to courier delivery at all. And drone delivery, I can't imagine it. Hearing Wang Kaishuan's doubts, Chen Fan laughed a little and said, It's actually quite simple. Think about it. What is the biggest investment in the courier industry? Transportation and distribution. Wang Kaishian said without thinking. Then what is the core competitive point of express delivery now? Timeliness. Wang Kaishian also often shopped online, and he naturally knew all these questions that Chen Fan asked. Chen Fan nodded and said, you're right, the courier industry is like that. The highest cost is people, and the most core competitiveness is also people. Drone delivery can solve this problem at the same time. First of all if a drone is used to deliver couriers, especially in those remote places, the speed is faster and more time saving than human labor. Think about it, a person sitting in an office can control several, or even dozens of drones to deliver couriers at the same time. Isn't this more efficient and faster than delivering with humans? Especially for same city deliveries and things that require more timeliness. There are also some high value things that are faster and safer with drones. As soon as Chen Fan said this, Wang Kaishian already started to have a picture in his mind. After the two drove for seven hours, came to Magic City. The headquarters of several courier companies, Yuantong, Zhongtong and Yunda, were all in Mordu. It was already afternoon when they arrived in Magic City. Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian found a five-star hotel to stay. The next morning, they drove to the headquarters of Yuantong. However, they were stopped by the front desk at the entrance. Hello, may I ask who are you looking for? Hello, we're from Lin Chang Hundred Years Industry, I'm looking for your mister. You. May I ask if you have an appointment? No. What is your business? You can make an appointment first. I'll relay it for you and see when our Mr. You has time. I want to talk to Mr. You about some cooperation, using drones to deliver couriers for you. Drone delivery? Hearing Chen Fan's words, that receptionist looked up at Chen Fan with a puzzled expression. Right. Unexpectedly, the receptionist smiled contemptuously and said, if drones can deliver couriers, then what else do you need couriers for? Seeing that this receptionist was somewhat looking down on Chen Fan, Wang Kaishian, he said unhappily, why can't a drone deliver a courier? There was no courier company 10 years ago. He was disliked by Wang Kaishian. That receptionist said unhappily, it's already registered, I'll report it to the leader. I'll call you if the leader wants to see you. 
After saying that, she huffed and stopped paying attention to Chen Fan and Wang Kaixian. Coming out from Yuan Tong, Wang Kaixian was a bit discouraged. After all, now there are hundred years of industry in the magic city this place simply no one has heard of. Moreover, Chen Fan belonged to the category of being violently rich, and his connections didn't keep up. With the two of them's current strength and connections wanting to meet the boss of a company of this level, it was almost impossible. Mr. Chen, what do we do now? Go to the next one first, see what's going on over at Zhongtong and Rhymer? Chen Fan clearly remembered that. There was indeed news about drones delivering couriers in his original world. But as for which courier company it was, he didn't pay attention. So he could only find a way to ask them all. Just after the two of them came to the headquarters of the two courier companies, Zhongtong and Raimita. The result was similar to what happened at Yuan Tong. Just a front desk to stop them two people. Not to mention see their boss. The three courier companies have all gone over, without any results. This made Chen Fan a bit lost as well. Mr. Chen, we can't even get past the front desk, what should we do next? Chen Fan thought for a while and said, since this is the case, then we can only use some other methods. After saying that, he took out his laptop and started working on it. He directly entered Yuan Tong's intranet through the hacking software and then found the phone number of Yuan Tong's boss, Mr. Yu. After finding the phone, Chen Fan called him directly from the hotel. The phone connected after a few rings. Hello, which one? Hello, Mr. Yu, I'm Chen Fan from Lin Cheng Hundred Years Industry. Oh, hello, may I ask what's up? Mr. Yu thought about it in his head for half a day, but he couldn't remember who this Chen Fan from Centennial Industries was. However, he still asked politely. Our company is now developing a drone that greatly reduces the workload of courier employees, improving distribution efficiency and reducing costs. I would like to ask if you guys are interested? After listening to Chen Fan, the other party was silent for a while before saying, Drone delivery? I'm afraid the cost of this is not low. The price of one drone is already higher than the yearly salary of many of our couriers. Now our distribution network has covered the entire dynasty. Not for now. After saying that, he directly hung up the phone. After he hung up, Chen Fan was just about to continue looking for the old president of Zhongtong Express on the phone when, his own phone suddenly rang. It was a local number in Magic City. Chen Fan thought that it was the boss of some courier company who wanted to find himself to talk about the drone. Immediately, he picked up the phone. Hello? Are you Mr. Chen from Centennial Industries? It's me, and you are? I'm Yuan Yongchun from Yuantong. Hearing that the other party was from Yuantong Company, Chen Fan was surprised. This was because just now, the old president of Yuantong had clearly rejected Chen Fan just now. Oh, I have just spoken to your company's general manager Yu. He has rejected me. Hearing that Chen Fan had been rejected, Yuan Yongchun not only didn't lose heart, but instead, he was as if he was happy. I knew he would reject it. Because the matter of using drones for delivery, I had mentioned it to him before, and it was also vetoed by him. Yuan Yongchun's words made Chen Fan puzzled. Since he had already been rejected a long time ago, why would he still make this call to himself? Yuan Yongchun also understood the doubts in Chen Fan's heart. So he said, Mr. Chen, are you willing to go to Shenzhen with me? Shenzhen? What's the point of going there? To be honest with you, I have resigned here at Yuan Tong and am going to join SF. SF intends to engage in a drone courier, I am mainly responsible for this aspect in SF. I also just went downstairs when I heard the receptionist chatting with someone on the phone when I heard that you had come here. So it's about to come to your phone. I think the two of us have the same idea, and I also think that using drones to deliver couriers is a trend in the future. Hearing Yuan Yongchun say that, Chen Fan was delighted and quickly asked, Mr. Yuan, is it convenient for us to meet you there? Yuan Yongchun said, I just came out of the company, I am here to handle my departure today, where are you? I can go find you. That's great. Chen Fan told him his address and then said, then I'll wait for you in the cafe below the hotel. Good. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan was very excited, because he only remembered now. In his original world, the one who engaged in drone delivery was SF. Brother Wan, let's go, let's go down and wait for Mr. Yuan. Seeing Chen Fan become so excited all of a sudden, Wang Kaixian couldn't help but say, Mr. Chen, I think you should not expect too much. This Mr. Yuan is also just a senior manager, if we really want to make a decision, we still have to see what their old boss of SF says. Chen Fan said with a certainty, don't worry, I feel that this time it won't be a big problem. The two came downstairs and waited in the cafe for 10 minutes. Yuan Yongchun arrived. Yuan Yongchun was a middle-aged man in his early 40s with glasses. He looked gentle. Hello, Mr. Chen. Yuan Yongchun walked towards Chen Fan here as soon as he came in. This made Chen Fan surprised. Mr. Yuan knows me? 
There weren't many people in the cafe, but there were quite a few. But Yuan Yongchun directly walked towards Chen Fan here. If this was to say that he hadn't seen it before, Chen Fan wouldn't believe it. But Chen Fan could not recall where he had seen Yuan Yongchun from. Although this is the first time we have met, I have heard of you before. Heard of me? This made Chen Fan even more puzzled. Yes, I have a classmate at the Dynasty Third Research Institute, and we just had dinner together some time ago. At that time, he talked to me a lot, saying that he had recently met someone who was very talented, and said that that person helped them solve a big problem. Although he didn't say what the problem was, that classmate of mine I know. Even though he seems easygoing, his eyes are still very high. It's the first time I've seen someone who was held in such high esteem by him. Hearing Yuan Yangchuan's words, Chen Fan thought for a moment that the one who had more contact with him at Dynasty Third Research Institute was Chao Jinzhang. So he tentatively asked, that classmate of yours wouldn't be Chao Jinzhang, right? Yuan Yongchen nodded and said, yes, it's old Xiao, right? Can you tell me why he would esteem you so much? This. Chen Fan was a bit hesitant, after all, no matter if it was the stealth coding or the blocking cable. Neither of them have been officially publicized yet and are classified. He couldn't say it either. Seeing Chen Fan hesitate, Yuan Yongchun knew that he had asked something he shouldn't have. So he immediately said, I heard old Xiao say that you transformed a Chata one-piece yard wall defense system at home with just cameras and toy tanks? Chen Fan nodded and said, that was all me messing around with it. Hearing Chen Fan say that, Yuan Yongchun said indistinctly, no wonder. You can make such a powerful thing by playing around with it. If you really researched it, the thing you came up with must be very powerful. Although Yuan Yongchun did not know what exactly Chen Fan had researched. But the things that were researched in the Dynasty Third Research Institute, those were all high-tech things. Whatever it was must be very powerful. So he had no doubts about Chen Fan's strength. So he started to ask Chen Fan about his opinion on drone delivery. Mr. Chen, for drone delivery, what do you think is the biggest advantage? These days Chen Fan in order to be able to convince the bosses of those courier companies after meeting them. He was also thinking about this question. So he directly opened his mouth and said, the most direct thing is that in the future, within the Dasha dynasty, there is no such thing as a remote area without postage. It was important to know that all of the current courier industry, although the vast majority of areas within the dynasty could enjoy the treatment of free shipping, but there are still a lot of places that are not free shipping, these places are basically some underdeveloped areas of the Dasha dynasty, sparsely populated places. In these places to send express delivery is very costly human resources, almost all to lose money. So these areas are not free shipping. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Yuan Yangchuan's eyes lit up and said, That's what I think too. There are six provinces in our dynasty where we don't pack mail right now. The total population of these six provinces adds up to nearly 100 million. If we are able to package mail to these places, then the number of our couriers will increase by one-fifth to one-third compared to what we have now. This will be a very huge number. Those places in the interior that had parcel post were also very large in terms of purchases though. But SF needed to grab orders from these areas with several other major logistics companies. But if Shunfeng was able to take down these six areas where other courier companies didn't include postage, then these six provinces nearly 100 million people's express orders will all use SF. This amount is very large. Chen Fan nodded and said, and drones also have a very big role within big cities. It's also very advantageous for some medium and large parcels, as well as expedited express delivery. What you said is so right. Mr. Chen, the two of us really coincide with each other's ideas. The more Chen Fan and Yuan Yongchun talked, the more opportunistic they became. Both of them were very optimistic about the future application of drones in the courier market. Without realizing it, they had already chatted into the evening. Mr. Chen, the two of us have very compatible ideas. In this case you will come with me to Shenzhen tomorrow and we will sign the contract. Chen Fan didn't expect Yuan Yongchun to sign a contract with himself after just chatting with him for an afternoon. Mr. Yuan, this is not a small matter after all, we'd better go and talk to your boss first. Unexpectedly, Yuan Yongchen shook his head and said, don't worry, our old boss just poached me from here because he had this idea. You can go with me tomorrow without worry, I'll arrange everything after you go. Yuan Yongchen had already said so, so Chen Fan said nothing more. After parting with him, the two of them returned to the hotel with Wang Kaishian. Brother Wang, you drive back tomorrow, I'll take a plane to Shenzhen myself. Good. Then I will go back tomorrow. You must be careful when you go to Shenzhen by yourself. Wang Kaixian had some understanding of Chen Fan's skill, so he wasn't worried that he would be bullied. Early the next morning, Chen Fan took a plane to Shenzhen, came to the headquarters of SF, although he hadn't officially joined Shunfeng yet. However, Yuan Yongchun entered the headquarters and no one stopped him. Chen Fan followed him directly to the office of the old president of SF. Mr. Wang, this is the Mr. Chen I told you about yesterday. Mr. 
Chen, this is our Mr. Wang from SF. Hello, Mr. Wang. Chen Fan went forward and shook hands with Mr. Wang. Mr. Wang looked at Chen Fan and said, I didn't expect you to be so young. Come, let's sit down and talk. After a few people sat down, Mr. Wang looked at Chen Fan and asked, Your idea, Mr. Yuan, has already told me about it. It's very much in line with our Xuanfeng's ideas, but there are a few things I want to ask. All of your company's current products have nothing to do with drones. Why would you want to be in the drone business? Chen Fan replied, I think there will be more and more application scenarios for drones in the future. For example, the courier industry that we work with, agriculture, and firefighting, saving people, and so on. Of course there was the most important point Chen Fan didn't mention. That was the military use. Mr. Wang nodded and said, you're right, but you've never done a drone-related industry before. How can you guarantee that you will be able to complete the cooperation with us? Chen Fan said after thinking for a while. Although I have never done any related industries, we have been working on the research and development of drones for more than a year. This time is not very long, but there are two very deep technical reserves. Currently our small drone production line has already started mass production. Although in terms of technical quality there are still some gaps with DJI for the time being. But our prices are also much lower than theirs. But I believe that within a year, we'll be able to take over 10% of the market share. Within 5 years, we'll be on par with DJI. Hearing Chen Fan's words, both Mr. Wang and Yuan Yongchuan's faces changed. Both of them felt that Chen Fan's tone was too big. Huawei of the Dasha dynasty was so powerful, but it didn't dare to say that it could eat half of the Dasha dynasty's cell phone industry. Yet Chen Fan dared to boast about this, knowing that these two people did not believe his words. Chen Fan did not explain too much, because he understood that before there were any achievements. Any more words from himself would be bragging. However, Chen Fan himself knew very well that this day was not that far away. The reason why DJI was so famous now. On the one hand, they do have a lot of technical reserves. The quality of their products is also good. Not only do they sell well at home, they also sell very well abroad. The reason why Chen Fan dared to say this was because he believed. As soon as his drone started to be used on the battlefield, Centennial Drone is known by many people. The fame was also made. With the fame, the quality also kept up. The price was then cheaper than DJI. This is the right place, the right time, and the right people. It would not be difficult to achieve an equal share with DJI in 5 years. Although Mr. Wang felt that Chen Fan's claim to be equal to DJI in 5 years was a bit exaggerated. However, he still appreciated Chen Fan's confidence. Just now, Old Yuan told me about your views on drone delivery. I think it's great, we at Shunfoam also have very high expectations for drone delivery. And old Yuan holds you in very high esteem, saying that you are a rare talent. In this way, today we will first sign a cooperative intent. Then let old Yuan go to your place to take a look, if where you meet our requirements. Then we'll sign a formal cooperation agreement directly. Although Yuan Yongchun had said a lot of good things about Chen Fan in front of General Manager Wang. However, it was impossible for Mr. Wang to directly agree to cooperate with Chen Fan just because of a few words from him. Still, he intended to let Yuan Yongchun go to Chen Fan's factory to have a look on the ground. Then he would make a decision. Chen Fan was very satisfied with this result. Being able to sign an intent to cooperate was already very good. He was confident that when Yuan Yongchun went there, he, it would be possible to sign the cooperation directly. Alright, thank you Mr. Wang for giving me this opportunity, I will not let you down. Although Chen Fan was satisfied with the outcome of this meeting. However, Yuan Yongchun was not satisfied. But it was Mr. Wang's decision he couldn't say anything directly. So he said, Mr. Wang, Chen Fan's hundred years industry, although it has just started, has already become a leader in some industries. Oh, seeing that Mr. Wang was interested in Chen Fan, Yuan Yongchun started to say, A few months ago, Mr. Chen developed an anti-scratch and wear-resistant car paint. This kind of car paint immediately caused a sensation as soon as it hit the market. It has now been spread across the country. The supply currently exceeds the demand. Mr. Wang didn't expect Chen Fan to have such strength. And since he had already accomplished so much in car paint already, why would he still want to join the drone industry? Mr. Chen, really young and promising. However, the drone industry requires a lot of capital investment. Chen Fan knew that Mr. Wang was asking how much he had invested. Mr. Wang, I have a research and development center that currently has a research and development team of over 700 people. The drone R&D team has over a hundred people now. Chen Fan's words made Mr. Wang startled. It was important to know that the annual capital investment of an R&D team of over 700 people was not low. These people were all high-end talents, and the salary alone was a considerable amount. 
However, he was a bit puzzled, he hadn't heard of Chin Fan's name before, nor had he heard of Centennial Industries. Even if the car paint was making money, in his opinion, it might not be able to support such a large R&D team. Mr. Chen, does your company have any other industries? This R&D team of 7 to 800 people, the annual cost is not low. Chen Fan nodded and said, I also have a gas tank factory, a fertilizer factory, and a steel factory. Because they are all sunset industries now, I want to transform them. You still have so many industries? Mr. Wang was a little surprised at Chen Fan's strength. They are all small businesses. Just after Chen Fan said this, Yuan Yong Chun immediately said, Don't be modest, Mr. Chen, I've heard from old Xiao that what you do can be exported. After saying this, Yuan Yong Chun said to Mr. Wang again, Mr. Wang, Mr. Chen is very powerful. I heard from old Zhou that since taking charge of their family business, in less than a year, 100 years industry has gone from an obscure company to a local taxpayer and leading enterprise. When Mr. Wang heard this, he looked at Chen Fan with eyes full of surprise. Little Chen is really powerful. After chatting for a while longer, Chen Fan got up to say goodbye. He had to go back and prepare, in a few days, Yuan Yongchun would bring Shun Feng company to visit. After Chen Fan left, Mr. Wang called in his secretary. Go and check out the situation of this company, Lin Cheng Hundred Years Industry. Just now, Yuan Yongchun vigorously praised Chen Fan in front of himself. It made general manager Wang feel that it was a bit too fake. Even he was a bit skeptical that Yuan Yongchun had some backstage dealings with Chen Fan. Soon a copy of Centennial Industries information was placed in front of Mr. Wang. After reading the information, Mr. Wang was surprised. What Yuan Yongchun said to himself just now was not even half water. All is true. In fact, Mr. Wang didn't know that at the beginning, when Xiao Jianzhang talked to Yuan Yongchun about Chen Fan. Yuan Yongchun also felt that Xiao Jianzhang said a little too much. So he also specially investigated Chen Fan's background. The result of the investigation also made him very surprised. It was already two days after Chen Fan returned to Lin Chang. As soon as he came back, the first thing he did was to come to the production workshop of the drones to have a look. The small drones were currently in mass production. The daily production was around 500 units. Since it had only just been put into production, there was only one model of drone. However, what made Chen Fan very satisfied was that the cost was not high. This was because the entire industrial chain of drones had already been made very mature by DJI. Many of the downstream manufacturers already had very rich productivity. So the cost of each unit was only over $800. But the problem now was the problem of sales. At present, Chen Fan's sales channels in the country are only car paint is considered to be spread throughout the country. But drones don't belong to the same industry as car paint. The sales of drones simply could not use the sales channels of car paint. Chen Fan only left for a few days. Thousands of drones have been piled up in the warehouse. If we don't find a way to sell these drones, it would soon create a backlog that would seriously affect the capital flow of Centennial Industries. Although the competition for drones in the country was very fierce, but it was a sought-after item abroad, especially on the side of Big Mao and Air Mao. Drones have become a sharp weapon on the battlefield. It's just that although the Dixia dynasty didn't explicitly prohibit the sale of drones to the warring parties, but if you buy them directly from either side, it would go against the strategy of the Grand Xia dynasty not to participate in the struggles of other dynasties. So to sell it, there had to be an intermediary. After thinking for half a day, Chen Fan suddenly thought of a suitable person. This person was the head of the Middle East region of the Darknet. Wang Yan. Wang Yan was from the Dashia dynasty, and the head of the Middle East region of the Darknet. She should be able to contact the people of the Lox dynasty S yes, dynasty through the Darknet. Thinking of this, Chen Fan immediately went through the Darknet address given by Wang Yan. He entered the extranet and logged into the Darknet to start contacting Wang Yan. Soon Chen Fan contacted Wang Yan through the Darknet. Brother, contacting your sister is it because you want to come out to do a mission again? For Chen Fan Wang Yan's impression was still very deep. From the last time Chen Fan appeared in the Middle East after the strength that he displayed, Wang Yan wanted to bring him into the Darknet again. Become a member of the Darknet. But at that time, Chen Fan did not have any intention to develop in this area. Moreover, he soon returned to the Grand Xia Dynasty, making Wang Yan a little disappointed. This time, Chen Fan took the initiative to contact Wang Yan, causing Wang Yan to be a bit surprised. Sister Wang, I want to ask you about something. Facing Wang Yan's seductive voice, Chen Fan directly chose to ignore it. What is it? The price of drones on the dark net right now. Hearing Chen Fan ask about drones, Wang Yan was a bit lost. I thought you were thinking of your sister, so you were asking about this. Although she said this on her lips, Wang Yan still said, Right now the price of ordinary civilian drones on the darknet has been speculated to 5000 Great Eagle Dynasty coins, 
The slightly better ones are 10 to 50,000 Great Eagle Dynasty coins, military ones basically start at 100,000. Large drones generally cost between 500,000 and 2 million dollars. Prices vary according to range and load. After introducing the prices of the drones on the darknet, Wang Yan asked curiously, Why are you asking this? Still want to buy some for a mission? For the first scenario amongst the mercenaries to use drones for a mission, Wang Yan still had a vivid memory of it. It was also after that mission of Chen Fan. The prices of drones on the dark web also started to rise. The same type of DJI drone was only sold for 1 or 2,000 Eagle Dynasty coins on the market. But on the dark web, it was sold for 5,000 or 6,000 Eagle Dynasty coins. On the one hand, it was because DJI drones had long been sold out abroad. You can't buy them at all. On the other hand, although the price of DJI drones on the dark web is high, but it could be picked up at any time, which was more convenient for mercenaries. I don't want to buy, I want to sell. Want to sell? Hearing Chin Fan's words, Wang Yan directly froze. You have drones in your hands, how many? Drones were now a sought-after item even in the dark net. Because of the short supply, it was now basically a price a day. Sometimes because of the shortage, an ordinary civilian drone was even able to sell for 10,000 Great Eagle Dynasty coins. So when Wang Yan heard Chin Fan say that he wanted to sell drones, he was also very excited. After all, drones were also hard currency on the dark net now. I have a drone production line. What? Wang Yan was directly stunned when he heard Chin Fan say that he had a drone production line. I have a drone production line. Right now, the daily output is around 500 units. With our own operating system. Hearing Chin Fan finish, Wang Yan slowed down for half a day before saying, You want to sell through our darknet? Aha! Although I have a production line but no sales channel. I hope to be able to sell these drones to the Lux Dynasty Yes Dynasty through your darknet. When Wang Yan heard this, she laughed and said, Brother, with this amount of production you have, do you still need to sell it to the Lux Dynasty Yes Dynasty? Sister alone can help you digest it. Sister Wang, I'm talking about 500 units per day, not a total of 500 units. Chen Fan felt that although the dark net was very large and had many mercenaries, but it couldn't be used too much. After all, mercenaries didn't have missions every day. Wang Yan said with a smile, Brother, you still know too little about the world. There are currently more than 200 dynasties and regions in the world, and 32 of them are experiencing war. More than 40 dynasties and regions are fighting different forms of quasi-wars through mercenaries. That means nearly a third of the world's dynasties and regions are in strife. Currently there are more than 4 million mercenaries registered on our darknet alone, and more than 300,000 of them are on missions. With so many people, do you think that just your production of a few hundred units per day is enough to share? Chen Fan did not know much about the situation abroad. Now that he heard Wang Yan say this, he was directly stunned. He had always thought that there were only 5 or 6 dynasties in the world that were at war. He didn't realize that there were as many as 32. There were also more than 40 dynasties and regions that were conducting different forms of quasi-wars through mercenaries. Such a number and scale greatly exceeded Chen Fan's expectations. Are there really so many places in the world that are at war? I haven't seen any news from other places other than the Locust Dynasty S Dynasty, Iraq and Canaan. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Wang Yan couldn't help but laugh. This can only be said to be a case of lice not being afraid of itching. So many places around the world are at war, if every one of them appeared in the news broadcast, then there would be no need for the news broadcast to show anything else every day. All that appear in the news are hotspots, and many dynasties have been fighting for more than a decade. People have long since gotten tired, and people who live in the Grand Xia dynasty don't realize that it's a mess out there because the dynasty is well protected. Chen Fan did understand about this point. It's just that he didn't expect the world outside to be so messed up anymore. Since Wang Yan said that this point of his drone, the dark net would be able to digest it directly. Chen Fan then directly asked, Sister Wang, how much of a cut will I get if I sell the drone through your dark net? This was something Chen Fan wanted to ask clearly to facilitate his pricing. If the draw was too much, Chen Fan would have to think of other ways. We only draw 5 to 10% of the selling price. This one of yours belongs to the tight supplies, so my sister can give it to you at the lowest standard. Although DJI drones had always been the tightest supplies on the dark net. However, DJI did not sell drones directly to the dark net. So the supply of drones on the dark net had always been very tight. If there was such a stable source of goods as Chen Fan, it would also be very helpful to Wang Yan's solid position on the darknet. The 5% draw was completely acceptable to Chen Fan. That's really great. In this case, besides that 5%, I will give you an additional 3% of the profit. Can't let you work for nothing. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Wang Yan ha 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 said with a smile, Ha, I didn't expect you to be quite good at what you do. Don't worry, my sister assures you that no matter how many drones you have, my sister can help you sell them. You can produce as much as you want. With Wang Yan's words, Chen Fan was relieved. Then it's a deal. 
When do you think it's convenient for us to sign the contract? Wang Yan thought for a while and said, There are more things going on in Canaan during this period of time. I'll try to find time for you in the next few days, let's sign the contract. Hearing Wang Yan talking about Canaan, Chen Fan couldn't help but ask, Right, Sister Wang, what's the situation on Canaan's side now? The last time Chen Fan saw Ferris was when he was in Canaan. It had been several months since then. Chen Fan had been following the situation over in Canaan online though. It was only that during this period of time, the information about Canaan's side on the internet had become less and less. That was why he thought of asking Wang Yan, Have people from Canaan's side contacted you recently? Hearing Chen Fan ask about the situation on Canaan's side, Wang Yan asked, No, I haven't contacted them since I came back. Wang Yan nodded and said, They are afraid that they don't have the time to contact you now. The Elijah dynasty's attack was fierce, they suffered heavy losses. Ah, uh, heavy losses? Chen Fan had often been able to see people from the Canaan region bombarding the tanks of the Eretz Israeli army with rocket launchers on the internet before. Sometimes he even saw people holding bombs with their bare hands to bomb the tanks of the Israelite army. It was reasonable to say that the Israeli Lebanese army should have suffered heavy losses. How could Wang Yan say that Canaan had suffered heavy losses? Yes, Canaan's current fighting strength is less than half of what it was before. How could that be? Almost all I've seen on the internet are videos of Canaan beating LAU, it's only logical that it should be the LAU army that suffered heavy losses. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Wang Yan couldn't help but laugh. That's because the video software already knows that you like to watch videos of Canaan beating Elijah, so it pushes all such videos for you. The real situation in Canaan is much more miserable than what's rumored online. There's almost not a single intact building in northern Canaan at the moment. Although they are still holding on to Gaza now. It also cost the Israeli Lebanese army a lot of losses. But now the Israeli Lebanon army has begun to change their strategy to no longer forcefully attack Gaza. Chen Fan frowned. Then where are they going to hit? Rafa. What? Rafa? Chen Fan had been paying attention to the situation in Canaan. Naturally, he knew to let the poor people in northern Canaan head south before the Israeli army started their ground attack. After these months of fighting, there weren't many poor people left in the north. Almost all who could walk had gone to Rafa in the south. If the Elijah's army attacked Rafa now, it would be disastrous. They're not even fighting a war, this is genocide. Hurting all the civilians together and then bombing them. What is this if not genocide? You could say that. Wang Yan also felt that this behavior of the Israeli Leninist army was very inhumane. However, at this time, Chen Fan suddenly spoke out, it's not right. Wang Yan asked suspiciously, what's wrong? I think the Israeli Leninese army has other ideas for attacking Rafa. What ideas? To lure the snakes out of their holes. On the surface it looks like the Israeli Lebanese army wants to kill those civilians. In reality it should be trying to lure out those Canaanite soldiers in Gaza who have been hiding in the tunnels. After all, there are too many tunnels in Gaza, and the Israeli Lebanese army has suffered heavy losses in them. But the southern city of Rafa doesn't have that many tunnels. If Canaan's fighters don't want to watch their civilians get blown up like that, then they'll have to come out of the tunnels and engage the Israelite army head-on. In a head-on battle, the Canaanite army is definitely no match for the Israelite army. This way, the Israelite army can wipe out the Canaanite army at the smallest possible cost. Wang Yan listened to Chen Fan and after a little thought, he suddenly realized that what Chen Fan said was very reasonable. You're right, if the Canaanite army comes out to fight head-on with the Israelite army, then the Erek army can wipe them out in the process. If they don't come out, the Israelite army can also commit genocide under the guise of wiping out the Canaanite army. No matter what, the Israelite army is a sure win. If it's really like what we just said, then the situation in Canaan is a dead end. Regardless of whether the Israelite army destroys the Canaanite army first or the poor people first, they can destroy the other side afterward. For Wang Yan, this was also very big news. She also needed to report to her superiors about this idea that Chen Fan had just proposed. Brother, is there anything else you want to do? If there's nothing, sister is going to get busy. Nothing, I'll wait here for you to sign the contract. After Chen Fan finished speaking, Wang Yan hurriedly went offline. Chen Fan also exited from the extranet. Now he finally understood why Wild Sect had approached him wanting to buy some long-range drones. They were trying to control the Red Sea, so that the Great Eagle Dynasty could not provide military supplies to the Israeli army. This would make it very difficult for the Israelite army without military supplies. Thinking of this, Chen Fan decided that the drones given to the Wild Gate armed forces this time must be built properly for them. The first thing Chen Fan thought of was how to get rid of the satellites. This was because the vast majority of large drones needed to rely on GPS to locate and measure the receiver's position and its own speed. If it was used in the Dasha dynasty, even if there was no GPS from the Great Eagle dynasty, the Dasha dynasty's own Beidou satellite could be used to locate it. But if it was in Wild Gate, 
it couldn't use the Dasha dynasty satellites for positioning, and the Great Eagle dynasty would definitely not allow them to use GPS for drone positioning to strike their warships, but wanting this drone to be able to fly without satellite positioning, to be able to fly a long distance and successfully hit the target, is very difficult. This is the first problem that has put Chen Fan in a difficult position. Even though he had god-level computer technology, he still had no idea how to crack this problem. Chen Fan thought from day to night in his office, still hadn't thought of a good way to solve this problem. It was more than 10 o'clock at night. Chen Fan had been thinking for a day and was already a bit tired. He was about to go back to sleep. Suddenly White Yellow's voice came from the intercom on the table. Lone Wolf, Cheetah, come here at the gate. I've caught a suspicious person here. Hearing the words from the intercom, Chen Fan immediately came down from upstairs. When Chen Fan arrived at the main entrance of the R&D center, he saw that Zhuang Yuan and the others had also come. A dozen of them surrounded a person in the center. What's going on? Chen Fan walked over and asked. Mr. Chen, just now when I was on duty, I saw a person acting suspiciously, so I hid to observe. As a result, I saw this person trying to climb over the wall through the main entrance. I caught him in the act. Bai Huang said as he looked at Chen Fan. Chen Fan took a closer look and realized that it was still a foreigner. So he asked, what are you doing here at night? The foreigner said in Western Half-Tooth Dynasty language, I don't understand what you're saying. I was just trying to find a place to go to the restroom, and they arrested me. He thought that in this remote countryside, even if someone could speak Great Eagle Dynasty language, it was also unlikely that they would be able to speak such a small language. Hearing him speak in Western Half-Tooth Dynasty language, Chen Fan immediately spoke in Western Half-Tooth Dynasty language as well, do you not understand, or are you pretending not to understand? As soon as Chen Fan opened his mouth, that foreigner directly froze. He didn't expect that in such a small place, there would still be someone who spoke Western Half-Tooth Dynasty language, so he could only continue, I was looking for a place to go to the restroom. Hearing this excuse from him, Chen Fan smiled and said, it's past 10 o'clock and there's no one outside, where can't you go to the restroom? having to go over the wall to find a toilet. I'm a civilized person, it's impossible for me to urinate and defecate anywhere. Seeing that he was still a dead duck, Chen Fan directly punched him. That person did not expect Chen Fan to suddenly strike at him. Subconsciously, he dodged. He dodged this time. Bai Huang and Zhuang Yuan and their eyes lit up. This kid knows two strikes, dodging so fast. Definitely not something good. Why don't we call the police? Hearing Zhuang Yuan want to call the police. Bai Huang immediately said, calling the police he definitely won't tell the truth. Saying this he glanced at Chen Fan. Chen Fan knew that he was trying to interrogate this foreigner. Hurry up. Roger that. Seeing that Chen Fan had agreed, Bai Huang immediately said to Lone Wolf and the others, bring follow me. As soon as Bai Huang finished speaking, the two men, Lone Wolf and Tarzan, set the foreigner up and headed outside. Bai Huang didn't want to interrogate him here because there were still employees living in the R&D center. He was afraid that if he interrogated the foreigner in a moment, he would make some kind of noise and scare those people. So he was prepared to take this foreigner and go to the mountain behind to interrogate him. After Bai Huang and the others left, Zhuang Yuan looked at Chen Fan and said, Zhuang Yuan looked at Chen Fan and said, Mr. Chen, there is something wrong with this. Chen Fan waved his hand and said, it's fine, this guy might be the one who came a while ago. It might be the one who wanted to steal the formula, I don't feel comfortable if I don't interrogate him. Zhuang Yuan had also heard about someone trying to steal the formula before. He also knew the importance of the formula. So he didn't say anything else. Then I'll go over and take a look. By the way, help them with the interrogation. Chen Fan nodded and said, Aha. Uh -huh. After Zhuang Yuan left, Chen Fan also went back to his office. It wasn't that he didn't want to follow over and take a look. It was only that right now in his heart, the matter of how to make the drone not use satellite navigation was more urgent. While walking to the entrance of the factory. Chen Fan thought about whether or not he should install a few yard wall defense systems at the main entrance in the future. Thinking about this, Chen Fan's eyes suddenly lit up. He thought of a way. So he hurried back to his office. He found the program code of the integrated courtyard wall defense system that he had written earlier. After finding the program code, Chen Fan started to rewrite the program. Large drones wanted to accurately strike enemy ships. It mainly relied on the radar to search for the location of the enemy ships. Then by measuring the speed and direction of the enemy ship, calculate the trajectory of the enemy ship in advance. Finally, it allows drones to carry out suicide attacks or launch missiles on the enemy ship's route according to satellite positioning. The compound wall defense system, on the other hand, uses video search to discover moving targets. Chen Fan wanted to use this purely visual approach to targeting, since there was already an automatic target locking program before. Now all he had to do was change this target from people to ships and warships even in order to be able to give the system a stronger discriminating ability. 
Chen Fan had also collected many pictures of the Great Eagle Dynasty and his allies' warships on the internet to add to the program. With these, it would be possible for the drone to navigate without satellite positioning and navigation, or even without a network, to be able to automatically recognize enemy ships and attack. This program is difficult to say the least, but because there is the investigation and combat integrated courtyard wall defense system as the main system, Chen Fan only needed to modify it a little. While Chen Fan was still modifying the program, Bai Huang and the others came in from outside with the foreigner. Mr. Chen, these goods have all been spit out. Chen Fan looked at the one who on the surface didn't seem to have any wounds on his body, but the foreigner whose eyes were filled with fear asked, How did you guys interrogate him? How come he doesn't have any wounds on him at all? Hearing Chen Fan ask this, Bai Huang hemmed and hawed and said, Mr. Chen, I wouldn't dare to say I'm better than you in anything else, but we're all professionally trained in this area. Although he is not injured on the surface, he has suffered some. It's just that this guy's bones are too soft, before I even started to play, he had already confessed everything. Chen Fan nodded, he knew that although Bai Huang said that this guy had only suffered some sins, but it was definitely enough for him to drink a pot of water. What is this one doing here? Hearing Chen Fan start to ask about the main event, Bai Huang hurriedly said with a straight face, this guy is trying to come and steal our car paint formula. Chen Fan was not surprised by this result, he was just curious as to which company had sent him. Who sent him? General. Chen Fan nodded and said, I know. After saying that, he looked at Zhuang Yuan again and said, contact the people from national security and ask them to come and take this guy away. Good. An hour later, five or six police cars and two civilian cars came to the courtyard. The foreigner was escorted into the police car. A head of national security came to Chen Fan's side and said, Mr. Chen, we're taking this person away, we'll contact you if there's any situation. Chen Fan nodded and said, okay, hard work, letting you guys make a trip at this late hour. It's fine, this is all what we should do. After saying that the man returned to the car, there were still two people sitting in the car. Aren't you guys going down to say hello to Chen Fan? Hearing him say that, those two people were all embarrassed. The two of them were those two people from the national security who had followed Chen Fan some time ago. After these people from the national security left, Zhuang Yuan found Chen Fan and said, Mr. Chen, given the current situation, I am going to talk to the institute again and send some more people over. Why don't you guys have enough manpower? Still need to send more people? Zhuang Yuan said with a straight face, the matter of the paint is a big deal, I'm going to put this factory in the R&D center here, as well as the paint factory and the steel factory under all-around security. Make sure that nothing like this will happen again in the future. Although Chen Fan didn't feel there was much need for it. However, he also knew the importance of the blocking ropes and stealthy spray paint to the dynasty. So he directly agreed. Then it's hard on you. It's fine, compared to the great contribution you've made for dynasty, this is nothing at all for me. Zhuang Yuan was already somewhat worshipping Chen Fan in his heart now. The several factories under his name were not very large. However, they had produced the stealth spray paint for fighter jets and the blocking cable which were two of the most important tools of the country. They directly solved the two major problems that plagued the dynasty. It is not an exaggeration to say that he is a minister of the dynasty. The problem of drone satellite positioning and navigation was solved. The next step is to find ways to improve the success rate of drone attacks. The first and foremost should be the stealth spray paint. If these drones can be sprayed with stealth paint, then the probability of these drones being discovered by the Great Eagle dynasty would be greatly reduced. However, although this spray paint was produced by Chen Fan, but he had already signed a cooperation agreement with the Grand Xia Dynasty, Chen Fan was worried that if he used it on these drones, the military department would disagree. But if it wasn't used, then these drones would be facing those advanced radars of the Great Eagle Dynasty. It was a moving target. It was almost impossible to get a hit. After thinking about it for half a day, Chen Fan still wanted to fight for it. Only this matter, the matter is important. It is impossible for Chiao Jianzhang to make a decision at this level. Chen Fan here also had a call from the commander-in-chief of the military department. After thinking for half a day, Chen Fan was ready to ask him directly. Taking out his cell phone, he pressed the number on it. However, Chen Fan never pressed the dial button. There was some hesitation in his heart. On the one hand, it was because he felt in his heart that there was a high possibility that the commander-in-chief of the military department would not agree with this decision of his. After all, if these drones really entered the battlefield, it was very likely that the Great Xia Dynasty would be involved. The other thing was that he was a private enterprise, and by doing these things, would it make the Commander-in-Chief of the Ministry of War think too much, or even think that he was using such an important thing on drones for the wild sect armed? It was treason. So Chen Fan was torn in his heart. But when he thought that there were nearly 2 million people there in Rafa that would be bombed, he felt uncomfortable in his heart, although he was not a saintly person. 
but even as an ordinary person. Seeing the Elijah dynasty with the support of the Great Eagle dynasty, in the land of the Canaanites little by little, eating up the land, depriving the Canaanites of their lives, he was very uncomfortable in his heart. Especially now that the Eretz Israeli army like this first drove all the Canaanites to Rapha in the south. Having these more than a million people concentrated in a land of only 60 square kilometers, this population density was already no less than a tourist attraction during the new year of the Dasha dynasty. Whether the Israeli army is intentional or unintentional, every shell would result in tens or even hundreds of lives lost. Such a thing was very much like the kind of massacre carried out by the Japanese dynasty and the Dasha dynasty in the past few decades. That was why Chen Fan was sympathetic to the Canaanites in his heart. He hated the Israelite army. Wipe it off, I'm going to give it up. After thinking for half a day, Chen Fan finally decided to make this call to the commander-in-chief of the military department. As for the matter of giving selling the drones to the wild gate, Chen Fan hadn't wanted to hide it, nor could he. After all, right now he had Zhuang Yuan and there are dozens of people from the dynasty's third research institute here. There were also people from national security. Even Chen Fan felt that the military department had already known about this matter a long time ago. After all, he was now in possession of the cutting-edge military materials that the two middle dynasties needed. There was no way they wouldn't conduct surveillance themselves. Tut, tut. The phone rang several times before someone answered. Hello, this is Chen Fan. Hello, Mr. Chen. The commander-in-chief is in a meeting. I'll call you back later. Okay. After hanging up the phone, the assistant of the commander-in-chief of the military department because he didn't know what Chen Fan was looking for the commander-in-chief of the military department for. So still, he came to the conference room and whispered in his ear. Commander-in-chief, Chen Fan called you just now and didn't say anything. The commander-in-chief of the military ministry was a little surprised when he heard that. This meeting they were having today was to discuss about the attack on Rafa by the Eretz Israeli army. He knew that Chen Fan had been a mercenary and had been to Rafa. So he wanted to hear Chen Fan's opinion on this matter. After thinking for a while, he said, you call him. Yes. Although this assistant did not have much expression on the surface. But in his heart, he was very surprised. It was because before, when the commander-in-chief was in a meeting, he wouldn't pick up anyone's phone at all. He didn't expect to pick up Chen Fan's phone. Chen Fan had just put down his cell phone and had thought that it would take a long time for the other side to call him back. He didn't expect that after less than five minutes, the call came to him. As soon as the phone was connected, Chen Fan immediately asked, Has the commander-in-chief finished his meeting? No, but the commander-in-chief wants to talk to you. Hearing him say that, Chen Fan was very surprised. It didn't take long for the commander-in-chief's voice to come over the phone. Little Chen, why did you think of calling me? Commander-in-chief, there is something I want to ask you about. What is it? Wild Gate Hussein has customized a batch of drones from me. I want to spray stealthy spray paint on this batch of drones of theirs, which will reduce the chances of the drones being discovered by the Great Eagle Dynasty. Hearing Chen Fan's words, the commander-in-chief of the military department asked with some curiosity. You want to help them that much? Hearing the commander-in-chief about Wild Gate Husai ordering the drones from himself, the commander-in-chief did not even ask. Chen Fan knew that his previous guess was good. The commander-in-chief already knew about this matter a long time ago. He didn't care, and didn't let anyone tell him that he wasn't allowed to do so. It means that the dynasty is acquiescing to this matter. Only that the commander-in-chief didn't even mention the matter of stealth spray paint made Chen Fan very surprised. Commander-in-chief, the Wild Gate location is in the middle of the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. They can stop the Great Eagle Dynasty from delivering weapons and ammunition to the Israeli army by controlling this place. It can greatly reduce the pressure on Canaan's side. Hearing this analysis from Chen Fan, the commander-in-chief nodded with satisfaction and said, Then tell me, why did the Eretz Israeli army attack Rafa? After saying this, the commander-in-chief of the military department put his cell phone on speakerphone, on which everyone in this conference room could hear Chen Fan's words. Rafa is now gathering nearly 2 million civilians, they want to strike Rafa. I think it's more like using the pretext of fighting the Canaanite forces hidden there to commit genocide. The Israelites don't want to coexist with the Canaanites in that part of Canaan. Because according to the current line of events, keeping the Canaanites will have a lot of consequences for them. Even without this present resistance organization, as long as the Canaanites remain, there will still be other resistance organizations emerging. They want to get rid of the Canaanites once and for all, either by driving them out of Canaan, or wipe them all out. And as long as there are no Canaanites in the Canaan area, then those resistance organizations are not a problem at all for the Israeli army now. These analyses by Chen Fan were similar to what they thought. This made the commander-in-chief feel that Chen Fan's thoughts were very clear and his analysis were all right, which was very rare. Then he continued to ask, you haven't answered my first question. Why do you want to help the Canaanites so badly? 
Chen Fan thought about it for a while and said, maybe it's because our great Xia dynasty once had a similar encounter. Isn't there that saying on the internet? Because we have gotten wet, we want to hold an umbrella for others. Chen Fan's sentence because we have gotten wet, we want to hold an umbrella for others. It made the commander-in-chief of the military department very surprised. He laughed twice and said, huh, I thought you were just doing it because you wanted to make money. Eh, making money is also one of the very important reasons. Facing a bigwig of such a level, Chen Fan felt no need to hide. Because of characters like them. What kind of people? What kind of things have they not seen before? Deliberately hiding would only make the commander-in-chief feel hypocritical. Sure enough, when he heard Chen Fan's words, the commander-in-chief smiled and said, I didn't expect you to be quite honest. Little Chen Ah, you are a private enterprise, as long as you don't jeopardize our dynasty, there is no need to report to me. Hearing the commander-in-chief say this, Chen Fan was overjoyed in his heart. Although he had explicitly told himself that he agreed that he had given wild sex batch of drones the stealth coding, but saying so was tantamount to acquiescence. Thank you, commander-in-chief. It's not like it has anything to do with me, there's no need to thank me. Yes, I understand. After a few more simple pleasantries, the commander-in-chief hung up the phone. After hanging up the phone, the commander-in-chief glanced at the picture on the big screen. Suddenly, he looked at those military department bigwigs present and asked, What do you guys think of this little Gaichen fan? Those bigwigs from the military department, although there were quite a few who had not seen Chen Fan. But during this period of time, Chen Fan had first researched the stealth paint, and, and helped the Grand Xia Dynasty solve the problem of the blocking cable. They had all heard about Chen Fan in one way or another. This little guy is good, with a flexible mind and clear thinking. If he were in our military department, he would definitely be a good seedling after cultivation. Well, I've heard that his gas tank factory almost closed down. It was because he thought of selling it to the Middle East that the factory came back to life and made a lot of money. This kid is still very chicken thief -a. He is relying on his own slowly posting on the internet, little by little let those Middle Eastern people understand the role of gas canisters. And when he sold it to them, he kept emphasizing that the gas canisters were for civilian use. But the price they were given was 10 times that of a normal gas canister, it was simply sold as a military weapon. Hearing all these military department bigwigs praising Chen Fan, the commander-in-chief of the military ministry said, he also has a mercenary corps, and with our dynasty's growing interests abroad, I think we can use his mercenary corps as a pilot. After all, there are a lot of things that it's not convenient for us to step in directly. When the other bigwigs heard this, they all nodded their heads as well. I think this is possible. Other big countries have their own mercenary systems. Like the Ross dynasty times, their Wagner contributed a lot. The benefits of using mercenaries to fight are very many. I think it's possible to look into cultivating them. Yes, it can be seen that Chen Fan is still a good person. I think we can examine him. After those military department bigwigs had all finished their opinions. Only then did the commander-in-chief of the military ministry say, since everyone thinks the same way, let's first see what that kid can toss up on his own. By the way, let's examine him, and if we can, we can slowly give him some missions in the future. After the problem of the stealthy spray paint on the drone was solved, Chen Fan felt that this alone was not enough. After being locked by the enemy, it would be better if the drone could be made to automatically change its trajectory. After all, even if the drone was painted with stealth paint, it could avoid radar scanning to a certain extent at a long distance. But when it got closer, it would still be detected. Not to mention the fact that all warships now have auto-targeting close defense guns. It's very difficult to break through the defense line of the close defense guns. It's either a saturation attack that overwhelms the defenses. Either that, or the close defense cannons will not be able to find the drone's travel route to block it, reducing the accuracy of the close defense cannon's interception. For this, Chen Fan did not have any good solutions for the time being. After all, such a technology, not to mention him. Even powerful existences like the Great Xia Dynasty and the Great Eagle Dynasty had not come up with this. But although there was no good way, there was a stupid way. That was to have the drones perform an advance alignment. The close defense guns on warships generally had an effective range of around 5,000. The blocking distance was generally between 1,500 and 3,000 meters. In other words, as long as a program is set on the drone, when the drones are close to 3,000 meters, they will start to automatically change their routes without any order. This should greatly increase the success rate of these drones. This method, although stupid, it was already the best way Chen Fan could think of at the moment. Moreover, this method was not difficult for Chen Fan. It was just a matter of writing a program. So for the next day, Chen Fan was writing this program, and merged this program into the previous program. After doing this, Chen Fan came to the drone production workshop to take a look. After a few days of production, there were many more drones in the warehouse. The production line for the large drones had also been set up. Mr. 
Chen, we already have several thousand drones in stock. If we don't find a way to sell them, I'm afraid it will affect our financial chain. Cheng Tianrui, who was in charge of the drone program, came over as soon as Chen Fan came in. I've already found a good sales outlet, don't worry. How is our production line for the large drones? When can it go into production? Hearing Chen Fan say that the sales outlet had been found, Cheng Tianrui then put his heart down. The production line for the large drones has been debugged, and trial production was conducted yesterday. Mass production can be done at any time. Cheng Tianrui was very puzzled in his heart. This kind of large drone was used very little. There was hardly much of an application scenario. He couldn't figure out why Chen Fan would specialize in a production line for large drones. Wasn't this clearly losing money? Then don't wait, hurry up and produce it. I've already written the system for this large drone. Use the one I wrote when the time comes. Cheng Tianrui didn't understand what drug Chen Fan was selling in this gourd. However, he still agreed, good. By the way, how many drones can we produce out of this large drone production line every day? Because large drones require a lot more parts than small drones. If we go into full production, we'll be able to produce more than 50 drones per day. 50? That's also fine. Hurry up and start production. Producing 50 units a day for 10 days would be 500 units. This amount was not much, but it would do. After all, on the battlefield right now, even between the Lox dynasty and the Yas dynasty, they wouldn't send out more than 50 drones per day. This production could completely satisfy the needs of Wild Gate side. Alright, I'll arrange for someone. After saying this, Cheng Tianrui turned around and was about to leave. However, Chen Fan suddenly thought of something. Wait, do our drones have any external things? External plug-in? Cheng Tianrui did not understand what Chen Fan was talking about. Chen Fan explained, it's the setting that allows you to hang something outside the drone, so you can pick it up and put it down at any time. No. What's wrong? Nothing. You get busy. Because this batch of drones was for Wildgate to use to drop bombs. Chen Fan had thought that it would be nice to have a device that could automatically drop them. Just now, he was going to ask Cheng Tianrui to design one of these. However, he gave up when the words came out of his mouth. This thing would not be used normally. If he specifically asked Cheng Tianrui to design it, I'm afraid he would be skeptical. But after a while, when SF comes to sign the contract, it will be possible to design this thing again. Then designing this thing will be justified. As for the wild sex side, we can only let them use this kind of drone for the time being. As for the wild gate side, we can only let them use this drone as a suicide drone for a while. Back in the office Chen Fan made a call to Yi Haya. Mr. Chen, how's the drone thing going? As soon as the phone was connected, Yi Haya immediately asked. The drones have already started production on my side, but for the time being, there is no design for something that can hang a bomb. It doesn't matter, when the time comes, we'll just take the bomb and strap it to the drone. Well, that's all we can do for now, after all, if it's designed as a drone that can drop bombs, it's a bit too eye-catching. Yi Haya understood this. After all, Chen Fan and the others were a private enterprise. And it was in the Dasha dynasty, so it would be good to sell them a drone. This time I called you, I mainly want to ask, how much do you need on your side? Yi Haya thought for a moment and said, how much can you produce? I can produce 500 per day on my side. 500 frames. So many? Yi Haya was really shocked by Chen Fan's production capacity and speed. Originally, he thought Chen Fan was just joking when he said he was producing. He didn't expect that he would be able to produce so many after only such a short period of time. In his heart, Yi Haya began to feel admiration for the Great Summer Dynasty's manufacturing capabilities. Mr. Chen, we would like to order 3,000 drones. 3,000? Hearing Yi Haya say this number, Chen Fan couldn't help but frown. After spending so much effort himself, he was surprised that he would only order 3,000 units. This made Chen Fan a little disappointed. This amount was not even enough to cover his production for a week. Yi Haya could hear Chen Fan's dissatisfaction from his tone. So he said, Mr. Chen, actually, we also want to order more. It's just that the price of this large drone is too expensive. 3,000 is already our limit. Hearing Yi Haya say this, Chen Fan asked, What is the price of this kind of large drone on the market now? Yi Haya was stunned, not expecting Chen Fan to ask such a question. However, he still answered truthfully, due to the fact that there are wars going on in many places right now. A large number of these large drones have been put into the battlefield. So there are very few in circulation on the market. Even if you don't buy it on the black market, the price is around a million dollars. The price on the black market has now been speculated to over a million and a half dollars. Hearing Yi Haya's words, Chen Fan was staggered in his heart. If the price of a large drone was at 1 million according to what he said, then 3,000 would be 3 billion. This price was definitely not something that a local armed force like them could afford. Even the gold master behind him would have a headache trying to spend that much money. 
As for the cost of the machine for this kind of drone, Chen Fan had previously calculated that it was only on the order of a hundred thousand or so Dasha dynasty coins per frame. If the system of the drone was also counted, originally Chen Fan intended to sell it for half a million Great Eagle dynasty coins, and it would be about the same. After all, these drones were all disposable now. But he didn't expect that the drones on the market now were speculated to be as high as 1 million. If the exchange rate was taken into account, this one drone would be 6 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. For Chin Fan, one would earn a pure profit of more than $5,700,000. Gulp. Even Chen Fan could not help but swallow a mouthful of water after hearing Yi Hai's words. Thinking to himself that really the most profitable business still has to be arms off. I have what others don't have, then the price is what I say. It was like the blocking cables that the Great Eagle Dynasty had ordered from themselves. A blocking cable is only a few hundred thousand Great Eagle Dynasty coins, but they sold it to their allies for a few million. Selling it to the Dasha Dynasty would be ten million dollars. The profits were simply too great. Mr. Chen, don't worry, as long as we achieve the intended attack effect, we will definitely still order a large number of drones, and I will also strongly recommend your drones to others. Yihaya saw that Chen Fan did not speak for half a day. He was a bit upset later. If he knew what Chen Fan was thinking in his heart right now he would definitely regret it to death. There's no need for you to introduce it to others, you also know that our Dixia dynasty doesn't allow the sale of this kind of military material. Oh right right, I forgot about this matter. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Yi Haya then remembered that the Grand Xia dynasty was explicitly not allowed to sell military materials. 3000 frames, where do I send them? I will give you an address, you can just send it to Abin. Then you will give me a card number, and I will call you the money. Aha. After saying that Chen Fan added, Old Ji, you are my big customer, originally I should have given you a cheaper price. But this batch of drones is specially customized by me for you. Not only does it have anti-radar, it can also lock onto targets without using satellite positioning. And there's also a unique way of flying that minimizes the risk of giving a block. So, before Chen Fan could finish his words, Yi Haya on the other end of the phone had already been stunned by his words. Being able to prevent radar, not using satellite positioning, and being able to dodge bullets. Yi Haya was somewhat unconvinced that what Chen Fan said was true. Mr. Chen, what did you just say? Being able to protect against radar? Doesn't need satellite positioning? And able to dodge bullets? Is this true? My god, how could you possibly build something like this? Yi Haya said with a shocked face, sorry, I'm not questioning you. It's just that I can't believe it a bit, such a drone should not be able to be made by anyone in the whole world right now. Including the Great Eagle Dynasty, he doesn't have such a drone there either. Chen Fan nodded and said, it's true that the Great Eagle Dynasty doesn't have such a drone. Because they can't use it, they have satellites at their own home, they can use it at any time. But if you use it, they can cut off your signal at any time. At that time, your drone could fall into the sea like a headless fly. When Chen Fan said this, Yi Haya understood. It wasn't that the Great Eagle Dynasty didn't have this kind of technology, but that they simply couldn't use it. Mr. Chen, thank you. It was only at this time that Yi Haya understood why Chen Fan said that this batch of drones was customized specifically for them. These several features that Chen Fan said were all for the advanced technology and weapons of the Great Eagle Dynasty. We will definitely return the favor to your Great Eagle Dynasty. Then I thank you in advance as well. Chen Fan said this casually. This was because he did not feel that these people could help the Grand Xia Dynasty in any way. Now that the most urgent matter had been resolved, Chen Fan could finally rest for a few days. Waiting here for Yuan Yongchun and Wang Yan to come here for an inspection. This day when Chen Fan was watching the news, he suddenly saw a piece of news. Yesterday, an F-18EF Super Hornet fighter from the Great Eagle Dynasty, the eastern part of the Dasha Dynasty was preparing to land. It crashed into the sea due to pilot error. One of the pilots on board was killed. Seeing this news, Chen Fan froze. He had been busy with the drones during this time. If he hadn't seen this news, he would have forgotten all about the matter of the blocking cable. Ha, it finally crashed into the sea. Seeing the news about the Great Eagle Dynasty fighter jet crashing into the sea, Chen Fan was very happy. It was important to know that the purchase price of such a F-18EF Super Hornet fighter for the Great Eagle Dynasty's military department was more than 70 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. When converted into Dashia Dynasty currency, it was more than 400 million dollars. A 400 million dollar fighter just crashed into the sea, and also lost a fighter pilot. Even the world's richest man, the Great Eagle Dynasty. It would have to suffer for a few days. I just don't know if they've realized that it's a problem with the blocking cable. Just when Chen Fan was thinking about this, the Nimitz-class aircraft carrier has already stopped at the Japanese dynasty's Great Eagle Dynasty military base. At this time, the captain of the carrier was having a meeting with a group of officers on the carrier. Snap! 
Who can tell me why this problem happened? The conference room was silent. These people present weren't pilots, they had no idea what exactly happened at that time. It was what caused the fighter to fail to land and crash into the sea. Seeing that not a single person spoke, the carrier captain said angrily, Vice Captain, you take the lead in setting up an investigation team. Immediately go back and investigate for me, within three days I want to know the cause of this accident. Yes. Those officers immediately nodded and responded. Soon the investigation team was formed and they began to investigate from all aspects. Almost the entire warship was checked all up and down. It didn't matter if they didn't check. The people in the investigation team were dumbfounded. There are too many problems on the warship. Fighters have problems, decks have problems, soldiers also have problems. Even the pilot who had crashed into the sea had problems. The investigation team found half a bottle of wine in his personal effects locker. Alcohol is not allowed on a warship according to regulations. It's just that once they're out, it's months in a year, and a lot of the time they're floating around the sea with nothing to do. So many of the soldiers would sneak up with alcohol. It wouldn't have been a big deal in normal times, but now it was a big deal. Because whether it was a foreign object on the deck or a screw in a fighter jet, although neither is a small problem, but then, one of them would be dealt with. In order not to let themselves be dealt with, so the half bottle of wine in that fighter pilot's locker became the scapegoat. Soon the results of the investigation came out. Because the fighter pilot had violated the law by drinking alcohol before boarding the plane, the result was that when the fighter jet landed, the flight attitude was too high and the speed dropped too fast. The pilot was not able to take off again. The pilot didn't manage to take off again. The fighter jet crashed into the sea. When he saw the result of this investigation, the carrier captain slammed the results directly onto the table. He was very angry, but according to this investigation result, this was simply caused by the pilot's operational error. It couldn't be blamed on anyone else at all. So this investigation ended there. No one was disciplined for this. The captain also just issued a ban on alcohol and left it at that. This made the other officers breathe a sigh of relief in their hearts. Just when the results of the investigation on the Ding Dynasty side had just come out. On the White Elephant Dynasty side, there was also a fighter jet that crashed into the sea on the carrier. Soon after, the White Elephant Dynasty called the Great Eagle Dynasty. The White Elephant Dynasty called the Great Eagle Dynasty and said that their fighter jet crashed into the sea because of the problem with the blocking cable. The people of the Great Eagle Dynasty didn't believe it at all. Because the White Elephant Dynasty's fighters have problems, that is a common thing. Not to mention on the aircraft carrier. Even on land, their fighters often fall out of the sky. Therefore, the Great Eagle Dynasty is interested in the White Elephant Dynasty's pointing out that there is a problem with the blocking cable. And this request for compensation from the Great Eagle Dynasty was directly ignored. But the matter of fighter jets crashing into the sea, it didn't end here. A few days after the White Elephant Dynasty's fighter jet crashed into the sea, the Sunset Dynasty had another fighter jet crash into the sea. Before the results of the investigation came out, a fighter jet from another carrier of the Great Eagle Dynasty also crashed into the sea. Because several fighters crashed into the sea in a very short period of time, this caused the Great Eagle Dynasty to pay great attention. So they began to investigate this matter thoroughly. All carriers stopped their activities. They began to investigate themselves. Because the blocking cables Chen Fan had given them, although they were inferior, they were able to normally withstand several fighter takeoffs and landings. So at first, no one thought that there was a problem with the blocking cables. But after the Great Eagle Dynasty had checked all their carriers before and after, it didn't find anything too big. But after all, there were several fighters that crashed into the sea. So the investigation was still ongoing. Not only was the Great Eagle Dynasty's military department investigating this matter, even the Great Eagle Dynasty's intelligence department was involved in the investigation. A few days later, the Great Eagle Dynasty intelligence department issued an internal report. Because all the carriers that crashed had a batch of recently purchased blocking cables, so they conducted rigorous tests on the blocking cables. The results found that the quality of these blocking cables was not up to standard. Originally, a single cable could withstand more than a hundred fighter takeoffs and landings. But now each one can only withstand five takeoffs and landings. And for every landing of a fighter jet, the ropes are more than 10 centimeters longer than the original ones. This resulted in the height of the blocking ropes being lowered when they were in use, making it impossible for the hooks underneath the fighters to hook onto the blocking ropes. This ultimately led to the crash into the sea. As soon as this report came out, people from the intelligence department of the Great Eagle Dynasty immediately arrested all the people from the Velka Company. When the Great Eagle Dynasty intelligence department went to arrest them, their main managers were still at a banquet celebrating the fact that they had made a lot more money this time. They were drinking wine when the people from the Great Eagle Dynasty Intelligence Department broke down the door. 
The people who were still celebrating were all arrested. At first, the people of Velka Corporation didn't understand what was going on, but when they heard that several fighters had crashed into the sea in recent times, the faces of those executives directly changed. What did you say about fighter jets crashing into the sea? And several of them? That's impossible. One of the officials in charge of the interrogation said, if it's impossible why did we arrest you here? Our men have already gone to your factory to conduct an inspection. You'd better give an honest account, or it'll be too late for you to say anything when we find out. That Velka executive had already realized the seriousness of the matter. He knew that if he didn't say anything, the others would as well. By then, he'd be even more guilty. So he said, I'll say, I'll say whatever you ask. Seeing that this executive agreed so readily, the. Then the official asked, did you fake this batch of blocking cables? The executive shook his head and said, I don't know. Snap. The interrogating official slapped the table and said, you don't know? I told you not to play tricks on me. The monarch already knows about this matter and is going to investigate it severely. The executive from Velka was on the verge of crying. I really don't know, we didn't produce these blocking cables, we purchased them in the Grand Xia Dynasty. Bullshit? What purchased in the Grand Xia Dynasty? The Grand Xia Dynasty doesn't even have the technology to manufacture blocking cables now. They're still looking for us to buy carrier blocking cables, how could they possibly sell them to you? If you have this kind of attitude, then don't blame me for being impolite. After saying that the official waved his hand, two soldiers next to him came up with electric batons and poked him a few times. That executive of Velka's was electrocuted by the electric baton and his entire body lay on the ground twitching. I'll give you one last chance. You give it to me properly, or else I'll even let you try the power of the electric baton. After convulsing on the ground for a while, that executive got up from the ground with difficulty and, sitting on the chair with great difficulty, he said, everything I said is true. After he said this, the two soldiers were about to come over with electric batons again. He immediately said, hear me out. Everything I said is true. Because blocking cords are used less, even though we have the technology to do so. But the production cost is too high. There's no profit at all. After producing more than a hundred of them, those shareholders thought of trying out the Dasha dynasty. After all, the production costs in the Great Xia dynasty are several times lower than ours here. So we sent our request to some steel cable factories and steel mills in the Below Belt dynasty. Only because of the small number of orders we had, many of the large steel cable factories and steel mills were simply unwilling to take the order. Just when we were about to be disappointed, a small steel factory said they were willing to develop it. So we gave them the order. After hearing his words, the official said with some confusion, the development of a blocking cable is very difficult, the officials of the Grand Xia dynasty can't even research it. How could a small steel factory of theirs develop it? The executive from Velka said, they definitely couldn't research it themselves. Our company even sent someone to give a little guidance at the time. Guidance? You sent someone to teach them how to make a blocking cable? The Velka Corporation executives nearly blew this official's mind. The blocking ropes were a kind of sharp weapon for them to blockade the Grand Xia Dynasty. Without the blocking ropes, the carrier-based aircraft of the Dasha Dynasty could not test fly. The carriers couldn't be launched, and there would be no combat power. But I didn't expect that what the Great Eagle Dynasty had explicitly forbidden, they had secretly done it for the sake of profit. And they still sent someone to teach it. Yes, because that steel factory is too small. It was impossible for them to research a blocking cable by themselves. Then after they were able to make the blocking cable, they kept supplying us. Although the interrogating clerk was angry in his heart, he still patiently asked, what was the price they gave you? More than 70,000 apiece. 70,000? Bastard. How could you guys do this? The official was about to go crazy from his anger. You ordered just over 70,000 apiece of blocking cords from the Grand Xia Dynasty, and you turn around and sell them to the military ministry for half a million dollars? Selling it to an ally for a million and a half? This official was not only angry, but at the same time, he was also stunned by the profit involved. For a single blocking cable, after removing the shipping costs and various expenses, they could make a minimum of 400,000 Great Eagle Dynasty coins, not to mention the 3 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins apiece sold to the White Elephant Dynasty. A single one made a wild profit of over 2,900,000. Foom. Now that the executive of the Velka Corporation thought about it, this profit was indeed a little too big. He was a little embarrassed to say it. Then what? Although angry, this official he had to continue asking. Some time ago, since we ran out of stock, we called him again wanting to order a batch of blocking cables. I didn't realize that steel factory had gone out of business. But he gave us the phone number of the new owner, and after we contacted him he gave us a new batch of blocking cables. This new batch of blocking cables just arrived, and the boss of that steel factory in the Grand Xia Dynasty called me said that they've received a big order to replace their machines, and that it's going to be New Year's Eve soon. 
They'll still be on vacation. Ask me if I want to order some in advance, and they'll even give us a discount for large quantities. I've discussed it with people in the company and think we'll have to buy them sooner or later anyway. And there are already several dynasties, including the Sunset Dynasty and the White Elephant Dynasty, that want to block Sua. So we ordered 2,000 blocking cables. This should be the problem with this batch of blocking cables. Listening to that executive of the Velka Corporation finish speaking, the official interrogating him directly walked up and kicked him hard. Are you guys without any brains at all? It's obvious that they've already found out that you guys ordered the blocking ropes. Don't want to sell them to you anymore. That's why they're making you order a lot of them at once, cheating you out of your money. He didn't need to say anything. At this point, that executive from the Vika Corporation had already understood. It was just that he couldn't figure out how Chun Fan knew. One had to know that all they had been talking about before was that it was used to make a fence for the airport runway. The executive from Velka who had been kicked in the face didn't dare to say anything. After getting up from the ground, he looked at the official and asked, So what now? Did we lose a lot of money from our dynasty? Hearing him say this, that official kicked at him again and, after kicking him, he still felt a bit unrelieved, and went up to them and punched and kicked them again. While beating them, he also said, You still have the face to ask, one of our Hornet fighters worth over 70 million dollars crashed into the sea, and a pilot who was trained only after countless funds died. Two from the Sunset Dynasty and one from the White Elephant Dynasty, worth a total of over 200 million dollars. They are now protesting to our dynasty, demanding that we compensate them for their fighters and pilots. Just as the Great Eagle Dynasty was interrogating those executives and employees of the Velka Corporation, Yuan Yongchun, the senior vice president of Shunfeng, had already brought a group of people from the company to Chen Fan's place for an inspection. The two coasters stopped at the entrance of Hundred Years Industries Company. Yuan Yongchun got down from the car looking at the R&D Center building not far away and said to Chen Fan, Mr. Chen, last time you said you were a small company, I see that this scale is not small. Hearing Yuan Yangchuan's praise, Chen Fan said with a modest face, No no, we are just a small company. This is our R&D center, why don't I take you there first? Good. Yuan Yangchuan also wanted to know what was in the R&D center that could make Xiao Jinjiang look at it and even keep it secret. Then please follow me. After saying that, Chen Fan led Yuan Yangchuan and his group to the R&D center. Just as they were about to enter the courtyard of the R&D center. Yuan Yongchun then looked at the security guard standing guard at the entrance with a surprised face and said, Mr. Chen, your security guards here cost a lot of money a month. Hearing Yuan Yongchun's words, the others looked towards the security guard at the door. They only saw that the security guard, although he was not holding a gun, but standing there with his head held high, he looked like a soldier at first glance. Moreover, the security guards of ordinary enterprises, especially those at the entrance, were basically 50 to 60 years old or even 60 years old. Basically, they are all old men in their 50s, 60s, or even 60s or 70s. But Chen Fan's security guard looks like he's only in his 20s. And he looks like a military veteran. Using such a security guard, the salary is definitely not cheap. This security guard can be. At a glance, it has a deterrent effect. More formal than our company's security guards. The other people from Sun Feng who had come to inspect O, oh, after seeing this security guard, all of them also talked about it. Eh, this I don't know, how much they are exactly. Because these people were all brought by Zhuang Yuan, the salaries were all given by dynasty. Chen Fan really didn't know how much they were paid a month. Seeing Chen Fan say that he didn't know, Yuan Yangchun was very understanding. After all, a boss like him could not know everything. The group of people continued to walk forward and just after entering the hall, they were stopped by Zhuang Yuan. Mr. Chen, what are they? This is the Shunfeng company that came to visit us, they have a project they are ready to cooperate with us. Oh, but Mr. Chen, there are so many of them, we need to inspect them. Because of what happened last time when some foreign mercenaries wanted to come and steal the car paint formula, Zhuang Yuan had applied for 20 more people to come and protect all of Chen Fan's steel factory, paint factory and R&D center. The inspection of outsiders was also much stricter. Even the employees of the R&D center needed security checks when they went to and from work. So Yuan Yongchun brought the dozen or so people who wanted to go in and visit. Zhuang Yuan naturally had to inspect them. This. Chen Fan was a bit hesitant, he knew that it was right for Zhuang Yuan to do so. It was just that he was a little unsure of what he should say to Yuan Yongchun. After all, he was just a small business, and the security check made it so complicated. I don't know what those people will do in their hearts. Yuan Yongchun, who was not far away, saw Chen Fan talking to Zhuang Yuan here, showing a difficult face so he came over and asked. Chen Fan, what's wrong? Before Chen Fan could speak, he heard Zhuang Yuan say. Hello, I'm Zhuang Yuan from Dynasty Third Research Institute. We have been ordered to provide security for this place, and we still hope that you can cooperate. A. 
soldier from Dynasty Third Research Institute? Yuan Yongchun asked as he looked at Zhuang Yuan with a face full of shock. Zhuang Yuan nodded and said, yes. Hearing Zhuang Yuan's answer, Yuan Yongchun was completely dumbfounded. Although he had previously heard Xiao Jinjiang say that Chen Fan had an invention here that was very important to them, but hadn't told him what it was. At that time, Yuan Yongchun still thought that Xiao Jinjiang was making a big deal out of it. But now that he saw that Dynasty had actually sent soldiers to come and give security to Chen Fan's factory, he knew that Chen Fan's invention must be very important. Otherwise it wouldn't have sent soldiers here directly. No problem. We will definitely cooperate. After saying that, Yuan Yongchun turned his head to those people he brought with him and said, Everyone line up, let us cooperate with these comrades for the security check. Originally Yuan Yongchun wanted to say cooperate with these soldiers, but the words changed to comrades. What? Still have to conduct security checks on us? Hee <laughs> hee, it's just a research and development center. Do you really think you're some kind of secretive unit? Mr. Yuan, I think they just don't have us in mind. I think we'd better go. Let's go, the factory is not big, but there are a lot of things to do, and they still want to inspect us, that's not bullying. With that kind of attitude you still want to work with us? Let's go, no more inspections, our dynasty has many enterprises bigger than them. No one wants to do security checks for us wherever we go. Those people Yuan Yongchun brought were all very unhappy about having to do security checks for them. Although he knew what was going on here, he didn't know if it was something he could talk about. He could only say to the others there, everyone just cooperate. It's similar to us going through security at the airport. Although Yuan Yongchun was a senior vice president, he had just been transferred here after all. The ones he brought with him didn't really listen to him. Mr. Yuan, going through security at the airport, that's a state regulation, everyone has to do that. But is this an airport why do we need to go through security to enter here? I think he is just purely looking down on us, deliberately doing it to us. Right, a small private enterprise still engages in these superficial things. We won't cooperate with such an enterprise. Seeing that those people were willing to cooperate, Yuan Yongchun and Chen Fan were both a little unsure of what to say. At this time, Zhuang Yuan pulled out his credentials from his arms. Although this isn't an airport, it's still a classified unit. I'm from Dynasty Third Research Institute, this is my ID. Hundred Years Industry is a cooperative unit of our Dynasty Third Research Institute. Whoever comes and wants to enter must undergo a security check. As soon as Zhuang Yuan said this, those people brought by Yuan Yongchun were immediately dumbfounded. No one had expected that just such an inconspicuous little place would have a cooperative unit of the Dynasty Third Research Institute. Some people did not believe Zhuang Yuan's words and came over to take a closer look at Zhuang Yuan's documents. He's actually still an active duty officer. Those people were extremely shocked when this came out. At the same time there was no longer anyone clamoring to not allow security checks on them. Seeing that all those people had started to line up consciously, Chen Fan gratefully glanced at Zhuang Yuan. If it wasn't for him, I'm afraid that I would have offended the people from SF who came to inspect today. Seeing that all those people he had brought with him had already started to line up, Yuan Yongchun immediately began to go over to the security check. With him taking the lead, the others naturally stopped saying anything. One by one, they began to carry out security checks. After the security check, Chen Fan led Yuan Yongchun and those he brought with him to start visiting the R&D center. When the R&D center was initially established, it was mainly to find a way out for those few factories of mine. Because as you know whether it's the production of gas tanks or paints, fertilizers aka steel, all of them are actually already considered sunset industries in our dynasty, especially for small businesses like ours, simply don't have the ability to compete with those large enterprises. Level 1. 2 is mainly an agricultural research center. This place mainly serves my fertilizer factory. The main research and development here is on highly efficient compound fertilizers as well as food crops with higher yields. This, Yuan Yongchun couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air as he listened to Chen Fan's introduction. He didn't expect Chen Fan to be able to set up an R&D center specifically for a fertilizer factory. And not only was it researching fertilizers, it was even researching seeds together. However, since the research and development time is not very long yet, there are no obvious results on this side at the moment. After looking at the place, Chen Fan led their group to the elevator again. Yuan Yongchun had originally thought that Chen Fan would take them to the third floor to have a look. Unexpectedly, Chen Fan directly pressed an 11th floor. So Yuan Yongchun was puzzled and asked, Mr. Chen, going directly to the 11th floor? Don't those in the middle take us to have a look? Yuan Yongchun was curious as to what exactly Chen Fan had researched here that was able to make Dynasty Third Research Institute send someone to give them security. I'm sorry, Mr. Yuan, the 3rd to 10th floors are classified, so I can't take you to see them for now. Are all 7 floors confidential? 
Hearing Chen Fan's words, Yuan Yongchun was very shocked in his heart. When he was downstairs just now, he had specially looked at the floor sign. There were at least three R&D project centers on these seven floors. That meant that Chen Fan had at least three projects here that were being looked at by the Dynasty Third Research Institute. All right, since Chen Fan had already said so, Yuan Yongchun could not say anything. So the group came to the 12th floor. This was Chen Fan's drone R&D center, and it was also the purpose of Yuan Yongchun's and their trip. The R&D center on the 12th floor was mainly responsible for writing programs. There were more than 40 people here who were sitting in front of the computers and working. Seeing that Chen Fan had brought people here, Cheng Tianrui immediately walked over. Mr. Chen. Chen Fan looked at Cheng Tianrui and said, This is Mr. Yuan from SF. They came to inspect our drone development. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Cheng Tianrui knew that this should be the reason why Chen Fan wanted to develop a large drone. Good. I'll introduce our drone's R&D center to everyone. Currently, we at 100 Years Industry are developing four models of small drones. Two models of large drones. In terms of small drones, we've already developed all the operating systems. The stability is also very good. At the same time, we have developed a multi-drone collaborative operation mode. Just one computer can operate multiple dozens of drones at the same time. It can greatly save labor costs. In terms of large drones, I currently have a drone with a range of 100 kilometers carrying 15 kilograms in mass production. However, it's currently just a mere drone, and there's no relevant supporting equipment being produced for the time being. This kind of large drone, our application scenarios are mainly agriculture, fire rescue, and other scenario applications. After Chang Tian Rui's introduction, Yuan Yongchun was satisfied in his heart. Especially the synergistic way of those small drones made him very interested. Can you give me a demonstration of what drone synergy looks like? Of course. After saying that Chang Tianrui immediately had someone start the demonstration. After preparing for 10 minutes, Chang Tianrui brought Yuan Yangchun and the others to a computer. This is the computer we use to control the drones. Currently this computer can control 50 drones at the same time. And it can also increase the number of drones according to our needs. Let's go to the window and watch the demonstration of the drones. As Cheng Tianrui finished his words, a staff member sitting in front of the computer pressed the enter key on the keyboard. At this time Yuan Yongchun and the others saw them rising from the ground. Soon these drones rose up to the height of their floor and then they began to form various shapes in the air. At one moment, they formed the shape of a car, and at another, they turned into the shape of a dragon. When Yuan Yongchun saw this, he asked, is this the program code entered in advance? Yes. Cheng Tianrui knew that since they had come here for an inspection, they probably also wanted to apply the drones to delivery. So he said, by the same token, as long as the location position of the place where the courier is to be received is set in the computer system beforehand, then these drones can carry out automatic delivery through the location information. Of course this requires corresponding supporting facilities. Yuan Yongchun was very interested in this idea so he asked, how much does it cost to deliver with drones? Yuan Yongchun thought for a moment and said, Take this small drone we're using now as an example. The range is 30 kilometers, and each kilometer size consumes 800 milliamps of electricity. It could be a bit more if you add in the weight of the courier. Then there's the price of the drone itself and the price of the related supporting facilities. The price of this drone of ours has not yet been finalized. The related supporting facilities are also not available for the time being, so it's not possible to finally give you a quote. Yuan Yongchen nodded his head and turned his head to look at Chen Fan and asked, Mr. Chen, I think you can do a related research. If you can give me a full set of quotation and solution, we can consider using this small drone to try it out in a few big cities. Originally, this kind of small drone Chen Fan had planned to sell it in the country for the time being. After all, the country already had DJI as a unicorn. There was a big gap between it and DJI both in terms of technology and fame. However, when Yuan Yongchen said this, Chen Fan thought that it was okay. Because if all the drones were exported to foreign countries to be used by mercenaries or armed organizations, although the dynasty will not care about selling to the wild sect for the time being, but it doesn't say it can be sold to other armed forces and mercenaries, it would be good to use the cooperation with Shun Feng as an example. Yes, we will give you a complete program as soon as possible. You can mention any requirements. Seeing that Chen Fan was asking for suggestions, Yuan Yongchun, he also said directly without any politeness. My request is just one point. The synthesis should be faster and more cost effective than using labor. You guys can discuss the specific program yourselves. Hearing Yuan Yongchuan's words, Chen Fan and Chang Tianrui on the side were both speechless. Seeing the speechless expressions of both Chen Fan and Chang Tianrui, Yuan Yongchun instead said very frankly, This is supposed to be your job. You do the program and we pay for it. Why else would we pay you guys? 
Chen Fan felt that what he said seemed to make sense once he heard it. That's also true, since you don't give suggestions, we'll think for ourselves. You guys just think. For the strength of Chen Fan's R&D center, Yuan Yongchun was still very assured. Otherwise, it was unlikely that the project they were researching would have been looked at by the Dynasty Third Research Institute. He didn't make any suggestions, but in fact, he was mainly worried that if he said anything, it would affect Chen Fan and their program. Chen Fan thought for a moment and said, I have an idea, you help me counsel to see if it's feasible. Yuan Yongchun looked at Chen Fan with an expression of I already knew you had your own idea. You say it, let me hear it. Chen Fan began, actually, my proposal is very simple. Doesn't your SF have a Hive smart cabinet? Upgrade this smart cabinet. Yuan Yongchun asked, how to upgrade it? Do you know that there is now a kind of three-dimensional parking lot like a Ferris wheel? It's the kind that's as tall as a two-story building, and when you park your car on it, it automatically raises, and there's always an empty space where you park. When it's time to pick up your car, your vehicle automatically comes down. A three-dimensional parking lot like this has a small area and a large number of parking spaces. My idea is to make a similar express locker. The express is packed among one small container, and then the drone is responsible for transporting it to the intelligent express cabinet. Then the courier that needs to be picked up is rotated to the pickup port through the system, allowing the customer to take it out on their own. After listening to Chin Fan's words, Yuan Yongchuan's eyes lit up. This method can work. This not only solves the problem of picking up the wrong express. At the same time, there is no need for manual intervention, and users will be able to pick up their own courier. Chen Fan nodded and said, yes, and the locations of the intelligent express containers are fixed. As long as the same containers express is placed in a container it will allow the drone to send it over according to a set route. It's not even necessary to specifically arrange the flight route of each drone. They can then look for a suitable express container based on the location of the express. After listening to Chen Fan's introduction, Yuan Yongchun felt that this program of his was simply fantastic. If this program could succeed, that would save Shunfeng a great deal of money. It was important to know that the price of SF Express was higher than other express delivery prices, but their courier's salary is also higher than other courier's courier's salary. Other courier average send a courier in a dollar or so. SF is two dollars a courier. If it was possible to use drones to deliver expresses, then the savings would be astronomical. Mr. Chen, make this plan out as soon as possible, and I'll do a pilot in a few big cities first. Although it was still an idea right now, but Yuan Yongchun felt that the idea was very practical. His words also changed from just now that he needed to make it first before considering whether to use it or not. It turned into making it first and doing pilots in big cities. Good, I'll have someone do it right away in a moment. After looking at the small drones, Yuan Yongchun started talking to Chen Fan about the large drones again. The large drones we are currently producing here have a wingspan of 2 meters, a flight distance of 100 kilometers, and a load of 50 kilograms. When he heard Cheng Tianrui say the specification of the drone, Yuan Yongchun couldn't help but shake his head and said, It's too small. The drone I want is a large one, the kind that can fly at least 3,000 kilometers and carry more than one ton. Ah, what do you want such a large drone for? Delivery, of course. The cargo planes we're using now have more cargo at one time though. Although air transportation is much faster than land transportation, the cost is also very high. And because air transportation loads too much cargo at once, after unloading, it has to be distributed twice. This is tantamount to a waste of time. If we use a large drone, we can fly straight to the city, and we don't have to distribute it twice, so we can save a lot of time. And in addition to being able to deliver couriers to courier stores, we also want to open up a new rush delivery. It's to have drones directly deliver expresses or goods directly to customers. Just like an airplane dropping a bomb, the drone, after arriving at a designated location, will hang outside and drop the pods containing the goods directly to the customer. Do you think this has the feasibility of research? Chen Fan thought for a moment and said, of course there is, as long as you give money, I can definitely research it for you. Ha ha, hearing Chen Fan's words, Yuan Yongchun couldn't help but laugh. In the afternoon, after visiting the production factory of the drone, the two sides then signed a cooperative research and development contract. SF gave Chen Fan $30 million of R&D funds to help SF customize the drones and intelligent hives they needed. After Chen Fan and the others developed them, SF would be based on their actual needs and prices. Order the drones and related equipment from Chen Fan and the others. After signing the contract, because Chen Fan knew that Yuan Yangchan and Xiao Jinjiang were both on good terms, so he gave him a call to ask if he had time. As a result, Xiao Jinjiang heard that Yuan Yangchan had taken up a post at SF and was coming to the city. He agreed without saying a word. In the evening Chen Fan organized a welcome party for Yuan Yongchun and the others. Xiao Jianzhang's appearance made Yuan Yongchun very surprised. Old Xiao, why are you here? 
Chao Jianjiang smiled and said, It was Chen Fan who called me and said that you were here on a study tour and asked me to come and accompany them. Ah, hearing Chao Jianjiang say that, Yuan Yongchun was very surprised. He didn't expect Chen Fan to have such a big face that he was able to invite Chao Jianjiang here. In his heart, his status towards Chen Fan had increased a lot more. Of course he did not know that the reason why Chao Jianjiang agreed to come here. Chen Fan's face was there but it wasn't decisive. He also hadn't been here for a long time. Needed to come and see the R&D progress and production over here. Brother Chao, sit down, let's celebrate tonight. Chen Fan said with a wink at Chao Jianjiang. Xiao Jianjiang naturally understood that Chen Fan was actually talking about the incident where the other dynasty fighters crashed into the sea. However, Yuan Yongchun didn't know about this incident and he still thought that he was celebrating the signing of the contract between him and Chen Fan. Very happily, he said, yes, it's something that should be celebrated. If it wasn't for old Xiao that you had told me about Chen Fan, then I wouldn't have cared about the name at that time, much less the current cooperation. Hearing Yuan Yongchun's words, Chen Fan and Xiao Jianjiang both looked at each other and said, Right, have a good celebration. Early the next morning, Yuan Yongchun left with the people from the expedition. After they left, Chen Fan then began to organize people to conduct PR for the small drones customized by SF. This was because the large drones needed another plant to be built for production. So for the time being, Chen Fan focused all his efforts on the small delivery drone. Since the main idea of this small delivery drone was proposed by Chen Fan, Chen Fan had been at the drone R&D center for the past few days, while telling the other people in the R&D team about his ideas, while developing the program with them. This program for delivery was simple to say the least, but in reality, it was also very complicated. Especially for civilian small drones, Dynasty still had relevant regulations. The flight altitude of a small drone could not exceed 120 meters. The flying height of a micro drone could not exceed 50 meters. The small drones that Chen Fan had developed belonged to the small drones, although the height of 120 meters was already high enough for ordinary people. However, there were so many people in the Dasha dynasty, when taking off and landing. Inevitably, there would be people who were malicious or bored looking for trouble. All of them might attack the drone, or affect the normal work of the drone. It's like the shared bicycle that is now very common in the dynasty. It's obviously a convenient means of transportation, but there are people who want to vandalize them. The news also reported that some people directly threw the shared bicycle into the river. It is important to know that the cost of drones is much higher than that of shared bicycles. So it is still important to find a way to do a good job in this aspect of protection. Chen Fan's solution to this problem is in addition to satellite positioning. There is also a separate system location recording function. This function comes with the system and can be recorded even if there is no power. There was also an alarm system set up for when it was interfered with. As long as someone interferes with the normal operation of the drone, it will automatically alert the operation and maintenance center. Then the operation and maintenance center can drive away the interferer through the real-time screen of the drone and keep the evidence. In addition, there is a need for a system that can connect with the smart delivery cabinet. Ensure that the drone can accurately deliver goods into the intelligent express cabinet. These things are very simple to say, but the actual operation is not easy. Good thing that the UAV R&D center has enough capacity to do this. When it was almost noon, Chen Fan was ready to go down to eat. While walking to a workstation, he heard a man say into the computer, write a positioning correction program for me. After saying that, he just got up and left, because there was no one else around him anymore. Chen Fan was curious as to who he was talking to, so he walked over to take a look. It was found that his computer was writing code on its own. This was a shock to Chen Fan, so he sat in front of his computer and looked at it for a while. Found that the code written by this computer had quite a few errors in it though, but overall what was written was surprisingly okay. After this program finished writing that positioning correction program, Chen Fan began to look on his computer. There were a lot of things on this man's computer. Software for watching movies, software for listening to music, software for reading novels, and there were even online games. Seeing these software outside of work, Chen Fan's face directly darkened, putting so many things on the work computer that have nothing to do with work. This is not going to work, it is obviously groping for fish, and it is still so openly and honestly groping for fish. The angry Chen Fan directly called Cheng Tianrui. He was the person in charge of the drone research and development center, but he didn't think that he would even care about this. The call was soon connected. Mr. Cheng, what's the name of this person at workstation 33? What happened to Song Wenbin? Doesn't he usually have to work? There's not just watching movies, listening to music, and reading novels on the computer. There are even online games. Is this how you manage the drone R&D center? Chen Fan was angry. Although their company was making money now, 
It's not like you can see anything if someone is touching the fish and being lazy. But if this habit continues, or if the company doesn't make as much money as it does now, then this problem will be magnified infinitely. It would even affect the company's development. I'm sorry, Mr. Chen, this is my dereliction of duty. I'll have a meeting about this in the afternoon. Cheng Tianrui knew that Chen Fan was angry so he directly started apologizing. Old Chang, we are a startup company, if everyone is like him, then how can this company work? How's his usual work performance? If he's at the bottom of the list, he'll just be fired. This kind of atmosphere can't spread in our company. Chen Fan wanted to make an example out of this Song Wenbin, but he didn't expect Chang Tianrui to say, Mr. Chen, although this person Song Wenbin is rather lazy, but is very smart, every time a task is set down, he is basically the first to complete it. Chang Tianrui's words made Chen Fan very surprised. He didn't expect a person who watched movies, listened to music, read novels and even played games during work. Surprisingly, he was the first to complete his work tasks every time. He was the first to finish it every time? Chen Fan asked with some disbelief. Yes, and it's not bad to finish. Hearing Cheng Tianrui's words, Chen Fan glanced at the computer screen, thinking of the program that was able to write code automatically just now, thinking to himself that it should be what that thing did. Okay, I know, in a moment when he finishes eating, you tell him to come to my office. Good. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan started looking for that program on his desktop. Since there were so many things on his desktop, after searching for half a day this was the only way to find the program. After finding the program, Chen Fan looked at the code of the program. After reading it Chen Fan understood the principle of this program. The main thing was to load a lot of code writing into the program. Then some thinking logic was added to the program then. Training was carried out so that he could remember the habits and the way people wrote code. When a command was given, he would write the code according to the habits and thinking logic of the author. But looking at the way it was now, the program had been trained by him for some time now. There were still a lot of mistakes, though. But it was already able to write some simple program code. For this program, Chen Fan had a very great interest. This was actually the prototype of the AI in Chen Fan's own world. It was also called artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence was mainly capable of simulating, extending as well as expanding various scientific theories. In Chen Fan's original world, artificial intelligence has surpassed the best human chess players. And many dynasties are constantly increasing the research and development of AI. Now the research on AI in this world is still in the primary stage. It's like the so-called intelligent courier cabinet. Said to be intelligent, in fact, according to the written program to carry out the corresponding operation only. Simply put, the so-called intelligence is the same as the NPC in the game. You do the right thing to trigger the NPC to interact. Otherwise, it will always be a sentence or two of a long set reply. A program like Song Wenbin's was actually already considered relatively advanced. This was because this programming program already had the ability to initially mimic artificiality. Chen Fan knew that this field would have very great potential in the future. Even many experts and scholars said that artificial intelligence would change the entire world in the future. After returning to the office, Chen Fan began to search for news related to artificial intelligence on his computer. There were many search results. However, most of them were just selling dog meat with a sheep's head. Artificial intelligence that could truly simulate, extend, and be practical had not yet appeared. That is to say, in this field, there was no substantial progress yet. If Chen Fan wanted to develop in this field, there were almost no competitors. After all, although everyone knew that artificial intelligence might change the world in the future, but before AI could change the world, it would require countless amounts of capital investment. It was not like riding a drone. There is already DJI among the drone field. What kind of drone is it? What functions does it have? And in which field can it be used? Even the production line and supporting facilities are ready-made. As long as you spend money to buy it, you can do it. But in the field of artificial intelligence, the investment is huge. But at present there is no clear profit point. That is to say, even if you invest billions and billions of dollars in this field, the results of the research may not be able to realize, cannot bring income to the enterprise. This is also the reason why many companies are not willing to invest too much in the field of artificial intelligence. Of course, those large high-tech enterprises are also doing research in this area. Research is only to not want to see other people have a way out, when they are too far behind. But Chen Fan is different. He wanted to do research in this area. It was because he wanted to make drones more intelligent. Not only drones, but even drones could be used. Of course it was very difficult to realize drones. After all, the road conditions were changing all the time. This is a very high requirement for the ability to calculate, the ability to adapt. While looking at the online news, Song Wenbin walked in from outside. This person looked to be in his 20s. 
he had just graduated not long ago. The face also carries a look of defiance. It looks like after he called Chang Tianrui just now, he was reprimanded by Chang Tianrui. He was reprimanded by Chang Tianrui. Mr. Chen, you're looking for me. Song Wenbin finished speaking and stood there with a drawn face without saying anything. Well, I called you here mainly to ask about one thing. Hearing Chen Fan say that, Song Wenbin thought that Chen Fan was asking about the matter of his groping fish at work. So he said, Mr. Chen, all my tasks have been completed, I just play a little when I have nothing to do. If you want to fire me if you think that's not okay, I'll admit it. Song Wenbin looked at Chen Fan with an angry face after he finished speaking. Chen Fan smiled and said, I didn't call you here because of this. Then because of what? Song Wenbin finished and thought back carefully. He didn't seem to have made any mistakes other than going to work and groping for fish. I want to set up a new research and development center, let you lead it, are you willing? Ah. It was Song Wenbin's turn to be dumbfounded. Originally, he thought he was coming to be fired. He didn't realize that Chen Fan had called himself over to set up a new department, and still let himself be the competent leader. Seeing Song Wenbin being surprised, he did not speak. Chen Fan continued. That program you wrote that can automatically write code, I've already seen it. I think that's a good thing. That's why I want to set up a separate artificial intelligence research and development department. You have experience in this area and have done a good job. So I want you to lead this department, are you willing? Although 100 years industrial's reputation wasn't big. But Chen Fan was not bad for them, the fresh graduates. And now all the people in the R&D center knew. Chen Chen Fan had cooperation with the officials, and the future prospects were also very broad. To be able to become a project director or even the head of the R&D department here. Whether it is the welfare treatment or the future is very good. So when Song Wenbin heard Chen Fan say that he was setting up a new R&D center, also let him be a project supervisor, he was shocked. I'm willing. Song Wenbin had never thought of this before. Such a heavenly fortune could come to him. Mr. Chen, is this AI R&D center of ours going to continue to develop this program I have now? The R&D content was what Song Wenbin was most concerned about in his heart. Chen Fan shook his head and said, no. That program of yours has only just dabbled in an artificial intelligence. The direction I want to research is mainly human-machine interaction, so that the machine can understand human words, and simulate the way humans think according to their commands to solve and handle problems. Song Wenbin had some little understanding of Chen Fan's description. Chen Fan continued to explain, for example, the so-called intelligent devices nowadays. You ask him what today's weather forecast is like. It can only tell you the answer based on the content of the weather forecast that has already appeared. But if I ask him when the Dasha Dynasty soccer team will win the world championship, he wouldn't know what to answer. The current AI can only search and filter based on existing content. It is not capable of judging and analyzing based on the actual situation. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Song Wenbin understood. Mr. Chen, such an AI is not good to realize. Being able to mimic the way humans think about problems and give answers to them. This was simple to say. But in practice, it was very difficult to realize. Of course it's not easy to realize. Otherwise, why are we still researching? Seeing Song Wenbin's lack of confidence, Chen Fan added, It's actually not particularly difficult. To achieve this, there are two main things one is the ability to calculate and the other is a lot of training. That program you wrote now can already write some simple programs after training. If we had enough computing power plus a lot of training, trying to make a program that mimics the way humans think wouldn't be an impossible task. Song Wenbin nodded and said, Mr. Chen, don't worry, I will definitely make this kind of AI you are talking about. Chen Fan nodded and said, I believe you can. Starting tomorrow, you'll first go to my office in the Drone Research and Development Center. For employees, let's do another recruitment and try not to use the people in the current drone R&D center. Also I'm going to build another R&D center behind the current R&D center. After the new R&D center is completed, you guys can go over there again. Good. Then I'll go back to work first. Chen Fan nodded and said, right, don't go yet. Is there anything else mister? Chen? It's like this, although we signed a contract before. All the research results during our time in the company belong to the company. But there is also still a need to give you some rewards. As a report. Like this, give you 1 million dollars as a reward. What do you think? Song Wenbin's eyes widened when he heard Chen Fan say 1 million dollars. 1 million. How could he not think of it? He had written that program just because he wanted to be lazy. Chen Fan actually gave himself a million dollars as a reward. Well, because this program you wrote is still too simple. Then I can only give you one million dollars. Hearing Chen Fan say that, Song Wenbin nodded excitedly and said, that's quite a lot. Well, then you go back first, and by the way, tell the other departments to meet at four o'clock in the afternoon. Good. After Song Wenbin left, 
Chen Fan thought for a moment and took out his phone to call Chao Jianjiang. Brother Chao, there's something I want you to do a favor for. What kind of favor? I want to set up an artificial intelligence research and development department. Ah, Chao Jianjiang asked, somewhat dumbfounded, you want to dabble in artificial intelligence? You. He didn't say the words that followed. In fact, he wanted to say, why do you want to stick your nose into everything? You have to know that a general enterprise that can make a name for itself in an industry is already very powerful. But Chen Fan even went so far as to want to join the artificial intelligence field. Do you know how much money has to be invested in this thing? Chen Fan nodded and said, I know, I just want to try it out in case I can research something. Seeing that Chen Fan had already made up his mind to get involved in the field of artificial intelligence, Xiao Jianjiang also stopped persuading him. After all, the potential of this industry was very huge. And although Dynasty had invested in the field of artificial intelligence, but not much. If Chen Fan was able to reach a leading level in this field, then it would also be very helpful to the Grand Xia Dynasty. Since you have already made up your mind, I won't persuade you. Tell me, what kind of supercomputer do you want? I don't ask for much, God will Taihu Lake Light or Tianha 2 whichever will do. Xiao Jianjiang, you really don't see eye to eye with me, these two are not only the best supercomputers within our dynasty, it's also one of the best in the world, how are you so good as to open your mouth and talk about these two? In the field of supercomputers, the Great Summer Dynasty's strength ranked among the top in the world, and the best of them in terms of arithmetic power were the Shunwei, Taihu Lake Light and Tianha 2. These two supercomputers were also sold to the public though, but need to queue up, and also not money can buy. It needs to go through layers of auditing before it can be. Originally, Xiao Jianjiang thought that Chen Fan was just doing a little research. He himself could help him practice some supercomputers that could be sold to him. But as soon as Chen Fan opened his mouth, it was Shunwei, Taihu Lake Light and Tianha too. This made Xiao Jianjiang very speechless. Brother Xiao, you also know that AI is the most arithmetic eating. And this direction we're researching is going to eat more arithmetic than normal. Instead of buying it later, it's better to have it in place at once. Saving trouble isn't it? Xiao Jianjiang was aware of what Chen Fan said. Only he was worried that Chen Fan couldn't use so much arithmetic power and wasted it. It's not impossible for you to want it, but you need to follow the procedures for approval. How long will that take? Three, four, five months if it's fast, about a year if it's slow. Ah, so long? Chen Fan felt that this time that Chao Jianjiang said was too long. That's still to a lesser extent. If you have some problems in any part of the process, you won't be able to review it for a year. And the production of this kind of supercomputer simply can't keep up right now. You have to queue up if you want one. Chen Fan was a bit headstrong. He didn't expect that just a supercomputer would be so troublesome. Brother Chao, is it okay if I give more money? Chao Jianjiang said with a smile, can you have as much money as Penguin, Ali and the others? They'll have to line up as usual. You don't have to be too anxious, I'll ask the situation for you first. Okay, then I'll trouble you. Not long after hanging up the phone, Chang Tianrui called Chen Fan. Mr. Chen, the first batch of drones are already ready, when will they be shipped? I'll make a call and ask. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan then called Yi Haya. Mr. Chen, are you calling me because the drones are done? Yi Haya immediately asked as soon as the phone was connected. He was very anxious right now. The situation on their side was very serious now. It was just waiting for the drones from Chen Fan's side to arrive and start working. It's ready, ready to be shipped at any time. Really? That's great. I'll have someone call you the money in a moment, and you'll immediately ship the goods for me, the faster the better. Hearing Yi Haya this urging himself, Chen Fan couldn't help but ask. So urgent, is the situation over there critical? Yi Haya nodded and said, yes, our brothers have lost most of their fighting strength now. If we can't put pressure on the Elijah dynasty over here as soon as possible, then it's very likely that they won't be able to hold out over there. I know, I'll arrange for shipments right away. Alright, thank you so much. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan directly contacted the container cargo truck. Then he went downstairs to the drone warehouse to check it out. In order to avoid bringing unnecessary trouble to the Dasha dynasty, the this batch of drones sold to Yihaya didn't have the Great Xia Dynasty's fonts on them. There were only the letters BNSY, which was the first spelling of Centennial Industries. But even if it was known by the Great Eagle Dynasty, it didn't matter much. In fact, many dynasties were involved in things here behind the scenes. Like the Lox Dynasty, the Tus Dynasty, and so on. The Great Eagle Dynasty also knows these things. They just didn't say it out in the open. These drones are all boxed, each box contains a drone. When you use it, just take it out and assemble it. Before he finished looking at the drones in the warehouse, Chen Fan's cell phone came with a prompt. Your Dasha Dynasty bank card has received 3 billion Great Eagle Dynasty coins. Watching the 3 billion Great Eagle Dynasty coins being credited. 
although this was equivalent to 18 billion Great Eagle Dynasty coins. However, Chen Fan didn't have much of a feeling after looking at it. There was so much more money in the account all of a sudden. Saying that it was exciting, it wasn't particularly exciting. Because it was just a string of numbers. The impact wasn't as intense as $10 million in cash. This makes him think of his original world there is a very rich people once said a sentence. He said I have never touched money, I am not interested in money. At that time, Chen Fan still felt that this person was too pretentious. But now he was suddenly able to feel the mentality of that person who said this at that time. That night, 3,000 of Wild Gate's customized drones were loaded and shipped away. A week later, Wild Sect held a press conference. It was announced that it was going to attack all ships that had anything to do with the One Line Dynasty. As soon as this press conference was held, it immediately drew the attention of the world. We are only targeting ships that are traveling to the Erect Dynasty. At the same time, we guarantee that we won't attack the normal voyages of any Great Xia Dynasty as well as other Dynasty ships. Seeing Yi Haiya's words in the news, Chen Fan then realized why he had said at that time that he wanted to repay him. It was important to realize that if they didn't go through their place, if they took a detour, not only would the trip take 10 more days, the cost would also increase a lot. And this increase in travel and expenses was only for the Great Eagle Dynasty and the allies of the Great Eagle Dynasty. In this way, the same goods let the Great Eagle Dynasty and his allies' transportation time than the Great Xia Dynasty cargo ship slower than 10 days of time. The cost is even more tens of millions of dollars. In this way, let the Xia Dynasty shipping more cost-effective. At the same time also let the prestige of the Grand Xia Dynasty increased a lot. The day after the press conference was held, they started to officially move. On that day, there were three transportation ships bound for the Elijah Dynasty that they detained. There was also one that was directly sunk by them for resisting their boarding. For the Wild Gate armed forces to suddenly have the ability to strike transport ships, the Great Eagle Dynasty was very surprised. Because all along the Wild Gate armed forces had won by playing guerrilla. Their navy had never been a lot of small fishing boats, speed boats. There were no drones at all. And it also struck when the Great Eagle Dynasty disconnected the GPS signal in the area. This left the Great Eagle Dynasty speechless. But they couldn't find out where these drones came from in a short period of time. In the conference room of the Great Eagle Dynasty. Boom. The commander-in-chief of the Great Eagle Dynasty's military department slapped the table fiercely. Why do they suddenly have drones with such a long range? Each of the military ministers below didn't dare to speak. Because their cargo ships had been detained by the Wild Sect. It wasn't just those ships and the weapons and ammunition on board that were lost. What was even more humiliating was having people from other dynasties look at their jokes. A big eagle dynasty can't even control a small wild gate armament. If this continued, who would listen to them in the future? Commander-in-chief, it is imperative that we send warships over to protect our transports. The consumption of ammunition on the Israeli side is very high. If we can't resupply them in time, they won't be able to support them for long. Right Commander-in-Chief, I also think we should send warships over to keep those people from Wild Gate honest. The Commander-in-Chief of the Great Eagle Dynasty's military department nodded and said, not only should we send warships, directly send a carrier battle group over. I don't believe that in this way those guys from the Wild Sect will still dare to attack our transports. Commander-in-Chief, then if they really dare, should we directly counterattack? We must deal them a heavy blow, let them also show the other dynasties what happens when they don't listen to us. Yes. After the meeting ended, the Great Eagle Dynasty directly transferred a carrier battle group from around the Grand Xiao Dynasty. But due to the fact that the blocking cables on the carriers were produced by Chen Fan and the others, now those blocking cables were having problems. Although Velka had the technology, the production line of the blocking cables had been dismantled a long time ago. It would take some time before they could be rebuilt. So even if the Great Eagle Dynasty's carriers sailed over, they would basically just be a decoration. However, the commander-in-chief of the Great Eagle Dynasty felt that this matter was unknown to others. Sailing the carrier battle group over there would still be able to cause very great pressure on Wild Gate. But he thought about one thing wrong. Although the Wild Gate armed forces didn't know about the blocking ropes, but they hadn't thought about it at all. On this day, the Great Eagle Dynasty's carrier fleet had just arrived in the waters near Wild Gate. It was thought that there was an aircraft carrier in town as well as frigates and submarines, and so on dozens of warships were here. The Wild Gate armed forces should not dare to intercept their cargo ships anymore. But I didn't expect that just as they arrived here. They had just come here, and then some merchant ships started to ask for help. Because of the support of the two Eagle Dynasty carrier fleets, that freighter directly ignored Wild Gate's request for inspection. As a result, Wild Gate used several drones and a dozen missiles to hit it. Although these drones and missiles were all intercepted by the Great Eagle Dynasty in the end. But seeing that the Wild Sect armed forces had actually moved for real. Although they were not hit, those Great Eagle Dynasty cargo ships did not dare to continue on. 
It was already the next day when Shen Fan saw this news. At this time, he was having a meal with Cheng Tianrui in the company cafeteria. Then he heard Cheng Tianrui say, Mr. Chen, this wild gate armed is really tough. To think that they really fought hard against the Great Eagle Dynasty. The news said that they used over a dozen missiles and a few drones. Unfortunately, they were all intercepted by the Great Eagle Dynasty. Chen Fan nodded and said, it's a bit of a pity. As he said this Chen Fan couldn't help but frown. This was because this batch of drones was specially customized for Wild Sect. Not only did it use a stealthy coating, it was also specially set up with a special traveling route. But he didn't expect that it would still be intercepted so easily by the Great Eagle Dynasty. Hey, Mr. Chen, as I look at the flight path of this drone of his, how come it's a bit similar to the ones we designed? Cheng Tianrui did not know that Chen Fan had sold these drones to the Wild Gate armed. Like? Chen Fan said pretending not to know. A little bit. Cheng Tianrui was also a bit skeptical, although he knew that Chen Fan had sold these drones abroad. But he simply could not imagine that Chen Fan would sell them directly to Wild Sect. After a simple meal, Chen Fan returned to his office. Taking out his phone, he called Yi Haya. He felt that his drone shouldn't have been intercepted so easily. If that was the case, they would need to redesign their drones if they wanted them again in the future. These days Yi Haya was very busy. So busy that he didn't even have time to eat. But seeing that it was Chen Fan calling him, he still answered it. Mr. Chen, what's the matter with the call? I'm calling to ask about the usage and see if I need to do an after sale. After sales? No need. Yi Haya was still wondering in his heart that those drones that Chen Fan had given them were basically used as suicide drones. As long as they were used, they were basically blown up. How was this after sale? Ah, I saw on the news that the missiles and drones that you used to attack yesterday were all intercepted by the Great Eagle Dynasty? Hearing Chen Fan ask this, Yi Haya nodded and said, Yes. Yesterday, we launched a total of 12 missiles and 4 drones, all of which were intercepted by them. Seeing Yi Haya personally admitting the news that the drones were intercepted by the Great Eagle Dynasty, Chen Fan asked, Is there any relevant video? I want to see how it was intercepted. If it's possible, I can do another upgrade for you here. Yi Haya immediately waved his hand when he heard Chen Fan say he wanted to upgrade the drone. No, no, it works very well as it is now. Ha! Huh? It was Chen Fan's turn to be surprised. Chen Fan was a bit puzzled. Those drones had already been intercepted. How could he still say that this is very good right now? Yi Haya heard Chen Fan's puzzled voice and began to explain. Mr. Chen, even though all those drones of yours have been intercepted. But that was also intercepted by their close defense cannons. It had already dodged two rounds of interceptor missiles before that. You know that the purchase price of one interceptor missile is 3 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. Two would be 6 million, plus the ammunition used by their close defense cannons would cost a few million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. That means intercepting a drone will cost them nearly 10 million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. And our drones only cost a million, we've made a huge profit. What's more, with such a large amount of ammunition consumption, it won't take long for them to go back and resupply. This result is already very good for us. Hearing Yi Haya's words, Chen Fan then understood why he didn't need an aftermarket. But the Great Eagle Dynasty's financial power is much stronger than yours. Aren't you afraid that they will fight you hard? Ha, huh, we're not afraid of a hard fight at all. We're exchanging $1 million for $10 million, they can't afford it. And according to our intelligence, they don't have many interceptor missiles in stock now. A large portion of them have already been sent to the Elijah dynasty before. That's good, I was a little worried that you guys wouldn't be able to carry it. I'm relieved to hear you say that. In the next few days, Chen Fan still went to the R&D center every day. Until this day Chen Fan received a phone call. Brother, did you miss your sister? The call was from Wang Yen. Sister Wang, why did you remember to call me? You're not busy over there? There were quite a lot of things going on over in the Middle East recently, so Chen Fan felt that she should be busy. Busy? Of course I'm busy. The Middle East is on the verge of becoming a mess now. Wang Yen was right. Due to a column of armies attacking Rafa, it had caused the dissatisfaction of many surrounding dynasties. Although on the surface most of the dynasties were only condemning this behavior of the Israelite dynasty. But in reality, many dynasties had already begun to start various actions in private. Wang Yen, as the head of the Middle East region of the Darknet, had a lot of things to deal with every day. So is there something you're calling me about? I've come to Dasha Dynasty, I'm in your Lin City, give me an address and I'll go find you. Coming to Lin City? Why didn't you say so earlier, I'll go pick you up. I don't have much time, I decided to come here temporarily, I'm leaving at night. I'll come over to see you, and sign the contract on the way. Good. I'll send you the address right now. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan sent the address to Wang Yen. Originally, he thought it would take at least an hour or two for her to come over. But it wasn't even half an hour. Chen Fan heard a commotion outside. 
he came out of the office to take a look. It was found that a small helicopter in the sky was slowly landing on the road. Holy shit, this is a real tycoon, even flying an airplane here. Seeing Wang Yan coming down from the helicopter, Chen Fan walked over and said with an envious face, This thing isn't worth much, if you want it, my sister will give you one. Hearing Wang Yan say this, Chen Fan quickly waved his hand and said, Forget it, I don't have a place to put it if you give it to me. It's not as convenient as driving. Take me to see your drone production line. Good. After saying that, Chen Fan brought Wang Yan to the drone production workshop. Sister Wang, this is my drone production workshop. There are currently two production lines, one for small drones. The range is in the tens of kilometers with a weight of a dozen kilograms. And one for large drones with a range of over a hundred kilometers and a weight of over fifty kilograms. Hearing Chen Fan's introduction, Wang Yan glanced at Chen Fan with great surprise. You still have a large drone? Uh, why? What is this large drone of yours for? Chen Fan naturally couldn't say that this production line was for drones produced for the Wild Gate armed. He could only say, it is mainly used for agriculture, fire rescue, fire extinguishing, and so on. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Wang Yan gave him a disbelieving look. However, he did not refute it and only asked, can this drone be sold to me? It should be possible. This kind of drone, how much production is there per day? 500. You kid can do it. I said why didn't you come when I asked you to join the darknet? So you have a more lucrative deal. In Wang Yan's eyes these drones were meat and potatoes. The price of one had now reached one and a half million Great Eagle Dynasty coins. After looking at the production line of the drones, Wang Yan and Chen Fan returned to the office together. Brother, how is the benefit of this drone factory of yours? Do you need sister to take shares? You're in charge of production, and sister is in charge of sales. Sister will invest $50 million for you, as long as 10% of the shares, what do you think? $50 million as long as 10% of the drone factory shares. In Wang Yan's opinion it was already quite a lot. It was just that he didn't realize that Chen Fan's drones had already been sold to Wild Gate. The sales from the last batch alone reached 3 billion Great Eagle Dynasty coins. $50 million might be quite a lot for others, but it was not much for Chen Fan. Thank you Sister Wang for your kindness, but I don't need to invest for now. I know that Sister Wang truly wants to help me. In this case, what we said before was to give you 3 points of commission, how about I raise it to 5 points for you? Although he didn't want Wang Yan to take shares. But in order to have a good price for future sales, Chen Fan still added on to the original negotiated price. Another two points were raised for Wang Yan. Seeing that Chen Fan had turned himself down, Wang Yan was not angry. After all, the five points Chen Fan gave himself was quite a lot. Brat, you don't even trust your sister. Alright, seeing as you gave me five points, I'll promise you. Let's sign the contract. Wang Yan then took out a contract. The content was roughly that the price would be sold according to the price on the darknet with the darknet taking a 5% commission. There was another one that was signed with Wang Yan. Chen Fan divided 5% from the profits to her. The reason why he gave her such a high commission was mainly because the sales price on the darknet was originally much higher than the market. Moreover, it is still a day-by-day -day price. Wang Yan, as the person in charge of the Middle East region of the darknet, she could help Chen Fan fight for the maximum benefit. Otherwise, once so many of his drones were on the market, it would bring down the price of the drones on the darknet. Instead of selling them cheaper, it would be better to give Wang Yan more commission to make the price higher. This way both Wang Yan and Chen Fan could profit. After signing the contract, Chen Fan looked at Wang Yan and asked, Sister Wang, when are you leaving? What, it's just after signing the contract and you want to drive me away? Chen Fan quickly waved his hands and said, that's not it, I'm thinking that you've done me such a great favor. If your time allows it, I would like to treat you to a meal to thank you. Good, it's only 4 in the afternoon now in my evening, there are still 5 hours left. No matter what I do it's still not too late. Saying this Wang Yan also looked at Chen Fan with seductive eyes. Chen Fan. Chen Fan had always felt that Wang Yan was a very shrewd woman. Long and beautiful as well, it was reasonable to say that she should have a lot of people chasing after her. But this character of hers made her not know what she should say. Ha, huh, see how scared you are, sister can still eat you. Let's go, I want to eat something delicious. No problem, I'll take you to the most expensive restaurant in our city. Chen Fan finished speaking and took the key and was about to leave. However, Wang Yan looked a little disinterested. Brother, those things in the good restaurant, sister got tired of eating them a long time ago. Don't you have any specialty things to eat here? Specialty things? There are, but it's just a bit more troublesome. It's fine if it's troublesome, it's just delicious. Wang Yan had already said so, so Chen Fan had no choice but to say. Sister Wang, our fried chicken here is very famous. Why don't you try it? Fried chicken? How delicious can that one be? There is a saying that no chicken can leave Lin Chang alive. That's why our fried chicken is so good. Especially the walk-in chicken fried in a ground pan. 
The flavor is very good. Hearing Chin Fan's explanation, Wang Yan said, Okay, I'll try it then, where? We'll make it ourselves. Follow me. After saying this, Chen Fan led Wang Yan to the back of the mountain. Sister Wang, this mountain was contracted by me. I raise chickens and pigs here on the mountain. All of them don't eat feed. Guaranteed to be delicious. Yes, yes. Then you wait here, I'll go in and catch one. After saying that, Chen Fan went in and started catching chickens. It was only that these chickens had been running around in the mountains since they were young. Already used to being wild, it was very difficult for Chen Fan to catch them. Wang Yan looked at Chen Fan chasing a chicken around not far away and laughed so hard that she couldn't even straighten her back. Um, brother, are you good or not? If you really can't catch it, we won't eat it. Ha ha ha. Hearing Wang Yan's mocking laughter, Chen Fan gritted his teeth and said, How can a man say no? After saying that, he once again chased towards that chicken. After 10 minutes, Chen Fan was already tired and out of breath. But he didn't even catch a chicken. Wang Yan stood by the side and looked at Chen Fan with a smile on her face. Brother, take a break. Let me do it. You, Chen Fan said while gasping for air. You'd better forget it. I can't even catch it. It's even more unlikely if you're still wearing high heels. That's not necessarily true for me oh. After saying that Wang Yan walked towards Chen Fan's place, when she was still three meters away from the chicken, she suddenly flung her hand. Before Chen Fan could see anything clearly, he, he saw the chicken in front of him suddenly fall to the ground. Look, I can catch it. Wang Yan said smilingly. Damn. Why didn't you tell me earlier that you also know how to use concealed weapons? Caused me to almost die of exhaustion. Saying this Chen Fan went over and picked up the chicken and examined it carefully. It was found that there was a steel needle the thickness of an acupuncture needle on the chicken's head. Sister Wang, it's really hard to see, you're actually so good at it. In Chen Fan's eyes, Wang Yan was an open-minded, shrewd and capable woman. However, he did not expect her hands to be so good as well. Seeing Chen Fan's surprised expression. Wang Yan said with a slight smile, What are you talking about brother, sister's hands are only useful for bad guys. To you, sister is just a weak woman with no hands. Hearing Wang Yan say that she was a weak woman with no hands, Chen Fan couldn't help but be staggered. Who would dare to use force on such a woman? She would die without even knowing how. After catching the chicken, Chen Fan took it to the restaurant and asked the chef to clean it up. Then he took some vegetables and seasonings from the restaurant. On the way back, Chen Fan spent $3 million in the system to purchase a divine cooking skill. Although Chen Fan rarely cooked by himself, but $3 million was nothing to the current Chen Fan. Even if he didn't buy this skill now, he would have to buy it in the future in order to gather the progress bars. He simply bought it directly. After returning, Chen Fan started frying vegetables in the courtyard of the gas tank factory. Aya, brother, I didn't expect you to have this skill. Seeing Chen Fan personally cook, Wang Yan was very surprised. She also didn't expect Chen Fan to not only be good with his hands and be able to make money, but he would also fry vegetables. Stir-fried blindly, just don't mind if it's hard to eat in a while. Chen Fan said modestly while stir-frying. No, as long as it's fried by my brother, it's delicious. Soon Chen Fan had made eight dishes in one soup. Then he took out another bottle of good wine. The two drank it in Chen Fan's office. Sister Wang, this glass of wine wishes us a happy cooperation. This cup wishes you good luck in your work and rise higher. This cup. The cups Chen Fan and the others used were those very small cups, one sip was just right. Wang Yan was also very refreshing at this time, following Chen Fan with one sip. The two people drank and chatted at the same time. In no time the bottle of white wine had gone down by a large margin. Chen Fan's drinking capacity was not very big. But Wang Yan's drinking capacity looked even smaller. After drinking less than three tails of wine, her face turned red. Her eyes looked a little lost, and she leaned hard towards Chen Fan. Chen Fan saw that she got drunk so quickly. He hurriedly helped her to lie down on the sofa and then covered her with a blanket. I didn't expect Wang Yan to be very dishonest after getting drunk. She would roll over and move a bit. If not for Chen Fan watching from the side, she would have fallen off the sofa. Not only that, maybe because it was uncomfortable to sleep with her clothes on. Wang Yan also kept wanting to take off her clothes. This was a shock to Chen Fan. He hurriedly pressed her hand. But then the distance between the two people became especially close. Looking at Wang Yan's delicate face and messy clothes, even Chen Fan couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of saliva. However, he still held back. Looking at Wang Yan who was already asleep, Chen Fan couldn't help but spit out, what a life-threatening little goblin. If it wasn't for the fact that you're already drunk right now, I don't want to take advantage of people. Otherwise, I have to put you on the spot today. Chen Fan had just finished saying this when Wang Yan rolled over. The whole person leaned against Chen Fan's arms on the edge of the sofa. The corner of his mouth slightly turned up where Chen Fan couldn't see it. Wang Yan lay in Chen Fan's arms like this for a while. 
Then she rolled over and reached out to hook Chen Fan's neck, holding his head directly in his arms. Chen Fan just wanted to break free. He heard Wang Yin murmur, let me hold you for a while. Feeling that this was quite comfortable, Chen Fan also gave up struggling. Just as Wang Yan was about to make further moves, the office door was suddenly opened from outside. A man walked in from outside. Sister Yan, we should get going. Hearing someone speak, Chen Fan somewhat embarrassedly broke free from Wang Yan's arms. Looking at the man, he said with some embarrassment, that, she's drunk. Chen Fan had only just finished saying this when he saw Wang Yan, who was originally still sleeping. Suddenly sat up, looked at the person who came in and said, who let you in, can't you see that my mom is busy? At this time Wang Yan where there is still half a bit of drunken appearance. Sister Wang Yu. Chen Fan looked at Wang Yan with a shocked face and said. Wang Yan heard Chen Fan's words and, turned her head and looked at him with a slight smile, gently patted Chen Fan's face and said. Brother, what you just said, sister heard it all. Next time, sister will make sure to put you in your place. Sister still has things to do today, she has to go. Bye bye brother. After saying that, Wang Yan got up and walked out, only leaving an embarrassed Chen Fan dumbfounded in place. When Chen Fan reacted and chased out of the office, Wang Yan had already left in the helicopter. Looking at the helicopter that was already far away, Chen Fan said to himself, so what if I heard it? I'll put you in your place even if I hear it next time. The next day Chen Fan first came to the construction site of the new R&D center. These days on the AI R&D side, a dozen people had already been recruited. Chen Fan's original office was large though, but with a dozen or so desks in it, it was now also very crowded. However, it was good that the new R&D center building was already under construction. The constructor of this new building used an aerial building machine, which could build a floor in an average of four days. According to the current construction progress, it wouldn't take two months before the new R&D center could be put into use. The new R&D center would be ready for use. Chen Fan was quite satisfied with this construction progress. After looking around here, Chen Fan came back to the R&D center. Starting from the first floor, he looked at them one by one. The Due to the precedent of Song Wenbin, everyone in the R&D center was currently energized. A reward of $1 million was not much in Chen Fan's opinion. But for these R&D personnel who only earn an average of six or 7,000 per month, but it was an astronomical amount. Everyone wanted to develop something new on their own projects. Let Chen Fan also give himself some rewards or set up an R&D program. However, it was not an easy task for these projects to develop something useful. After looking around the R&D center, it was already noon. Coming out of the R&D center, Chen Fan just wanted to go back for a nap. He saw several people standing at the entrance of the factory. When he got closer, it was Zhang Suihua and the others. Second uncle, this area is all owned by the Chen family? Zhang Suihua looked at the gas tank factory in the R&D center building next to it, which had undergone a sea change. With a face full of incredulity, she asked. She had only just come out today and heard the people in the village talk about the changes here. At that time, she still could not believe it, so she came with others to see. After coming here, she looked at the gas tank factory, although it was still the original gas tank factory. But now the gas tank factory has long been renovated, cleaned everywhere. Next to it was a 10-story research and development center, and a brand new drone manufacturing center. This made Zhang Suihua unable to believe that she had only gone in for less than a year. The Chen family had actually developed from a gas tank factory that was about to close down to what it was now. Not only this area, including the mountain behind it is also owned by their family. The Chen family has several other factories in other places. I heard that they pay several hundred million dollars in taxes alone every year. Zhang Suewa's entire body was dumbfounded when she heard the man's words. Several hundred million dollars just from paying taxes? Zhang Suihua said with a complicated face. One had to know that before she went in, the Chen family was still one that couldn't even come up with three hundred thousand dollars. It had only been less than a year, and they had actually paid several hundred million dollars in taxes. Zhang Suihua couldn't understand why the Chen family had developed so quickly in such a short period of time. At the same time, in her heart, she began to regret very much that she had not only withdrawn her shares, but also blackmailed the Chun family for money. That's not true. Just one of the original car repair store people in our town, just because of being Chin Fan's agent. All of them are now multi-millionaires. These words were like knives, each word piercing deeply into Zhang Tsuewa's heart. If she hadn't strongly requested to withdraw her shares at that time, and had to blackmail the $300,000 of principal, then now she is at least a billionaire. But because of her own death at that time, the result is that now she is nothing. But the Chen family has become the richest here. Not only that, because the Chen family is doing so well. Those who participated in the withdrawal of shares with themselves at the beginning, seeing the Chen family's current appearance, they all feel that their failure to become billionaires was caused by Zhang Tsuihua. 
If it wasn't for her pulling those people to withdraw their shares, those people wouldn't have become what they are now. That's why those who came out earlier than her are now disconnected from her. Just when Zhang Suewa's intestines were about to break, those people who came with her saw Chen Fan who was walking out of the R&D center. Hey, Chen Fan is here, let's hurry. Since Chen Fan was now no longer on the same level as them, they couldn't hate Chen Fan anymore now. Aha! Zhang Suewa looked deeply at Chen Fan who was not far away and turned around to leave. However, going inside was all Chen Fan's place. If she turned around and walked out, she happened to bump into Chen Fan again. This made Zhang Suihua want to find a place to dig a hole to hide herself in. Chen Fan came out from the R&D center. He also saw Zhang Suihua. Only now she was too lazy to bother with Zhang Suihua. But for people like her, Chen Fan did not want to have any friendship with her either. When he walked up to Zhang Suihua and the others, he briefly greeted them. Aunt Li, Uncle Wang. When Chen Fan saw the embarrassed Zhang Suihua, he also shouted, Aunt Zhang. When Zhang Suihua heard this, she didn't dare to look up at Chen Fan and could only respond in a low voice, Aha! Uh -huh. Chen Fan finished speaking and left. After Chen Fan walked away, Zhang Suihua looked at Chen Fan who was gradually moving away. Her mood was very complicated. Once she had stood high and mighty in front of Chen Fan, unreasonably asking for the $300,000 of capital, now in front of Chen Fan, she didn't even dare to utter a single breath. In the afternoon Chen Fan once again came to the drone R&D center. After a period of research and development, the small drone delivery system had been almost developed. The intelligent courier cabinet had also made a sample. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Chen Fan, Zheng Tianrui and the staff involved in this project all came to the downstairs of the R&D center. They were going to conduct the first test flight of the drone delivery system. There were two key points in drone delivery. One is the prevention of external interference in the delivery process of the drone. One is the interaction process between the intelligent express cabinet and the drone. That is, the drone can accurately put the express box into the express cabinet. The first test was carried out in a perfect situation without any interference, as the entire process was automatically operated by the system. After the test flight started, Chen Fan saw a drone take off from the ground and then directly pull up the height. It flew through the middle of an altitude of more than a hundred meters. This high ground looked like a small dot on the ground and the sound of the drone was very small. If one wasn't paying special attention, they wouldn't hear any sound at all, nor would they see the drone. Due to its close proximity, the drone quickly flew above the courier cabinet and, then it began to land. Accurately put the courier box into the courier cabinet. The whole process was completed in less than 5 minutes. It went very smoothly. The second test flight was carried out under the condition of someone's interference. It was mimicking the landing of a drone, and someone was interfering with the landing process of the drone. An employee was holding a stick next to the courier locker and kept interfering with the drone that was about to land. The drone automatically raises its flight altitude when it detects interference. It maintained a certain distance from the ground and issued a warning. At the same time, an alarm went off on the computer side. The staff turned on the remote video screen to repel the interferer. This test flight was also very successful. The third test flight took place in a simulation of the courier cabinet changing its original position. This time the drone determined the entrance to the express cabinet through the positioning and video of the express cabinet. Accurately put the express box into the express cabinet. The three test flights were very successful. Chen Fan was very satisfied with the result. After the end of the test flight, Chen Fan made a call to Yuan Yongchun. Mr. Yuan, I have good news for you. We have successfully test flown the small drone delivery. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Yuan Yongchun was surprised. He did not expect Chen Fan to be so fast. Originally, he thought that if he wanted to develop this program, it would take at least half a year or more, if not a year. He didn't expect that it had only been less than a month. Chen Fan had already succeeded in the test flight. That's really great mister. Chen, I didn't expect you guys to be so fast. I have the video of the test flight here, so you can see if there are any other functional requirements you can mention to me. If there isn't, you take some time to come over and we'll find another outlet for a field test flight. Good. I'll come over as soon as possible. Yuan Yongchun was very happy, he didn't expect Chen Fan to move so fast. After hanging up the phone, he told Mr. Wang the news. And putting off all other trips, he directly had people purchase air tickets and came to the city. The next day Chen Fan met Yuan Yongchun. Chen Fan was also a bit surprised that Yuan Yongchun came so quickly. Chen Fan was also a bit surprised. Mr. Yuan, I thought it would take a while for you to come. Ha, huh, your old brother is moving so fast, so of course I have to be faster too. There was a reason why Yuan Yongchun came over in such a hurry. This project was originally led by him, and he also wanted to make achievements as soon as possible. Then I'll make some arrangements, let's use the outlets in our town as a pilot, 
Let's have them first have them go over and set up the machines today. Tomorrow we'll go to the site to see the results. When Chen Fan finished speaking, Yuan Yangchun immediately said, Good. Just as the two were talking, Chen Fan's cell phone rang. Taking it out, he saw that it was Chao Jinjun calling. Brother Chao, your call came at a really good time. If you didn't call me, I was thinking of calling you later. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Xiao Jianjiang asked with some surprise. What's wrong? Mr. Yuan is here. The system I developed for him for small drone delivery will be tested tomorrow. I wanted to invite you to come along and take a look. Oh, it's done so quickly. You kid moves pretty fast. Xiao Jianjiang knew about Chen Fan and Yuan Yangchuan's cooperation. Only he didn't expect Chen Fan's side to move so fast. It's alright, we already had the manipulation system in place. Just need to change it. Right, did you call me if there's a letter from the supercomputer side? Xiao Jianjiang nodded and said, you kid is lucky. There was a company that ordered a Tianha 2 before, but now they don't want it. I got it for you. That's great. With the addition of the two supercomputers, Chen Fan's side could train the AI hundreds of times faster. Then I'll contact the Dynasty Science University side tomorrow, and we'll go there together tomorrow. Sign the contract together. Chen Fan said joyfully, that would be great. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan told Yuan Yongchun about Chao Jianzhang coming here tomorrow. Yuan Yongchun sighed after hearing this and said, Old Chao this guy, usually when I call out to him he shirks all sorts of things. I didn't expect him to come as soon as you shouted. Chen Fan said with a smile, the main thing is that he needs to come to me tomorrow as well. Chen Fan, can't you reveal those projects at all? Yuan Yongchun was very curious as to what exactly Chen Fan had developed here that would even be seen by Dynasty, and it was still so secretive. Chen Fan smiled and said, I can't really say this for now, regardless of whether it was the blocking cable or the invisible spray paint. Dynasty did not disclose it at the moment. Chen Fan naturally couldn't say either. Seeing that Chen Fan still refused to say, Yuan Yongchun naturally couldn't continue to ask. Originally, he was simply curious. Since there was no specific arrangement today, after Yuan Yongchun arrived, after looking at the development of the large drones with Chen Fan, he then chatted with Chen Fan in his office. As people from the Grand Xia Dynasty, almost all of them were very interested in the military. Yuan Yongchun was no exception. As the two chatted in the office, they came to the war in the Middle East. The resistance organizations over in Canaan in the Middle East are all ruthless too. I read the reports on the internet, they even used gas canisters converted into bombs to fight the Israeli army. How do you think they came up with the idea of converting gas canisters into bombs? The person who came up with this idea is truly a genius, so awesome. Hearing Yuan Yongchun say this, Chen Fan's face looked a little odd. He thought to himself, bullshit ah. I was trying to make them understand that gas canisters can be converted into bombs. How much effort did I go through? It's almost as if I told them directly. Hmm. It's really awesome. Yuan Yongchun said in a serious manner. Chen Fan could only concur. Also, I saw on the news that recently, the Great Eagle Dynasty, the Sunless Dynasty and the White Elephant Dynasty seem to have had fighter jets crash into the sea. Are you saying that this incident is a coincidence? Chen Fan froze, somewhat speechless, thinking to himself that you don't talk about so many international events. Why did you pick the one I was involved in to say? This should be. Hearing Chen Fan say yes, Yuan Yongchun, however, shook his head and said, I feel sure it's not. Now if it's a coincidence, it's impossible for so many fighters to crash into the sea at the same time in such a short period of time. Then what do you think is the reason? Yuan Yongchun said after thinking for a while. I don't think it should be a problem with the fighter planes. Fighter planes are used differently by each dynasty. It's impossible for all of them to have problems at the same time. Then what is the problem? The blocking cables. When he heard Yuan Yongchun say blocking cables, Chen Fan was shocked. Why is it the blocking cable? Because the only two dynasties that still have the ability to build blocking cables are the Great Eagle Dynasty and the False Dynasty. Any other dynasty that wants a blocking cable has to buy it from these two dynasties. There's no need to mention the False Dynasty, those dynasties won't look for him to buy it, and he won't sell it either. So it's very likely that there's a problem with these blocking cables made by the Great Eagle Dynasty. The more Chen Fan listened, the more alarmed he became. Although Yuan Yongchun did not know the truth. However, his own guess was not too far from the truth. The Great Eagle Dynasty is the capital that controls everything, and will do anything to save money. But this time, it's obviously gone a bit too far. Even their own dynasty dares to pit, this is not wanting to live. It's reasonable to say that they wouldn't do something so out of the ordinary unless these blocking cords weren't built by them. But such an important thing, if they didn't build it themselves, who would they look for? Just as Yuan Yongchun was meditating, a letter carrier came in outside the door. Which one is Mr. Chen Fan? I am Chen Fan. Chen Fan stood up and walked to the postman and asked, what's the matter? 
Here's a piece of mail for you, said the postman as he took out an international courier and brought it over, all of which was in Great Eagle Dynasty script. The address of the drop was written as Velka Steel Cord Company. Okay, thanks. After signing, Chen Fan took the courier and opened it. Inside was a letter and an indictment. Opening the letter and taking a look at it, the content inside was written in a very angry manner. Writing Chen Fan as a liar. Giving them steel rope ropes of substandard quality had caused them huge losses. Demanding Chen Fan to compensate them with 4 billion Great Eagle Dynasty coins. There was also an indictment in the back that demanded Chen Fan to appear at the Great Eagle Dynasty to answer the lawsuit. Yuan Yongchun sat opposite Chen Fan. Although he did not see the specific content of the letter and indictment, but also saw the indictment. Why is Mr. Chen in trouble abroad? Yuan Yongchun asked when he saw the indictment in Chen Fan's hand. Chen Fan laughed and said, it's not a big deal. We have a professional team of overseas lawyers, I can provide help if you need it. No need, let them sue if they want to. Anyway, I'm within the dynasty, it's unlikely that they'll come to arrest me. Chen Fan knew that it was impossible for him to travel to the Great Eagle Dynasty to answer the lawsuit. Otherwise, with that virtue of theirs, as long as he went there, they would have a hundred ways to not let themselves come back. There was also a compensation of four billion dollars, Chen Fan did not intend to give them a single cent. Yuan Yongchun did not expect Chen Fan to say this. Originally, he felt that Chen Fan was a very upright person. Even when he encountered problems, he would not hide from them. But now it seemed that he might have been a bit blind before. So he began to think in his heart whether he should reconsider the cooperation with Chen Fan carefully. After all, in his opinion, no matter what Chen Fan encountered in other dynasties, it shouldn't be treated with such an attitude. Now that Chen Fan had said something like this, it made him feel that Chen Fan was somewhat not keeping his word. Yuan Yongchun did not want to work with such a person. After briefly saying a few more words to Chen Fan, Yuan Yongchun got up and left to go back to the hotel. As soon as he returned to the hotel, Yuan Yongchun immediately made a call to Chao Jianzheng. Old Chao, I think you're wrong about Chen Fan. Chao Jianzheng didn't know what had happened, so he asked, what's wrong? In the afternoon Chen Fan received an indictment that seems to be from Great Eagle Dynasty. I thought that our company has a team of overseas lawyers who want to help him. Do you know what he said? What did it say? He said, let them sue if they want to, they won't be able to come to Dasha Dynasty to arrest him anyway. Look at this, is this what a trustworthy entrepreneur should say? How can such a person who doesn't keep his word be a good entrepreneur? If he really is such a person, then my cooperation with him must be terminated. Although Chao Jianzhang didn't know what that indictment was about. But when he heard Yuan Yongchen say that he wanted to terminate his cooperation with Chen Fan. Immediately, he said, old Yuan, Chen Fan is definitely not that kind of person. Wait for a moment, I'll give him a call and ask. After hanging up the phone, Yuan Yongchun immediately called Chen Fan over. Chen Fan, you received an indictment from a Great Eagle Dynasty today? Chen Fan asked curiously, yeah, how did you know? Old Yuan called me and said that his attempt to help you was rejected by you. It also said that not only do you not intend to answer the lawsuit, but you even said that it's impossible for them to come to the Dasha Dynasty to arrest you. What the hell is going on here? If you don't tell me clearly, old Yuan's side might have to stop cooperating with you. Ah. Chen Fan was a bit surprised, he didn't expect things to turn so serious. Isn't this still about that blocking rope thing from before? Velka sued me, saying that I provided them with wire ropes of substandard quality. It caused huge losses and made us compensate them 4 billion dollars. Do you think it's possible for me to go to the Great Eagle Dynasty to answer the lawsuit? Hearing Chen Fan's explanation, Xiao Jianzheng laughed out at once, ha, huh, so that's how it is. It's true that you can't go to answer the lawsuit. This Velka company is also, this kind of dark loss is eaten. Why is it still thinking of suing you? By the way, the leaders above know about this. They are all very happy. The matter of the blocking cable will be publicized in no time. You don't have to worry about this matter. I'll explain it to old Yuan. Then I'll work hard for you. A few minutes later, Xiao Jianzhang called Yuan Yongchun back again. Did old Xiao ask clearly? Yes, you really wronged Chen Fan in this matter. Ah, I wronged him? I heard it with my own ears, how could I have wronged him? I think you were fooled by him. Yuan Yongchun felt that those words just now were what he had heard Chen Fan say himself. It was impossible to be wrong. Xiao Jianzhang was the one who was fooled by Chen Fan. On the contrary, Chen Fan had fooled Xiao Jianzhang so quickly. This made Yuan Yongchun feel that Chen Fan was too powerful a person. He was able to clear his name in such a matter. Such a person could not be dealt with in Yuan Yongchun's opinion. Even more so, he could not cooperate. Xiao Jianzhang saw that Yuan Yongchun did not believe his words at all. After thinking for a moment. Anyway, the matter of the Grand Xia Dynasty possessing the blocking cable would soon be made public. So he was prepared to reveal a little bit to him. Old Yuan, to tell you the truth. 
I know about Chen Fan's cooperation with other dynasties, and it's not just me who knows about this matter, the dynasties know about it as well. Hearing Chao Jinzhan's words, Yuan Yongchun was a little confused. He felt that Chao Jinzhan's words were a bit too exaggerated. Chen Fan that was just a private enterprise. Even if he was doing business with companies from other dynasties, there was no way he could have alarmed the Grand Xia dynasty. Old Xiao, I know you like Chen Fan a lot, but there's no need to tell such lies just to help him. I didn't help him, I'm telling the truth. Seeing that Yuan Yongchun couldn't listen to his explanation at all. Xiao Jinjiang added, have you watched the news lately? What news? The news about the Great Eagle Dynasty, Sunset Dynasty and White Elephant Dynasty's fighter jets crashing into the sea. Yuan Yongchun didn't understand why a nice Chao Jinjiang would mention this matter. I know, but what does this have to do with Chen Fan? You, you're such a pig brain. Chao Jinjiang felt that he had hinted very clearly, but Yuan Yongchun simply couldn't understand the meaning of his words. Hey, old Chao, why are you still cursing? Chao Jinjiang said angrily, you're just a pig brain, I've already told you everything that needs to be said. You can figure out the rest on your own. Also I'll tell you, if you cancel the cooperation with Chen Fan, you're the one who loses out. After saying that, Xiao Jianzhang directly hung up the phone. Yuan Yongchun was puzzled. He had known Xiao Jianzhang for so many years. He had never spoken to him in such a tone. But today, he spoke in such an unclear tone. He also hung up the phone directly and let himself think about it. After putting down the phone, Yuan Yongchun felt that just now Xiao Jianzhang's attitude towards himself. He doesn't seem to be lying. But what exactly does this have to do with Chen Fan? Yuan Yongchun couldn't figure it out, so he began to carefully recall Xiao Jinzhan's words just now, and he saw that indictment at Chen Fan's place earlier. After thinking about it for half a day, he couldn't come up with. Xiao Jinzhan's words about the carrier fighter jet crashing into the sea had anything to do with Chen Fan being indicted. However, he did remember that Chen Fan's letter had a symbol on it. So he picked up his laptop and started searching for the logo on the internet. Soon he found the source of the logo. It was a logo from a company called Velka. Then Yuan Yongchun started searching for this Vilka company again. It was only when he looked at it that he realized that this Vilka company. Surprisingly, it was the world's largest manufacturer of steel wire ropes. It is the largest manufacturer of wire rope in the world, and it is also the manufacturer of the carrier blocking cable of the Great Eagle Dynasty. Seeing this a thought that shocked Yuan Yongchun appeared in his mind. Fighter plane crashed into the sea, Velka Corporation, indictment. Holy shit. Yuan Yongchun stood up from the bed at once. Now he finally understood why Chen Fan didn't care about that indictment. Even more so, he was unwilling to go to the Great Eagle Dynasty to answer the indictment. It turned out to be that the Great Eagle Dynasty's blocking cable was actually produced by Chen Fan. No wonder Chao Jinjiang valued Chen Fan so much. No wonder Chen Fan's R&D center was kept secret from the public. No wonder security checks are required to get in there. No wonder. In a row, he thought countless no wonder in his mind. But if the carrier blocking cable was produced by Chen Fan, these hard weirdnesses became normal all of a sudden. At this time, Yuan Yongchun's mood was very excited. As a military fan, being able to see the Great Eagle Dynasty's fighter jet crash into the sea, and it was still because of Chen Fan, he was very happy in his heart. Glancing at the time, it was already more than 8 o'clock in the evening. Yuan Yongchun couldn't care less about the late hour. He directly went out and took a taxi to Chen Fan's place. As soon as he entered the door, he saw Chen Fan sitting in front of the computer, not knowing what he was looking at. From time to time, he was still typing rapidly on the keyboard. Seeing Yuan Yongchun come, Chen Fan was very surprised. Mr. Yuan, why are you here? Yuan Yongchun looked at Chen Fan and said, Mr. Chen, tell me the truth, did you sell the Great Eagle Dynasty's blocking cable to them? Chen Fan froze, Brother Chiao told you? Seeing that Chen Fan did not object, Yuan Yongchun immediately understood. His own speculations just now were all true. No, it was my own guess. But don't worry, I definitely won't tell anyone else about this matter. Chen Fan, guessed? You're already very impressive if you can guess that it's a problem with the blocking cable. But how did you guess this kind of thing on me? Chen Fan was puzzled, this kind of thing that was ostensibly not even close to him. Yuan Yongchun was actually able to guess on himself. In the afternoon originally I told old Joe that I don't want to work with you anymore. Speaking here Yuan Yongchun gave Chen Fan an awkward look. Realizing that he had an expression that he already knew, he explained. Because at that time, I felt that you were a bit irresponsible, and since you dared to pit the other dynasties, there was a possibility that you would pit me in the future. That's why I didn't want to cooperate with you. But after I told old Joe about this matter, old Joe said that he knew about this matter, and so did the dynasty, and asked me if I knew about the news about those warplanes crashing into the sea. Finally let me think for myself. I think I guessed it just a little bit. 
After hearing Yuan Yangchuan's explanation, Chen Fan stopped hiding it. Yes, the batch of blocking cables sold to the Great Eagle Dynasty were made by my factory, but I can't figure out why he would ask your factory to do it? And this technology is so difficult, how could that steel factory of yours have such technology? This, Chen Fan was a little hesitant to tell him. Seeing that Chen Fan was a little hesitant Yuan Yongchun immediately realized that he had asked a question that he shouldn't have asked. Sorry, I was too excited. This belongs to confidentiality I know. Then what are you going to do next? Didn't I say? I am not going to go to the Great Eagle Dynasty. They can sue if they like. I don't have any assets in the Great Eagle Dynasty anyway, so there's nothing they can do to me. Yuan Yongchun nodded and said, that's a solution. But if you really don't care, then even if you don't go to the Great Eagle Dynasty in the future, you won't go to any other dynasties? Hearing Yuan Yongchun say this, Chen Fan's face also began to look solemn. He was right, even if he didn't go to the Great Eagle Dynasty in the future. But as long as they determined that he was at fault, if one needs to pay compensation or even needs to go to jail, even if one went to other dynasties there was a possibility that one would be like him as Meng from another company in the Great Summer Dynasty before getting caught through other dynasties and then in extradition. In that case, one would not be able to overturn the case even if one wanted to. You have a point. But I'm worried that if I go, I might not be able to come back. You know this isn't like a problem with the blocking ropes. There were also those fighter jets that crashed into the sea. And the issue of the Great Eagle Dynasty's face. This was like on the field of advanced technology that the Great Eagle Dynasty was proud of. It's a slap in the face. It would be strange if they could come back in one piece. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Yuan Yongchen nodded and said, Indeed, with that virtue of the Great Eagle Dynasty, they are indeed capable of doing such a thing. For your safety it's better not to go. The big deal is that you can just stay in the Great Eagle Dynasty all the time and not go out. After Yuan Yongchen finished speaking, he had thought that Chen Fan would agree with this suggestion of his. But he didn't expect Chen Fan to shake his head once. No, I want to go. You're right, it's impossible for me to just stay in the Grand Xia Dynasty for the rest of my life without going out. Besides, if I don't go and participate, then they can say whatever they want. If they convict me, not only will it affect my travel and safety, but it might also cause unnecessary trouble for the Grand Xia Dynasty. Yuan Yongchun froze and said, but if you go, you might not be alive. Chen Fan said with a smile, that's not necessarily true. I already have a rough plan in mind, I'll mull it over. Tomorrow I'll go to Yinjing. Yuan Yongchun looked at Chen Fan with mixed feelings in his heart. Alright, since you've decided, no matter what you do, I'll support you. I will be obliged to help if I need to. Chen Fan nodded and said, then thank you in advance. The two people chatted here for a while longer. Originally, Yuan Yongchun still wanted to go back to the hotel. But when he looked at the time it was surprisingly already past 12. Chen Fan then didn't let him go back. Early the next morning Chen Fan left Lin Chang with the indictment of Velka Corporation. 10 o'clock in the morning. Cheng Tianrui brought the staff from the R&D center to the courier point to meet up with Yuan Yongchun and the others. The people Yuan Yongchun brought saw that only one project leader had come from Chen Fan's side. Chen Fan did not come. Somewhat unhappy, he said. Mr. Yuan, we have such a big cooperation, but Chen Fan didn't come, isn't this a bit too much to look down on us? Hearing the words of the staff around him, Yuan Yongchun looked at the crowd for a while, and sure enough, he did not see Chen Fan's figure. He knew that Chen Fan had already gone to Yanjing. The matter of the drone test was big though, but it was much smaller compared to the matter he was going to attend to. Chen Fan already told me last night that he has something important to go do today. What important thing could he have? Is it bigger than the matter of signing a contract with us? I think he just doesn't have us in his sights. Seeing the employees around him, they kept trying to smear Chen Fan. Yuan Yongchun was a bit angry and said, Don't talk about this matter, I already know all about it. Watch the drone test. The staff member was about to say something else, but it turned out that Yuan Yongchun had already left. Mr. Chang, how are the preparations going? Mr. Yuan is all ready. It can be tested at any time. Hearing Cheng Tianrui say that, Yuan Yangchen nodded and said, then let's get started. When he finished speaking, he saw a staff member of the courier store, start sorting and loading the courier into different courier boxes. Cheng Tianrui explained from the side. The first step of the drone delivery is that you need to load the expresses from each area into different express boxes respectively. After it's loaded, the courier boxes can be mounted onto the drone. At this time the drone will choose the nearest smart courier cabinet based on the address on the courier order. Then it takes off for the courier cabinet. After he Chang Tianrui finished speaking, by this time the courier had already loaded the courier into different courier boxes respectively. After one courier box was filled, he mounted the courier box on the drone. Then that drone took off. Let's go, let's take a look. Since this one was a test, there was only one location that this drone was traveling to. 
So Yuan Yongchun got on the car and they started to head to the location where the express locker was. On the way Yuan Yongchun also looked up at the drone in the sky from time to time. As the drone was flying very fast in the sky. Although Yuan Yongchun and the others had tried their best to catch up, they were still much slower than the drone. But they were still much slower than the drone. When they drove to the courier cabinet, the drone had already arrived long ago. However, in order for Yuan Yongchun to see the drone landing, the drone was still hovering in the sky at this time. Only after Yuan Yongchun got off their car did the drone in the sky begin to slowly land. When the drone landed about half a meter above the courier cabinet, a door opened on the courier cabinet. The entire drone landed inside the door. Half a minute later, the door on the courier cabinet opened again. The drone flew out of it and lifted off. The whole process took less than two minutes. Seeing the entire process of the drone landing, Yuan Yongchun was very satisfied. Now let's simulate the pickup. Saying this, Cheng Tianrui came to the courier cabinet and took out the QR code in his cell phone and swept it. A small door popped up on the courier cabinet, and inside was a small drawer-like box. Cheng Tianrui pulled out the box and took out his own express. This express locker can not only scan the code and enter numbers, but also swipe your face and use NFC. Of course this needs to be bound in advance. For now swiping your face and using NPC is the fastest way to pick up a shipment. But this function needs to be promoted. As he spoke, Cheng Tianrui tested the face swipe and NPC function once more. Face swiping was iris verification through the camera. NPC was a function of the cell phone, just like a cell access card, it could be automatically recognized as long as it was close. After demonstrating all the ways of picking up the items, Cheng Tianrui handed the cell phone to Yuan Yongchun and asked, Mr. Yuan, do you want to try? Yuan Yongchun took the phone and tried it. It feels pretty good. Then have you guys calculated how much the cost is going to be able to save over labor? Our standard set of programs is $300,000 with 15 drones. If more drones are needed, they can also be added separately in the program. If we calculate based on 15 drones for one courier point, 5 couriers, with a salary of $8,000 each, then the annual cost of delivering couriers by hand would need to be $480,000. You can save $180,000 in the first year. As far as I know currently in the entire dynasty you have over 12,000 courier points. If you calculate it like this, you can save $2 billion in the first year. Subsequently, only maintenance costs are needed. At least 3 to 5 billion can be saved at the moment. Hearing Cheng Tianrui's words, Yuan Yongchun was very surprised in his heart. It was important to realize that right now, their annual net profit was only about $6 billion. If the drone delivery could really be as Cheng Tianrui said, then their annual net profit would exceed 10 billion. Not bad, bring me the price of your program. Go back and I'll discuss it with Mr. One. Okay. Yuan Yongchun was very satisfied with the results of this trial. If Chen Fan was still here, he would have to have a good drink with Chen Fan. But now Chen Fan wasn't here, he left directly after lunch. On the other hand, Chen Fan had just arrived outside the main gate of the military department. Someone had been waiting for him here for a long time. Seeing Chen Fan getting down from the car, the secretary of the commander-in-chief of the military ministry immediately came over and said, Mr. Chen, please follow me to the lounge first, the commander-in-chief is having a meeting. I'll take you to see the commander-in-chief later. Tough. Chen Fan followed him to a lounge within the military headquarters building. After about an hour or so, the commander-in-chief of the military department walked in from outside. Little Chen, have you waited long? The commander-in-chief spoke and came to sit on the sofa beside Chen Fan. No, I'm already very happy that you're so busy that you can find time to see me. You kid, hurry up and say what's going on, I have a meeting in a while. Recently the Great Eagle Dynasty that suffered a loss on your kid, Every day they come to our coast to look for trouble. The most direct reason for the Great Eagle Dynasty's fighters crashing into the sea was that the blocking cables Chen Fan gave them had quality problems. But they didn't have the face to say this kind of thing publicly. After all, if they said that the blocking cables on their carriers were purchased from the Great Eagle Dynasty, then they would become an international joke. So they could only keep provoking and taking offense at the coast of the Grand Xia Dynasty. Chen Fan had also thought about this outcome. However, this was a matter between dynasties, and he, a small civilian, could not participate at all. Commander-in-chief, I'm also here in relation to the matter of the blocking rope. Saying this Chen Fan took out the indictment that Vilka Corporation had sent him. Vilka Corporation, the same company that purchased the blocking ropes from me, indicted me in the Great Eagle Dynasty. Hearing Chen Fan's words, the commander of the military ministry took the indictment and read it. Oomph, how do they still have the face to sue you? After reading the contents of the indictment, the Commander-in-chief of the military ministry looked at Chen Fan and asked, You want Dynasty to help you suppress this matter? 
The commander-in-chief of the military ministry knew that the Great Eagle Dynasty was definitely behind this matter. If Qin Fan really went, he would most likely be detained or even tried by them. Therefore, the commander-in-chief of the military ministry thought that Chen Fan was trying to get the Great Summer Dynasty to step in and communicate with the Great Eagle Dynasty about this matter. Chen Fan shook his head and said, No, I want to go answer the lawsuit. Hearing Chen Fan say that he wanted to answer the lawsuit, the commander-in-chief of the military ministry slapped the indictment on the sofa. No way. Chen Fan, you don't understand the virtues of those people from the Great Eagle Dynasty. You made their fighter jet crash into the sea, losing three to four billion dollars, and losing an adult. There's no way he'll let you off easily. Chen Fan nodded and said, I know. Then you're still going? Chen Fan said firmly, Commander-in-Chief, I must go. If I don't go, I don't know what kind of offense they will press on me. If I let them convict me, then in the future, even if I don't go to the Great Eagle Dynasty, they will also arrest me through other dynasties. And if I don't go, they will definitely think that the dynasty instructed me to do this. At that time, the Wao de Xia Dynasty will be facing a huge pressure from the Great Eagle Dynasty and those allies. So why don't I go and answer the lawsuit? There's a chance that there will be a different outcome that way. Chen Fan's words made the commander-in-chief of the military department very moved. He didn't expect that it was already this time, Chen Fan actually wanted to not add pressure to the dynasty. Chen Fan, have you thought about it, if you're going to go, it's a nine deaths in one life. If there isn't a foolproof plan, I think it's better for you not to go. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Commander-in-Chief, I have thought of a plan, but this plan needs the help of the dynasty. What program, tell me. Now that Vilka wants to sue me, it's nothing more than wanting to dump the carrier blocking cable issue on me. To give an explanation to the Great Eagle Dynasty as well as the Sunset Dynasty and the White Elephant Dynasty. However, when they signed the contract with me, there was no such item as a blocking cable in the contract. Hearing Chen Fan's words, the eyes of the Commander-in-Chief of the Military Ministry lit up and asked. Then what was in the contract you signed at that time? It was the wire rope ropes. The wire rope that they used for the airport fence. And there was no requirement in the contract for the specifications that the wire rope was made of. The wire rope we gave them was almost as good as a stopper. But as wire rope for airport fences, it's definitely enough. But in terms of quality, it definitely exceeds international standards. As soon as Chen Fan finished saying this, the commander-in-chief of the military department directly laughed out loud. These past few days, the Great Eagle Dynasty had been pressurizing the Great Summer Dynasty in all aspects. The commander-in-chief of the military ministry had been frowning every day. But now hearing this news from Chen Fan, all of a sudden, the unhappiness in the heart of those previous days was removed. If that's the case, then we have a legal footing in this matter. However, said the commander-in-chief of the military ministry as he began to frown again. But if you go to the Great Eagle Dynasty to answer the lawsuit, I'm worried that they'll operate in the dark. At that time, even if you are justified, they can still convict you. Chen Fan nodded and said, yes, that's what I'm worried about. That's why I came up with an idea so that they won't dare to convict me recklessly. What idea? A global live broadcast of the court session. What global broadcast? The commander-in-chief of the military department was a little confused as to what Chen Fan meant. Yes, it's a global live broadcast. They are suing me for nothing more than wanting to dump the blame on me. If everyone doesn't know about it, then they can convict me all they want. But if the whole world is watching this, they'll have to weigh their options if they want to pin it on me. After all, people from other dynasties aren't fools either. After the commander-in-chief of the military department, Chen Fan Chen Fan's plan, did not speak. Instead, he gently knocked on the sofa with one hand on the sofa, mentally calculating the feasibility of Chen Fan's plan. After four or five minutes, the commander-in-chief of the military department shook his head and said, No, this is too risky. The people of the Great Eagle Dynasty can do anything. Even if you're not wrong, there's still a chance that they'll put a charge on you. Hearing the words of the commander-in-chief of the military department, Chen Fan smiled bitterly. Commander-in-chief, I also know that they dare to do that. But if they really dare to do so in front of the whole world, then they would be shameless under the eyes of the whole world. This would be a good thing for the Grand Xia Dynasty. The military commander nodded his head and said, this is indeed a good thing for the dynasty, but not for you. I want to bet on it. I bet they wouldn't dare. The commander-in-chief of the military department shook his head and said, No, it's too risky to do so. Commander-in-chief, I've been to the Middle East, to Canaan. I know how important the strength of a dynasty is to ordinary people. If I can use my power to exchange for the world's awareness of the true nature of the Great Eagle Dynasty, I think it's worth it. Besides, I won't just be honestly captured by them. Before I go, I also want to use the dynasty's power to build up my momentum. Let everyone know about this. The more people who know about it, the more they won't dare to do anything to me easily.
Commander-in-Chief, believe me, the current Great Eagle Dynasty definitely wouldn't dare to do anything to me because of this matter. You already decided before you came? Hearing Chen Fan's words, the Commander-in-Chief of the Military Department looked at Chen Fan and asked seriously. Yes. How do you need us to cooperate with you? Announce the matter of the blocking rope and say that it was accidentally known that I can produce it here. Yes, the matter of the blocking cable was going to be announced as well. Anything else? Give me more exposure. No problem. What else? That's all for now I'll figure out the rest myself. Seeing that Chen Fan no longer had any more requests, the, the commander-in-chief of the military ministry rushed to the door and shouted, Jang Wen, come in for a moment. After the commander-in-chief of the military department finished speaking, a young man wearing a military uniform and not very tall came in through the door. This is Chen Fan, from today onwards, you and Bian Mei will be his bodyguards until he returns from the Great Eagle Dynasty. Li Jiangwen glanced at Chen Fan, his eyes filled with doubt, but still said, yes, commander-in-chief this is. Chen Fan saw that the commander-in-chief of the military ministry had arranged a bodyguard for himself and asked in confusion, little Chen, it is very dangerous for you to go to the Great Eagle Dynasty. Jiang Wen is my personal bodyguard, his hands are very good, I feel relieved to have him to protect you. Commander-in-chief, no need, I can protect myself. How would Chen Fan dare to take the commander-in-chief's personal bodyguard? However, the commander-in-chief of the military department said straight and unquestionably, this matter is settled. This time you've done the dynasty a great favor, the dynasty can't watch you go deeper into danger. After saying that, the commander-in-chief of the military department, then directly stood up and said, I still have to go to a meeting, in the future, if there is anything that needs dynasty's help, just tell Jiang Wen directly. After saying that, the commander-in-chief of the military ministry directly walked out. After he had left, Chen Fan looked at Li Jiangwen and thought to himself that the commander-in-chief of the military department was really giving himself face. Surprisingly, he left his own personal bodyguard for himself to come. Hello, I am Chen Fan. I'll be working hard for you from now on. Hello, my name is Li Jiangwen. You can call me Jiangwen. That's what the commander-in-chief called me. I wouldn't dare to do so, in terms of age you should be older than me. From now on I'll call you brotherly. Whatever. Coming out of the lounge, a woman in her twenties was already at the door waiting for them to arrive. Mr. Chen, this is Bian Mei, also the leader's bodyguard. From now on, the two of us will be responsible for your safety. Chen Fan looked at Bian Mei and extended his hand. Hello, I'm Chen Fan I'll be working hard for you guys from now on. This is our part of the job. Bian Mei was also surprised. Chen Fan looked like an ordinary person. The commander-in-chief had actually asked her and Li Jiangwen to protect Chen Fan together. Glancing at Li Jiangwen, who was standing beside Chen Fan, Li Jiangwen gently shook his head indicating that he did not know why this was. On the way back, Li Jiangwen drove. Bian Mei sat on the passenger side. Chen Fan sat in the back and started to make phone calls to make arrangements. First Chen Fan called Yuan Yongchun. Brother Yuan, are you still satisfied with the results of the drone test? Yuan Yongchun was a bit surprised to receive Chen Fan's call, but still answered. Very satisfied, are you done with things over there? Well, I'm on my way back. I want to ask you, is there anyone you know from the other dynasty large media? Yes, do you need me to contact them? Yuan Yongchun knew that Chen Fan had gotten the dynasty's consent for this. Well, try to find some neutral media, the more the more. Good. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan made another call to Wang Kaixian. Brother Wang, I'm going out in a few days, I'll leave the family matters to you. No problem, where are you going? Wang Kaixian didn't know about Chen Fan being sued by Velka. Chen Fan talked about the matter in general. After hearing this, Wang Kaixian immediately said, Brother, listen to me, you can't go. Brother Wang, this has already been decided, you don't need to persuade me anymore, help me take care of my home. Home you can rest assured, just you. Brother Wang, help me contact the news bloggers within the dynasty, those who can contact other dynasties are fine, the more the more. Wang Kaixian was about to say something else before he was directly interrupted by Chen Fan. Also use my identity information again to register accounts and authenticate on all social platforms. Also find someone to shoot a promotional video about our factory. Inside, we need to walk the blocking ropes and wire ropes. Originally, Wang Kaixian wanted to persuade Chen Fan. After all, it was too dangerous to go to Great Eagle Dynasty. But Chen Fan didn't give him a chance to speak at all. He directly arranged the work for him. Seeing this, Wang Kaixian could only agree. Good, I'll find someone to do it. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan made another call to Chao Jianjiang. Brother Chao, do you recognize Mr. Luo Xian Luo? Chao Jianjiang didn't understand why Chen Fan suddenly asked him. Still, he said, recognize, why, do you have a case to find him for a lawsuit? Well, give me his contact information for a moment, I want to go and look for him for a moment now. He's right here at Spectacle Politics and Law Jurisprudence. I'll make a call to him right now. Good. 
I'm not even out of Yinjing here, so I'll go over right away. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan said to Li Jiangwen who was driving, Brother Li go find Mr. Luo. Good. Half an hour later, Chen Fan arrived at the school where Mr. Luo was. Then he gave him a call and came to his office to look for him. Teacher Luo, hello, I'm Chen Fan who called you just now. Mr. Luo looked at Chen Fan, looked him up and down and said, Hello, I heard old Joe say that you have a lawsuit that you want to find me? Aha! I teach criminal law, you didn't make a mistake in this area, did you? Chen Fan waved his hand and said, No, I have a case from another dynasty. Hearing Chen Fan say it was a foreign case, Mr. Luo said with a face full of confusion. I'm not very familiar with foreign laws, you should go find a lawyer from another dynasty. Chen Fan shook his head and said, I can't trust lawyers from other dynasties. And this matter is of great importance, besides you I can't think of anyone I can trust. Hmm. Teacher Luo frowned, wondering what kind of case it was that could make Chen Fan speak so exaggeratedly. What exactly is the case, tell me. Chen Fan said with a somewhat awkward smile, Teacher Luo, this matter is a long story, why don't we sit down and talk first? Hearing Chen Fan say this, in this, Luo nodded and said, well, but I still have one more class later, so you have to make it short. Okay, mister. Luo have you recently watched that news about the Great Eagle Dynasty fighter jet crashing into the sea? Teacher Luo nodded and said, I watched it ah, it said that it was caused by the pilot's mishandling. Chen Fan shook his head and said, actually, it wasn't pilot operator error that caused it, it was the quality of their blocking cables. Listening to Chen Fan's words, Mr. Luo was puzzled and thought, I'm not asking you to talk about the case. Why are you pulling up the matter of the Great Eagle Dynasty carrier fighters crashing into the sea with me? If you don't have anything to do, I'll go to class. After saying that, Mr. Luo was very angry and stood up to go out. I built that blocking cable. Teacher Luo, whose hand was already on the doorknob, after hearing Chen Fan's words, he was directly fixed. As if he didn't understand the meaning of Chen Fan's words, he turned his head to look at him and asked, What did you say? I said that I did that blocking cable. You made it? Are you kidding me? Despite his words, Mr. Luo had already turned around and returned. It's true, if you don't believe me you can watch the news in the next few days, my factory is called 100 Years Industry. There should be a relevant report in the next few days. After Chen Fan finished speaking, Mr. Luo stared at him for half a day, finding that he didn't seem to be lying. So, he sat back down on the sofa he was on before. What's going on, tell me specifically. The matter is like this. Chen Fan told teacher Luo about the matter of the Great Eagle Dynasty Vilka Company looking for him to customize their blocking cables, as well as the fact that he had gotten them a batch of products with substandard quality, one by one. After Mr. Luo heard this, his entire body was dumbfounded. He didn't expect such a dog-blooded plot to be true. So they want to sue you for their losses? Chen Fan nodded and said, compensation is only one aspect, I feel that they mainly want to dump the pot on me. Otherwise they have no way to explain to those allies of the Great Eagle Dynasty. After hearing this, teacher Luo nodded and said, indeed there is no way to explain. However, I really am not very familiar with the laws of the Great Eagle Dynasty. This was something Chen Fan knew, but he felt that Mr. Luo's ability was not only great in legal debates, it was mainly because of his logical ability. This matter, although Chen Fan himself had no fault, the Great Eagle Dynasty would definitely find a way to convict him. The reason for looking for teacher Luo was that he wanted to have him help him to be in a favorable position logically. Teacher Luo, if they sue normally, they will definitely lose. But if some odd reason is used to try to fix me, you've seen a lot of things, you can definitely help me. Hearing Chen Fan's words, Mr. Luo thought for a moment and said, All right, when are you going to go to the Great Eagle Dynasty? The indictment says half a month later. We need to go there three or four days in advance. Good. Seeing that Teacher Luo had agreed, a big stone in Chen Fan's heart fell. After leaving from Teacher Luo's place, the, on the way back to Lin Chang, Chen Fan made a call to Wang Yan. Sister Wang, do you have any lawyers in the dark net? Yes, why? Do you want to use it? Well, I need to go to Great Eagle Dynasty for a lawsuit in a few days. Can you lend me your lawyer there for a few days? I can't trust the lawyers of the Great Eagle Dynasty. Hearing Chen Fan say that, Wang Yan asked suspiciously, Brother, what happened? Chen Fan told Wang Yan what happened to him. Wang Yan also froze for half a day after hearing it. Are you saying that you built the Great Eagle Dynasty's blocking rope? Well, but I gave them a batch of substandard quality ones. Ha, huh, that's what I said. How come so many fighters crashed into the sea during this period of time? So it was your kid who messed up. No problem, but to the outside world, we can't say that it's our lawyers. After all, our dark net belongs to the neutral. I know thanks sister Wang. Silly brother, what's the point of being polite with your sister? I'll let them go to the Great Eagle Dynasty and help you scout the way first. Good. It was already evening when they returned to Lin City. 
Due to bringing back two more people, Chen Fan had no place to stay in the factory, so he took the two of them straight to Bai Huang in their dormitory area. Chen Fan brought Li Jianglin and Dian Mei with him, Bai Huang, Zhuang Yuan, and a few of them gathered around. Mr. Chen, where did you get back two more experts from? Bai Huang could tell at a glance that the two people following Chen Fan were both practiced. Li Jiangwen and Dian Mei were also very surprised to see Bai Huang and Zhuang Yuan, because they could also see that these two people were not ordinary people. The two people looked at each other with great surprise. Then they looked at Chen Fan. Unexpectedly, they thought, where did Chen Fan get so many practitioners from? This is Dian Mei, and this is Li Jiangwen. They'll be staying here temporarily during this period of time. You guys take good care of the two of them for me. It's a good thing that there are many dormitories over here, so one room for each of them will be manageable. Okay, Mr. Chun. Both of you, come with me to check out the rooms first. With those words, Bai Huang was about to lead the two of them to see their respective rooms. However, regardless of whether it was Bian Mei or Li Jiangwen, both of them did not leave. Mr. Chen, our mission is to protect you closely, so we will go wherever you go. Dian Mei said as she looked at Chen Fan, but I'm going back to sleep. Dian Mei said, then I have to watch you sleep too. Ah, that's not good. Chen Fan didn't expect Bian Mei to be so stubborn and was thinking about what he should say to make her not follow him. Bai Huang came over and said with a smile, here, it's fine, so you guys can sleep without worry. There are dozens of us here taking turns on duty here. A mosquito can't even get in. Zhuang Yuan also said, yes, I've arranged all the guard posts. You guys just rest assured. Besides, speaking here Zhuang Yuan glanced at Chen Fan and continued, even if someone can really sneak in, they won't be able to hurt him. Why? Dian Mei asked in disbelief. Mr. Chen's hands are better than all of us. It's not that easy to kill him. Hearing Zhuang Yuan's words, Dian Mei looked at Chen Fan, feeling that Zhuang Yuan's words were a bit too false. She had been with Chen Fan for a day today and didn't even see that Chen Fan looked like he could do two hits. Li Jiangwen on the side was also looking at Chen Fan with a puzzled face, because he didn't see it either. All right, let's go. With those words Zhuang Yuan body hand was about to pull Bian Mei. But just at this time, Dian Mei suddenly kicked at Chen Fan's head without any warning. The speed of this kick was so fast that even Zhuang Yuan did not react. However, Chen Fan had already realized it, only to see him slightly tilting his head back. Dian Mei's kick managed to pass in front of him. However, it did not touch Chen Fan at all. This kick was dodged by Chen Fan, and Dian Mei was a bit surprised. You really have some skill? After saying that, she directly rushed at Chen Fan and attacked again. Every time Dian Mei attacked, it was almost always an unforgiving killing move. However, none of them were easily neutralized by Chen Fan. The two people exchanged hands a dozen times. Dian Mei froze without hitting Chen Fan for a second. Xiao Bian, stop, you are not his opponent. Li Jiangwen, who had been watching from the side for a while, said to Bian Mei. Only then did Dian Mei stop fighting, but her eyes were filled with curiosity towards Chen Fan. Seeing that she had stopped fighting, Bai Huang and Zhuang Yuan then walked up with a smile and said, See I wasn't wrong. Let's go, I'll show you your rooms. Seeing that Bai Huang had taken the two people, Li Jiangwen and Dian Mei, to the dormitory, Chen Fan also left. Dian Mei and Li Jiangwen followed Bai Huang and the others to the dormitory area. This is the dormitory? Looking at the facilities in the room, Dian Mei asked in surprise. Right. What's wrong? This dormitory was not only a single room for a single person, but it had a TV space and a bathroom inside. And it was also a separated guest bedroom. The decoration inside was also very good. Even some high-grade hotels are just like this. Isn't this condition a little too good to be a security guard's dormitory? What Bian Mei said was not an exaggeration at all. He had been to many large enterprises before following the leader. But this was the first time she had seen such a good place for a security guard to live. Hearing Bian Mei's words, Bai Huang said with a smile, This is just where it's at. We don't just have a good dormitory here, but we also have an equipment room, a training room, and a shooting room. Hearing Bai Huang's words, Dian Mei was completely speechless. He didn't expect Chen Fan to be so willing to spend money on these people. Let's go I'll take you guys along to take a look. After saying that, Bai Huang took the two of them to look at all of them again. After the two of them, Dian Mei and Li Jiangwen, had seen it, they were both very surprised. It was just as well that there was an equipment room and a training room. But how could they not expect that this remote little place would have a shooting room? What exactly does your Mr. Chen do? How could he be so willing to spend money? Although Bian Mei knew that Chen Fan had made a lot of money selling those blocking cords to the Great Eagle Dynasty. But even if they had made a lot, they couldn't be spent like this. You'll know it slowly, our mister. Chen has done a lot of things. Bai Huang thought to himself that if you guys knew that we had gone with Chen Fan as mercenaries before, your jaws would drop. Your jaws would have to drop in shock. 
After Chen Fan returned to his office, he began to check the social software that he had allowed Wang Kaixian to register with his ID number. Including all the accounts within the dynasty and other dynasties, there were 10 in total. Among them, there were 3 within the dynasty and 7 outside the dynasty. All of these accounts were currently accounts that did not have a single fan. Chen Fan thought about posting a few videos before the matter of the blocking rope was made public. After thinking for a while, Chen Fan took out his phone and made a call to Cheng Tianrui. Brother Chang, in our warehouse, how many drones do we have now? Cheng Tianrui thought for a while and said, there should still be 3 to 4 thousand, what's wrong? Take them all out. Ah, Mr. Chen, what are you going to do with all of them? I want to organize a drone light show. Ha, huh? Cheng Tianrui didn't understand why Chen Fan would think of doing a drone light show. You go ahead and get it first I'll tell you later. In this case, first move them all out and put them on the square in front of our R&D center. Good, I'll let someone do it now. After hanging up the phone, Chen Fan went to the computer to start the code for when the drone show was performed. This program was not complicated. Just set the distance between the drones and then adjust the LED lighting effects on the drones. But although writing the program was not difficult for Chen Fan, but with his speed, he had also written it for three whole hours. After Chen Fan had written the code for the drone light show, he took his laptop and went to the square of the R&D center. At this time, the square was already densely covered with thousands of drones. It attracted many staff members of the R&D center who were already off work to stop and watch. Mr. Chen, there are a total of 4,500 drones. Chen Fan nodded and said, good. After saying this, Chen walked to the side and took out his laptop to start making preparations. After connecting all the drones all to the computer, the sky had also slowly darkened. However, there were lights outside the R&D center and it wasn't dark. Many people who had finished dinner came out one after another, some taking pictures, some taking videos. Chen Fan, on the other hand, had found seven or eight people and asked them to man a drone, preparing to shoot in the air in a while. Time passed little by little, and the sky had completely darkened. Mr. Chen, have someone turn off the headlights outside. Good. It didn't take a while for all the headlights outside the R&D center to go out. Chen Fan used his cell phone to shine the light and came to his laptop and pressed the enter key. Then those drones started to light up one by one in the eyes of many people. 4,500 drones lit up at the same time. The scene was very spectacular. But this was just the beginning. Soon after, amidst the astonished gazes of the people around them, those drones began to take off from the ground one by one. As if they were dropping cubes in the air, they all flew to more than 50 meters in midair. After the 4,500 drones had all lifted off, the entire square was illuminated. From a distance, it looked like a galaxy floating in midair. Each illuminated drone was like a star. It's so beautiful. It's spectacular. I didn't expect drones flying at night to look so good. The amount of them, it's making my scalp go numb just looking at them. Just as these employees around them were marveling, the drones began to change formation from a square. It turned into a dragon. This dragon was exactly like the dragons in the imagination of the vast majority of people. Not only did it have dragon horns, dragon claws, but even dragon whiskers. It was alive and well. Moreover, the LED lights on the drone had all turned golden yellow. From afar, it looked like a real dragon floating in the air. Holy shit, this is too similar. Who wrote this program? It's awesome. Who else could it be? We didn't even know it existed. It must be written by Mr. Chun. Just as they were talking, the dragon in the middle of the sky suddenly moved. At this moment, this dragon, which was made up of drones and was more than a hundred meters long, surprisingly began to swim and hover in the air. Then it slowly rose up to one or two hundred meters in the air. It slowly swam down again. Those people at the scene were dumbfounded. Although they all knew that this dragon in the sky was a dragon made up of drones. But it was too similar. The whole process of this dragon swimming in midair was very silky smooth. Especially now that it's reached a height of one or two hundred meters. It was not at all obvious that there was a drone here. It wasn't just these people present who were shocked by the dragon in the sky. There were also people in the nearby villages who saw it. Hubby, come out and see what that is. A woman who was just about to go to the restroom said, pointing at the giant dragon that was alive and well in the distant sky, constantly circling and swimming. Holy shit. That's a dragon. The man was also shocked to see the circling dragon in the distance. Where's the cell phone? Take a picture of it. As soon as the woman reminded him, the man remembered to get his cell phone and shoot. Soon many people in the village saw the giant dragon in the sky and took out their cell phones to start filming. However just at this time, the dragon in the sky suddenly spat at the front. A huge circle of light appeared in front of the dragon. Then, in front of everyone's eyes, the giant dragon entered the circle of light. Seeing the dragon disappear, many old people in the village kneeled down in the direction where the dragon disappeared. 
But soon, another huge light appeared in the sky. Only this time it wasn't a dragon, but a phoenix. Just like the giant dragon just now, this phoenix was still lifelike. Other than the fact that no one could hear the phoenix's roar, everything else was exactly the same as the phoenix on television. That phoenix was flying up and down in the sky. It stunned everyone. The phoenix was out for more than 10 minutes before it disappeared just like the giant dragon before it. By this time all the drones had turned off their lights and landed. The headlights of the R&D center were also lit up. Those employees around who had seen the drone light show at the forefront were, were all stunned by the show just now. Chen Fan saw that quite a few people had taken videos just now. So he said loudly, just now all drone show, I see that everyone has already taken videos right. Yes mister. Chen, such a good looking drone show, how can we not film it? That's right, it was simply too shocking. It's just like the real thing. Yeah, if I didn't know it was made up of drones, I would have thought it was a real dragon. I'll send it online in a while, so that those classmates of mine can see the strength of our company. Previously, those of them had come to Chen Fan, a small and unknown company. Almost all of them had been ridiculed by their classmates. So many of them now couldn't wait to send out their friend circles and jitterbugs to show off. But at this time Chen Fan said, I ask everyone to do me a favor. The drone performance just now, if everyone wants to send it to their friends or online, just post it directly in the sky, and don't post our previous preparations for now. Don't say that this is our company's drone performance for now either. It's fine if everyone wants to say it after some days. Thank you all for your cooperation. After Chen Fan said this, someone immediately said, Mr. Chen, are we entering the internet? Chen Fan's meaning was very clear, letting them send the finished product first without saying that it was made by their company. This was tantamount to selling a secret first. After all, everyone would be curious and fresh about the unknown. After this matter was copied up on the internet, and then say it's a drone show from Centennial Industries, that would be the only way to push Chen Fan out. Chen Fan smiled and said, sort of, Mr. Chen, we all understand. Just rest assured. Tough for everyone to hold it for a few days first. Chen Fan thought right. Early the next morning a message began to appear on the major video sites. A giant dragon in Phoenix appeared in the sky of a countryside in Linchang. Many people thought that this was an auspicious omen, and so they all, liked, left comments, forwarded, and saved. All of these videos got a very large amount of traffic. More and more people also began to pay attention to this matter. For the content of these videos, there was a huge controversy online. Some people said that this was simply made of animation, because there were no such creatures as dragons and phoenixes in the world. But there were also people who felt that there were definitely dragons in the world, but they just generally wouldn't be noticed. It's just fake, if there were real dragons there's no way they'd be discovered only now. It's just computer synthesized, there are a lot of people trying to get traffic these days. I've seen the video, it's not computerized. Just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it's not there. A day later, this matter rushed to the first position of the hot search. A discussion about dragons and phoenixes also began across the net, as this matter caused a huge stir within the dynasty. Therefore, it also caused the media of other dynasties to scramble to report on it. The media of those other dynasties also carried these videos from various angles, carried them to their dynasty's network. Since this was a creature that only existed in mythological stories, and it was so lifelike, these videos also caused a great deal of buzz on the networks of other dynasties. It was only that the foreigners, compared to the people of the Grand Xia dynasty, were, were much less interested in dragons, but it still had a lot of airplay as well. Chen Fan saw that the public opinion on the internet was almost over, so he put a video that he had edited on top of his homepage. He edited this video himself. It was selected from the drone viewpoints taken by those 10 people, compared to the others who just saw it from the ground. This aerial viewpoint of Chen Fan was much clearer. The completeness was also higher. It was also better to watch. Since there was two previous heat, as soon as this video of Chen Fan was sent out, it immediately had two very large attention spans. This is clear. It looks like it was shot in the air. How did he do this? It's beautiful. The video had been sent out for less than an hour. It already had nearly a million plays. The likes and comments had also reached 100,000 and 10,000. As more and more people saw the video, the, the likes and comments also increased. At this time, someone finally noticed the name of this account. 100 years of industry. So out of curiosity, someone searched for this company. But there was very little information about this company on the internet. On the only official website, the useful information was also pitifully small. But there was a sentence amongst the introduction, designated partner of the military department of the Grand Xia dynasty. It was somewhat surprising. It was just that there weren't a lot of people paying attention. No one cared about this sentence either. However, there were quite a few people in Chen Fan's background, leaving messages asking how this video was shot. 
Why did he have such a clear perspective? There were even several large media outlets that had left messages for Chen Fan, wanting to interview him. For these messages Chen Fan had read none of them, because he knew that now was not the time. Just when the internet was filled with videos about the relationship with dragons. The Grand Xia Dynasty, however, broadcasted a heavyweight news in the news that night. The Grand Xia Dynasty had conquered the blocking cable technology, successfully developed the blocking rope technology. With this technology, the aircraft carriers of the Grand Xia Dynasty were one step closer to going to sea. As soon as this news was aired, it immediately hit the hot search. Many media outlets began to report on this story from all angles. The appearance of this news directly topped the previous Dragon's hot search. The successful development of the blocking cable made many military fans of the Grand Xia Dynasty very happy, because they all knew that the blocking cable had plagued the Grand Xia Dynasty for a long time. But with those media reports, another heavy news was exposed. That is, the technology of this blocking cable was not officially researched by the Grand Xia Dynasty. Rather, it was developed by a private enterprise called Hundred Years Industry. The moment this news came out, it was like throwing an atomic bomb on a calm lake. No one could have imagined that the technology that had plagued the Grand Xia Dynasty for so many years. Surprisingly, it was taken care of by a private enterprise. 